Four months ago, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only way I've made money on this account is by spinning a wheel determining what I should do to make money. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what I will do in this video. So welcome to the 63rd episode of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so the snow has finally arrived for me in GTA Online. As you can see behind me, the ground is covered in snow. And look, I even put up a Christmas tree, apparently, in my apartment, which is, I guess, kind of cool. But anyways, I'm on the wheel of quick cash, but we're not going to spin the wheel of quick cash today. Because with the snow being on the ground, there are two different treasure hunts that we can actually do now. There's a snowman collectible treasure hunt thing, and there is a Yeti treasure hunt. So for the next two episodes, instead of spinning the wheel of quick cash, we're just going to do one of those two things. So today in this video, we're going to knock out 25 snowmen. We're going to do that treasure hunt first. But I just want to remind you that we are trying to work towards buying the La Mesa Auto Shop next, coming in at $1,920,000. And currently right now, I'm sitting at $1,206,000. So we roughly need to make like $700,000 in order to purchase that auto shop. All right, so right now I am on the wheel of making money. So what are we gonna have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to, are we selling a, our bunker? Yes, we are. All right, so we are gonna have to go to our bunker and sell off all the product from inside of our bunker. All right, so I'm gonna have to sell off my bunker today, but what else in this episode am I going to have to do in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to actually do time trials, which is already difficult for me, but we're actually gonna have to do it in snow. So it's gonna be even more difficult. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna start out by doing time trials and then we're actually gonna go to our bunker and sell off everything there. But first I have to go knock over 25 snowmen. So let's just jump into that. All right. So what we're trying to do right now is we're trying to knock over 25 different snowmen all across the map that look like this right next to me. So yeah, we get rewards for knocking over each individual snowman plus a completion bonus at the end for knocking all 25 snowmen over. So yeah, here we go. Let's start out by just, I guess, missing the kick. Okay, or missing the punch. Can we not kick it over? Okay, fine, 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 fine. I mean, I know you just knock into it with the oppressor, but like, you know, it's more fun like kicking it. I didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry. Oh, you think you're cool, huh? Oh God, I'm pissing people off. Okay, let me just, there we go. There's one down, let me get out of here. But as you can see, I got $5,000 and it says, find and destroy the snowman to earn cash and RP. Destroy them all to unlock a bonus reward. And that's what we're trying to work towards. So yeah, let me go to the next location. All right, so we made it to the next snowman location right here. Yeah, not really much is happening. So I'm probably just gonna do a montage of just me knocking over all 25 snowmen. But yeah, here's number two and well, bam All right, so we made it over to our 25th and final snowman that we need to destroy right here. Oh yeah, I did fail to mention that we actually got rewarded with a snowball launcher. What if I knock it over with a snowball? Is that even possible? Bro, <laughs> okay, fine game, fine, fine, fine. Can I like melee it, you know, while my baseball bat? Okay, 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 we actually have to hit the thing. Okay, I think it went right through the head. Yeah, okay, it's going right through the head. Fine, I'll just shoot it a little bit. There's no way this thing is this indestructible. Fine, take a grenade then, jeez. There we go, 25 out of 25 snowmen have been destroyed. All right, so let's see, we got credited with the snowman outfit and we also got credited with $125,000, but we got $5,000 for every snowman that we did destroy. So in total, we made $250,000. So now we're currently sitting at $1,451,000, but now it's time for us to get into doing the time trial. So let me head over to the Junk Energy time trial first. All right, so we made it over to the Junk Energy time trial for today, which is going to be the sewer system time trial, which I think we're actually very, very lucky. This one's very, very easy, and it really has nothing to do with the snow, because we're going underground. Yeah, I was very interested to see, like, how the snow would affect a junk energy time trial, but this is, like, the specific junk energy time trial that will not be affected by snow, or at least the least affected by snow. Obviously, we're biking through snow right now, and I really don't feel that much of a difference, but yeah, we go into the sewer system right here, and we're pretty much just chilling in 
right here, which this is like one of the only spots on the map right now that doesn't have snow. But yeah, anyways, I think this is one of the easier junk energy time trials. Really not much to do. There's really not a whole lot of obstacles in here either. Okay, and there we go. We just beat the par time by just under 10 seconds. So for that junk energy time trial, we made $52,000. But we still have two more time trials that we have to do. We have to do the normal time trial and then the HSW time trial. Let's jump into the normal time trial next. All right, so we made it over to the normal time trial and it's going to be the Lake Vinewood Estates time trial. I don't really remember this one too much, but I think I've done it before. Where do I have to go again? Oh, 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 okay, okay. Hmm, I didn't think this one was that bad last time I did it, but obviously there's a new factor, which is snow. So I don't know what the deal is gonna be here. But yeah, I'm using my Body 801. I'm using my Body 801 because this bike is very, very cheap and very, very nice to go off-roading in compared to like our HSW vehicle which, oh God, I just don't want to drive my HSW vehicle to begin with. I know some people are like, well, oh, you can use an HSW vehicle for a normal time trial. Duh, I know that. But yeah, it is so much easier to like control us going like off-roading with the Body 801. So yeah, that's why I'm chilling with a Body 801 right now. See, like, look at that. Look at that beautiful off-roading right there. You can't really do that with most of the HSW vehicles. I think the only one that could maybe compare would be the Hakachu Drag. Anyways, yeah, we have to off-road, which I mean, this off-roading seems pretty nice right now now all right land this I never get why I just get flung off my bike there. We still have like almost 10 seconds to do this. Dude, what if I complete it first try with a wreck? Yeah, no, we're not going to complete it. But it was a promising first attempt. Yeah, that was definitely a promising first attempt. That literally was just ended because uh, we couldn't land the bike, which I don't understand why I fall off the bike sometimes and then sometimes I don't. But yeah, the snow right now does not really seem to be that much of a factor. And it usually is though. So I'm a little lost by that, but I'm very happy about it. Now, I'm sure the vehicle that we're going to use the HSW time trial with that one's gonna have like a tough time i am pretty sure because it just has a tough time just in normal conditions All right, anyways yeah let's go off here let's start off-roading again okay land nice let's not fall off our bike please nice nah, Okay, that one was my fault. I was a little bit out of control there. No, I feel like we're doing very, very well. I remember the first time we ever did this time trial, we kind of had like some growing pains with this one, this specific normal time trial. Oh gosh, we are flying really far here. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I understand why we wrecked that time, yeah. I definitely landed very awkwardly that time. That's my fault. Yeah, let's try this again. This is gonna be the attempt that we're gonna complete it. Guaranteed, yeah, haha, <laughs> guaranteed. I'm guaranteeing it. Even after that very interesting start. Yeah, honestly, I don't even need to be like 100% perfect as far as like hitting everything correctly with this time trial, except for the fact that I can't wreck. Aside from me wrecking, like I have some wiggle room. All right, there we go. We're back at this hill again. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, nice. Nice. Yeah, let's just drive down the mountain. Yeah. Okay, maybe not. Uh, Okay, we landed. Let's not run into the guardrail. Nice. Okay. We have like 20 seconds to complete it now. So we need to like turn off right here. Do a little jump right here. Okay, now let's just get going. And we have like 10 seconds just to drive a little bit of a ways away. And then we'll boom. There we go. I put the guarantee on it. Obviously, we're going to complete it. Once I put the guarantee on it, it's just a sure thing. All right, so for that time trial, we made $101,000. But we still have one more time trial that we have to get into, which is going to be the HSW time trial. So let's head over and do that. All right, so now it's time for us to get into the final HSW time trial, which is going to be the North Chumash time trial. Now, the last time I did this specific HSW time trial, I broke my controller. <laughs> so this is going to be very, very fun. Yeah, that even happened when it wasn't even snowing. Now there's snow on the ground. So yeah, this is going to be very interesting. Yeah, we're doing this with the Arbiter GT, essentially the vehicle that has no control. Now we're doing it in snow. So that means even less control, but so far not bad. Okay, yeah, right now we're also doing this in the dark. There's another obstacle on my way. Yeah, this is my only HSW vehicle I have so far thanks to my wheel spins. Yeah, just imagine if I did the normal time trial with this vehicle in snow. Like, no. That was just never going to happen. That's why I have a Body 801 to do a normal time trial. Control? Control. Control. Okay, okay, okay. No. Control. Okay, good. Okay. Wow, we were getting a little squirrely there, but I had to talk to it a little bit. No, that's not how we turn car. That was thanks to snow. I usually don't wreck at that turn with this vehicle. Yeah, if you don't know this, snow on the ground in GTA Online, well, and in real life too, gives you less traction. Um, That wreck right there was not because of the snow. That was because of my own stupidity. So yeah, we have less traction on the ground and we already don't have a lot of traction to begin with with this Arbiter GT, the worst HSW vehicle in the game. Like I did an HSW time trial yesterday with the Sentinel XS. Like, 
like not even a customized Sentinel XS, just a plain Jane Sentinel XS that I just stole off the street as a low level. I completed that time trial first attempt and it was, I think my second least favorite HSW time trial in the game. So yeah, even the Sentinel XS, which is a vehicle that you can get for free off the street and doesn't have like the best like speed or anything like that. In my opinion, that is still way better than the Arbitral GT. Like I haven't really messed around with all the HSW vehicles, but I find it hard to believe that there's another HSW vehicle that can even compare to the Arbiter GT on how uncontrollable it is. Oh, we have like 30 seconds to complete this. Oh, geez. Um, yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to complete this. Uh, let's see. I'm going to take a little shortcut somewhere. I can't see. I was trying to find a spot where I can, you know, get off the road right there. And yeah, we're not completing it here. Yeah, after I record this video today, I'm going to continue recording another video that I'm making for a future video that's about to come out. And I'm going to use the Sentinel Access to do a HSW time trial, which it's going to be the same time trial. I'm going to do this exact same time trial. So we'll see if the Sentinel XS can complete this first attempt and the Arbiter GT can't. Arbiter GT, it has such good straight line speed. Okay. Compared to other HSW vehicles, it might not have like the best top speed. It has a pretty good top speed. It's not lacking in top speed. It is just lacking in control. A Sentinel XS, it has so much control. Oh, uh, let's see. The Viva Knight, the Viva Knight that just came out, that vehicle has so much control. The Arbiter GT, very little control, even though we're kind of doing good right now. I should just shut up. <laughs> no, 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 no. I've seen no control. Oh my, I am on the wrong side of the guardrail. That's not good. That is not good. No, uh, freaking car. Dude, I'm trying to book it. I hate this specific time trial. I hate this vehicle. My goodness. Yeah, honestly, we could be here a while. <laughs> Which I do not want to be here a while. Oh yeah, I forgot the reason why I broke my control last time I did this specific time trial was because we like got to like the checkpoint or at least like within, I don't know, maybe like 10 feet of the checkpoint with like maybe six seconds to spare, but we were kind of like turtling and I ran into the back of that Banshee and we're gonna have to restart. Awesome. No, but we were like turtling and the car I just didn't want to flip over. I was probably flipping it the wrong way, but you know, I had like six seconds to go. So I just had to like try to flip it over and just wouldn't flip over. And I got pissed. No, where are we going? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. That's right, Arbiter GT. Yeah, no, no, no. You're doing so good. Right, 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 yeah. This is actually the shortcut to how we're gonna complete this time trial. Yeah, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. We're just gonna do donuts on the beach. Yep. Uh-huh. This is exactly how we complete an HSW time trial. Just do donuts on the beach. Freaking idiot car, I swear. I'm so intrigued to do this time trial with a Sentinel X. You'll see that video pretty soon. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Dude, this is such a good run, and I just accidentally hopped on the media and started running into things, and then the Arbiter GT is like, blah, 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 and just freaking start wrecking. Fantastic. Yeah, that's another thing with this vehicle. You, like, run into, like, one collapsible, like, road sign or something like that, and this vehicle starts going haywire. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Oh, Arbiter GT. Oh, how you never disappoint. I'm just kidding. You disappoint in every single possible way. My goodness, that was such a good run. Yeah, partially that is my fault. But at the same time, most other vehicles can make that turn the way that I try to do that turn. I don't know. This vehicle is just a different ball game. It does not want to go straight. You run into one road sign, then it's just going to start doing cartwheels, essentially. And you're thinking like, what, a car doing cartwheels? Yes, no, exactly. This vehicle loves to do cartwheels for some weird reason. Oh, I missed the exit. Oh, I hate this one time trial. Why? Dude, I just got so locked in and everything, and I completely missed the exit that I was supposed to take for that time trial. Oh my goodness. God, I hate wrecking like that. That is so stupid. And then, oh my God, I accidentally ran over a guy because he ran into me. Oh my, dude, I barely scraped like some Jersey wall and there's like a little bit of a divot for where the freaking light pole is. And of course, that's the part that we hit. Yeah, unfortunately, I kind of need to use the Jersey wall every once in a while because this vehicle likes to get a little out of control and I'm weaving through traffic too. So there's not really much I could do. All right, let's actually hit the exit this time and let's not not like, you know, drive off of that one little gap right there. Okay, we hit it. We hit it. Um, Kind of a lucky bounce. <laughs> a little lucky bounce. Just slowed our momentum down like very slightly, but didn't ruin our day. I think I like to turn off here, something like that. And yeah, off-roading with this vehicle is not ideal. Oh my, oh, oh geez. Keep going. Keep going, car. Car, no, I'm turning right and you 
freaking turn left. God, I hate this vehicle, man. Okay, we kind of have an opportunity. We have 10 seconds. I'm gonna send it. No, 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 no. I can't, I can't, I can't. We're not gonna complete it. I do not want to fail and then force us to have to drive all the way back. That would be so stupid, but yeah. Let's do another attempt. You know, I'm just having so much fun with this. I just want to do it again. Yeah, to be honest, we're having a lot of issues. I don't even think any of the issues, or at least very few of these issues, are even related to the snow. Like, I actually do not think that the snow is being that much of a factor, as you kind of saw with our normal time trial. I think literally most of the factors here are just the traffic. Since, you know, we have to drive so far across the map, we're going to have to deal with traffic. And then just the Arbiter GT being like a very crap vehicle, along with some of my driving skills are maybe not the best. I swear, I'm going to put this to the test with a Sentinel XS for that video that I'm trying to make. Then we'll really see if it's my fault or the Arbiter GT's fault. All right, let's hit the exit this time. We're going to slow down a little. No, I think... What are we doing? Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. I don't know why. I don't know why that exit ramp is giving me a ton of issues today. It usually doesn't give me a ton of issues. Like, I'm telling you, this car just wants to be a gymnast. It does not even really want to be a car. Just this cartwheels, there's a bunch of front flips. Even though its goal is to complete a time trial, and then it just goes back into my garage and just collects cobwebs because this vehicle does not deserve to even be driven. <laughs> We've beaten up this vehicle so much, it's starting to smoke. Oh, man. Okay, we might have to call in our second arbitrary your GT. I hate this car so much. I absolutely hate this car. All right, we called in a brand new Arbiter GT. Not that that's going to make too much of a difference. Oh, yeah, to everyone that says that I should buy like a new HSW vehicle, we have to land on it on the Wheel of Luxury wheel spin. Because back earlier on during this season, the Wheel of Luxury did land on buying an HSW vehicle, but it was a random HSW vehicle, and it just so happened to land on this vehicle. If we're going to get another HSW vehicle, it's going to have to be through the Wheel of Luxury. No. Oh, uh fantastic yeah we haven't even really been close to completing this time trial <laughs> we really haven't been that close which sucks like we made it onto like the final dirt road path like once but we ran out of time yeah we've always had like one major wreck even during our best runs we've had like one major wreck at least you know i was looking up every hsw vehicle in the game and every hsw vehicle you can actually purchase or at least the normal version of that car uh you can actually purchase uh hold on let me respawn because we wrecked awesome every hsw vehicle you can actually purchase except for the sterling gt the sterling gt when there was a bunch of vehicles that got vaulted during the san andreas mercenaries dlc the sterling gt got vaulted but every other hsw vehicle you can buy why rockstar did you not vault the arbiter gt <laughs> like why why like if any car should have been vaulted it should have been the arbiter gt if i could do a straight swap from arbiter gt to sterling gt wait is that even what it's called oh god that might not even be what it's called oh shoot oh god now i'm concerned about it okay i'm gonna look it up as i respawn okay no i was right it is called the sterling gt yeah why was that vehicle vaulted and not this thing if any vehicle should have been vaulted it should have been the arbiter gt like rest in peace sterling gt did not deserve what it got no 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 mm -mm. you deserve everything you got banshee you deserve everything you got mm -mm. the banshee could clearly see that i was trying to drive right there all you had to do just sit there and you would have been fine but instead you got flipped on your back wait what got a vehicle mod unlock how how did i do that i don't even know how i did that I ems upgrade four if this is for this vehicle i don't even know if that's for this vehicle car you freaking terrible car my goodness hmm like what is it notorious for being like the worst vehicle in the game is there like a notoriously like kind of fast vehicle but it's just so bad well it might be this vehicle now all right this has been such a good run so far all right slow down in here slow down okay good 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 okay we passed that little gap that i keep running into let's keep going let's keep going i think this has been my best run so far but we just need to put it all together now i right, said so what i'm gonna do what i've been doing i'm gonna go off here okay I run into bushes. Yeah, bushes in this game. I swear. The dumbest. Where are we going? Where are we going, Arbiter? I don't know. This vehicle has a mind of its own. Okay, I had to yell at it for a second, but we're going where I want to go now. Okay, we need to go on this dirt road. Okay, it's like the second time I think we've gone on this dirt road. All right, all right, all right. Let's just jump off right here. Uh, let's go around the Jersey wall. Okay, just go. Here we go. One, two. <sighs> 
you made them too close. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Sentinel access would have made it that close. Mm -mm. We beat it by five tenths of a second. Mm -mm. Sentinel access would have beaten it by 20 seconds. And, uh -uh. Mm -mm. This vehicle is terrible. But anyways, we made $250,000 from that time trial. So in total, from all the time trials we have done, we made $407,000. So we're now currently sitting at $1,827,000. But now it's time for us to go to our bunker and sell off all of our product from inside of our bunker. So let's do that. All right, so we've made it over to our bunker. And as you can see behind me, we have a beautiful Christmas tree, which is awesome. But now it is time for us to sell off everything inside of our bunker. As you can see at the bottom right, we have a value of $325,000 worth of stock. We're going to go over here and we're going to click sell stock. And we're going to sell this to Los Santos for $585,000 plus a 50% bonus on whatever we do sell because we are in a public session with at least 25 players. Um, Yeah, let's click to sell. And well, last few sell missions have not gone well. Hopefully we can get better luck today. Um, larger sales may require multiple vehicles. I'm a one man band. Let's get into it. All right, please. One cell vehicle, one cell vehicle. Okay. It's three cell vehicles. It looks like we have to go to three locations. Okay. I'll do this one. I'm cool with this. This is possible. See, my thing with doing cell missions is that if it's not possible as a solo player, I am not even going to attempt it. I'm going to respawn in and get a new mission. This one's actually possible. Oh uh, yeah. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to drive this insurgent to a location. Then once we get to that location we have to hop into our oppressor fly all the way back to where our other two delivery vehicles are and then do the same thing and then we're gonna have to do that again i think it's possible to do that within the 15 minutes that we are allotted it's gonna be close i will say it's gonna be close it's not gonna be a walk in the park especially if there's gonna be like griefers after me all right so we've made it to our first location which is right here nice we're gonna send a bunch of weapons to just a nice single family home <laughs> Like, okay, a little concerning. Oh, there you go. Santa came to town there. I delivered their presents. Anyways, we have two more vehicles we need to sell off. Uh, we have like 11 minutes to complete the rest of this, which I think we should be able to do that. All right, we've made it over to our next vehicle right here. Uh, how far away do we have to go this time? Uh, like four and a half miles away. Not bad, not bad. As long as it's not like over six miles, I think everything's very doable. Oh God, someone just destroyed some product from someone else. <laughs> oh, good, 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 good. Okay, yeah, same rules apply as this last video. If anyone blows up my product, Product. They're getting cold for Christmas, and I'm recording this before Christmas, and you're watching this after Christmas. You know what that means? It means that it applies for two Christmases. Yes, that's right. This Christmas, they're going to get a lump of coal, and then the next Christmas, 2024 Christmas, they're going to get a lump of coal again. But if no one destroys any of my shipments, then no one gets coal. Everyone's going to get what they want. Yeah, that's how that's going to work. All right, here we go. We've made it to the next drop-off location. All right, so we have like six minutes to sell off the final vehicle, which I think we should have enough time for that. Oh my God, dude, that guy, that guy right there, he just destroyed some more product and it's not any of our product, which is very nice. Yeah, I think he's destroying product that's like in the city. Luckily with this cell mission, my product is just chilling out by the military base. All right, we've made it over to our final vehicle. We have like four minutes and 30 seconds to complete this. We have to go like four miles and a quarter, which is very, very doable. All right, here we go. We've made it to the final location. We had 45 seconds to spare. And there we go. Everything has been delivered. And we made $877,000 off of that cell mission. So now we're sitting at $2,705,000, which is well over the amount that we need to actually purchase the auto shop. All right. So here's the auto shop that we're trying to buy, the La Mesa location. As we said before, we don't need a different style. We don't need a different tint. We don't need an emblem. Uh, staff members, in my opinion, are a little stupid. Uh, we can put a personal quarters in there that could be nice for us uh yeah screw it i'll put a personal quarters just for my convenience and yeah that's gonna be pretty much it so now it's gonna cost us two million two hundred and sixty thousand dollars so yeah let's go ahead and purchase this thing and there we go so now we're left at four hundred and forty five thousand dollars so yeah let's head over to the auto shop and let's go through the introduction scene and let's just check out the auto shop just in general all right, so here we go. This is our auto shop right here. And oh, I just remember we have to do like an introduction mission for this too. But yeah, we have to sit through this cutscene where we have to meet two of the most lovely characters in GTA Online. So Santa and Katie J. Wow, they are such lovely people. All right, so Santa, how did your car get stolen? Did you lock it? Did you leave the keys in it on a crowded street? And you're like, anyone wants my car? They can steal it. Ha 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 ha. Probably what happened. And it was probably what her thought process was. All right, yeah, here we go. We have to retrieve so Santa's impounded car. Mm -mm -mm. Gotta help out everyone. Like, why does Sasanta even need her car? Like, what does she do with her car? All right, so we made it over to Davis Police Station. The car's in an 
annoying spot, I'm pretty sure. Oh, didn't mean to already start shooting, but okay. Yeah, look at what Santa's making me do already. No, 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 no. My goodness. I respect it, though, because you used an assault shotgun. I respect any NPC that uses an assault shotgun. My goodness. All right, anyways, yeah, we have to lose the cops. Um, Can I call my best friend Lester? That'd be nice. Oh, Lester, why? What? I was calling Lester, and Santa just, like, hacked into my phone, and now she's talking to me. Oh, my God. Gosh, dude, I'm trying to talk to my best friend Lester, and yeah, just the Santa just interrupts. All right, so I lost the cops, and we've made it back to my auto shop right here. All right, so yeah, this is our auto shop. In the board to the right right here, this is how we're going to make money. We have a bunch of different contracts that we can do, and yeah, they're actually a pretty good way to make money. So yeah, that's going to be added on the wheel of making money. And then next episode, we're going to spin the wheel of luxury to determine what we're going to have to purchase next. Back in August, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only items I've bought on this account have come through spinning a wheel determining what I should buy next. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what item I am going to have to purchase. So welcome to the 64th episode of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so currently right now, I'm on the wheel of luxury and I'm on the wheel of luxury because the last item I purchased came off the wheel of businesses and that was the auto shop. But what is gonna be the next item? item I am going to have to purchase off the wheel of luxury and it looks like oh my god are we getting a new and no never mind never mind sorry I got a little excited there because I thought I was gonna get a new HSW vehicle that would have been so nice but nope the wheel said we are gonna have to buy a mobile operations center next all right so I'm at where the mobile operations center is which is on Warsaw cash and carry and to be honest there's not a lot here that's going to be very beneficial for us like its base price is going to be one million two two hundred and twenty five thousand dollars and with these three different bays we can like upgrade it but a lot of these upgrades are kind of pointless like i kind of threw the command center on here just so you know throw something on this thing which the command center is going to give us like a turret on the back but then like base two and three they're kind of pointless in my opinion i mean like we can get a living quarters like i, I don't need to spawn in here we can put a weapon workshop which we get a weapon workshop for free in the freak shop and then we can get a weapon and vehicle workshop which i've already mentioned we already have a weapon workshop and then we already have a vehicle workshop too where we can customize special vehicles and we have that inside of our arena war workshop so yeah this is very pointless and then bay three i think is very similar to yeah another personal vehicle storage yeah i don't need that interior color so yeah i don't think we really need a whole lot of this stuff so yeah i mean i might as well just put the command center on it but essentially for this entire mobile operation center the way i want to upgrade it we're gonna have to pay one million five hundred and forty five thousand dollars and currently right now we're sitting at five hundred and ten thousand dollars so we roughly need to make like a million dollars before we can actually purchase the mobile operations center. All right, so currently right now, I'm on the wheel of quick cash. But once again, we're not gonna spin the wheel of quick cash just like how I did last episode because this time for the wheel of quick cash, I want to go out and try to find the Yeti treasure hunt since there's still snow on the ground. So yeah, that's gonna be technically our wheel of quick cash wheel spin for today. All right, so right now, I'm on the wheel of making money. So what are we gonna have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to do the Kyle Per rico heist and since this is such a good wheel spin we are going to have to forfeit our next wheel spin all right so we're doing the kyle perico heist today but first i'm gonna have to go out and do the yeti treasure hunt so let's jump into that all right so there we go i am flying towards the north of the map i'll show you exactly where we kind of need to fly to uh, as this video is actually coming out though this treasure hunt should be gone this video is going to come out thursday and i'm recording this sunday essentially we have to fly up to like this area of the map just a little bit north of fort zancudo kind of in the rat and canyon area and there's this big circle with a nice question mark in the middle i don't know the game's like hmm there's something suspicious going on so we have to go check it out and well i'm gonna make things easy on myself and look up all the locations so yeah essentially now we just have to go around and take a photo of some stuff and then we'll find clues essentially i think the first clue should be in here somewhere yeah hmm? is that right Right? Clue? Oh, yeah, here's clue. Yeah, big clue. Big clue. I see you. Here's the first clue right here. It's a deer. Oh, dear. <laughs> what? Wait, am I not supposed to take photos? Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. I thought I'd take photos. Jeez, yeah. Sorry, I just came back from vacation. This is the first video I've recorded in over a week. Yeah, you're probably like, oh, Dr. Crush, you didn't go on vacation. You still posted, like, consistently. Yeah, I did. A vacation for me does not mean a vacation for you. You're welcome. Anyways, let's investigate this deer. Oh, deer. Oh, wow. A dead, oh, dear, my deer. I don't know. All right, there we go. One clue down. Uh, we have to investigate five clues, as you saw in the bottom left-hand corner. So, yeah, let's go to the next clue. All right, so the next clue should be somewhere in 
in here. Oh, there's a, oh dear, my dear. Don't go over towards the river or anything. You might not like what you see. Where's the clue again over here? I think this one's supposed to be a fallen tree. And speaking of falling, there's a falling helicopter or plane. There's a falling plane. Yeah, right here. Which is so annoying. It's annoying for me because you just hear, wah, wah. It's going to freaking crash because it can't fly a plane. Like, anyways, um, here's a fallen tree, I think. Oh, there's the deer again. Jeez. All right, yeah, I am a little all over the place right now. But yeah, this is the tree. And yeah, mm. oh, we're not supposed to find the tree. We're supposed to find body parts. I'm sorry. That looks like a mannequin. Is <laughs> I think it's supposed to be like real human parts, but I mean, that looks like a mannequin or whatever. Here we go. Second clue investigated. We have to find three more clues. All right, the third clue is over here somewhere. Jeez, yeah, this is like me when I drive the Arbiter GT trying to do a time trial in the snow. Anyways, yeah, let's investigate the car wreck. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Cool car wreck, I guess. I don't know. Third clue investigated. Two more clues to go. All right, here we go. We're at our next clue, and this one's going to be a 10. I, I remember this one. It's a nice tent, but they spilled some ketchup on the tent. As you can see, you know, it was a big party or something. So yeah, spilled some ketchup. Um, we have one more clue to investigate. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, where the heck is the final clue? I'm at the location. Oh, oh, it's over here. Oh, 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 it's down here. It's down here. Got it, got it. It's a shirt. Oh, okay. I can see it much better than this video that I'm watching. All right, there we go. That's the fifth clue that we investigated. Um, we have to return at night to continue searching this area for the unknown creature, even though I already know what the creature is. It's this person. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's not that guy. I thought that'd be funny. Yeah, I mean, like, look at this guy. You bring that much stuff on a hike. All right, yeah, anyways, I'm just gonna sit here and wait for the creature to spawn in. All right, so just at 9 o'clock in the game, and the Yeti has spawned in. The real Yeti. Ah, there he is. Apparently, he's very, very armored, or... Hey! Hey! Oh my god! <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Stop, 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 stop. You're being annoying. Stop it. Shoot. No, 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 no. No! It's not a game of soccer. Stop! Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stupid Yeti. Stupid Yeti. Oh my, this is the most entertaining way to take out the Yeti. Man, why was no other YouTuber this creative? My goodness, you're getting the best content here. Who is going to punch a Yeti to death? Down for the count. Call me Mike Tyson. I swear, put the Yeti to sleep with my bare hands. Look at this. Sleepy time for the Yeti. Go to sleep, stupid. Anyways, for all of that, we made $100,000. Plus, we got a Yeti outfit, which I might honestly put on just because I knocked out the Yeti with only my bare fist. All right, yeah. Anyways, we're sitting at six hundred and nine thousand dollars now but now it's time for us to start up the Cayo Perico heist all right so we're back at the Kasaka and this is the Yeti outfit that we earned for absolutely just beating up the Yeti I mean who else has done that no one sorry anyways yeah we gotta start up a Cayo Perico heist now so we need to go up to our planning board right here we have to pay a hundred thousand dollars for the setup cost for the Cayo Perico heist so essentially what we just made from beating up the Yeti is gonna go all into just setting up the Cayo Perico heist but obviously you know it's gonna be worth it so yeah we're gonna set up the Cayo Perico heist. I'm not really going to show a whole lot of this. Um, I'll show you what our primary target's going to be during the gather intel mission. So yeah, I guess I'll see you when we get onto the island of Cayo Perico and we know what our primary target's going to be. All right, so we made it to Cayo Perico. I'm on the CCTV right now. Uh, what is going to be our primary target? Okay, we're getting bearer bonds, which I think is one of the better ones. I don't know. It's better than the ruby necklace and it's better than the tequila for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is good. I'm very happy about this. Let me go look at the secondary loot that's here on the island and and yeah, I'm going to do the rest of the setups and I'll see you when we're ready to do the finale. All right, so I fully set up the Kyle Perico high. So it's now time for me to actually get into the finale. I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to do this Kyle Perico heist. Now, I really don't recommend you do this, but for loser to luxury, just to make it a little bit more entertaining and to get a little bit more money too, I'm going to do this with at least one more person. And yeah, we already have someone in. Uh, our approach vehicle for doing this with at least one other person is going to be with the Kasatka. Our infiltration point is is going to be the drainage tunnel. Our compound entry point is going to be the drainage tunnel also. The escape point is going to be... Uh, oh yeah, this doesn't matter because we're just going to swim out of there. Uh, we're going to do this during the day. Um, and then, yeah, I got to remember to put on suppressors. Oh yeah, and the secondary loot on the inside of the compound wasn't very great either. I only saw one bundle of gold, which is absolutely terrible. Only to see one bundle of gold. But anyways, yeah, it looks like we're ready to go. So yeah, let's jump into it. All right, here we go. The Cayo Perico heist. We already have 
have one other person in here. Yeah, we're doing this with a random person. This person is a level 59. Yeah, I have no idea who this person is. So yeah, this could be pretty entertaining. I think the first time that we ever did the Kayo Perico heist, on this account at least, we knew the person that we did it with. And then the second time was when we bought the oppressor. I did it with another person I knew. So yeah, this could be a little bit interesting. This is the first time, at least on this account, we're doing it with a stranger. So yeah, hopefully this person really doesn't just screw this up. That would be really nice. All right, so we're inside the compound. And I just want to say again, there's only one bundle of gold. So if anyone in the comment section is like, you need to get the bundles of gold, it's going to pay out more. I'm going to automatically think you're a moron because I've stated numerous times that there's only one bundle of gold. I will get that one bundle of gold, or at least that is the goal. Um, Anyways, I need to go over here. We'd like to find someone with the key card. And yeah, here we go. Found a key card. Nice. All right. So my teammate's not behind me anymore, but yeah, we're just going to run for it now. Oh, oh no, no, not, not run for it yet. Jeez. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Right now I'm recording like via remote play, like on my iPad. It's cool that I can actually play on the iPad, but you know, it's not the clearest picture. So I can't really look at the mini map and tell exactly where everyone is, you know, as precise as I would want to, but I don't know. I'm just probably complaining for no reason. My teammate's just sitting over there, not doing a whole lot, but uh, I'm going to make it my way through right now. It's gone pretty smooth so far, at least for me. I am a fan. Here's a guard right here. We can just sneak behind this guard. Uh, I see the juggernaut right underneath that guy. So I don't want to kill that guy because if I kill that guy, the juggernaut's going to hear. But anyways, we picked up the second key card and yeah, we'll, we'll pick up the secondary loot right here, or at least the wall safe cash. Only $31,000. That is absolutely embarrassing. Apology letter now. Okay. Yeah. My teammates up here now. Uh, yeah. What I want to do now, I want to go downstairs and then I want to go collect the secondary loot now. I know there's two bundles of cash in the basement of the vault, but I want to get the bundle of gold. And then we're also going to need to find like one more thing. So yeah, this is a very interesting puzzle I have to piece together of like what secondary loot I can actually hold and whatnot. All right. So there's some secondary loot in here. This is not the one with the gold. This one has a painting and some cash. I'm going to get my teammate to collect this one. Everything here, I want my teammate to collect. I'm going to be very strategic with this. I'll collect the bundle of gold and then I'll hopefully collect a bundle of cash, I think. And then we'll collect the primary target. Okay. I need to wait for that guard to turn around. Then we're going to go back the way we came in. All right. So I made it all the way back to this point right here. Yeah. This is where the bundle of gold is. This is where I want to collect the bundle of gold. And then there's two more bundles of cash in the basement. I think that'll fill up all of our loot bags. I think if I'm doing my math correctly, do not click the bundle of cash. Oh my God, you just ruined my entire like thought process. Cause, oh my God, dude, I, I, it's so annoying. I had this like thought process, you know, I collect all of the gold, but instead, no, I got to piece this puzzle together. I don't know how I want to do this now. I mean, I can go collect a painting, I guess, but there's a painting all the way over here. That seems risky. I definitely know there's two bundles of cash in the basement. Hmm. Okay, we have to go here now. I got it, I got it, dude. This is so complicated. This is way more annoying than this had to be. Yeah, there's no paintings in the office, anything like that. So yeah, that's... That sucks. All right, let's get in here. Let's get in here. So I need to collect this painting. And, oh, nice painting of a chapel. Very cool. Very cool. I haven't seen this painting at all. Usually I have enough bundles of gold to collect, but no, not this time. Instead, I'm going to have to, you know, collect some beautiful artwork that can be put in at the Grand Bohemian Gallery. But, you know, it's all good. It's all good. Got some of that. And then I'll just collect the cash right here. And then this should fill up my entire loot bag. All right, there we go. Full secondary loot bags for the both of us. So now we need to get back to the vault somehow, some way. No, 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 no. You more. I just did all of that work just for him to get caught by the juggernaut. And I don't want any of y'all to say that that was my fault. I clearly saw that on the mini map. That was clearly his fault. He ran right into the juggernaut. But honestly, I don't really think that's entirely his fault. We've had to run back and forth so much. Just so frustrating. Like, why can't we have just, you know, at least two bundles of gold? If we had two bundles of gold, that would fill up one entire secondary loot bag. And then I think half of another secondary loot bag. So yeah, essentially, you know, that'd be 75 percent of both of our loot bags combined but instead no good thing i found the key card just straight up again yeah i gotta do all that back and forth work again this is gonna be so annoying another thing is you can't kill that juggernaut i don't know the exact like safest spot to kill the juggernaut you know i don't do this with multiple people like too too often and i probably should you know do some more research you know to like figure out what is the actual best spot but i haven't so yeah we're still here no 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 goodness i almost screwed that up yeah this scar that's on the steps right here all Almost caught us, and that would have been my fault. Uh oh. 
Nice. Juggernaut found us again. I think that one was more my fault, even though I wasn't the one technically that got caught. That's my fault. That one's on me. I'll take the blame on that one. Okay, so that key card wasn't in the spot. It had been, which sucks. I hate trying to find this key card because it's not always in the same spot, this first key card. So yeah, I have to go on like a wild goose chase just to try to find the key card. And now my teammate is, you know, doing his thing, trying to find the key card, which I guess is cool. Okay, someone got caught. I don't know who that was. I really don't know whose fault that was this time. I don't know where my teammate was. This has gone terribly. After that first attempt, which, you know, I was methodically, you know, putting the pieces together. Then he accidentally got caught. Yeah, since then, it's just been terrible. Can I get a key card over here, please? No, thanks. No, I did not know that I needed to relook. God dang it, dude. Okay, I wanted to experiment right there. That's my fault. That's clearly my fault. I was trying to experiment right there, see if that's a spot I could, like, kill the juggernaut. I did not know I needed to reload my... I hate reloading with my guns in this game. Just dumb on me. Oh, my teammate found the key card. Good for my teammate. Good for you. All right, I really want to experiment and see if I can actually kill the juggernaut, like, right in here. I don't think any guards run around into here aside from the juggernaut. So I'm going for it. Okay, okay, uh, the sirens went off. I don't know if that was because of the juggernaut being dead right there or not. No idea. And my teammate left. Okay, yeah, honestly, I don't blame him for leaving after all of that, but he kind of screwed up that first attempt. No way around that. All right, so yeah, let me find a new session. Let me try that again. Yeah, this time, you know what? I'm actually gonna, like, look up the best way to do this with multiple people. I'm gonna do my research. I'm going to do my research. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. I got someone else new into here. Um, I did watch a video on, like, the best way to do it with multiple people. Um, I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do this way, but hopefully this goes pretty well. Oh yeah, I did lie, apparently. I thought the bundle of gold would take up 75% of a single person's loot bag. It's only two-thirds of your loot bag, so 66%. So I apologize. That was misinformation by me. All right, so we're inside the compound once again. Now, the thing is, is that we actually have to try to find the key card. It'll be a lot easier if I can find the key card very quickly. Um, I know a key card can spawn here, please. Thank you. Okay, that is huge. <laughs> <laughs> that was absolutely huge. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. See, the way I was doing it earlier, it was kind of more the way I do it solo. I try to use as much inspiration doing it solo. Um, but yeah, we take out these two guys. Then we're supposed to like run over here, run this way. Uh-oh. Oh, I think I messed up the timing. I think I already screwed up the timing. God dang it. I was supposed to kill that guy in between two buildings. Do not kill that guy. Okay, thank you. The teammate just arrived. Can you please turn around? It should be nice if he can turn around. Just turn around. No. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, I just need to kill you in between the buildings. That is what I was told. So now we go like this way. Go like this way, I think. This way. And then, yeah, we can take it out that guy. We go over here. And now we're at the actual compound. Uh, We can take out this guy right there. The guard wasn't below, so he's not going to hear. All right, so we're here at the office. We got the other key card. Let's go and open up the vault. And, okay, instead of 31,000, we got 41,000. Nice, improving. All right, so now we have to go collect the secondary loot. It's still going to be very, very complicated okay i would like this guard to move thank you no i think oh my god i think he saw my teammate oh, two teammate <sighs> Not great. That was not great. I'll show you again. Uh, I would like to get this guy first just to make sure he either has or does not have the key card because it's going to be very complicated if none of these guys along this route don't have the key card. Right, anyways, bam, bam, bam. Okay, key card right there. Cool. Once again, very nice. Okay, good. Killed that guy in between the buildings. So we're going to go this way. A body's been discovered by the camera. Okay, I assume the guy by the building I killed too late. I assume that's what happened. So that's my fault. Okay, key card once again. Getting lucky on the key cards, which I'm very happy about. Yeah, okay, yeah, he's turning around this way. I'm gonna wait for him to, you know, get a little closer because I think this is the guy that alerted the cameras. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Good enough. So the camera shouldn't be able to see. Go this way. Kill that guard. That guard had the gate keys, which is very good. That's on me. That's on me. There's a guard underneath. There's a guard underneath this guard that I just killed, which is so annoying. That's on me. I got a little carried away. God dang it. I'm blaming this on me being on vacation. <laughs> Yeah, first Kyo Perico heist with multiple players since being on vacation. Yeah, that's going to be my excuse. <laughs> oh, what? Yo, why? No, no, no. That was not on me. God damn it. I was patiently waiting for that guard to, like, create some separation from the guard below. Then our guy just got impatient. All right, we're back inside the office. How much money is going to be in here this time? 82000 Okay, that's good. That's been our best one so far. He wants to do the hack right now. It's not good, actually. No, no, no. We don't need to get the primary target yet. No. All right, this person is still hacking. Uh, I don't know how long it's been, but I don't think it's been quick. Let's just put it at that. Um, Yeah, we don't need to actually hack this yet because once you hack this and you collect the primary target, more guards spawn in. So we don't want that. 
that. So I'm not very confident in all the spots that I took out all the guards. Oh my God, he did it. Oh my God, he did it. Okay, wow, that took so long. You didn't even need to do that. Oh my God, yeah, now the guy is gonna go. Oh my God. Uh, to be fair, I didn't communicate with him, but my goodness. Fine, fine. You want to do it that way? That's fine. You know, I'll meet you down there. I'll meet you down there. Wow, yeah. This is like my teammate's worst nightmare, and I did it in, what, 15 seconds? Granted, he had three, I think. I don't know. All right, he collected the primary target. Congratulations. Um, We need secondary loot. Okay, yeah, we have absolutely no secondary loot. I would have preferred to, you know, get some secondary loot before, you know, we got into everything, but not today, I guess. So, yeah, we're going to collect the cash, I guess. Both of us are collecting cash right now. One of us is going to have to collect the gold. Okay, someone's been caught. Yeah, I think that was one of the new guards. At least I am pretty sure that is one of the new guards that just spawned in, which is fan freaking tastic. Yeah, literally we were just underground and we got caught. You know, that makes no sense. So yeah, awesome. I just messaged him and in the meantime, just alerted all the guards. So yeah, I'm just gonna jump off into the water, which automatically kills us. Fantastic. Oh, we left. Oh, good. A lot of those beginning attempts were my fault, but then he got just more and more frustrated. He said, all right, let me put this on my back. And then now he he clearly has no idea what he's doing, which is fantastic. All right, let's go get another person. All right, here we go. We're trying to do the Kyo Perigo heist once again. I've hired in the big guns, aka my boy Cam. See, the thing with Cam, unlike, you know, these other guys, okay, I won't blame the first guy that was in here, but the last guy was kind of getting in the way towards the end. You know, Cam is not going to get in the way. Cam knows what he's doing. All right, we're back in the compound once again. Um, Cam doesn't know my new strategy or the strategy I just looked up, but, you know, I'm kind of walking through it. Can I use a gun? A game? I would like to use a gun game there we go nice all right key card no key card all right cool uh so let's keep going cam okay, we're going this way so we're gonna go over here we're gonna take out that guy and this guy no key card over there there's gonna be one more person i would like for this key card to be with which is gonna be the guy in between the buildings all right so this guy's walking you better have a key card i'm gonna be pissed ready set Cam, why'd you come in from that way? Dude, I told you to follow me. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't good. No key card there. Fantastic. Um, we're gonna take out that guy. We're gonna go this way. And then we're gonna start climbing up here to the compound. All right, so I'm gonna go up here. This is the first run that we actually haven't found a key card with one of those four guys that I took out. So yeah, this is where this is gonna get a lot more complicated. But anyways, yeah, Cam just picked up the first key card. I just picked up the wall safe. So now we're gonna go back downstairs. We're gonna go all the way back around to the front. And then we're just gonna slowly take out people on the other side of the compound until someone has a key card. That would be very, very nice if someone had a key card. There's a guy right there. Found a key card. Cam, uh, I found a key card. Okay, now this is what we're gonna do, Cam, okay? We're gonna go over here. We're gonna start getting secondary loot. All right, so this gold is gonna take up 66% of my loot bag, but this is the only bundle of gold. Thank you, Rockstar. Really appreciate it. And there we go, that's 66%. So we're gonna need to go to more loot spots. Wait, whoa, 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 what happened? Who the heck spotted one of the guys I killed? <laughs> I don't even know what happened there. I really don't know what, dude. I don't even know who was spotted. I guess one of the people that was already taken out was spotted by another guard, but I don't know who. All right, so we got gate keys. We have a key card. Uh, the other key card's in here. Very nice. Got the second key card. Let's open up the secret safe. What is inside the secret safe? How much money? 84,000. That's all right. All right, let's try this again. Ready, set, go. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know who. I don't know who. I don't know who's being caught. One of the people that we're taking out, we're not supposed to take out, and I am very lost on who it's supposed to be. Okay, I am starting to believe that I'm actually taking out this guy right here a little too early, which is very strange. I don't know who gets this close, so I'm gonna have to wait a long time before I can actually take out this guy. I'm gonna wait for this guy to get right here. No, the reload. I hate reload. Okay, cool. I am hoping that that's a safe spot. It makes no sense how this guy, though, is the one that's being caught. There's literally no one over here. There's a juggernaut. The juggernaut's kind of running this way, but he turns around. Hold on. I'm gonna watch what he does. Yeah, the juggernaut. Wait, wait, you're taking out that guy. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So Cam accidentally was taking out one guy. Okay, we figured out our issue. There's a guard right here that Cam was taking out. Yeah, that guard does not need to be taken out. These two need to be taken out, at least the path that we're gonna take. Because the juggernaut, when he makes his lap, he eventually runs into that guy that Cam just found. Okay, I feel a lot better now. I feel a lot better. I was so confused why it was failing. All right, so now I'm gonna get the big bundle of gold right here. Very nice, got all the gold. All right, there we go. 
We just hacked into here. We're still not going to get the primary target yet. We're just going to get the secondary loot in here. This isn't going to fill up all of our secondary loot, but it's going to get us close. All right, my loot bag is fully maxed out. Cam's is not. All right, go get some more loot. Okay, so this should be Cam's final thing of loot. All right, so now we finally filled up both of our loot bags filled up secondary loot. So we're good. We are good now. So now we're just going to get the primary target and we're going to get off this island. I'm sick and tired of the guy over Rico Ice right now. <laughs> All right, there we go. We just got into the vault. Let's go collect our bearer bonds. We have everything we need. It's time for us to get out of here. I am so sick and tired of this ice. Let's run out of here, Cam. All right, all right. We made it to the escaping the compound point. All right, so now all we have to do is just get off the island. And I am so happy to get off this island. All right, we're getting out of here. We're absolutely getting out of here. This took a lot longer than I expected it to. My goodness. All right, and there we go. We have finally completed the Gaio Perico Ice. That took a lot longer than it should have. Yeah, not a pretty time, but hey, we're still gonna get paid. Yep, and there we go. Heist passed, finally. All right, so we had to actually take a $1,447,000. I got 85% of that, which is $1,230,000. We did have to quick restart. So yeah, $1,230,000 is going to be our final payment. All right, so after that Kyle Perico heist, we're now sitting at $1,731,000, which is enough for me to actually get the MOC. But actually, as you can see in the top left corner, we have a little Okay, well, it just disappeared, but it essentially said the happy hauler is on the map, which I haven't even messed around with the happy hauler at all. It's pretty much a thing that can give you like a bunch of presents out of the back of a hauler. I haven't messed around with it at all, and I actually kind of want to mess around with it right now. All right, so here we go. Here's the happy hauler. Um, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing with this. Isn't it just like, you know, presents coming out the back of this thing? Hey, where's my presents? Hey, am I doing something wrong? Oh, oh, present. It's open. What, what is that? <laughs> I got $9,350 and some snacks. Collecting one may unlock a unique reward. Hey, what the heck are you doing? Do you really want to be shooting at me? These are my presents, cowboy. Don't mess around with me. I don't know why he's trying to shoot at me. I'm just trying to get some presents. Do not piss me off. I'm on a depressor. I can kill you one shot. Oh my God, he's actually trying. Don't piss me off. I don't want to kill you. I don't want to be that guy with the oppressor. You know, I did just get snacks. so I can just eat some snacks. I mean, he's barely doing any damage. Okay. Really? I don't want to do this, but you're going to make me do this, which is going to be so unfortunate. I'm going to look like such a jackass, but it has to happen. All right, just because I don't want to kill this guy with an oppressor because, you know, I don't want to hear the, oh, oppressor griefer. I'm not. He's just pissing me off. I'm going to get into a corridor. If I see him, like, at all, I'm going to absolutely just bully him. No, you are not going to steal my presence from me. All right, we're getting close. <laughs> you know what? I want to see you shoot at me once. Shoot at me once. He won't. Oh, you just stole my present. Oh, no, you didn't. You didn't steal the present. Oh, this is mine. My present. Where's this present? Where's this? present. Where's this present? Game, you're being stupid. Wait, that's the gooch. What the? Okay, I'm so lost. There's the gooch. Okay, this is getting really weird, but here's the gooch, I guess. Let me just end the gooch, I guess. Die, die, die. There you go. I killed the gooch, which is like, you know, the Grinch, but I got $25,000 for that. That is not what I was trying to go for. I was trying to, you know, hop on the back of the holiday hauler, or what is it? The happy hauler? You know, collect some Christmas presents, because, you know, I deserve some presents. And then the gooch spawned it. This has just gotten so weird. All right, I'm pissed off at you. All right, there we go. He is not going to take my presents anymore. <laughs> or at least not for a while. Give me the present. Yes. $10,000 and ammo. Dude, is this like actually a strategy? Just like chill out behind the happy hauler and just like get a bunch of presents. It says you can collect a unique award. Like what is the unique award that you can get out of the happy hauler? Oh, happy hauler just ran into a light pole. Hey, I get the presents. You steal a present from me. You're getting a present of a missile. Dude, I feel like there's a basketball. I have to like box out right now. Dude, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't piss me off. I can kill you in a heartbeat. You know what? Screw it. No. That is not where I want to go. Uh oh. If he steals a present, I'm going to be. He just stole a present. You can barely see it on the mini map. You know the rules. You steal a present, you're going to get a present of your own. You're going to get a present straight from me. Here's your present. You're welcome. There's your present. Happy holiday. $10,000 for killing that piece of garbage? It's just a truck. Jeez, I probably am losing money now <laughs> just off of this holiday hauler. Oh, here's this guy again and his Karuma. That's so cool. What the frick are you in? Uh oh. <laughs> Uh oh, <laughs> I pissed him off. Nope, nope. Okay, okay, I got, <laughs> this has gotten so weird. Okay, okay, just keep going, just keep going. Just give me another present and I'm out of here. I just want one more present. Where's my present? Uh, where did I get? 10,000 and some snacks. Really appreciate it. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm about to die. So we're going to go to an invite only. Go. All right, cool. Thanks. <laughs> Dude, he's a little competitive with the holiday all. All right, all right. Hey, I got something. All right, so now it's time for us to actually, you know, 
purchase the MOC. Got a little sidetrack there. So yeah, um, I am going to turn this into a command center. So yeah, now this is going to cost us $1,545,000. So yeah, let's purchase that. And there we go. All right, so here's our beautiful MOC right here. Um, Yeah, let's see what I can do. I can customize the cab. I don't really want to. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, 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 okay, never mind. Okay, I was about to be really sad for a second. Okay, I thought the command center was about to be worthless for us because I thought I had to purchase front and rear turrets, but I still get a front turret. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I was about to be really, really sad for a second. Okay, but still, very nice. We got a new MOC. Yeah, so pretty much with the MOC, we can like enter the back of this MOC right here. And this is where we can actually get to the command center. Oh my God, we decorated in here. Whoa, it's a little late for that, but okay. So yeah, this is the command center. I think this is a turret right here. Yeah, this is the turret. We could just take out people inside of this thing, even though it's very limited. <laughs> All right, so next episode, we're actually going to spin the wheel of businesses to see what business we're going to have to buy next since we just got this off the wheel of luxury. Make sure you check. Five months ago, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only businesses I've bought on this account have come through spinning a wheel determining what I should buy next. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what business I am going to have to purchase. So welcome to the 65th episode of season number two of Losers of Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so currently right now, I am on the wheel of businesses and I'm on the wheel of businesses because the last item I purchased came off the wheel of luxury, which was the MOC. And the last business I purchased off the wheel of businesses was the auto shop. But what is gonna be the next business I am going to have to purchase? And it looks like we are gonna have to go out and get ourselves the best MC business in the game, which is going to be the Cola Factory. All right, so here's all the cola lockups right here. We have the cheapest one at $975,000, and we have the most expensive one at $1,852,000. So to determine what cola lockup I'm going to have to purchase, I have a wheel up right here, which is the wheel of one to four. So how this is going to work is number one is going to be the cheapest option, which is going to be the Alamo Sea location coming in at $975,000. And then the next cheapest one will be number two. And then the second most expensive one will be number three. And then the most expensive one will be be number four. All right, so let's spin the wheel and let's see what cola lockup we are going to have to purchase. And it looks like we're gonna have to get number three, which is gonna be a little bit awkward for my MC businesses, because this means we're gonna have to get the Elysian Island location. And I'm saying it's gonna be a little awkward because all of my MC businesses, well, there's two in Polito Bay, which is very weird in itself. And then there's one in the Sandy Shores area. So now I have one all the way at the most Southern point of the map in Elysian Island. But anyways, we're gonna have to get Get this location right here and this location is going to cost us one million four hundred and sixty two thousand dollars and currently right now i have two hundred and forty two thousand dollars so we roughly need to get like 1.2 million dollars before we can actually purchase that cola lockup all right so now i'm on the wheel of quick cash so how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to go out and do the junk energy time trial for today all right so currently right now I am on the wheel of making money. So what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to go out and sell off our hanger. So in the background, I've been accumulating some product inside of my hanger. So we're going to sell off all of the product that I've accumulated in this episode. All right. So we're selling off everything from my hanger. But what else in this episode am I going to have to do in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to, what are we doing? Oh, okay. Wow. That was a last second turn of the wheel. So we are going to have to do two auto shop contracts. We haven't done a single auto shop contract for this season of Losers of Luxury. But today that's going to change. We are going to do two auto shop contracts. All right. So I'm going to do two auto shop contracts and then I'm going to head over to my hangar and sell off everything from inside of my hangar. But first I'm going to have to do the junk energy time trial. So let's jump into that. All right. So I've made it over to the junk energy time trial. And as you can see, the snow is still on the ground. Oh, we have two more episodes of Losers of Luxury with snow on the ground, so just be patient. I know the snow is already gone when you're watching this, but it is still snowy for me. But it really doesn't affect the Junk Energy time trial so much, so I'm not too worried about it. Depending on what auto shop contract, it might screw me up during that, which won't be good. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so right now we're doing a Junk Energy time trial, and when we complete this, we're going to get $50,000. There's a pretty easy way to make a casual $50,000 just for biking around, you know. Nothing too crazy here. Here we go. This is the final 
mile stretch. So we have to go up like these few hills right in here. And oh my, just too easy. We're going to have like, what, nine seconds to spare? Yeah, nine seconds to spare. Pretty easy stuff. Easy $51,000 in my bank account. So now we're sitting on $293,000. But now it's time for me to start up an auto shop contract. We need to do two of those. So let's head over to my auto shop. All right, so I'm at my auto shop right now. And behind me is going to be the board of all of the auto shop contracts that we can do. Now with these auto shop contracts, there's a total of, I think eight, if I'm remembering correctly. And every single one of these, we get a $50,000 first time bonus for doing it for the first time. So that's gonna be pretty nice. Oh yeah, also with the auto shop contracts, there's one in particular that's like really, really good, which is going to be the union depository contract. For this wheel spin, we are not gonna cheese our way to just do the union depository contract every single time. So how this wheel spin is gonna work is I'm gonna select one of the three that's currently on the board. So right now I can select from the agency deal, the prison contract and the lost contract. But right now the union depository contract is not on the board. So I can't just go in and cheese my way to go get the union depository contract to get on the board. I'm gonna have to select one of these three. And then after we complete this, the same is going to apply for the next auto shop contract we're gonna do. Just trying to promote variety, you know? We just don't wanna do the same auto shop contract over and over again, cause it's gonna be boring, you know? I'm here to provide the most entertaining GTA online content there is on YouTube. And you don't wanna just see me just grind out the union depository contract. No, I'm doing you a disservice. It's just yawn boring. So yeah, make sure you smash that subscribe button if you wanna see more of the best GTA online content on YouTube. And if you wanna see my videos earlier than the average person, then you can click the link in the description to join my membership. But anyways, let's click on one of these contracts. Um, the agency deal is gonna pay out the most with $182,000. So yeah, we're gonna select the agency deal right here. Um, so Santa's talking right now. I'm not listening. I have my headset off because I think she's really annoying. Anyways, with this wheel spin, I want to try to do every auto shop contract once so I can get the first time bonus for every single auto shop contract. We were able to do it last season, season one of Losers of Luxury. I don't know if it's going to be possible for this season since we got the auto shop so late. So like there might be times where the union depository contract will be on the board, but I might select one of the other ones over it just so I can get the first time bonus. And that's not even going to be like worth it financially, but it's going to be more fun. So how an auto shop contract is going to work is it's essentially like a mini heist. You have two setups, which are the two things up top. So the entry point and the security pass. And then the bottom thing right here is going to be the finale. And for this one, it's going to be the raid. In order to unlock the raid, I have to do these first two setups. So yeah, I'm not going to bore you with any of these setups. These setups are pretty boring. So I'll see you when we're ready to do the finale. All right. So he's fully set up the agency deal. Yeah, actually for this second setup, I had to do it twice because right after I finished doing it for the first time, my internet lagged a little bit and it didn't give me credit for completing it. So I had to do it over again. Ha ha, I loved it so much, I wanted to do it twice. But anyways, we're ready to do the finale. So essentially, I'll kind of give you, I guess, a little bit of the storyline or at least what we're trying to do. So we're trying to break into the IA facility. Um, I don't know why. Okay, we were finding a recipe. Okay, I'm trying to read the description. A recipe for what? Are we baking cookies or something? What are we doing? I wasn't listening. God, that's probably on me, but the description is not great either. I don't know exactly what I'm stealing, but let's jump into it. Oh, 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 I almost forgot too. Okay, so this is very unique for the auto shop contract. So in this screen right here, I almost just flew right past it, which I've done it plenty of times. But on this screen right here, there's a little section right here called weapon loadout. So you can choose your weapon loadout. And the one that it defaults on, the sharpshooter one, is not good. It is not good at all. Um, Essentially, with all these weapon loadouts, you get one Mark II weapon. And this one, it's the Mark II heavy sniper, which is not good. Or at least for this mission, it's not good. Uh, then this one right here is Hustler with a bullpup rifle, Mark II. And then this one right here is a pump shotgun, Mark II. My favorite is the Hustler. It's very versatile. Um, So yeah, that's what we're going to go with. So yeah, now let's jump into it. All right, so here we go. We're jumping into our first ever auto shop contract, which is going to be the agency deal. Unfortunately, I have to drive Sasanta's stupid car, but it's okay, whatever. All right, so we have to go to the tunnel entrance and then we have to drive underneath the ground so we can find the secret entrance for the IAA facility. Now for these missions, if you don't have an LS tuners vehicle you have to drive Sasanta's yellow obey tailgater so unfortunately i have to drive this car unless if on the wheel of luxury i land on a tuners vehicle which that would be so nice but yeah as of right now no we have to drive this stupid car it's like actually not that stupid of a car it's actually a pretty fast car but i do not like Sasanta, so i don't want anything to deal with like this car anything to deal with her this first part i kind of have to bring her car down here but as soon as we get to a good point i am going to ditch her car we're not at a good point yet. We have to go inside the IA facility. We have to take out
got a bunch of people, so this is gonna be fun. So here we go. We're inside. This guy's already pissed off at me. I'll put the gun away. I'm not here to do any harm. Oh, I put my gun away. Coward. Hey, here's all the people. Um, I forgot. Yeah, this one's kind of tough. These people are pretty accurate. Like, I almost just died. But luckily, I ate some snacks. So yeah, we have to work our way up to the interrogation room. But we probably have to take out, I don't know, let's just say like 30 people. What just blew up? Something just blew up. I have no idea what blew up. But I died because of an explosion from somewhere. I don't know where there's... Okay, okay, okay. Calm down, people. Calm down. I walked in with a gun, but then I put my gun away, and then they're like, uh-uh, uh-uh, you're dead. Yeah, I was thinking this earlier, but this might be one of the hardest auto shop contracts to complete, just because, like, all the people we have to take out. These people are pretty accurate. These people are very accurate, as you saw. Even smart, too. No, you're not fooling me this time. Whoa, whoa, what is on fire? No, 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 no. There's a gas tank, right? I did not know there's a gas tank. That blends in so well, because I think there's multiple things that are, like, red over there. Wow, that blended in so well. I almost died right there because of that. Again. All right, we good now. At least everyone down here. Almost. No, 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 no. Dude, this is even with this loadout. Just imagine if I chose the sharpshooter loadout. Oh my gosh, that would be so annoying. Maybe if I do this one ever again for loser luxury, maybe I'll just use the sharpshooter loadout for fun, but that's going to be painful. All right, so we made it upstairs, which is very nice. No. I died so quickly. I died so quickly. I'm hoping there's a checkpoint. No, <laughs> there's, there's no checkpoint. Great. That's great. All right. I died immediately once I got to this door because there's a few people right there that just killed me quickly. But I can't really get good cover to take these guys out. Or maybe I can. I don't know. Oh, there's a shotgun guy. Hmm. Not anymore. Uh, there's a guy in here. Is there any more guys in any of these rooms? That doesn't look like it. All right, I'm going to go into the interrogation room. And yeah, we get this cutscene with this guy. And this is a guy who apparently has like the cookie recipe. I don't know what recipe. I assume it's for some kind of like product. I'm going to call it product, but I don't know. KDJ wants me to slap him. I, that wasn't a slap. I think I closed my fist on that. That's okay. That was a good punch. You know, last episode, I beat up the Yeti with only my bare fist. So yeah, he deserves a punch in the face, I guess. I don't know. I don't know this guy. Maybe he's the Santa and KDJ like set this guy up and now he's like locked up in the IA facility. It could happen, you know. All right, so now I have to leave the IA facility. Ah, there's more people. Oh, I love how many people I have to take out on this one. Okay, how many more people? Is there another? Oh, I, yeah, there's a guy right there. It's like two more people over here. Oh, shotgun guy. Wow, you're so cool. Oh, right, there you go. That guy's dead. Um, Now we can leave. We can leave the IA building. So now I have to leave the tunnel, so I have to use the Santa's wonderful car. I got to leave the tunnels and I'm going to leave the tunnels. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go this way. I died because it's a Santa's car. Yeah, that was so clear and obvious. It's not even funny. If I had any other car, I would have survived there. You know what? Just because of that. No, I'm stealing this car. We're going to take the FIB Granger. Oh, yeah. Another thing with these auto shop contracts. Um, so Santa and KDJ talk about like, oh, you have to be the best driver to complete these. No, no, no. It's just a heist. It is literally just a heist. Like, oh, you got to prove that you're the best driver. No, no, I don't. Yeah, literally, there goes to Santa right there. Let's see some driving. No, 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 no. You know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to go over to a certain location. I'm going to get a helicopter. I'm going to fly. I definitely use this during the Union Depository contract. Yeah, you can come over here. You can get out. Go over here. Climb up this. Climb up this. Climb up this. And we're going to go over here. Climb up this. Climb up this. Go over here. And then as you can see up there, there's a nice helicopter that we can use. So yeah. So Santa and Katie's here telling, oh, you got to be the best driver. Mm -mm, mm, I got to be the best pilot. All right. So here we go. We've made it over to the buried recipe location. I got to find this recipe location. And the cops are still on on me, which is great. If I was a buried recipe, where would I be? How is it not, dude? There's like these little potholes all across here. Bro, where is this? Is it this location? What location can this be? I'm so lost. You have these like little potholes that look like this and you would suspect it'd be somewhere in here, but any ones I've searched. All right, I can't take the cops right now. I'm gonna lose the cops and I'm gonna come back here. This is getting ridiculous. Maybe I need to actually lose the cops. It doesn't really say it at the bottom of my screen, but maybe I actually have to lose the cops. All right, so I lost the cops. Let's try this again. Maybe that was my issue. I don't know. Oh, it was here. Oh, oh, I think they dig multiple holes, but like this was like the only one. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to wrap my head around it. It's not really making a ton of sense. I don't know. We just need to deliver the recipe to the client and we should be good to go. Yeah, so maybe I didn't have to lose the cops. I think that might've been my fault, but still it is very tough to try to find that recipe. All right, so we made it over to the client and yeah, we have to deliver this to Miguel Madrazo right here. And yeah, 
there's KDJ. There, there you go. And thank you very much. And there we go. Contract pass. I got $163,000 for that, plus a first time bonus, which we'll see in a little bit. Yeah, for these contracts, KDJ and Sasanta, they take like 10% payment, which kind of sucks, but it's all right. All right, there we go. Oh, oh, I thought it was $50,000. It's a $75,000 first time bonus. It's actually pretty good. And then I didn't mention this earlier, but for doing the setups too, you get $15,000 each. So we made $284,000 off of that auto shop contract, but we still have one more auto shop contract that we have to do. So let's jump into that one. All right, so we're back here at the auto shop contract board. We have three new contracts that are up. Uh, I don't even think any of these were on the board last time. We have the super dollar deal, the bank contract, and the data contract. Um, hmm. You know, I'm going to mix it up. I'm not going to do the most expensive one. I'm actually going to do the bank contract. So there we go. Um, so Santa is telling me exactly what's going to happen here. I am taking off my headset because I already know what I'm doing. But once again, we have two setups that we have to do. Um, I think a single jammer one, I really don't even have to do that setup. I think that one I could literally just jump to another session and it'll count the setup as complete and that's just because how the setup works you know i'll show you how that works but yeah i'm gonna jump into this first setup and then we'll get into the signal jammer setup and then we'll be ready to do the finale all right so we just completed the thermal charges setup now i'm gonna show you exactly what i'm talking about with the signal jammer setup right here so yeah let's jump into that so for this one we have to go and destroy a bunch of signal jammers uh so santa I'd like to call me thank you all right yeah so wants us to go to palomino avenue and no we're not gonna do that we're just gonna jump into a new session my spawn point is at the auto shop and then we'll go back to our board right here and yeah, there you go <laughs> it's just too funny you save so much time there you go we've quote unquote completed it the best way i can explain this is that one setup for every diamond casino heist where you have to take out all the duggan shipments like for that prep you can destroy four out of ten duggan shipments you can destroy seven out of ten duggan shipments you can destroy ten out of ten shipments you can destroy zero it doesn't matter once the ten minutes are finished then boom you're done but like let's just say you just start that up and you just did what I did, then boom, you attempted to take out the Duggan shipments, but you failed to get zero because you just jumped into another session. That's pretty much what happened here. But anyways, let's jump into the robberies. So we have to rob the cash in the vault of the Fleece of Bank branches and deliver it to the client. So let's jump into it. All right, here we go. We're jumping into the bank contract. I am inside of Sasanta's dumb car. Oh, we have six Fleece of Banks we have to rob. My goodness. So yeah, we can take out these banks in whatever order we want. Um, I'm going to use Sasanta's car for the entirety of this mission. Just because this car is pretty good. I don't like this car just because it's Sasanta's, but I'll use it for this mission. Just so I can have a fast getaway. And I think she has bulletproof tires, which is very nice. It's like the one smart thing she's done. So anyways, we've made it here to the Fleece of Bank. We're just going to walk on in. And now we just have to steal the cash from the vault. So yeah, we have to break into the vault with this thermal charge. Okay, there we go. And now we're in. And now we can actually start collecting the cash. All right, so yeah, now we just have to collect all this cash right here. And we have to do this for six different banks so yeah now there's a bunch of cops outside of this fleece of bank i mean i parked the car in a very good spot so all i have to do is just run out get in the car there's only one cop car like what are y'all doing y'all are kind of lacking today whatever yeah let's move on to the next bank all right, so here we go here's the next fleece of bank so yeah park the car somewhat like this so you can make an easy getaway out we're gonna run on in and do the same thing right, there we go we just collected all the cash from that bank four more banks to go uh let's see how many cops are outside here here. It doesn't seem like too many. Oh, there's a guy in front of my car. I ran him over. I am so sorry. He didn't deserve that. But at the same time, get out the way. Yeah, there's like four of these fleece of banks in Los Santos. And then there's like four of them elsewhere. But yeah, this next one, you can't really get so close to the door. So it's going to be the spot I'm going to park. Um, there's a security camera here. Like, why do I care about a security camera? I already have the cops on me. Like this security camera, they think it's going to do like a big deal. Like, no, it's not. Yeah, the cops don't even run inside the bank either, which I kind of find that funny. It's very convenient for me but there we go another bank has been robbed three more to go Oh, I just ran over that woman. I, jeez. Why do y'all hang out, like, right next to my car right after you know I'm robbing the bank? Like, get as far away from the bank as possible. Like, that just makes sense. Here we go. Next Fleece of Bank right here. Last one in Los Santos. Back up a little bit right here. Nice. Well, maybe it's because I'm trapping, like, the people inside the bank <laughs> from escaping properly. <laughs> that might be the reason why they just keep hanging out by my car, but whatever. We should just go around. I right, got fourth bank down. Two more to go, and let's get out of Los Santos 
those. And I think the next one I'm gonna go to is the one in the Chumash area, the one where we do the Fleece of Bank heist. I made it to the fourth bank. Um, I'm gonna turn my car around this way, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Dude, I just realized there's a chair inside the vault. Why is there a chair inside the vault? Like, do people need to sit down while they're just putting the cash inside the vault? Like, is this red chair right there? Like, why is that red chair there? I don't know. I don't know. Makes no sense. What does make sense, though, is putting the money in the bag like that. And there we go. One more bank I have to rob. All right, finally made it to the final fleece of bank, which is all the way in the Sandy Shores area. All right, there we go. We just collected all the money. I think there's a lot of cops here now. Oh, okay, a lot of cops just despawned on the mini map. I don't know what is happening outside, but whatever. Oh, no, they didn't. They did not. I love how the game just faked me out like that. Um, yeah, I need to lose the cops and deliver the cash to the client. I need a vehicle. This will be nice. Uh, nice vehicle. Something that's not DeSantis' car. That'd be very great. All right, there we go. We just made it over to the client. All right, here is the client. Here is your bag, and thank you for my cash. And there we go. Contract passed. So we made $160,000 off of that one, plus the $75,000 first-time bonus. All right, so for those two auto shop contracts, we made $500,000. $49,000. So we're now currently sitting on $842,000. But now it's time for us to go over to my hangar and sell off all of my product inside of my hangar. So let's get into that. All right, so we've made it over to my hangar. And as you can see right here, we have 17 out of 50 units inside of our hangar. So yeah, let's go over here and let's sell off everything. So we can sell off all the product for $510,000. But we're in a public session with at least 25 players. So we're going to get a 50% bonus on whatever we can can sell. So for selling off our hangar, we have two different sell missions. We can either sell it via the air or we can sell it via the land. And the land sell missions are a lot easier. So obviously you're going to do that. So let's jump into it. All right, here we go. We have to sell off our cargo. This one, we have to take this buggy right here. We have to go to 10 different locations, which is just a very interesting delivery vehicle. It's a very small box in the back of this too, but okay, whatever. You know what? Let's just get into it. I mean, usually I've been getting the sell missions where I'm in like a big tractor trailer hauler and I have to take that hauler to just like a specific location and boom that's it this one's actually a little different right now we're in a nagasaki outlaw which i can already tell this thing is slipping all over the place on the snow so this is gonna be fun it's been a little bit since i recorded loser to luxury i think i went on vacation like over a week ago but if i remember correctly the last cell mission that we did we did successfully but the previous like three i think it was we got griefed on <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I don't think it's been a very good stretch for me selling off my product. So hopefully we'll have some good luck here today and we won't have anyone messing around with us. It's a good thing that we're selling off our product up kind of towards the Mount Chiliad area because really no one should be up here trying to grief anyone. Like it's not convenient for them to grief me. Let's just put it at that. You know, like the Los Santos cell missions, it's pretty convenient for them to grief me. I just drive by them and they're like, oh, okay, I'll just take you out. Boom, done. This, not so much. They have to make an effort to come out and get me. All right, I have never gotten this cell mission before for the hangar. My goodness, yeah, this is a little bit annoying, but here we go. We've made it over to the first location, and yeah, we have nine more locations to go... Dude, well, that pisses me off. I think this is another location. I think. Oh, the buyer has placed blue flares to show the best route. Oh, oh, that's what the blue flares were for. I thought the blue flares were telling me like another location I can go to. No. Okay. Well, I guess thank you for showing me the best route, but I don't think it's the most necessary thing. I mean, they just have me driving in this little ravine right here. And what, I'm supposed to get out of the ravine? Okay. I mean, that was pretty quick. Oh, okay. Okay. There was not a blue flare right at that tree. So that's all me. There you go. Next location done. Oh, the next one's very, very close. Thank you. I really appreciate that. All right, here's the next location. And there we go. Seven more locations to go. All right, here we go. Next location. All right, six more locations we have to go to. Yeah, so far, really no one has been close to me other than there's a guy I think in his arcade all the way up in Plato Bay. But aside from that, there's really no one up here. There we go. Next location right here. Five more to go. There we go. Another location down. Four more locations to go. All right, another location down three more to go all right here we go another location down two more locations to go all right second to last location and there we go one more to go this has gone very very smoothly i am very happy with this i'm not very happy with the snow 
It's okay. The snow's about to melt soon. All right, and there we go. Here's our final location. There we go. 10 out of 10 has been delivered. Let's just leave the area. And there we go. We successfully sold off all of our cargo for $745,000. All right, so now we're currently sitting at $1,563,000, which is actually enough for me to purchase the Elysian Island Cola Lockup. So let's head back over to my clubhouse and purchase that Cola Lockup. All right, so we're back here and we're going to go over to buy businesses. We're going to scroll over to the cola and we're going to click on the cola lockup right here. The Elysian Island location for $1,462,000. So let's click to purchase it. And uh, there we go. That is another business in our bag. We have four more businesses we actually have to buy. So yeah, now let me head over to Elysian Island. Let's set that thing up. All right, so this is the building where my cola lockup is at. And before I actually like get into it, uh, I want to show you exactly the location. So it's this thing right here. It's this icon on the map. It's like the southern part of Los Santos, downtown Los Santos. So I just want to show you where my other MC businesses are. <laughs> There's one right here, the counterfeit cash factory, right at the middle of the map. And then we need to scroll up even more <laughs> where we have our methodology lab and our grass farm. <laughs> yeah, that is absolutely crazy. We are just spread out all across the map now with MC businesses. But anyways, let's head inside the cola lockup. So yeah, this is our cola lockup right here we're gonna make all of our cola but in order for us to actually start running this business we have to actually set it up all right so yeah i'm gonna click the setup button and we're gonna try to hurry this up and set this thing up all right so we completed the setup so all the supplies and equipment are in here now so in next episode we're gonna have to spin the wheel of luxury to determine what item we're gonna have to buy next make back in august i started as a level one on a new account in gta online and the only items i've bought on this account have come through spinning a wheel determining what I should buy next. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what item I am going to have to purchase. So welcome to the 66th episode of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so currently right now, I am on the wheel of luxury and I'm on the wheel of luxury because the last item I purchased came off the wheel of businesses and that was the cola lockup. And the last item I purchased off the wheel of luxury was the mobile operations center. But what is gonna be the next item I'm gonna have to purchase off the wheel Wheel of Luxury. And it looks like we are going to have to get ourselves an RC Bandito. All right, so here's the RC Bandito right here. It's going to cost us $1,590,000 for this small little remote control vehicle. And currently right now, I'm sitting on $123,000. So we need to make like $1.4 million before we can actually get our hands on the RC Bandito. All right, so currently right now, I'm on the wheel of quick cash. So how am I going to start out this episode? in order to make money. And it looks like we are gonna have to make our way over to the Diamond Casino and spin the lucky wheel. All right, so right now I'm on the wheel of making money. So what are we gonna have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to do security contracts. It barely stayed on it, but yes, we are. We're gonna have to do four to six security contracts. All right, so here's the wheel of four to six, and this is gonna determine how many security contracts we're gonna have to do so let's spin the wheel and let's see how many security contracts we are going to have to do today please land on five please stay on five. Oh my please yes okay okay we got five all right all right <laughs> all right so i'm gonna have to do five security contracts but what else in this episode am i going to have to do in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to play the boosted money job wow we haven't gotten this wheel spin in a long long time but in order to determine how long we're gonna have to do this boosted money job we are on the wheel of one to two hours so let's spin the wheel and let's see how long we have to complete the boosted money job and it looks like we get an hour and 30 minutes to do the boosted money job all right so we got to do five security contracts and then we got to play one hour and 30 minutes of the boosted money job for this week which this one's going to be snow related this is going to be the last episode with snow so that should be fun but first gotta head over to the diamond casino and see if i can win anything good off the lucky wheel all right, so I've made it over to the Lucky Wheel, and I do not know how I've acquired 25,000 chips, but I guess after I spin the wheel, I'll cash in those chips. So I'm going to get a free $25,000 somehow. But anyways, we can win even more chips. We can win some cash. We can even win the podium vehicle, but we could land on clothing, uh, a mystery item, a discount, you know, a bunch of crap. So let's spin the wheel. Okay, the, no, no, that's not how we spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Okay, here we go. Let's land on a vehicle. We've already done it once. Um, I don't think it's going to make it to vehicle, is it? No, please go, please go. 
secure. No, shoot. We're gonna get RP. Yeah, that's what I needed. Thank you. All right. Well, anyways, I get $25,000 from this 25,000 ships somehow. I got the visitor bonus too. So I got $26,000 off of that. So great. All right. But now let's jump into the security contracts. I'm actually going to start out with two security contracts and then I'm going to go out and do the boost and money job for an hour and 30 minutes. And then I'm going to come back and finish my final three security contracts. All right. So I've made it over to my agency and this is where we're going to start up security contracts. Now you can call up Franklin to start up security contracts, but I don't like to do that because when you call Franklin, you're just given a security contract to do. But here you get to actually select from three. And the thing with selecting from three is that you can pick the highest paying one. Like this one's a professional. This one's a professional and this. Okay. Well, that didn't really showcase what I was trying to show here. Um, all three of these are crap, but this one right here, recover valuables is going to pay out the most at $35,000. Dollars. Not a great start, but it's a start. We're going to start out with this. All right, so for this security contract, we have to go over to Tequila La, and then we have to go recover a certain valuable. So yeah, instead of walking through the front door of Tequila La, we have to go through the back door, which is over here. And let me get my assault shotgun ready, because this is going to be a fun time. So first, we have to go over here, and there's a bunch of people right here. And we're going to take these people out. Oh my dude, I almost died from that. That is so annoying. Anyways, there is no safe here. Okay, sometimes the safe spawns in here. Sometimes it doesn't. This time it doesn't. So yeah, we pretty much have to take out everyone now. It's a decent amount of people that we have to take out. It's all close quarters. So yeah, assault shotgun. Very, very nice. But doesn't mean that you're invisible. <laughs> all right, that first attempt didn't happen. You didn't see anything. That was just for laughs. Ha 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 ha. All right, there we go. I think everyone's taken out right here. Oh, uh, she don't see a safe. So it means the safe is most likely down here in the basement. So yeah, there's like some more people over here. We're going to take out. Where's the safe? Oh, yeah, okay. The safe is right here. Now I got to find a combination for this safe. There's a combination should be on a yellow sticky note somewhere. And it's right here. Very nice. So we just collect the sticky note and then we have to go and open up the safe. Excuse me, but you were down here earlier. My goodness, I almost died from that. Just walk down and then I get shot with a shotgun. And I was like, no, there's no way because I killed everyone down here. But apparently someone just spawned in out of thin air. I mean, we are playing a video game, whatever. Uh, So now we have to exit Tequila La and take this back to the agency and we should be good to go. All right, so we've made it back to the agency. All right, and there we go. That's the first security contract done. We have four more to go, but there's a cooldown for these security contracts. I think it's like five minutes in between security contracts. So I'm going to sit here and wait and then we'll go back and do some more security contracts. All right, so our timer has expired. So yeah, let's start up another security contract. And okay, first one is a specialist plus. Oh, I forgot to mention this too. There's three different levels of security contracts. The lowest level, which is going to pay out the lease, is going to be the professional level. And then there's a specialist level. And then there's a specialist plus level. And the specialist plus level is going to pay out the most. The first one that we did was a professional level. That was the worst. This one right here is specialist plus. This one's the best, but let me make sure. Oh my, I got two specialist plus ones but this one's only 64,000 and this one's professional back down to 38,000. So yeah, we're obviously going to do vehicle recovery and this one's going to pay out $69,000. Ha ha, funny number. Let's get into it. All right, so for vehicle recovery, we essentially have to go to a certain location, steal a vehicle and then bring it back to the agency. The location we have to get to right now is going to be a hangar inside of LSIA. Uh, this one can be a little annoying. I think if I remember correctly, we're going to have to steal a bike out of this one. All right, so yeah, we have to locate stolen murder site and you think, oh, this doesn't look so hard. No, there's a few people over there. So let's just make this quick. Dude, we just died so quickly. I mean, yeah, I didn't take any cover. That's on me, but like still, we died so quickly. All right, screw it. You know what? I've killed enough people. There's still a few more people left, but yeah, the bike is in here. It's inside of the Titan. So yeah, we have to unlock the hangar door. There's like a button over here. Okay, dude, dude, just let me leave. Like, let me leave. Come on, guys. I don't think they're getting the message right. I just want to borrow the bike. You know, borrow. So, yeah, after you get the vehicle, a lot more people spawn in. That's pretty much what happened. There's a ton of people in here now. But anyways, we just have to press the green button. We take our sweet time doing it, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, now we have to get into the reaver. And then we have to head back to the agency, and we should be good to go. No. Whoa. <sighs> Uh, stupid car just had a turn right there. I mean, like, clearly there was a car. Oh, my God. That car just zipped right past me. Some other vehicle recovery missions, you can, like, steal, like, a normal car. Yeah, stealing a bike is a little bit more annoying because, you know, you can get hit easier. Like, with bullets, you can be a terrible driver and, like, accidentally run into obstacles. They could run into the back of you. And plus, it's snowing still, even though it's the last day, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so we just have to deliver the Reaver right here, and we should be good to go. All right, there we go. That's another security contract completed. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to jump into doing an hour and 30 minutes of the boost and money job. 
All right, so I've made it over to the featured series little blip on the map, and the featured series for this week is going to be Entourage, the festive remix. So this is what we're going to be playing for an hour and 30 minutes. So yeah, let's see if we can find anyone that's actually playing this. All right, so the timer is about to start right if the game will load right. Come on, game load now. All right, clock is running an hour and 30 minutes. We're starting out with Entourage, number two fest of the festive remix. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm Santa. I have to go to the safe zone. Aren't I in the safe zone? Dude, I don't know. What is going on? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. There's a reindeer in downtown Los Santos. Okay, make it to... Oh, the shoot. There's a little thing that told me what I was supposed to do, but I didn't read it in time. I think I'm supposed to make it to the safe zone in time before the Krampuses, you know, come out and attack me. What guns do I have? I have a special carbine, a sniper. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Guns are blazing already. Wait, do they know where I'm at? Ah! Oh, thank you for protecting me, sir. Oh, I appreciate that. Hmm. I feel like... Oh, there's a guy right here. Oh, nice jump. Oh, reload. Okay, well, there's a guy over there, clearly. I saw him jump. Oh, there's a Krampus. Okay, there we go. I got a kill. Nice. Easy. There's no way to go fast in this. You can't really sprint or jump. So far, we're moving forward. So, yeah, there's apparently, like, an enemy team trying to kill us, and they're the Krampuses. <laughs> like, okay. <gasps> ah, ah, ah. Oh, easy. You know what? Screw it. You know what? No, 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 no. Oh, I actually wanted I wanted to see if I can actually, like, fist fight him. <laughs> I probably could win that, honestly, with my strategy. Hold on. Hold on. You know what? I'm actually going to do it. This is going to be so stupid. I don't care. Yeah, you're right here. No, 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 no. I want to fist fight you. Let's go. <laughs> oh, no. Bop. Bop. Okay, okay. Now we got it. Almost died there, but we're still good. Oh, I can go up here and get an RPG. That's cool, I guess. Okay, yeah. Keep that in mind for when we're Krampus, though. I can do the glitch punch technique and get easy kills. There's a guy right here. He died, yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm apparently max health. I thought I was already max health. There's a Krampus over here. Hey, bro, I know you're right there. Oh, that was kind of silly. It's okay. You're still dead. Yeah, on it. No, no, no. Team. Okay, thank you. I kind of let my guard down for a second. That's on me. We need to make this safe zone. How far away is the safe zone? Oh, 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 it's the Avenger right there. Okay, we're at the final stretch. All right, and there we go. We've made it to the safe zone. And there we go, round winner. That seemed pretty easy as the team that we were on. All right, here we go. Round number two of Entourage. And I am now a Krampus. Uh, how do I jump high again? Okay, that's how you jump high. Got it, got it. Okay, yeah, okay, 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 okay. okay. There's two of us Krampuses, and then there's two elves, and then there's a Santa. We obviously need to kill the Santa. Honestly, I feel like the Santa job is so easy. Okay, okay. I wasn't doing anything. Hold on. All right, should I just go in for an attack? Like, I'm about to die anyways. Yeah, I knew I was about to die. I didn't have any health. And no, you can't use snacks in this. Don't say that. You know, I want to do the glitch punch strategy. Like, if I can get that going, I think I actually have a good shot of killing the Santa. But I have to get that started. No, I'm not here. I'm not here. You don't see me. Wait, no, jump. Okay, there we go. That's all I wanted. <laughs> Bop. No, no, no. Glitch punch strategy. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's two. That was two shots. Or three. That might have been three. That was good. That was productive. That was productive. Okay. okay. They're running this way. They're pretty close together, which, I mean, is smart. Okay, run. Run towards me. Please run towards me. Bop. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. One more, one more. I did it. We won, right? That's it? <laughs> Yes! Oh, oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh, New Year, same old Dr. Clutch, if you ask me, baby. Match winner? Um, I want to see if I can find another match with more players. It is fun when you absolutely just destroy the Santa team. All right, here we go. We're starting up with round one of Entourage number three. We are still a Krampus, and yeah, this is where I belong. Like, I can absolutely carry the team of Krampuses in. <laughs> Oh my God. It is a 5v... Oh, my God. This is going to be too easy for the Krampuses, though. Like, actually, there's literally one elf, and then there's one Santa. And then there's five Krampuses just running after them. Like, we can literally just overwhelm them if we wanted to. Hold on. Nope. Nope. Oh, okay. Well, I died. That's fantastic. All right. All right. Where is this guy? Oh, he's over here. Got it. No, I'm not here. I'm not here, man. I just... I'm not here. Okay, got a distraction. Okay. Bro, bro, there's, like, someone right next to you, and you're shooting me. Well, I'm gonna die, yeah. Jeez, okay, okay, okay. These people are a lot better. <laughs> I have to somehow close the distance without dying, but I don't know how. I don't know how. This is a good group of people. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god. He's one shot. He's one shot. I haven't done any damage to him, but he is one shot. I know he's one shot, which is huge. Where are you? Where? There you are. What? 
Okay, we got him. We got him. We got him. You know what? I started that. I was a distraction there. AKA, I was a team player. It's exactly what happened. Yep. Uh huh. Yeah. See, see, it's still Dr. Clutch. Okay, come on. Come on. All right, here we go. Round number two of Entourage number three. If my team wins, then we're going to win this entire match, which will be nice. Oh, here's someone. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. No. Oh, where am I going? I want the final punch. Oh, I got it. There we go. Yeah, just that was incredibly easy. I don't know what happened there. Where was the elf? I don't even know where the elf was, but that was an easy 30K. Yeah, I'm cool with doing this. I'll just jump into another match. All right, so right now we're jumping to another game mode, which is going to be snowball fight, the snowballers. Yeah, this one's going to be a little different. It's not entourage anymore. How is this going to work? I guess it's just how many snowballs we can hit the other team with or something. I don't know. I have not played this before. We're literally just throwing snowballs. Oh, wait, how do I pick up snowballs again? I don't remember. How do I pick up snowballs? Shoot, I'm being stupid. I can't punch. Dude, I don't know. How do I pick up snowballs? God, I'm a sitting down. I got to look up how to pick up snowballs. I completely forgot. Oh, okay. It's left on the D-pad. Got it. I can hold up to nine. Okay, okay, okay. I had to look that up. That is kind of embarrassing. Oh, but my team is winning three to one because I'm carrying, clearly. Oh, I was going to get that guy. Dang it, dude. We'll say it's not very intense right now. I wish this was a little bit more intense. Like, I literally just sat there on my phone looking up how to throw snowballs, and I didn't die. Bro, I can't even find anyone either. I'm trying to find people on my own, and I just can't. Well, there's one person. Ow! Well, that was my bad. I gotta keep moving. I gotta remember. I gotta keep moving. Uh, our target score is 10. We're sitting at 9 right now, so literally one more snowball hit. We'll win. <gasps> buzzer beater i got him i got him that was it yep wow winner okay that didn't pay that much <laughs> that didn't pay too much let's go back to entourage entourage with the right people can be fun all right here we go we're jumping into another snowball fight yeah i couldn't find another entourage anyways yeah we just have to hit a bunch of people with snowballs uh, hopefully this will be a little bit more competitive jeez roll roll Okay, well, that was fantastic. Yeah. yeah, I am not good at a snowball fight, clearly. Dude, real life, I've got a cannon of an arm. So, yeah, I would say in real life, I am a lot better with a snowball fight. Hit. Oh, I got him. Okay, there's one. I got one. I got one. I got one. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait. This guy ran out of snowballs. That's what happened with this guy. How in the... Just being annoying, though. Hit him. Hit that guy. This is the guy we need to hit. There we go. Okay, yeah, that guy was the guy we needed to hit. Yeah, this guy's just running around <laughs> because he doesn't know how to pick up snowballs because that's another issue with this death match. Dude, oh my God. I have to be like a quarterback and lead where he's like going, you know? Oh, geez. I did not know there's a guy right here. No. Dang it. It's literally just going to be me versus that guy. No. Oh, how did his hit before mine did? That was so bang, bang. Mm, that's not good. That's not good. See, this guy is literally just running away. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Oh, oh you thought? Huh? He threw his snowball, and then, oh my god, that's dumb. He literally threw his snowball, and it, like, it clearly landed, and then I was about to throw mine, and then it apparently said I died. How did that not hit him? We lost. Oh, I didn't set it. Never mind. I'm the host here. I didn't set it on like a specific one. Oh, I thought it was like the first of 10. Oh, no. We're just done. Maybe it's comeback season. Huh? Oh, we got a snowball launcher? Yeah, I just... Oh, oh, my teammate. Oh, good job. Good job, teammate. All right, we need to get like five kills at least in 30 seconds. Yeah, I don't think it's looking good for us. Wait, from way down to... Okay, that guy must be lagging, I swear. There we go. There we go. What? Oh, it was the other guy that came up. Oh, yeah, now that guy can do something because you don't need to pick up snowballs with a snowball launcher. My goodness. Okay, that was a little bit more entertaining because it was a little bit more competitive, but yeah, we didn't win. Yeah, you don't get a lot of money with this snowball fight, which kind of sucks. Yeah, the winning team got $93,000. Yeah, that's not the best. Yeah, can we do Entourage? Yeah, please, let's go back to Entourage. That'd be so much more fun. All right, so here we go. We're jumping into another Entourage. Uh, we're doing Entourage number one. Yeah, it's the first time I'm actually an elf. I've either been Santa or Krampus. Can I shoot a reindeer? Oh, I can. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, reindeer. I just had to know. Uh, where or oh, where are the Krampuses? What is Santa doing? Okay, Santa's not moving. I think Santa must have gotten run over by a reindeer. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, that is funny. All right, guy, what are you doing? The thing is, is that all the Krampuses know exactly where Santa is on the map. Well, that's a problem. Oh, he's moving now. Oh, now you're moving. Good Lord. Okay, there we go. I, I got that kill. I'm gonna stay right next to you, Santa. I got you. If anyone is gonna attack Santa, they gotta go through me. Okay, yeah, okay. You didn't have to climb up that fence, Santa. Oh, yeah, apparently for this match, I think there's like nine people now. One guy just left, but I think there's a total of nine people in here. There's a Krampus, and there goes a Krampus. There's two kills for me. Another kill. Nice. Gotta love auto aim. Oh my god. It's just so many Krampuses attacking us now. Where are you? Oh, there's that guy. Oh, of course, I have to reload. Love that. 
we go another guy down there's one more Krampus over here somewhere saying dude you can just keep running i got your back i don't know why he's going this way oh because the safe zone's over here oh or is it what no i'm so lost now what is going on what is this guy doing then is he just trying to get kills or something i don't think anyone's hit santa can i see your health yeah you're at max health yeah no one's touched you you're welcome i'm so lost like what are we doing I, where are we going i don't know where the drop-off location is moron yeah you can't drive a truck in this game mode that'd be too easy bro what is this awkward way that you're going i have no idea why you're going this way makes no sense to me oh my god dude santa oh oh i did not realize there's a guy right here oh i'll protect you Okay, I didn't know that there was like two different Krampuses right there. I thought we were in the clear and I was about to be like, why aren't we moving? But there's a good reason. All right, where the heck is this Avenger? We have to be close, right? Oh yeah, there's the Avenger. All right, yeah, just hop on your Avenger and deliver the presents and deliver me a round winner. There we go. How many kills did I get? I got eight. Oh, dude, another guy got 11. How, what? Oh, whatever. Let's move on to the next round. All right, here we go. Round number two of Entourage. I am a part of the Krampus team, the team I deserve to be on. Wait, let me land right next to this guy. <laughs> Oh, I screwed that up. Shoot, 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 shoot. That would have been so funny. No, 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 no. Let's have... Okay, okay. I kind of have a strategy. I want to try to go after the elves because there's a ton of elves. It's a little different than the past few rounds. No, no. Oh, oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, I got three shots. I got three shots on Santa. That's huge. I don't know if anyone else has touched him. I like the strategy that I did. I just kind of ran like around him. That makes sense. Like he keeps hugging the building. Yeah, hey. Oh, I was about to say they have no idea that I'm here. Yeah, okay. One guy, yeah, that same guy keeps turning around and you're like, oh yeah, there's that same guy. Yeah, this is all about mind games. I have to like outsmart these people to like you know catch santa in a vulnerable spot the problem is, is that's a tough thing to do i think the problem is we're not attacking as a unit but you know i'm not communicating with these guys i don't know the best way to you know communicate as a unit with these guys it, look at it there's literally three of them and it, they just run as a unit which is so smart on their part but it, it's so frustrating to even get any momentum on them santa <laughs> No way. No way. I did such a good job just to close the distance, and somehow that happened. Okay, it looks like they're going to come on this side of the building. Oh, they're going around, though. So smart. Oh, wait, that's the finish. Oh, shoot. I didn't know there was an entrance on that side. Or is there? I assume there is. I don't know. This is so stupid. <laughs> oh, can I kill you? At least. I got a kill on someone. I didn't know there's an entrance on that side. Yeah, round loser. Oh, uh, we still have like 27 minutes left, so let's keep playing. Yeah, that one guy had 13 kills. He didn't die a single time. That was frustrating. All right, here we go. Round number one of another match of Entourage. And I did just check the guy with 13 kills last round. He is on the elf team. That's not good for us. That is not good for us. I took a closer look at that guy too. He has that griefer like aura about him. He definitely has like the griefer like face paint, you know, on. Right, so yeah, there they are right there. Um, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of elves. I want to play this smart. I don't want to just kind of just run at them like it's nothing. Like, I want to play this a little conservatively. Okay, this is not conservative. I'm just going to go for it now. <laughs> Well, that works too. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Like, I want to be hidden. I want to try to be a little sneaky. Uh oh. They know I'm here. Let's just go. Let's go. Bop. One, two. Dude, why does that happen again? Okay, he's less than half health. I know that, but still, it's so frustrating. I was smart enough to, you know, close the distance, but then that happens. It's just such a letdown. Let's go. Let's go. Pop. One more. No way. What are we doing? We punch, and then we just stopped, and then we just, like, stood there for, like, a second. Is he pretty close? I feel like he's pretty close. Oh, he's definitely close. I gotta be really, really clutch for a second. Hold on. Pop. One more. One more. Okay, that's a little unfair. I got, like, blown up twice. Not even once. He arrived at the location. We were so close. That is so frustrating. We were so close to winning that round. All right, round number two. I'm an elf this time. I gotta, you know, just be the best protector of all. But, you know, I can do that. That is so easy. It's so easy protecting. Oh, my God. I didn't realize Santa just went off on his own. What are you doing? You are a moron. I did not know Santa went on his own. That's why I wasn't talking. <laughs> you know, I was just shooting a bunch of Krampuses, and then the Santa just ran on his own. Like, really, he deserved to die. That was stupid. That was very stupid on the Santa. All right, here we go. Another round of Entourage. Oh, we have, like, 14 minutes left. I think we have time for one more match of Entourage. Um, I'm not going to turn off the timer just yet. I want to see how fast everything goes, but I think we only have time for one more. All right, as a protector, I got to be very, very close to Santa. I got to follow exactly where Santa wants to go, because we don't want what happened last time to happen. All right, nice. I think this Santa is a lot more aware of his surroundings, which is very nice. Yeah, this is a breeze right now. There is no 
controversy happening, which really there shouldn't be a lot of controversy on this team if you're smart and you run as a unit, even though it's literally just me and Santa and none of my other elf teammates are even close. Okay, one just showed up as I said that, but still, should be a little bit more than that. Oh, uh oh. Okay, well, I died. Yeah, I, I didn't really want Santa to run that way because I knew there was Krampuses that way, but it's okay. It's okay. We move forward. Whoa, 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 whoa. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. I don't know why Santa's not running just in a straight line. He's making it a little bit complicated. Okay, it's a little chaotic in here. My goodness. Holy crap. <laughs> that is nuts. All right, come on. We're almost there. We are literally almost there. We're on the final stretch right here. I'll protect you with all my might. No, you don't have to get kills. This guy's greedy, I swear. All right, we're almost at the location. Oh, we've made it to the location. Um, Bro, no, no, just get it. I don't know what you're doing. You're just being greedy at this. But no, this is so frustrating. Just end it. End it. I mean, there's no point in this. Yeah, just walk in. There's no point in that. You're already done. Whatever. Round winner. All right, yeah, I'm looking back at my timer. Yeah, I'm going to stop the timer right here. We're going to finish this final round of Entourage number one. The final round we're going to do, round number two. Can we end it off with a kill of Santa? I really hope so. All right, so what are we looking at? Oh, okay. There's three of them right here. Awesome. Okay, okay. I need Santa to, you know, like break out on his own. Oh, wait, like that. Oh, my God. That is perfect. Where the heck are you? I didn't even know where he went. Sorry, I wasn't talking there because I got so pissed because I don't even know what the heck just happened in the beginning part, but we actually got a lot of hits on him. That was really good. He's definitely on life support now, I think. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this loser. Bop. Sweet. Oh, wait. Oh, someone got a kill on Santa. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was mostly what I did earlier, which is nice. But yeah, there we go. Match winner. And there we go. That was an hour and 30 minutes of me playing the boosted money jobs for this week. Uh, Entourage, I thought was actually pretty fun. The snowball fight, I thought was a little boring. All right. So I need to head back over to my agency and do three more security contracts. So let's jump into that. All right. So I made it back to my agency. But before I look at the security contracts, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of the best GTA 6 content there is. I mean, absolutely. I'm the best GTA 6 YouTuber out there. No doubt about it. But anyways, let's take a look at the security contracts. Where we have professional, professional, and terrible. My goodness. All right, so this one's paying out the most. Rescue operation at $35,000. So um, yeah, I guess let's go rescue someone who apparently is a moron. All right, so for rescue operation, essentially there's some guy that, you know, let his guard down and then he got captured. And then, you know, I have to come in and save the day. You get the drill. Oh, I don't like this location though. I think sometimes this location does not like to spawn in even though i've already found the exact location where he's at which is huge oh i gotta take out the hitman okay okay oh i can't take him back in my oppressor I just realized that because my oppressor is only a one seater there you go all right so i have the client um i gotta call in my buzzard yeah i gotta call in my buzzard which is <laughs> oh it's by the road awesome good client do you climb no it doesn't look like you climb okay awesome awesome so yeah we are gonna have to take the long way god this is so annoying we have to literally just drive around this entire facility so we can actually make it over to where my buzzard is because this guy doesn't want to climb on stuff oh no no came no 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 mm -mm, mm -mm, uh -uh. that's terrible that's absolutely terrible servers down oh it's servers down yeah i don't think so i really don't think so i think yeah you're, you're just pissing me off yeah yeah mm. all right let's try this again what do we got specialist okay that's already better professional and specialist plus thank you and this one is 69,500. yeah this is really good so there was like a little bit of a benefit because of yeah, I guess my internet lagging, but I hate when that happens. Whatever, we're doing another vehicle recovery. You understand how vehicle recovery works. Uh, let's see if it's the same location or not. Oh no, no, this is the bad one. Oh, dude, forgot about this one. This one, we have to go all the way to Humane Labs. This is like, in my opinion, like a little mini heist. We have to like break into Humane Labs and kind of make our way through and then steal a truck and then drive the truck all the way back. Oh no, dude, this is not a good one. All right, so I made my way over to Humane Labs. Um, I forgot. Can we do this one stealthy or not? I don't really remember. All right, anyways, yeah, we just have to enter the lab right here. Then we have to locate a stolen animal. It's not even like a true vehicle. Oh, I'm just right next to you. Oh my gosh, y'all are a bunch of 
pants. No, no, y'all got me caught. Y'all freaked out just because I stood right next to you. What, is it because like I'm too much of a loser? Well, you're too dead, so I don't want to hang out with you anyways. No, no, your kind pissed me off. You're gonna get tear gas. Did I even do anything to him? <laughs> He's coughing. Oh, he seems fine. Oh no, I killed him. Okay, that was just a little longer than I wanted it to be. There we go. I think, oh wait, no, there's one more person there. All right, everyone I think is sticking out now. Wait, no, there's another guy. What? Was there another guy around here somewhere? All right, anyways, yeah, I gotta press this green button to open up the doors and then we'll take the delivery van and we have to drive it all the way back to my agency. And yeah, this van is incredibly slow and we're driving this in the snow, which is not great. All right, we've made it back to the agency. It's a long drive, but it wasn't too bad. I thought it was gonna be a little worse than that. All right, so that's another security contract down. I'm gonna wait another five minutes before I'm gonna jump into the next one. All right, so another five minutes have passed. So let's jump into our next security contract. We have a professional, professional. Okay, okay. Right after I get a specialist plus, I get just straight professionals. This one's $41,000, which is probably the higher end of professional, but still not great. Uh, Please don't like me out like the last professional security contract I did. Please and thank you. All right, this one's a little bit annoying, if I remember correctly. We have to go to a specific location in the beginning, which for us, for this time around, we have to go to a rancho. All right, so we made it a rancho, and then we just have to tail the paparazzo, which is essentially the group of paparazzis. Yeah, some missions you can actually, like, kill the person that you have to tail just to make things go quicker. This time around, it's not the case, and oh my, that was embarrassing. I know you're a computer, but my goodness, like, literally all... Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to run into you. Like, literally, all you had to do is just go like that, essentially. Just swerve around, and you didn't do that. That's the one bad thing about being, like, caught, is that they drive stupid. They drive faster, but they drive stupid. And they don't stop at every red light though, so that's good. Alright, I think we're getting close to the location. Yeah, yeah, we are. Alright, and this paparazzo is gonna go inside of there. Oh, I wanted to blow them off. They don't give me a window of opportunity to actually take them out then, but I'll take them out inside of here. So yeah, we have to take out a few people, including a security guard. Alright, there we go. Now we have to destroy a bunch of security equipment. Oh, no, camera equipment. What am I saying? Which, I mean, I can just use my assault shotgun, the best weapon in the game, and just do that. And now I have to plant a bunch of sacks charges, which is going to be pretty cool. All right, here's the final satchel charge we need to place down. And I think if I remember correctly, the last time I did this, I just stayed down here and the explosion was kind of cool. So I kind of want to see the explosion. All right, one, zero. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's just such an aggressive explosion. It's not like a normal explosion. It's kind of fun. Apparently, even though we died from that explosion, we have the cops on us. So we have to lose the cops. I can't call Lester. But then after we lose the cops, it'll be mission pass. All right, there we go. Mission pass. That is four security contracts that have been completed. We have one more to do. I got to wait another five minutes. All right, so it's time for us to do our final security contract. So we have a professional, professional, and wow, that's terrible. That is absolutely terrible. So all of these are professionals. Um, This bottom one right here is paying out the most asset protection. But the thing with asset protection is the fact that it is annoying to do. And it's $2,000 more of a payout than liquidized assets. Um, I'd much rather do liquidized assets, which is that what we just did? <laughs> okay, whatever. Yeah, we'll do it again. All right, so for this time, we have to go to downtown Vinewood. And uh, it's pretty much the same thing as what we did last time. We have to follow a certain group to a certain location. Then we have to destroy their equipment and then blow the place up. Blah, 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 blah. You get the drill. Yeah, we have to trail the Armenian mob this time. Okay, maybe I was lying about them stopping at red lights. Yeah, this guy is just running right past every single red light. I haven't been detected yet. They haven't wrecked either, but they are driving fast. I'm kind of shocked. Oh, there's your first wreck. Yeah, that's the snow's fault. That's not your fault. All right, so we made it inside the warehouse. So yeah, I'm gonna have to follow him inside the warehouse. Here's the Armenian mob. I don't think I can do this stealthy. Yeah, no, you can't do this stealthy. Okay, if I can't do this part stealthy, then what's the point of not getting detected? I don't know, whatever. Let's get this over with. Well, I got a little too close to that explosion. Run. No, how? How was I close to that one? No, I'm not a fan of that one. No, 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 no. The first one, I'm like, all right, all right. I was decently close. That time I wasn't close. That's a little messed up. I'm gonna have to do this from like way downtown. I wasn't even on that aisle. Oh, wow, that's interesting. All right, I'm gonna throw this last one right there and then get as far away as possible. Oh, okay, so the surrounding like vehicles blew up. That's what killed me. Okay, okay, that makes a little bit more sense, but still, that's annoying. All right, so once again, we gotta place three satchel charges and this time I'll just get out the building. All right, so the warehouse is about to blow up right there. There we go, what a beautiful explosion. Now let's get out of here. All right, and there we go, mission passed. All right, so after everything we did in this episode, we made $442,000. 
dollars so we're now sitting on five hundred and sixty one thousand dollars so we need to make just a little less than a million dollars before we can actually purchase the rc bandito next make sure you check out five months ago i started as a level one on a new account in gta online and the only way i've made money on this account is by spinning a wheel determining what i should do to make money so today in this video i will spin that wheel again to see what i will do in this video so welcome to the 67th episode of season number two of loser luxury and without further ado let's jump into it all right so currently right now i'm on the wheel of quick cash but before i spin the wheel of quick cash i just want to remind you that we are trying to buy the rc bandito next coming in at one million five hundred and ninety thousand dollars and currently right now we're sitting on five hundred and eighty seven thousand dollars so we need to make roughly just over a million dollars in order to purchase this rc bandito so i'm on the wheel of quick cash but i'm actually not going to spin the wheel of quick cash instead what we're going to do today is we're going to actually do something that just came out into the game today as i'm recording as my wheel of quick cash will spin all right so now i'm on the wheel of making money so what are we gonna have to do in this episode in order to make money and it looks like we are gonna have to go over to my nightclub and sell off everything from my nightclub and if i'm remembering correctly i don't think we've actually successfully done a nightclub sell mission i think every time we've done this we've been griefed so hopefully it's going to turn out a little better today all right so selling off our nightclub today but what else in this episode am i going to have to do in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to do whatever we want all right so we're free to do whatever we want but it's going to be determined by how many kills we can get with blank all right so now we're on the free to do whatever wheel and whatever it lands on off of this wheel we have to try to get as many kills with the specific amount of time so like this first one right here is like kanjali only i have five minutes to get as many kills with kanjali but yeah we have like a deluxo scramjet the torador melee kills you know you get the drill so what is going to determine how much time i'm going to have to do whatever i want and it looks like we have six minutes to try to get as many kills as possible with the scramjet which we recently just bought all right so we're free to do whatever we want but it's going to be determined by scramjet kills in six minutes and then i have to go to my nightclub and sell off everything from my nightclub but first let's go do the newest thing that was added into the game as i'm recording today all right so i've made it over to how we're going to do our wheel of quick cash wheel spin for today and it's going to be at this icon on the map right here which is a little bit north of fort zancuda a little bit south of palito bay kind of right in the middle and this is called the ls tourist board so yeah let's come over here so as you can see in the top left it says press right on the d-pad to view the wildlife featured in today's shoot animals photography challenge and well yeah guess i'm gonna do a photography challenge and yeah let's view the board and all right so we have to take a photo of a cat a pig and a great cormorant what is that a great cormorant i'm so sorry if i'm supposed to know what that is what is a great cormorant i have no idea what that is i know what a cat and i know what a pig is and i've already seen other people today get like a coyote they got a seagull like a pug i understand all that what is a great cormorant <laughs> <laughs> it's a bird. It's a freaking bird. The heck am I supposed to find this? I would assume this is going to be in like the swampy area. I don't know why. I have a feeling. Or oh, there's some birds right there. Is that a great cormorant? Here, here, here. You're. Oh my God, that might be a great cormorant. How is that not? Dude, dude, this has to be a great cormorant. That's it. That's clearly it right there. Dude, how is that not a great cormorant? Okay, I actually like kind of know this type of bird in like real life, but like it's not what I think it's called, but I don't remember off the top of my head now, like what I usually call this bird okay anyways you're probably so confused you're probably like dr crush why the heck are you doing this well the thing is is that if i photograph all three of these animals then i'll get a hundred thousand dollars and yeah that's why we're doing this on the wheel quick cash all right i'm at like this river you know and there's no birds here i would have thought there have been so many birds here dude so frustrating how many deer there are in the game but there's no great cormorants just nearby wait there's a bird right there what kind of bird are you oh my god there you are i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm, I'm getting a little excited cheese hello great Cormorant. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Great Cormorant checked off. I was about to say, there's no stupid birds nearby. I mean, there is one right here. 
Not anymore. Oh, uh, we have two more things we need to find. We need to find a pig. We need to find a cat. Cat is easily going to be in Los Santos. Maybe even the Blaine County area. But a pig's going to be the next trickiest thing. Um, I'm going to go into the Blaine County area. And I'm going to, like, try to find a pig there. Oh, yeah. By the way, too. As I'm trying to find this pig. Uh, this challenge. Oh, there's a mountain lion right there. This challenge is only available to next-gen consoles. So, Xbox Series X and S. And the PS5. So, if you play on PC. If you play on Xbox One or PS4. This is not going to be available to you. Unfortunately. Oh my god, there's just another great cormorant right there. So annoying. I just flew right through that great cormorant. I can find a great cormorant. I can't find a pig. Where the heck do pigs spawn? I've definitely seen them. I just don't know where they are. Can be found around farms and countryside houses in Blaine County. Well, this looks like a farm. Oh wait, are they in like a pig pen? Oh. Oh no, that's a... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought that was a pig. That's a cow. Cheese. I'm so sorry, cows. I see a bunch of cows. I get the cows. Where's the pig? Where's the pig pen? Oh, there's chickens. That's fantastic. Where are your pigs? Aha! I found it. I found the pigs. I found the pigs. I found the pigs. There's the pig pen. There's only three in here. There's a massive pig pen for three pigs. Here, pig. Done. You kind of pissed me off, so... We're having bacon today. Okay, so I got $20,000 of photographing that pig. So I guess we get $20,000 per thing that we photograph. But now we got to photograph a cat. All right, so I've made it back to downtown Los Santos. Now, where would a cat be? Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Bro, could I have just, like, taken a picture of, like, the mountain lion and that would have technically been a cat? That would have been so nice. Does no one want to, like, take their cat to see the Vinewood Walk of Fame? No? All right, where are you, cats? Where are you? Is there really no animals over here? Do I really have to look up where a cat is? Yeah, I'm actually gonna have to look up where a cat is. My goodness. Around urban areas of Los Santos and Blaine County. I'm pretty sure this is an urban area. I see a no cats. I don't even see a dog. I definitely would have thought I would have seen a dog. Oh my god, I see something. What is this? Yes, I found a cat. And thank you for slowing down too, like right here. Thank you, cat. And there we go. All animals have been photographed. We got $100,000. Whoa. Weekly challenge complete. Photograph three animals for shoot animals photography. I got $200,000 for that. I thought I was only going to get 100000 Was there like a first time bonus or something that I was not aware of? Okay, I think I get this now. So I get $20,000 per animal that I photograph. So that's three animals. So that's a total of $60,000. And then for completing all three, you get $40,000. So in total, that will be $100,000. And then somehow I got a $100,000 bonus for the first time, I guess. So in total, I made $200,000 then. So now we're sitting on $764,000. But now it's time for me to go to a public session and try to get as many kids as possible with a scramjet. So let's jump into that. All right, so now it's time for me to try to get as many kills as possible with a scramjet. Before we get started, I just kind of want to go over how this is going to work. So every kill that we get with the scramjet is going to count for 10 minutes for me to do whatever I want in this game. Don't cut me off as I'm talking. I didn't say you get up either. I said you don't get up. Thank you. All right, anyways, we get 10 minutes for every kill that we get with the scramjet. And we start out with 20 minutes no matter what. If I get zero kills, we'll get 20 minutes to do whatever we want. So let's just say I get three kills with the scramjet. Then I'll have a total of 50 minutes to do whatever I want in this game. Because three kills equals 30 minutes along with the 20 minutes we start out with. And if you don't know what a scramjet looks like, it is this vehicle right here. So how we can get kills with this thing is we can kill them with missiles like this that that counts or we can get kills by running over people like this so any of those ways to get kills counts all right so six minutes is on the clock and we're gonna start right now all right clock is running six minutes to try to get as many kills as possible with the scramjet oh yeah one rule that we do have is that we are not allowed to kill anyone that's afk so i have to know that they're moving if they're moving then they're fair game all right so there's a guy over here what's this guy doing i don't even know what he's doing oh um uh, he's gonna get run over okay there's there we go. That's one kill. Oh my god, dude. The boost takes so long with the scramjet. Oh my god, dude. That guy's trying to drive away. This is so sad because I have to blow up his vehicle. Oh well. Okay, there we go. That's two. I don't want to keep messing around with that guy. I feel kind of bad because, I mean, that's just too easy. There's a guy over here at the corner. Is this guy moving? Hello? Are you moving? Is this guy moving? Now let's see. Okay, this guy, I think, is AFK. So we are not allowed to kill that guy. Hmm. I see a guy on an oppressor. I don't know if I should go after the guy on the oppressor. Kind of risky. Because I'll die immediately if I get shot. But so will he. I feel like I have to. Oppressor kill? All right, I got a kill on a guy in an oppressor. Even though he wasn't griefing anyone with the oppressor. Oh, uh, that's three kills. Bro, is this guy going to run out the alleyway and just die? 
No, he's gonna run out the alleyway and kill me. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He's about to blow up my vehicle. Help! Awesome. All right. Yeah, there's no way else I can get a kill. So if I were to kill him with like any of my weapons, like I don't know, let's just say assault shotgun, um, it doesn't count. So I have to wait and call in my vehicle. I kind of want to kill him for pride, low key. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill him for pride. Okay, cool. Nice. All right. Uh, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. We're still sitting at three kills so far. Um, hmm. that guy's gonna know that we're gonna go after him. I want to keep going after this guy. Yeah, we're gonna go after him. Ready? Set. Where are you? No! There was... Shoot. There's a little hill right there. Dang it. I had that lined up so perfectly, and I, I forgot there's a hill. Let me get back up. <laughs> that is so awesome that we can do that. How much time do we have left? Oh, none. We have no time left. Let me jump into another session, because I think I'm about to get blown up. Uh, I was looking down as I jumped into another session. I don't know if I got blown up or not. Okay, well, my scramjet's still here. All right, so I got three kills, which that means I get an extra 30 minutes to do whatever I want. So in total, we have 50 minutes to do whatever we want in GTA Online. But there is a little caveat to free to do whatever we want. I'm technically not allowing myself to do whatever I want, so. I'm not allowed to do Kyle Perico, even though I don't think I can do it in 50 minutes. It's going to be close, but we're not even allowing that. I'm not allowed to sell off any of my businesses because I didn't acquire the product within this 50 minutes, you know. And then I'm not allowed to collect any wall safe. So I can't go to my nightclub and collect my wall safe because once again, all that money was accumulated from outside of the 50 minutes to do whatever we want. But aside from those three, we're allowed to do whatever else we want. All right, so I made it over to the first way I'm going to make money, which is going to be payphone hits. And also today, Today, there has been an update to payphone hits and once we get started with the payphone hits I'll kind of explain what that is but anyways 50 minutes is on the clock so as soon as I pick up the phone the clock is going to start so clock is starting right now all right clock is running let's go can we hang up quickly yes okay we have to assassinate multiple targets but let me explain to you what was recently changed with the payphone hits our assassination bonus before I get into it is take out all the targets with a headshot okay that's not horrible right, here's the first target right there and there it goes you assassinated a troll with the headshot very good three more to go originally with payphone it's you would get paid eighty five thousand dollars and then you had a cooldown of 20 minutes that's when it first came out and it was like that for i think thing roughly like a year and a half something like that but then rockstar made an update where they changed the cooldown from 20 minutes to a full in-game day which is 48 minutes so yeah a little bit longer of a cooldown which i mean most people weren't very happy about but then today they made a very big change kind of just switched up how payphone hits are really going to work it's kind of why i'm starting out with a payphone hit today all right so the way payphone hits work now is that instead of getting eighty five thousand dollars, we'll get forty thousand dollars. but the cooldown time has been reduce from 48 minutes to 10 minutes. All right, there we go. Assassination bonus complete. Uh, let me leave the area and then we'll get paid. All right, there we go. Payphone hit complete. There we go. We got $45,000 instead of $40,000. That's my bad. In order to get like the most out of payphone hits now, you have to be a lot more active with it instead of just doing it once and then waiting, you know, how originally it was 20 minutes or even 48 minutes to do another one to get that $85,000. So essentially now with like this free to do whatever wheel spin, I want to try to do as many payphone hits as possible because we'll actually make a decent amount of money. I mean, these are still one of the quickest ways to make money. If we play our cards right, we should definitely be able to do three. I think it's reasonable to assume we can do three payphone hits in this time frame. But now we're doing a junk energy time trial. And junk energy time trials for this week are actually double money and RP, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I think what I want to do right now is do a junk energy time trial and then go sell off excess weapon parts. And then after that, I want to do another payphone hit. And then after that, I don't know what I want to do. I don't want to do any more time trials just because I want the ability to actually do time trials later on this week. And if I do them now, I won't be able to. But yeah, after this, I have no idea what I want to do. I know there's a bunch of different races that are double money in RP. As far as making money, racing is a little risky. If you don't finish good, you don't make as much money. But if you finish pretty good, then you'll actually make a pretty good amount of money. Oh, here's a finish. Oh my gosh, I've completed that with 16 seconds to spare. My goodness. But yeah, there we go. I got $104,000 just for that. That's pretty nice. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my bunker and then we're going to sell off excess weapon parts. All right, so here we go. Here's our excess weapon parts right here. So let's get into the dune loader and sell this thing off. All right, so now we have to deliver these weapon parts to an ammunition. We have to go like three and a half miles. Not horrible, but it could be better. I'm trying to think, can I fit one more thing to do before I jump into my next payphone hit? Okay, okay, you're being annoying. You are being annoying. You are being annoying. Uh, yeah, why you sell off excess weapon parts? There are some NPCs that come after you. Oh, you piece of crap. That was so stupid. Right before I was about to cross the bridge, you spin me out. That is 
dumb. Don't piss me off like that. I got pissed off at a bird today. Never thought I would say that out loud in GTA Online, but here I am. All right, we're finally back on asphalt. Uh, we have a mile to go from here, which isn't too bad. Oh my god, you are so annoying. You are so annoying. All right, I finally made it to Amy Nation. Oh, I needed to go on the other side of Amy Nation. There's a nice coyote outside of Amy Nation, but oh well. All right, there we go. I got paid $50,000. Uh, I, you know what? I think I might be able to do a pavement in less than a minute, so I might just sit here and wait. Yeah, I have seven seconds. Wow, that was really good timing. That was like perfect timing. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, assassinate one. No, not a question mark one. No, no, that's stupid. No, 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 no. We're not doing that crap. No, I respect myself too much. No, we're not just gonna sit there, wait for someone to get out the motel. No, if you see a question mark one, that means you have to wait for someone to check out of their stupid cheap motel. Like, why? goodness. Stupid. Franklin, give me another one, please, and make sure it's not the Mattel one. Thank you very much. All right, give me a better one, please. Right now, Frank. Assassinate target. Okay, good. This is not a question mark one. That's good. Well, which one is it? Pick up the target in a taxi and take them out with a gas station explosion. Okay? It's not awful. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I was just doing the math in my head. If we get $45,000 per payphone that I can do, and if I'm able to do three payphone within this amount of time, we'll be able to get um how much money is that it would be a hundred and thirty five thousand dollars if we're able to do three payments in this time frame bro where the heck is a taxi i just called in a taxi oh my goodness what is this taxi service there you are you're late you are late that's the wrong person no 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 there we go okay that was almost embarrassing kind of was but it's okay all right anyways yeah we're able to do three payments in this time frame we'll get paid a hundred and thirty five thousand dollars and i think i would have only been eligible to do one if we still had the 48 minute cooldown so yeah i mean that's a little bit more money oh i need to go find a gas station that's what i'm doing all right here's the gas station um so you take him out with the gas station explosion Oh, it was good. You know, I didn't want a door anyways. So sorry, sir. I just wanted to take off the door, clearly. Let me line it up. Let me line it up for you. We need to get some gas before we take you to your location. Ready? <laughs> that was bad. That was actually an attempt. You might not think that was an attempt. That was. That sadly was. I didn't slam on the brakes. The game's automatically slammed on the brakes. Okay, ready? Now go. I think I missed again. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is really bad. You know what? I need to just take myself out. You can take out yourself, but I just think that's so stupid. But there we go. Ta-da. All right, there we go. We got paid another $45,000. All right, so now what I want to do, um, I don't know. I don't know what I really want to do. I think maybe we do some of the little bit lesser stuff. Maybe like we go to the Diamond Casino, spin the Lucky Wheel, then maybe try to find G's cash. I think that's what I want to do. All right, please, Lucky Wheel, land on something good for me, please and thank you. All right. We're going to spin the wheel. We're going to give it a good spin and we're going to land on a vehicle, right? Right? You better be right. Um, Where's vehicle? Okay, we're not landing on vehicle. Sit on chips. Oh my God, that's not a lot of chips. 10,000. That might be the worst amount of chips, but it's better than discounts, better than RP. So good enough. Hmm. Maybe I'll call up Dax and we'll do a full against job. I've done that in a little bit. Oh, I could have done security contracts, but meh. What are we doing? Heavy metal? Good enough. Heavy metal is a decent one. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of this location is stab city but i think this is good money and this will eat up a little bit more time before we can actually do another pay phone it all right so we've made it over to stab city i'm gonna take out a oh wait i can't take out that many people i just realized because we need to steal one of these vehicles uh what we need to do is we need to find the rival boss but i already know where the rival boss is he's inside of this trailer that i'm like walking up on he's in here and there he is he's dead we need to take a photo and send this photo to dax there you go dax there's a dead guy of course you like photos of that all right so now what we need to do is we need need to go steal a truck that has a bunch of stolen goods in the back and then we need to take that truck to a specific location all right so this is the truck right here all right so now we need to drive this like four miles yeah this specific heavy metal is a little bit more annoying just because i think this is one of the furthest locations but i don't know we'll rock on see how it goes yeah i think i remember in season one when i did this full against job like a decent amount i think i failed a pretty good amount of times i think maybe like two or three times or something like that during this specific heavy metal but yeah, i've gotten so used used to this one now i kind of understand it a little bit more like for this one you just have to like off-road i feel like just to kind of you know get yourself away
away from the enemies coming after you. Because if those enemies get kind of close to you, they are absolutely ruthless. So you want to make sure you don't want to take too much damage from them. All right, but there we go. We've made it over to the drop off. Yeah, I'm going to take one of these ATVs and I am going to call in my oppressor so then we can get into the next thing. All right, and there we go. Fulligan's job complete. That's another $50,000. So I got 22 minutes left. Uh, I really don't know what I want to do now. We don't have enough time to do a lot before we can do another payphone it. I mean, I'll make sure to see how much time we have. How much time? We have two minutes. Okay, we have two minutes before we can do another payphone hit. Uh, where is... Oh, shoot. I was gonna do G's Cash, but G's Cash is all the way in Blaine County. Down near Grapesy, which kind of sucks. So I really don't know what to do now. Oh yeah, we're about to be able to do an RC Bandito time trial, but we don't have an RC Bandito yet, so we can't do that. We already did the Junk Energy time trial. Yeah, we're really stuck. I don't want to do Junk Energy Skydive, because I don't really think that's worth it. Hmm. I don't know. I might just get really close to a payphone and just kind of chill out for a minute. All right. One second. Zero. Uh, let's do another payphone hit. And I'm right next to a payphone, so we are going to be doing this as quick as possible. I think we might actually be able to do four payphone hits now, which is huge. Okay, there we go. Hang up, hang up. Cool. Assassinate multiple targets. Not horrible. I don't mind assassinating multiple targets. I don't think they're in Los Santos, though, which kind of sucks, but that's all right. Oh, is this the same headshot one again? Yeah, take out all the targets with a headshot. Wow. Wow, I love the originality. All right, here's the first guy right here. And there he goes. Three more to go. All right, here's a second guy. Oh, that's not where we aim. There's a second guy right there. Uh, boom. There we go. Two more targets to go. All right, here's the next guy right here. Don't shoot at me. My goodness. Put one shot at me. Now my shirt's stained. That's ridiculous. My goodness. One more troll to go. There's a final guy right near this mannequin. I don't know why they're messing around with the mannequin, but uh, he's not messing around with the mannequin anymore. We just need to leave the area if I can get on my impressor. All right, now we just need to leave the area and we should be good to go. All right, and there we go. Another $45,000. Uh, we have just under 17 minutes left. So this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to head over to my agency and we're going to start up another security contract. Now, before people say it in the comments, section. Yes, I know I can go ahead and call Franklin to start up a security contract, but I don't like doing that because you just get a random security contract if you do that. And what I mean by that, there's three different levels of security contracts, professional, specialist, and specialist plus. If you're just going to call Franklin, you're kind of rolling the dice because you can get a $32,000 professional one, which is not a lot of money in comparison to the other security contracts you can do. And then you wouldn't even know that you're going to get paid $32,000 until the end. But for me going to the agency, I get the ability to select from three different security contracts. And usually there's one that's above a professional level and that's going to pay out a little bit more money. And even if it's all three professional, I can pick the best professional one. All right, what are we doing? Security contracts, we have professional, professional. Okay. That is exactly what I was talking about. Okay. We're getting three professionals. This one pays out the most at $39,000. Not a great payout, but we're at least being efficient. This will take roughly like five minutes. I just remembered I can do something else too. So after this, I'm going to head over and do that. Oh yeah. And if I hadn't taken the photos of all the animals like I did earlier, I could have done that. We'll save that for future free to do whatever Will spends. Right, what are we doing? We have to go to terminal. Okay. This one's a little bit more annoying, at least in my opinion. I don't like some of these missions, at least in GTA online where someone's like, Oh, I got captured. I'm stupid. And then, you know, I have to like put on my superhero cape and then save the day. Like, can some people just be smarter and not get captured? Like, come on. All right. So the client is somewhere over here here and okay um yeah there's a flare thank you thank you i already see people that are over here all right okay this is a pretty good location because i can easily just spawn in my buzzard and the client can easily walk over to my buzzard yeah at this specific location he could be in that walkover bridge over there which is not good it's a little bit more annoying yeah this might have been the best location at least within the terminal all right can i land this helicopter in a decent spot i think this area is a little too close for comfort not a best helicopter landing spot. Okay, well, the buzzer can fit here pretty nicely. I think I've had issues in the past. So yeah, now we just need to walk this client all the way down this hill. And yeah, we need to put him in there. And there we go. We got paid $39,000. I wish it was a little more, but you know, the game doesn't want to give me more. You know, all professionals. Ha 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 ha. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go over to my auto shop and we're actually going to sell off an auto shop vehicle, which we haven't even done. We haven't even done this yet for season two. So this will be interesting. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to head over. Why is there a car not here? So 
Santa. You failed. You failed your jobs as Santa. That is your fault. It's literally your only job. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing because I was banking on that. You made me waste time. I didn't think I'd get pissed at you today, Santa, but my goodness, you never failed to disappoint. Jeez, I don't know what to do now. I really don't know what to do. Okay, we have two minutes before we can do another payphone hit. Yeah, wow. Wow, Santa. Wow, wow, wow. I've been in this session for at least 20 minutes. I respawned in once when we did the payphone hit. I don't know how we don't have a car ready to go. I don't know what you're doing, Santa. You get your act straight. That is terrible. Absolutely terrible. I need a written apology from you. Embarrassing. Yeah, I just realized I could have sourced like a vehicle and then sold it all from my vehicle cargo warehouse. So I could have done that. I think I might have dropped the ball on that. It's not going to cost us too much more money. So yeah, it looks like I'm just going to go back to a payphone and wreck by a light pole. It probably just Santa put that light pole there. My goodness. So yeah, we're just going to go to the payphone. I guess we're just going to wait for Franklin to get back to me so I can do my last payphone hit. Hey, boss, another customer has just brought in their car into your auto shop. You are late, Santa. You are late. Written apology. There's nothing that says right there, I am sorry for being stupid. What are you doing? That is just dumb. No, uh-uh. That's just dumb. I don't like Santa. She pissed me off right there. Oh, there's a car in the auto shop. Too late. Too late. Stupid. Wow. Wow, I am pissed. All right. All right. All right. We just called in a payphone. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of cooled off a little bit. I mean, maybe if I complete this payphone hit in time, I can maybe head over there and then do that. But like, is it even that worth it? Okay. Frank is going to make me sit through this one because we haven't done this specific payphone yet. So this is going to eat up a minute of my time. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Sasanta. Be more useful. So yeah, I just have to sit here and Franklin's going blah, 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 blah. I mean, I get it. If you haven't done a payphone yet, yeah, you might want to know like the backstory or whatever, but I'm on a clock right now. I would like to just go, you know? I'm not here for chit chat. I'm here to make some money. All right, we hung up the phone. We have five minutes and 40 seconds left. Assassinate the target. I don't know how I'm doing it, Franklin, because I didn't listen because, you know, I was kind of screaming at Sasanta for being useless. Use a scope rifle to take out the target with a cargo container. I am not a fan of this one, but this one could go quick if everything goes my way. I mean, we need to go here. We don't need to do this, but oh, like a sniper rifle with a suppressor. And then we're going to get a tad bit closer so we can get a better view. Okay, I think this is good. Where's our guy at? Oh, he's right here. Okay, this is the guy we have to take out. But he needs to walk underneath this thing. And as he walks underneath this thing, we have to shoot this thing down and then it'll crush him to death. Okay, okay, it's actually about to happen. All right, all right, all right. It's game time. Ready, set, go. Huge, huge. That was quick. That was quick. Okay. So Santa, you might not be completely useless after all. How much time do I have? I don't know how much time I have left on my clock. I have like three minutes and 20 seconds. It's going to be really close, but isn't even that worth it. Oh, we got $45,000 there. That's pretty good. We made $180,000 off of payphone hits, which is good. We would have only made $85,000 off of payphone hits originally. Thank you. I don't need a tutorial. So Santa, stop. Be useful. Quick, quick, quick. That is not quick. Please define quick. Thank you. My goodness. Okay, so what I have to do is I have to quickly, like, service this thing. Oh, my God. Dark green. My goodness. There's dark. No, let's do yellow. Okay. Performance upgrade. Oh, my God. Stop being so annoying. This is technically the customer's fault, but I mean, like, Sasanta was a little late, so I still think it's Sasanta's fault. They needed a new exhaust. Pretty good. Okay, we need to confirm, and yeah, we have to pay $35,000, but when we take this to the customer, we'll get that payment back, that $35,000 thousand dollars along with a twenty five thousand dollar payment uh we have less than two minutes to do this and we have to go like two miles so this is gonna be razor close my goodness so santa pissing me off I'm only doing this to get $25,000. Like, I'm getting pissed over $25,000. Like, how does the Santa do this? Oh, yeah, with this, too, you don't want to wreck because if you wreck, the payment in the bottom right is going to go down. So if I have a bad wreck, instead of getting paid $25,000, I'll get paid something less than $25,000. Dude, I think my head hurts now after yelling at Sasanta. Sasanta gave me a headache. Like, are you kidding me? Like, I didn't even do auto shop contracts. She didn't even, like, directly speak to me. And I'm pissed at her. Like, how? How? I don't even know how much time we have left. We had to go to the Vinewood Hills. Oh, we have 12 seconds left. My goodness. Yeah, this is razor thin, but okay, we've made it. All right, all right. Wow, Sasanta. Jeez. Okay, that was in perfect condition too. All right, there we go. We got paid $60,000, but that's a $25,000 profit because we had to pay $35,000 to do the service costs. All right, so for that 50 minutes, we made 
thousand dollars so now we're sitting on one million two hundred and twenty two thousand dollars but now it's time for me to head over to my nightclub and sell off everything from inside of my nightclub so let's jump into that all right so i'm now at my nightclub and as you can see in the bottom we have three hundred and sixty four thousand dollars worth of product inside of our nightclub and we're in a public session with at least 25 players so whatever we do sell in this session we're going to get a 50 percent bonus but yeah let's click to sell off all goods are you sure you would like to sell off all goods yes please let's get into it all right can we have a little better luck uh we have to make three different deliveries with our van okay we are using the what is this van called again i don't even remember it's not the bigger thing that i had to buy last time okay this is a speedo yeah last time i sold stuff from our nightclub i had to buy the mule custom i literally think the last two times i sold off my nightclub i think i died very very quickly both times so i think this has been already a quicker sell mission than both of those <laughs> all right, so our first location we have to go to is right here dropped off the goods all right so we have to drive roughly like a mile and a half to our next location not horrible we still have to wind through downtown los santos which is a little scary now there's npcs after me but they suck okay there's a guy right there um i don't want to be close to you i'm just trying to sell things off thanks okay that guy looked like he was in a drift vehicle so yeah you have fun drifting i'm gonna have fun selling stuff off no no npc don't fishtail me you what are you trying to be the hero no you're an npc you're gonna despawn after this no one will remember you sorry i have to be a little harsh to an npc because i'm trying to make some money here uh we're at our next location drop things off and now we have to drive a little less than two miles to our final location so yeah so far this has gone pretty smoothly and worst comes to worst we'll at least get two-thirds of our products sold which is a lot more than the last two cell missions i've had with the nightclub combined Okay, I see a guy kind of driving in my direction. I don't know if he has time to catch up to me or not, though. I have like half a mile to go now. Yeah, I think there's a guy after me, but he is kind of decently far away. I have a good feeling he's trying to come after me because why the heck would anyone drive over here? We're at Elysian Island. There's no reason for anyone to drive this way. Oh, good. I have to take out all the enemies right now. Thank you. And I know there's a guy after me, so this is fun. Die. Everyone die. Everyone die. Here, just can I do any? Okay, good. I could do that number. Awesome. Where is that guy? Ah, uh, he's trying to come after me okay it's good good i can still just drop it off here i didn't know if we we're gonna get a secondary location or not all right there we go we made it now i just gotta leave the area and we should be good to go yeah yeah here comes this guy hey bud you little oh. no no i put out the wrong weapon but i still sold off my product loser you're a little too late ha 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 jokes on you coming all this way just to waste your time he blew up my buzzard but i mean like that is not the end of the world i will call him my oppressor he's gonna die from my oppressor yes I'm gonna oppress or grief someone. Why? Because that guy tried to grief me. He was just really, really late. Please run after me. Come on, drive. Oh, you are coming after me. Dumb. You are dumb. Oh, okay, there we go. I got paid. Uh, we got paid four hundred and ninety-two thousand dollars for that cell mission, which is very, very nice. I want to go get another kill on that guy just because how stupid he is. Okay, we killed each other. Um, yeah, I probably shouldn't stay here too long. Just trying to get kills on that guy. Anyways, we're now sitting on one million seven hundred and thirty thousand dollars so now let's head back over to a private session so i don't deal with losers like that guy and let's go purchase our rc bandito and let's customize it a little bit all right so we're in southern san andreas super autos we're gonna go to special here's the rc bandito so we're gonna click to buy it and there we go we have ourselves an rc bandito all right so we made it over to our arena war workshop we're gonna head over here and here is our rc bandito so yeah, this small thing sitting literally on a toolbox, which is absolutely crazy. But we're going to walk over here. We're going to customize this thing. Um, We could put a remote bomb on it, but I don't have enough money. How much money do I have again? I think I have I have less than 100, right? Oh, no, I have a little more than 100. I have $123,000. Okay. I mean, I can make this look a little different, though. I mean, I don't even know the point. Oh, I can't even put proximity mines on it. I can put a different livery on it. We're definitely going to put another color on it. We're going to make it the Dr. Crush orange. All right, there we go. Uh, I mean, I could put a bigger jump on on it like is that really worth it I really don't think so i could put better wheels on it um i feel like off-roading wheels would be the best thing for this just because of the rc bandito time trials oh yeah that's another thing with us getting the rc bandito we are now able to do rc bandito time trials and that's going to be on the wheel of quick cash if i get another free to do whatever 
wheel spin like how I did today, I probably will do an RC Bandito time trial. Yeah, this is good. This looks good. There is our RC Bandito. All right, so since we just bought the RC Bandito from the Wheel of Luxury, next episode, we're going to spin the Wheel of Businesses to see what business I'm going to have to purchase next. Make sure you check out. Back in August, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only businesses I've bought on this account have come through spinning a wheel, determining what business I should buy next. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what business I'm going to have to purchase. So welcome to the 68th episode of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so currently right now, I'm on the wheel of businesses and I'm on the wheel of businesses because the last item I purchased came off the wheel of luxury and that was the RC Bandito. And the last time I spun the wheel of businesses, I landed on a cola lockup. But we only have four more businesses to purchase. So let's just spin the wheel and let's see what's gonna be the next business I am going to have to purchase. And it looks like we are gonna have to go out and purchase a special cargo warehouse. All right, so I'm currently at my office right now. And as you can see, these are all the warehouses we could go ahead and purchase. And there's three different types of warehouses we can purchase. It's all gonna be based upon capacity. We have a small warehouse, which these small warehouses can hold up to 16 crates. You have a medium warehouse, which holds up to 42 crates. And then we have a large warehouse, which can hold up to 111 crates. Now for Losers of Luxury, we're gonna go ahead and get a medium sized warehouse. We're not gonna get the large warehouse because really in this series, I don't think we're gonna be able to get 111 crates. But at the same time, I feel like there's gonna be instances where we can get above 16 crates. So there's a total of eight different medium sized special cargo warehouses. So I pulled up a wheel of one to eight. Now how we decide what property we're gonna buy, we spin a wheel to randomly determine which specific property we can get. So how this is specifically going to work is number one is going to be the southernmost point on the map, which is going to be this one right here, the LS Marine Building 3. This would be labeled as one. And then technically this one over here, the GEE Warehouse will be number two, then blah, 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 all the way up to here, which will be number eight, because this is the least southern medium-sized warehouse. All right, but anyways, let's spin the wheel and let's see what medium-sized cargo warehouse we are going to have to purchase in. It looks like we are going to have to purchase number three, which as we said earlier, this one right here is one. This one right here is technically the second southernmost one at two. And then this one right here is the third southernmost one. It's located in Rancho, old power station. It's going to be worth exactly $1 million. And currently right now, I'm sitting on $111,000. So we need to make roughly just under $900,000. All right, so currently right now, I'm on the wheel of quick cash. So let's spin the wheel and let's see how we're going to start out this episode in order to make money. And it looks like we are going to have to go out and collect G's cash. All right, so currently right now, I'm on the wheel of making money. So what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to do my favorite thing in the game, which is going to be time trials. Some time trials can be very annoying, but this week is actually a good week to do time trials. And you'll see why later on in this video. So we're going to have to do time trials in this episode. But what else in this episode am I going to have to do in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to go out and join a random heist, but this is not including the original heist. And to determine what random heist I'm going to have to join, I have a wheel of random heist right here. And this includes the Cayo Perico heist, Diamond Casino heist, and any of the Doomsday heist. So let's spin the wheel and let's see what random heist I am going to have to try to join. And it looks like we're going to have to do another Diamond Casino heist. And I still do not own an arcade, so I can even start up my own Diamond Casino heist. But I think this is like the third or fourth time we're actually doing a Diamond Casino heist off of this wheel spin. All right, so we're starting out by doing time trials, which is going to be very nice for this week. And then we're going to have to go out and join a random Diamond Casino heist. But first, I'm going to have to go out and try to find G's cash. But before we do that, let me tell you about this video's sponsor. Life is busy and we get it. That's why I'm here to introduce you to a game changer, Factor 75, your key to convenience, stress-free meals, and a healthier lifestyle. Picture this, no more meal planning stress, no extensive prepping, and definitely no mess. 
Factor cuts out all the chaos so your meals come together in minutes, taking the guesswork out of what to make for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Factor meals arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat in two minutes or less, even faster than ordering in. And guess what? We've got options for everyone. Whether you're keto, low calorie, or following a vegan or vegetarian lifestyle, Factor has covered you with a diverse menu of 34 plus delicious options. But that's not all. We've got 36 plus add-ons, including smoothies, keto shakes, desserts, and more. Now, here's the exciting part. For all you gamers out there, Factor is perfect for keeping you fueled and focused on what you love to do. No hassle prepared foods to ensure you always have something nutritious at your fingertips. And are you ready for the best deal? You can get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life using our special link. Yes, free wellness shots. Choose two from three available flavors for every order while you're an active subscriber. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code with your phone that's on the screen right now. Visit Factor 75 now and choose a healthier, stress-free you. Thank you, Factor 75, for sponsoring this video, and let's get back into it. All right, so as you can see on the mini-map, we've made it over to G's Cash, and it's at this campus, and I always get this specific one for some weird reason. I have no idea why. I'm not a fan of this one either, because I always have a hard time trying to find G's cash. As many times as I've done this specific one, I feel like I should be able to, you know, find it pretty quickly, but no. Like, if I was G's cash, where would I be? I would be in a box. <laughs> Duh. Yeah, I've already made, like, a lap, and I still can't find it. I hate this location. Is that something you can, like, actually, like, look up the location to? Because, like, the location, like, changes up. I don't know. I think there's, like, eight possible locations where G's cash can be. I feel like I've actually hit, like, every corridor, every... Oh, it's over here somewhere. Oh, it's over here. What? There's a basement thing down here? Since when? Well, thank goodness my controller vibrated. But yeah, this is G's cache. In the most hidden spot in the game. Did anyone actually know that this location was a thing? This stupid little stairway down to the middle of nowhere. I mean, like, you just walk past and you're like, oh, you know, that's nothing. Because it is nothing. But like, still, that is so hidden. Play like hide and seek with your friends or whatever. I mean, like, geez, this is a good spot. All right, anyways, we made $19,000 off that. Plus, we got ammo and snacks. So now we're we're sitting at $124,000, but now it's time for us to get into our time trials. And I'm going to start out by doing probably the easiest time trial in the game. All right, so I've made it over to my first time trial, which is going to be the junk energy time trials, and it's going to be at Court Center. And usually, I don't think I have a problem with this specific time trial. But yeah, even still, if I like screw up one time around, like this is going to be the easiest time trial that I'm doing today. No. You know, I can still make it. No, 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 no. When you face adversity, you just get back on your bike and you just keep going. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. 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 We're good. Yeah. I forgot about this time trial. Like once you're like actually in the court center, it can be a little bit annoying to like maneuver around. But like once you get down, you know, to the mountain area, it gets so easy. And we actually have a new time trial that we can do today because of the purchase we made last episode of Loser to Luxury. So we'll be actually playing that today, which is going to be exciting. It also bring me a lot of pain and frustration. Oh shoot. I forgot. For this specific time we have to go through the graveyard, which can be a little bit annoying to maneuver around just because, you know, there's so many like little alleyways and whatever. Oh, crap. I forgot I had to jump. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, we, we have like less than 20 seconds in order to complete this. We need to focus up. Where's the finish? Where's the finish? Where's the... I missed the checkpoint. Trying to cut corners, and I just missed the checkpoint. That is so stupid. That's on me. That was really dumb. I mean, I might blame a lot of my frustrations on just the time trials in general for, you know, the other time trials, but this one I should be completing first try. You know, I ran into a tree branch early on, which kind of ruined my mojo, and then I missed the checkpoint at the end, which is awesome. All right, so we made it back down to the graveyard. So once again, we have to pay attention to exactly where these checkpoints are going to be. Okay, okay, jump. <laughs> That's a funny way of jumping, you know, flopping on your face. Maybe not the best way I would have thought of jumping, but, you know, it's all good, you know? Maybe I can still complete this one. That was a pretty bad wreck, but, you know, maybe if I hit my checkpoints, unlike last time, maybe I can still complete it. Okay, okay, that was a checkpoint I missed last time. Oh, wow, we are still going to complete it. <laughs> wow, wow, we didn't even jump, and we still completed it. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention before we jumped into it, there are some time trials that are boosted for money that are double money in RP, and one of them was a junk energy time trial. So instead of making $52,000, like, 
we usually make. We instead made $104,000. So that's pretty nice, but let's move on to our next time trial. All right, so we've made it over to our next time trial, and it's another time trial that I am not a big fan of. And we haven't done this type of time trial during season two yet. So this is gonna be the first time we are gonna get ourselves into an RC Bandito time trial. Now with the RC Bandito time trial, it's very similar to the junk energy time trial. It resets every single day. So when you complete it, you can get $50,000. But if you want to come back the next day and do another RC Bandito time trial, you can. And this is added to the wheel of quick ash. So this is a wheel spin that we could get, but we haven't landed on it today. But we are still going to have to do it right here. And yeah, here we go. We have to drive this small little RC Bandito and try to complete this time trial. I've done this specific RC Bandito time trial on other accounts before. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of this RC Bandito time trials, RC Bandito time trials in general. And it's because this RC Bandito is so much different to drive this around than, you know, a normal vehicle. If you're having issues with the RC Bandito, like I guess my tip that I would give you is instead of like actually like braking with this thing, just let go of the gas because the brakes on this thing are so strong. It'll just spin you out of how strong the brakes are. Oh, geez. Okay. I have less than 10 seconds. I'm so focused right now. But I don't know where the finish for this time trial. Well, oh, that's a column. Jeez. Okay. 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 Let me just figure out where the finish line is. I really wasn't that close. Jeez. Okay. That's the finish right there. Okay. We'll restart. If you've only watched season two of Loser to Luxury, you might be shocked when I say that I'd rather do an HSW time trial than this time trial. Like I'm not talking about like the payday or the money, anything like that. I'm just talking about just straight up trying to complete it. I think HSW time trials are easier than this. Yeah. Just HSW time trials are just a pain for me just because I have the worst HSW vehicle in the game. Thank you, wheel. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, we're good. Jeez, that's another thing with RC Bandito time trials. It's like some of the paths that you have to take with the RC Bandito, it could be a little bit sporadic. I mean, there could be some checkpoints that are very, very close to each other. Then there could be some checkpoints that are very far away from each other. So it's not really the most consistent thing in the world. And yeah, we're not completing this one either. Nice. All right, all right. No more messing around. We're going to complete it right here. Guarantee. I'm putting the Dr. Crush guarantee on it. Mark my words. Etch it in stone already. Completion on what is my fourth attempt? Guarantee it. <laughs> I just <laughs> no, I meant fifth. I meant fifth attempt. Jeez, I misspoke. That's on me. That's on me. What I meant to say was fifth attempt. And yeah, we are going to do it right here on our fifth attempt. Guaranteed. No, I don't know what you're doing there, RC Bandito. You're like the Arbiter GT trying to do some cartwheels or something. The freaking RC car. You're not a gymnast. No. Oh my god, I barely turned a little too tight. And I went the wrong way. Now I'm going back down. Okay, okay. Hey, we're not completing it on the fifth attempt. Yeah, even though I've already attempted this five times, it is still very hard to keep up with where exactly you have to go. At least with like the other time trials, you know, it's not that hard to keep up where exactly you have to go. But this one, it's a little bit difficult. Oh my God, okay. We don't run into a beam right there. We have to go around that. Another thing too with this time trial is like going up like these ramps to go up the mile high building. Like, I don't know exactly how to, you know, try to maximize as much speed as possible throughout that. I feel like if I try to, I'm going to just run off the freaking ramp. Like these ramps right here. Okay, okay. This one's not the issue. I'm talking about these right here where you go up the... Okay, that's what you're not supposed to do. Run off the side of it. That's the first time I did that. I don't know how to maximize as much speed up on like those ramps as possible. I know I'm just creating excuses, but my goodness, I hate doing time trials in the dark. I don't know where I'm going. Ugh, there's a column. Dang, that was actually a good run. I think before I screwed up at the end, we could have actually completed that. Yeah, it's like well lit out here with a bunch of light poles, but like once you get into like the actual building, like there's not that much lighting. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We barely clipped that column right there. Okay, okay. This has been a great run. Hit that column. It's been a great run. Let me just go up here, hit that, hit this, and give me a part-time beaten. Thank you. All right, so I made $51,000 for completing that time trial, even though that took a lot longer. Yeah, but the RC Bandito time trial for this week wasn't double money in RP, so that's just the normal payout that we're going to expect to get every time we do this. But now let's head over to the HSW time trial to drive my favorite car in the game. Ha <laughs> ha! the Arbiter GT. All right, so we've made it over to our next time trial, which is going to be the HSW time trial. And lucky for us, there's going to be two better circumstances compared to last time we did an HSW time trial. One, there's no snow on the ground because last time we did an HSW time trial, there was snow on the ground. And two, we're actually doing, I think I might want to call this one my favorite HSW time trial. So even though I'm driving the worst HSW car in the game, the Arbiter GT, I still expect to complete this one first try. All right, here we go. We have to go two miles and we have a minute 
in 30 seconds to do it. Yeah, one thing about this HSW time trial too is that it's pretty short. A lot of the HSW time trials are kind of long. I'd say the average length of an HSW time trial is probably like four miles roughly. This one only being two is nice. So even if you screw up, which I don't plan on screwing up because this is my favorite HSW time trial. But even if I do screw up, I can just easily start again. Unlike that last HSW time trial that I did. What was that, like two weeks ago? Like every time I screwed up during that HSW time trial, I was already like at least three minutes into it. All right, all right, Arbiter, you're not gonna screw me over. Mm -mm. That was Arbiter GT's fault, guaranteed. Um, you know what? I don't think we're gonna, oh, now we're definitely not gonna complete it. That last one was my fault. All right, all right, all right. We were close, we were close. I didn't exactly put my marker at the right spot. It's by the mass store. All right, here we go, first attempt. Wink, wink, you know what I mean. Hey, okay, okay, no, 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 that's the wrong way. That's the wrong way, Arbiter. We have a half mile and we have 10 seconds. Yeah, just, geez, this car sucks. This is such a terrible car. And another failure. Thank you, Arbiter GT. That is going on your record book as you sucking. All right, here we go. Third time's a charm, guaranteed. We're gonna complete it right here. No more issues this time around. No, that one was a little bit more of my fault. That wasn't Arbiter GT's fault. See, I have to like, that's NPC's fault. Okay, every time I feel like I wreck with this car, I have to assess, is it my fault? Is it the game's fault? Is it the Arbiter GT's fault? So I can be truly fair. I know not everyone's gonna 100% believe me just because, you know, you're not the one driving, but there's a feel factor to this. Okay, that's the NPC's fault, I swear. Go around. <laughs> I swear, that was a dark colored vehicle just right in my way. Like it blended in with the asphalt. Like I swear, you probably don't believe me on that, but come on. Okay, okay, that's Arbiter GT's fault. That was. There's no way around it either. Like, quite literally, any other HSW vehicle would be much better than this. <laughs> like, even on the interstate, when, you know, you really shouldn't have that much issues. Like, me trying to weave through traffic, it's not the most fun thing in the world. Like, you're just always fighting this car. It is not a fun car. And if you do not believe me, go and get yourself one and try it yourself. And then you'll be like, oh my gosh, Dr. Crush was right. Wow, I should not have doubted him. I might not be the best driver, but I do know what I'm talking about with this vehicle. And it is not a good vehicle. Okay, we have like a few seconds before are you kidding? Congratulations, Arbiter GT, you're a failure. See, the sad thing with the Arbiter GT is that this vehicle actually looks fantastic, in my opinion. What are you, okay, I don't know why you just got on two wheels right there. Anyways, yeah, this vehicle looks fantastic. I actually love the look of this vehicle, but the performance is god awful. Slow down, Arbiter, slow down, slow down, slow down. Nope, that's the wrong way. We are turning left here. We weren't turning right. I don't know, the Arbiter GT gets a little confused. It's like, oh, oh, I thought we were turning right there. No moron. We were turning left. Yeah, we're not completing it here. My goodness, Arbiter. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my God, stupid car spawns right there. I wanted to take that turn a lot sharper, but no, cars wanted to spawn right where I wanted to turn. Yeah, I still think we should be able to complete this. Yeah, we're finally gonna be able to complete this. My goodness. All right, so we made $250,000 for that HSW time trial, and we still have one more time trial we have to get into. So let's jump into that. All right, so we've made it over to our final time trial, which is going to be the normal time trial. And this time trial, just like the junk energy time trial is going to be double money and RP. Uh, I am not familiar with this specific time trial. Oh my, maybe I am. Wait, actually, I feel like I've done this one before. I don't remember though. I don't think this one was hard. I think if I remember correctly, I looked up a video. Okay, okay, okay. It is so confusing when, you know, you fall off your bike there and when you don't fall off your bike. That felt like a very good landing, but I don't know. Anyways, as I was trying to say, I think I looked up how to do this time trial last time and it worked pretty much to perfection. I don't even think I'm gonna look it up this time. I think I can just try to do this off the top of my head. Car, okay, you almost screwed me over there, car. So we have to go, I don't know, we probably had to go roughly three miles in two minutes, which isn't horrible. We're not on an interstate though, so it's not gonna be the most ideal way to hit our max speed but oh well we'll make do Oh goodness, I was looking at the minimap and I just ran to the side of a car. I'm lucky I didn't wreck there. Now we have to go into the Vinewood Hills, which is absolutely disgusting. It is not fun driving up in here, especially with a bike. Oh yeah, before anyone else says this, and if they're wondering why I'm using a Body 801 instead of my HSW vehicle, one, I think the Body 801 is just personally a lot better to use for most normal time trials, except maybe for an Akachu drag, just because it's a lot easier to off-road with a Body 801. But two, my HSW vehicle is 
to Arbiter GT, as you just saw. Now, why in the world would I want to do another time trial with an Arbiter GT? It just doesn't make any sense. You know what does make sense, though? Me completing a time trial first attempt, or, oh, jeez, it's not first attempt. It's technically second attempt, but you get the ordeal. So for that specific time trial, we made $204,000. So in total, we made $615,000 from doing all four of those time trials. Essentially, like $150,000 of that was just from like the bonuses for this week. I think now every time we do time trials, we should roughly get like $450,000 on a normal week when nothing's boosted. All right, so now we're sitting on $714,000, but now it's time for us to try to join a random diamond casino heist. So let me go try to see if I can join a random diamond casino heist. Okay, well, I think we've joined a diamond casino heist. But I can't see the board. Game, really nice. Um, I have the option to ready up. I mean, I'll ready up. I don't know what I'm readying up for. Okay, we're still going for it. I don't even know, like, anything. Okay, I got a quick blip of, like, the levels that some of these guys are. But, okay, we're just jumping into it. All right, here we go. A diamond casino heist. Um, we are doing this the big con approach. We're getting into the van right here, which is very nice. Oh, it's on hard mode, too. So, we'll get a little bit more money. And apparently, we ran randomly joined a fan, which is kind of cool here. He messaged me. His name is Sir Snacks a lot. Shout out to that guy. This guy is a level 202. He's the heist leader. Then we have a level 66. So we should be able to do this pretty easily. I mean, honestly, we're doing the big con approach with using this disguise. It's going to be incredibly, incredibly easy. So I am very happy I joined this guy's heist for multiple reasons. So I'm very happy with that. And seeing that he's doing this on hard mode too, leads me to believe that he does this a lot. And oh, he's going this way too. He really does this a lot. That is like the expert thing to do. Oh, this is like chef's kiss right here. My goodness. You know, I still don't have any idea what we're stealing. I wasn't able to look at the planning screen. I just blindly readied up, which I mean, I don't negotiate anyways when I get this wheel spin or really ever because this isn't my ice. But I mean, I don't know if we're stealing cash. I don't know if we're getting paintings. I don't know if we're getting gold. I mean, that's the only three things I think we can steal unless if I'm missing one. But cash versus gold is a lot different. All right, here we go. Let's do the dime casino ice. I got the security pass. Very, very nice. Yeah, the first part of this heist with this specific specific disguise and the specific way that we're doing this heist, it is so easy. We literally are just going to run right past the guards. Like guards are looking like, hello, you're supposed to be down here. And we're just going to run right past them. And then we're going to make it over here. All right. So now we're in the man trap. And yeah, we're going to head all the way over to the vault. And we're going to collect a bunch of something. Still don't know what. Like we honestly might even complete the elite challenge. And I've never completed the elite challenge for a diamond casino heist. Like, I, I feel that confident with this group of people. Anyways. Yeah. He's going to open up the vault door for us. Thank you. Hmm, what is this guy's name? This guy looks like a Jeremy. This is a Jeremy today. Well, Jeremy's open up the door for us. Thank you, Jeremy. And good night, Jeremy. Let's go grab whatever we're grabbing. Still don't know what. How much time do we have? Okay, three minutes, 25 seconds. Huge. Duh, I don't know what we're stealing. Uh, oh, it's paintings. Okay, okay, pretty good. I like paintings. All right, I'm gonna do a hack right here. Try to help out my teammate. This is on hard mode though. So we have to do two hacks instead of one, but still not the end of the world. All right, there we go. Just got through that. Uh, one teammate is just right next to me. I don't think that's Sir Snack a lot. That's the other guy, but there you go. And yeah, he's going to take that painting. Uh, I can go over here and collect this painting. Okay, cool. Like, honestly, we might have enough time to collect every single painting. Um, what is this painting? Oh, it's an amusement park. You can see the little roller coaster back there. This is the Del Perro Pier. Oh, uh, this could be. I mean, there's someone that looks like they're sunbathing. Okay, cool. What a nice photo. Yeah, I'll take that photo any day. All right, we still have two minutes left. Uh, we only have two more paintings we have to collect. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. I have to do the hack though, which I mean, okay, that's not the end of the world. Yeah, paintings are so easy to collect every single thing. When you get to cash and gold, it's a little bit harder for you to collect everything. Like, it's probably more worth it. If you get gold or cash, you have more than two players. But if you get paintings, you can get away with two players and collect every single thing. Like, look at that. The teammates are already rushing in. Does he have to hack? No. Okay, wow. Oh my god, I can actually get safety deposit boxes just because. That is so hilarious. Like, I actually can get safety deposit boxes just because I have spare time. Like, we still have a minute to go. I mean, the other two people are getting the paintings. Yeah, this is fantastic. I'll be happy to do this. Uh, I'll see what my teammates want to do. I'm going to get this last box, but if they just want to get out of here so we can hurry up and try to get the elite challenge, then I'm cool with that. We have 40 seconds left. Uh, they're all just chilling up front. Uh, yeah, okay, we're ready to go. All right, they want to have that 30 seconds to try to get the elite challenge, which I am very okay with. I would love an elite challenge. We have a take of $2,606,000. I'm assuming 
I'm gonna get 15%. Well, oh, I don't know how much like our heist crew is gonna take off. Like, you know, like the gunman and the hacker. I don't know how much those people are taking off, but I think I'm gonna get roughly like 250 to $300,000. We just robbed them, but we're still just gonna run right past them once again. But then once we get upstairs, we're gonna have to be a little bit more sneaky, sneaky. And I'm definitely gonna fall right behind this guy. This guy that I'm playing this with, he knows what he's doing. So yeah, I'm just gonna follow his lead. This is his heist. I'll let him do it. Go ahead. Wait, where are we going? Oh, does he wanna go? Oh, he wants to go this way. Okay, that's a little interesting. Okay, we've been spotted by the security cameras. All right, so we are not getting the elite challenge. So yeah, we've been spotted, but I mean, even still, we should be able to complete this pretty easily. There's just a few people we have to take out. Not the end of the world. We just go through here. Like, I've only taken out maybe like four people. Oh, there's probably only like 10 people we roughly had to kill between the three of us. But yeah, we're already exiting the casino, even though we've hit like a little minor road bump. All right, yeah, and here comes all the news members. You're like, oh my gosh, y'all took these pretty paintings of like an amusement park or whatever. I want them back. And I'm like, no, no, I want that. I want that painting. It's for me. All right, so now what we're doing is we're trying to make it to our getaway car. Then I assume we're going to go and collect the helicopter. I am assuming, but I'm not 100% sure on that. All right, so here's our getaway vehicles over here. Okay, okay. I guess everyone is getting in. So yeah, I will take this vehicle to go get the helicopter. Where? Oh, shh, that's not good. That's not good. That was almost really... I almost died there. That was almost really embarrassing. That's okay. It's okay. All good. Um, We're driving the Segoy right here. This car feels weird. I think this is a front wheel driving car, which is not good. But anyways, it doesn't matter. We're going to go over here and we're going to collect the helicopter. Oh, this guy hired a gunman as a decoy, which I mean, that'll just make our life a little bit easier. Um, He's going to be flying the helicopter, the subscriber, and I'm going to be just chilling out here. And yeah, pretty much all my work is done. So now all we have to do is just lose the cops and we have to deliver the loot to the buyer. And that's pretty much it. I mean, the Diamond Casino heist can be a little bit more difficult. This run was fantastic. We got smart people in this. We did it the best way possible. Only one minor hiccup, but it's still, it's only a minor hiccup. Didn't lose a single life. We're doing this on hard mode. This has been great. I'm very happy I joined this heist. And this is just random too. This is the crazy part. Usually when you try to join random heists, like you get someone that's doing it for the first time. They don't know what they're doing or whatever. I'm very lucky I was able to join this. Like I think I was kicked from, I don't know, I'd say like five or six people before someone actually like accepted me to do their heist with. And I'm glad it's this guy. I'm glad it's this guy. <laughs> this was incredibly easy. I don't know. I guess while we're in the middle of the air trying to lose the cops. Okay, never mind. We just lost the cops. I got paid $10,000. Dollars there. That's pretty nice. But make sure you smash that subscribe button if you want to see more entertaining, fantastic GTA Online content like this. And you can join my membership if you want to see these videos earlier than the average person. A link for that will be in the description below. But anyways, we've made it over to the buyer. He didn't even have to land. The cutscene's already going. We gave them the loot. They gave us the money. And we're going to get a heist pass screen. Sir Snacks a lot got platinum. He deserves platinum. That was fantastic. Okay, our actual take was $1,788,000. I got 15% of that, which is $268,000. Oh, uh, we didn't get the elite challenge because we did get it detected, which is a little unfortunate. But anyways, our total was $268,000. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We got $250,000 for something. How did we get $250,000? I don't know if you saw that, but yeah, I was just randomly added $250,000. I got to look back exactly how I got that $250,000. Oh, okay. Okay. I figured it out. We got a pretty much a first time bonus. If you want to get to this screen that I'm looking at right now, you click pause and you go over to where it says stats and under stats you want to go to the second to the bottom one which is going to be awards then you want to scroll all the way down to the diamond casino heist because that's what we just did and there's a few like first time bonuses that you can get see like we've already completed the aggressive approach we've already completed the big con approach we've already completed the aggressive big con and silent and sneaky approach but we completed this one just now complete the diamond casino heist on hard and without losing a life and earn two hundred and fifty thousand dollars which that's pretty crazy that we just got that because we still i don't even own an arcade like i'm currently in an arcade right now and that's the guys that i just played with yeah we still don't even have an arcade and we were able to complete that which is absolutely shocking with a random person too but yeah we got a random two hundred fifty thousand dollars just for that so now we're sitting on one million two hundred and forty two thousand dollars which is well over the amount that we need to actually purchase our special cargo warehouse so let's head back over to our office and let's go purchase that warehouse. All right, so we're back at our office and we're back on this screen. We're at our old power station, medium cargo warehouse, where we have to 
pay $1 million to purchase this warehouse. So let's click to buy it. Yes, I would like to buy it. And there we go. As the assistant just said, we are now in business. All right, so this building behind me is going to be my special cargo warehouse. So let's walk on in and let's go check this thing out. And here we go. This is our special cargo warehouse, our medium-sized cargo warehouse. That computer right there, we can actually sell off all of the cargo that's inside of here. That toolbox right there, I can upgrade some of the cell vehicles to make it a little bit faster, a little bit more armored. And then this is Lupe right here. She can go out and store special cargo for us, which is going to be pretty nice. But this is our special cargo warehouse. Now, after purchasing this, we have three more businesses we have to purchase, which that includes the Document Forgery Office, the Arcade, and the Salvage Yard, the newest business in the game. But next episode, we're going to spin the Wheel of Luxury to determine what item I'm going to have to purchase next. Oh, I didn't outro my video. I was going to outro my video and apparently I lost connection. That's fantastic. Thanks, game. I don't know. Make sure you check out this video right here if you want to see Rockstar improve their network. <laughs> Five months ago, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only items I've bought on this account have come through spinning a wheel determining what I should buy next. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what item I'm going to have to purchase. So welcome to the 69th episode of season number two of loser to luxury and without further ado let's jump into it all right so currently right now i am on the wheel of luxury and i'm on the wheel of luxury because the last item i bought came off the wheel of businesses and that was our special cargo warehouse and the last item i bought off the wheel of luxury was the rc bandito but what is going to be the next item i am going to have to purchase off the wheel of luxury and it looks like we are getting are we getting a money tech vehicle nope we are getting ourselves pretty much a very point vehicle but probably one of the most fun things to customize in gta online which is going to be a benny's vehicle all right so we haven't even messed around with benny's vehicles pretty much at all i don't even think i've even messed around with a benny's vehicle on my channel at all which is crazy but anyways you want to go to the internet want to go to travel and transport and then there's a tab right here called benny's original motor works and you can click this stock and then there's a bunch of cars and you're probably thinking oh my god you have to buy one of those pretty trashy cars yes but the thing is about these vehicles it's not just getting this car. I mean, like I can get the Tally GTV, whatever, for $1,189,000. Cool. You know, that's nothing special. But the way you customize this vehicle, oh, oh, the customizations to these vehicles make it like 20 times better. This is going to be fun. All right, so I just finished creating probably the biggest wheel I'm ever going to make for any Loser to Luxury episode, which is going to be the wheel of 1 to 29. And I feel very confident that we are not going to make a wheel that is going to be 29 different wheel spins. So I just put in parentheses, Benny's. And the thing is there are 29 different Benny's vehicles off of this website. So how this is going to work is number one is going to be on the top row. And we're going to read this like a normal book. We're going to read this left to right. So essentially one is going to be this vehicle right here, the Obey 10F. Two is going to be the BF Weevil. Three is going to be the Uber Mach Sentinel something, whatever. And then we're going to scroll down one and we're going to go back to the left. And the Grotti Brioso 300 is going to be four. And then you get the gist all the way down here. Here. Then we have the Buccaneer. This will be 28 and the Voodoo would be 29. All right. So since we got that taken care of, let's spin the wheel and let's see what Benny's vehicle I am going to have to get. And we're going to have to get a pretty high number. We're going to have to get on 25. Okay. So 25 is going to be the Vapid Chino, which yeah. Okay. There you go. There's a little preview right there is what it could look like when it's customized the Vapid Chino. So it's going to cost us $225,000 stock, but it's going to be a lot of customization. I have to really do some research on how much this is going to cost, but I feel safe on saying that this is going to cost us roughly $2 million. By next episode, I'll come out with a concrete price for this. I'll do the research, but as of right now, I'm just going to shoot for $2 million. And currently right now, I'm sitting on $269,000. So we have a long ways to go before we can actually purchase the Vapid Chino and turn it into a beautiful Benny's vehicle. All right. So currently right now, I'm on the wheel of quick cash. So let's spin the wheel and and let's see how we're going to start out this episode in order to make money. And it looks like we are going to, I swear, it keeps landing on spin the diamond casino wheel. It really wants me to land on the podium vehicle again. I landed on the podium vehicle episode two. We're on episode 69. I haven't landed on it again, even though I really shouldn't be landing on it that many times. But I guess we're going to test our luck again. All right. So currently right now, I'm on the wheel of making money. So what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like 
we are going to have to sell off five to seven sourced vehicles for our vehicle warehouse. All right, so now I'm on the wheel of five to seven. This is going to determine how many cars we're going to have to steal off the streets and sell it off from our vehicle warehouse. So let's spin the wheel and let's see if we're going to get five, six or seven vehicles that we're going to have to sell off today in this video. And it looks like we are going to have to go out and sell off six vehicles from our vehicle cargo warehouse. All right, so we're going to sell off six vehicles from our vehicle cargo warehouse. But what else in this episode am I going to have to do in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to play the boosted money job for this week. And to be honest, this week is not a great week for this, but um, I mean, races are boosted money and that is really skill dependent. Oh, well, you get screwed over in a race. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. If I do really well, we're going to get a lot of money. If we don't do that well, we're not going to get any money. We'll find out. But to determine how long we're going to have to do the boosted money job, Job. I have a wheel of one to two hours. So let's spin the wheel and let's see how long I'm going to have to do the boosted money job for this week. And it looks like we are going to have an hour and 30 minutes to do the boosted money job. All right. So I got to sell off six vehicles from our vehicle cargo warehouse. And then I got to go and do the boosted money job for an hour and 30 minutes. And then at some point, I'm going to have to spin the diamond casino wheel. But I'm going to do that a little bit later on in this episode. But yeah, let's head over to my office and let's get started out with sourcing a vehicle vehicle for the vehicle cargo warehouse. All right, so we're at my office right now. So we need to select vehicle cargo. And I just realized that I could have sourced stuff from my terabyte, which I rarely do, but oh well, hopefully I'll remember that later on. But we need to click this green source vehicle button right here. And yes, I would like to steal a vehicle. And we have to steal a mid-range vehicle. Oh, I forgot to mention, just in case if you're new to this, there's three different ranges of vehicle. Low range, mid range, and top range. Low range pays out the least, mid range pays out right in the middle, and top range pays out the most. We are looking for top range, but I am okay with mid range. Just don't give me low range. That would be great. Please and thank you game. All right. So if you don't know how this works, essentially we have to go out and steal a vehicle. And that's what I'm doing right now. And once we steal that vehicle, we can take it back to my vehicle cargo warehouse. And then once we get there, we can customize this vehicle to the specifications of a buyer. And then we'll deliver that vehicle to the buyer. And then we'll get a profit for that. And essentially we have to do that six times over. Now I know there is a method to cheese this as far as like getting only top range vehicles. We are not doing that for loser to luxury. We're going to let this play out randomly. We're getting this mission where there's a vehicle that it's in this little alleyway and they're hiding right behind the car. So I don't want to shoot the car, but uh, I'll pull out my rifle instead of my shotgun. Okay, there we go. I think I accidentally shot it earlier. Um, apparently not. I, I swore I thought I shot it. So repair cost is zero. Oh, but the cop shot it. Thank you, cops. Oh yeah, that's another thing with these missions is that there is a repair cost every time you wreck or get shot at but the thing is is that the repair costs really are nothing oh except last time i did this though <laughs> last time i did this i think i had repair costs up to thirteen thousand dollars, which still isn't even that much money but geez it was just annoying because you know i would like to keep the repair costs as close to zero dollars as possible the cop ran into me i don't know if you noticed that a cop barely ran into me but one we didn't wreck badly and two we didn't even get charged with the repair cost all right so the first vehicle that we stole um a repair cost of under a thousand dollars not bad at all all right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to a public session and I'm going to be selling these vehicles in a public session with at least 25 different players. So we'll get a 50% bonus for selling off this vehicle. All right. So we've made it over to a public session. So what we want to do is click export. I'm going to click this export button. And then there's three different ways we can sell off this vehicle. We can sell this vehicle to a private dealer with no modification cost. We can sell it to a showroom, which is going to be more profit, but a little bit of a modification cost. And then we have the specialist dealer where we get paid the most and we have the highest amount of modification cost. The thing is the profit here for the specialist dealer is going to be a lot more than these other two. So you just really want to mess around with selling this off to a specialist dealer. This is going to pay you out the most because this is going to be a profit of $50,000 plus the 50% bonus on whatever we sell. Uh, but we have to quickly customize this. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Like no one cares what this looks like. It has to be something different. Oh good. It's raining. That is fantastic. And oh my goodness, we have to go five miles. What the heck is this location? I don't think I've ever gotten this location before. If I have, I do not remember. And oh yeah, I have a bounty on me. That was from last episode. Carries over into this episode. So raining, bounty on me. I'm trying to do a cell mission. Odds are not in my favor right now. But we are going to power through because we are not a pansy. Oh yeah, another thing with selling this off in a public session compared to a private session is the fact that in a private session, you'll have NPCs coming after you, NPC enemies. And it's a little bit annoying. When you sell it off in a public session, you don't have any NPC enemies coming after you.
after you. You just only have the opportunity to get griefed on by players. But these cell missions are so quick that a griefer really shouldn't have enough time to come after you. And that card just turned into me. My commission didn't go down, but my total market value went down. Okay, I wrecked there. That's on me. Oh, I just survived the bounty that was on me. Okay, that's good. I do not want to target on my back. So I got paid $5,000 for surviving that. Oh, are we taking this to the vineyard? Oh, that's where we're taking this. Okay, this is obnoxious how far away this is. Usually, it's not this far away. Usually, I get like ones that are like two miles away. All right, but we've made it over to the buyer. We've only lost like $1,500, I think, roughly. Uh, he doesn't care. He's going to drive his vehicle away. And there we go. We got paid $91,000 just for that, which is very, very nice. We have to pay like $12,000 to modify it. So that's roughly like $80,000 worth of profit, which is still pretty good. But we still have five more vehicles we have to sell off and they could get even better than that. So yeah, let's jump into the next one. All right, so I remembered to call in my terabyte, which is very nice. But yeah, let's go over here and let's go source another vehicle. So from this screen, you just click vehicle cargo, which is down here. Yes, I'm sure I'd like to source a vehicle. All right, what am I getting? A top range vehicle, a Z-Type. Very good. That's what we're looking for, top range vehicles. I don't mind mid range, but I'm looking for top range. Yes, we are absolutely looking for top range vehicles. We spit on anything that's a low range vehicle. We do not like a low range vehicle. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. I did not realize the car was actually going to be right here. Oh, I was expecting to go right around the reservoir, but nope, it is apparently right on the reservoir. Uh, so we have to steal this car. Um, am I a good shot today? Um, actually, yeah. Wow. The only reason I said that because I didn't think I would be. Right, here we go. This is the vehicle that we're trying to get. The Z-Type. Uh, unfortunately, I had to shoot the guy out of the driver's seat. So that's going to be a repair cost of $1,700. But I still have two miles to drive and I'm driving through the reservoir. All right. And there we go. We've delivered this vehicle. Uh, that only costed us, I think, $1,800. I think I wrecked one other time, which wasn't that bad at all. But there we go. All right. So we delivered that vehicle. But the problem now, at least with selling off vehicles, is that we have to wait a certain amount of time before the next vehicle we sell off. So yeah, we have to wait 13 more minutes before we can actually sell off this vehicle. So I guess I'll see you when this timer ends and we're ready to sell this vehicle off. I actually almost forgot we need to spin the lucky wheel. That is our wheel of quick cash wheel spin. A wheel spin to spin another wheel. So we're here on the Diamond Casino. Hopefully we can land on the vehicle. So let's spin the wheel. And what are we going to get? Please let me land on vehicle. I don't think vehicle is going to come around again. Uh, are we going to get $30,000. It's actually pretty good. That is pretty freaking good compared to the rest of the things on this wheel. So $30,000. I am pretty happy with that. Um, I guess I'll go over to the cashier too. I'll get the visitor's bonus, which is a thousand chips, which will turn into a thousand dollars. All right. So now I'm going to be waiting to sell another vehicle. So I'll see you when we're ready to do that. All right. So the time has expired. So we can now sell off this vehicle right here, this Z type. So once again, let's click export. We're going to once again, sell it to a specialist D because it's still going to give us the most profit. All right, here we go. Um, There's a guy with a wanted level right there. I don't know what he's doing. Let's just get out of here. Um, He is in a vehicle. This is not a great sign. I don't know what this guy's doing. Okay, he was fighting a guy that was kind of close by, also in a Deluxo. I think they were both in Deluxos. They killed each other, so that is not an issue, at least right now. I thought that was kind of targeted at me because he was right outside of my vehicle warehouse, but wasn't. Right, but anyways, this is another cell mission where we have to go another four miles. I don't know what was up with the long cell missions today. No... I was just thinking about that for a second. He was in the right lane, like this lane right here. He was in the right lane and he turned left, like not merged left. If he merged left, then okay, wait, there's a nope, 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 out. I'll shut up for a second. Nope, you're dead. You're dead. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. I probably pissed that guy off. Um, my car is running away from me. I probably should blow up that oppressor, but um, I don't know. We're going. We're going. We're going. I don't care. I don't care. We gotta go. We have to go. I have two miles to go. This is one of the reasons why we do not need a long cell mission. Good thing I saw that. I was just in the middle of rambling, and good thing I looked down at the mini map. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There's an oppressor. There's an oppressor. See, now I'm hyper aware. I am like literally hyper aware. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's coming after me again. I'm out of my car. I'm ready to go. Where are you, guy? Where's he going? Is he just circling me? Could I snipe him? He's on the other side of this mountain. Oh, okay. He's right here. Come on. Come on. You won't. It looks like you actually won't. Or are you just waiting for your prey to move? Oh, is he? He's actually... Where is he? Is he that high in the air? Huh? He just flew right by me, technically. But I didn't see him at all. I have no idea where he's at. He's just flying around. He's literally just flying around. I mean, I can play this game all day. No, I can't. I have to... <laughs> 
I have a time limit to sell this thing off. I'm gonna wait for him to get far, far away. Like, to a different state away. Okay, I think he's far enough away now where I can, like, you know, get a move on and I can at least recognize if he's coming after me again so I can get out and prepare just like how I just did. Yeah, my eyes are glued to the mini-map right now. I don't know, that guy's weird. I don't know what he's doing. Wait, he's a level 14? Wait, I just saw that. He's a level 14. Oh, he just killed someone too. Can you really get an oppressor as a level 14? I mean, I guess you can, but like... Oh, I just wrecked. Awesome. He's not after me anymore, but like he has an oppressor as a level 14. That is strange. Oh yeah, he's just killing everyone now, but he can't kill me, loser. I can actually sell off my vehicle and I can actually, I don't know, apply myself in life and I don't know, do some stuff. But there we go. We made $146,000 off of that sell mission. All right, so we have four more vehicles we have to sell off. So let's jump into the next sell mission. All right, so let's source our third vehicle right here. Uh, what vehicle are we getting this time? The Valerier. Um, I think that's how you pronounce that. It's a mid-range vehicle, which still not bad. I'd prefer mid-range than low-range. Thinking about this very optimistically. Oh, that guy that tried to come after me is now getting killed. That's a beautiful sight to see. Oh, he's not a level 14. I don't know why I thought that guy was a level 14. He's a level 152. That makes a lot more sense. I don't know why. Okay, anyways, there's a photo shoot. Yeah, I called a photo shoot for me, you know. Yeah, I need a photo shoot. Um, hello. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. That is not the photo shoot I ordered. Oh, I did not mean to hit you, ma'am. Dude, who else is shooting me? Stop. I didn't mean to hit you, sir. I am so sorry. Apparently, I accidentally hit a few people. Um, But anyways, this is the car that we're trying to steal. I don't think any bullets hit this vehicle. And that is correct. So yeah, now we need to drive like roughly two and a half miles back to my vehicle cargo warehouse and we should be good to go. Oh, great. I just wrecked. That was so stupid on me. But there's apparently NPC enemies coming after me, so I don't think I could have kept it. Oh, oh, there's a helicopter after me, too. Oh, that's even better. Fantastic. All right, and there we go. We've made it back to our warehouse. Roughly a $4,000 repair cost. Not awful, but worse than what I wanted it. All right, so we have to wait once again to sell this vehicle off. So I'll see you when we're ready to sell this thing off. All right, so there we go. The timer just expired. Once again, we can sell off our third vehicle. So once again, let's sell it to a specialist dealer. Let me customize this thing and we'll be ready to go hopefully no griefer comes after me this time all right here we go we're selling off the valerier and luckily this time we get a much better sell mission we only have to go two miles where was this for the first two sell missions it almost got me killed on the last sell mission but luckily i was a smart intelligent person and figured that out uh, we are still in the same session uh i haven't really been paying attention in this session either so i don't know what's been going on but it's been like roughly 15 minutes since we delivered this vehicle so hopefully things have cooled off that one guy, you know, hopefully forgot who I was and we'll just be able to sell this thing off. Okay, I just got shot or like a straight bullet hit me. We passed by someone who's in the middle of a shootout with the cops. I guess a straight bullet hit me from that. Or I guess from the cops. I don't know, but that is why my commission's not perfect, but we only lost $39. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about right now. Turn into this uh, driveway. I'm not used to having a quick sell mission, but there we go. So that's three vehicles we've sold off and we have three more vehicles that we have to sell off, but I'm going to avoid the next waiting time kind of and how i'm going to do that is i'm going to source a vehicle and then we're going to get into our hour and 30 minutes of playing the boosted money job and then we're going to come back sell that vehicle off and then source and sell two more vehicles so let's go ahead and jump into the next source vehicle mission all right here we go let's go to vehicle cargo what is going to be the next vehicle we're stealing this time we are stealing a uh, roosevelt matte black something um okay I, it's not giving me much information other than that what i'm looking at um use the photo to locate the Roosevelt. Oh, you gotta be that is all the way in Polito Bay. That's not good. We have to go all the way to Polito Bay just to locate the Roosevelt Valor. Like, why? Why can't we have it in downtown Los Santos? You know, that'd be much easier for me. And the Roosevelt Valor, it didn't specifically tell me, like, what kind of vehicle this is. I think off the top of my head, though, this is going to be a mid-range. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's a top range. Okay, we've made it here, but where would a Roosevelt Valor be in here? Why is a Roosevelt... Oh, it's right here. Never mind. I <laughs> found it. And now we have six miles to go. Part of that is going through the mountains which is not great. So it'd be a miracle if I can keep the repair cost at $0 for this vehicle. I'm gonna take a shortcut. Hopefully we don't... Oh, okay. Repair cost is going up. Oh, okay. That's honestly a little better than what I thought. Oh, never mind. I ran into a tree on our way down. All right, and there we go. We've made it back to the warehouse. We only had that one wreck kind of near Mount Chiliad just because I wanted to take a shortcut. Under $2,000 for a seven-mile drive. That is pretty good. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into the boosted money jobs for this week. So let's head on over and do that. And then once we're finished with that will come back and we'll sell off that vehicle right there. 
All right, so the boosted money jobs for this week are going to be stunt races and they're going to be HSW races. I am here at the stunt race series blip on the map. We're going to start out by doing this. See if we can find a lobby. And once we get into the lobby and the session launches, I'm going to start the timer of an hour and 30 minutes. All right, so we actually just got one up and are going to start the timer right there. Here we go. We are starting out with a stunt series race. We are doing the pure race. I think this is what this one's called. Now, the good thing about this was the fact that I was the leader. I was the host. The good thing about me... Okay, the turning on this thing sucks. Okay, anyways, the good thing about me being a host is the fact that I got to choose for us to not have custom vehicles since I do not have a good supercar <laughs> that can actually win any of these races. So here I am with... What is this vehicle? I got the Itali GTB or GT something, whatever. Um, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. Um, Okay, you're kind of in my way, though. Hey! As you can see, we're doing a race where there's contact. You can do non-contact races. Okay. 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 Wow, there goes that race. Jeez. Keep driving. Just keep driving. Oh, I have to make a big jump. Can I make this jump? No. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm that bad of a driver, but geez, this is not a good start. This is awful. I'm in ninth. <laughs> this is so bad. It's okay. It's okay. You know what? It's just time for a comeback. You know, everyone else that I see, though, is using a Nero Custom. Maybe I should have used the Nero Custom. Dude, I wanted to pick the Emerus, but the Emerus wasn't an option for some weird reason. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll use this. And I do not think that it's paying off for me. All right, lap number two. I'm sitting in seventh out of ninth, which is fantastic. Fantastic. I've hit someone's slipstream, though. I don't want to... Okay, well, you can go ahead and suck. That's fine. I'll pass you. It's all right. I don't mind that. You know, catch-up is on for these races, so I should have at least an opportunity to go ahead and try to get back to the front of the pack. Oh, someone just wrecked right there. Uh, thank you for fifth place. Really appreciate that. Okay, here's two people right here. I think they wrecked during one of the loops. Hopefully, I can pass one of these dorks, or hopefully all of these dorks. Okay, I have this guy slipstream. Um, excuse me, sir. I need to go around you because I'm faster than you excuse me i didn't mean to run into you okay well no okay okay we're good we're good we're good you know he didn't get out of my way i didn't try to spin him out there but you know it kind of happened oh i think we're getting close to the finish line though oh oh first place is wrecked oh this is big um can i get third but no mm -mm. yeah loser you deserved not to get third yeah that was stupid he tried to wreck me there and i was just like a brick wall I said uh-uh all right but there we go we finished third place not a bad st okay well it was a terrible start to the race but not a bad finish we got nineteen thousand dollars for that which isn't bad but i'm looking Looking more to get, you know, well, I'm looking to get first place, but I'm hoping to maybe get like 30,000 per race, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I was the only one that used the Italian GTB custom. Oh, I had the fastest lap, though. I mean, it's because I'm the best one here. Duh. Yeah, that might have been my best opportunity to win, though. I mean, as long as I'm the host of the race, we should be still good to go. But once I get booted as the host, we're probably going to have to go back to custom vehicles, which is not great. Oh, and there we go. Someone else's host. That's great. Okay, here's the problem. I saw that HSW mods are enabled, which that means probably everyone's going to use an HSW Akachu Drag, or at least someone will, and whoever uses that, they're probably going to win. I have a custom Body 801, but I don't think it's like fully customized. I think we customized this maybe like the first 10 episodes or something like that, Loser Luxury, so engine modifications aren't the best. <laughs> Alright, anyways, though, we are here, and we are going to try to win, and for some reason, I have a dorky helmet on, which is fantastic. Alright, let's go. Let's go. I'm just popping a wheelie, and let's get to it. I don't think this is too bad so far. I I feel pretty comfortable. Uh, I think I'm remembering now, like, bike races are incredibly competitive. Like, it is very difficult to get away from, like, the main pack. All right, I'm back in first. Let's go. <laughs> oh, don't go down there. Okay, we're good. We're good. I think this race is going to be trading a lot between, like, first and second, maybe even third, or whoever can get back to the main. No, 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 I did it. Dude, that is so annoying. Anyways, this race is a three-lap race, which is going to be a little bit interesting. Bro, why did everyone screw up there? Somehow, a lot of people just screwed up right there, which I don't understand that one, but now I'm back in second. But yeah, this race is three laps, which is going to be a little bit interesting because it gives me more time to catch up, and how the heck does that guy have speed? I didn't think he caught my slipstream. He just blew right past me. Oh, it's an Akachu drag. No wonder. It's a little annoying having HSW mods enabled because you have like people like that who can just fly right past you with an HSW 
HSW Okachu Dragon. I'm just sitting here with a not even fully upgraded Body 801. Okay, well, somehow I took over second because I think the guy in second was being stupid. But I am far, far away from first place now, which is the guy in the Okachu Drag. Wait, huh? Okay, I'm in first now. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how that happened. Maybe the Okachu Drag guy, maybe he went too fast. That would have been hilarious. I forgot the guy's name, but I don't know. I'm in first now, which is nice. But I still have two more laps of this. All right, here we go. Lab number three. Um, Second place is decently close to me. But aside from that, there's not really a whole lot of people that are close to me. Oh, yeah. By the way, when we started this race, there's 15 players. I don't want to check right now, to be honest, because I'm laser focused on the track. But I think I could get a ton of money from this. A three lap race with a full 15 person lobby. It's not technically full, but still a lot of people. Woo, this could be looking good if I can pull out the W. Okay, somehow I'm still in first. I have no idea how I'm still in first right now. We're getting close to the finish, too. Oh, yeah, there's one more checkpoint. Oh, my God. We are going to get first place. There's the guy um, kind of decently far away. I don't know how he didn't pass me if that's the Akaju Drag guy. Oh, okay. Five people left during the race. Oh, wait, no, the Akaju Drag guy did leave. <laughs> Oh, okay. That guy was driving a Reaver, which, okay. Wow, thank goodness for that guy leaving, or else I would not have won. <laughs> All right, there we go, first place. I mean, it's kind of expected when you're watching a Dr. Crush video. I got $71,000 off of that, which is pretty good. I think we had 15 people to start out with, but then I think five people left before we started up the race, so technically only 10 people were in this race. But still, $71,000 for only eight minutes, pretty good. And we still have a lot more racing to go, but we need to continue winning these races, so we can keep getting more and more money. Oh, oh my God, dude. I'm already looking at this. This guy wants to do a non-contact race. What a dork. You know, I probably at some point would have complained about like me getting spun out by players, but my goodness, it is no fun doing a non-contact race. Like you're just watching paint try. There's no fun in a non-contact race. All right, here we go. And as you can see behind me, there is a bunch of people that are invisible. What a beautiful sight. Just a non-contact race. Wow, wow. Just is so stupid. All right, destroy last place every 30 seconds. Okay, that's cool. I mean, the problem is I don't plan on being in last place. I think custom bikes were on once again, and I'm using my custom body 801, which apparently is a winning vehicle. Wait, I forgot. Can I like slipstream in a non-contact race? I feel like it's a no, but I don't remember. I don't do non-contact races because I'm not a loser. Oh yeah, this race had 16 players to start out with, which is very, very nice. So we should be able to get a lot of money here. Holy crap, I'm in second. I don't know how that happened but here i am in second uh, first place is such a far ways away though oh there goes that guy yeah he is an akachu drag yeah adios yeah this is the main reason i don't like having custom vehicles on just because like you know you get someone you know that has half a brain but has an akachu drag can beat a very talented racer first place already finished second place is about to finish i still get third place though i still get third place in a group of 15 people with a body 801 in a sea of akachu drags there's at least four akachu drags i got first and second all right there you go i finished third place once again that's our second third place finish uh we only got fourteen thousand dollars but that makes a little bit of sense because that was only two minutes and 30 seconds worth of a race yeah first place only got twenty nine thousand dollars so yeah we weren't gonna get a lot of money here just in general oh my god we're doing another non-contact race okay if we get into another non-contact race after this i am just straight up leaving i do not want to deal with a non-contact race all right here we go another dorky non-contact race i'm still in my body 801 i think i saw there was five different hikachu drags that's gonna be a tall oh <laughs> i really do <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, okay. That was a terrible start. Okay. Um, you didn't see a thing. Yeah, I'm already up against the world, essentially, going up against Hakachu Drags, and I do that to start out the race. Yeah, that was smart. I can safely say I can probably slowly climb my way back into, the, I don't know, let's just say the top five, but I don't know if I can really do much damage inside the top five. Oh my god, first place is a 15 second lead? What a hacker is that? There's no way someone has a 15 second lead. One thing with the body 801, though, compared to Hakachu Drag is that I can glide a little bit. It's not as good as it once was, but still, can glide a little bit better than a stupid Akachu drag. All right, lab number two. We're sitting at third place right now. Uh, I'd say we're going to finish top four, I think. There's an Akachu drag kind of close to me. I'm going to assume he's going to pass me because he's an Akachu drag. 
No. Dang it. That sucks. Well, that just probably cemented my faith into fourth place, unless it's something crazy happens. All right, yeah, we're going to finish in fourth place. Yeah, I can't compete with those Akaju drags. It wasn't like the most clean race, but it wasn't going to change too much. I might have finished in third place if I had a clean race, but no. The guys that beat me, all of them had Akaju drags. That's nuts. All right, there we go. I got fourth place. Yeah, not the best in the world. How much did I get for that? 16,000. I mean, it's still not bad, but yeah, I would like to at least compete in some races. We still have like 55 minutes left. I'm going to get out of here, at least with this group. And then hopefully we can get into some contact races that aren't going up against Hakaju Drags. All right, here we go. We're starting up a new race and contact is on and we are doing an HSW race this time. I turned off custom vehicles because I don't want to deal with custom vehicles. And you're probably thinking to yourself, oh, why would you do that, Dr. Crouch? You have an HSW vehicle. It's the fastest vehicle in the game. The best vehicle in the game. The Arbiter GT. If you think I'm going to use that thing in a race you lost your mind oh okay good 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 just screw everyone up if i screw up everyone screws up okay good we're doing an hsw tier 2 race i assume this is all the muscle cars because i did see the arbiter okay that guy pushed me that's fantastic to respawn uh, now i'm in last place uh i assume all the muscle cars are in here i'm using the buffalo evx i honestly don't know if this is actually the best vehicle to use oh my god no there's a turn right there sorry i am not used to this race or this car but yeah i was battling between using this and the vigero zx i decided to go with this but i don't know okay okay if you're gonna spin out right in front of me you are going to wreck okay that made no sense anyways i'm using the buffalo evx uh with hsw vehicles there's a limit of eight people that can join Join, and I was able to get five in here. Lab number two. I'm aware of the track now, and I'm away from people now, at least for right now. Oh my god, that guy did the same thing I did. Ha <laughs> ha, nice. Now I'm in second. This is a spot where I wrecked really badly last time, but it's okay. We took the... I almost took that turn really good, but I didn't because I was being stupid. No way around that. Oh, come on. I... Oh, that one was annoying. That one was really annoying. Um, okay. I guess I'm getting third place. Uh, I don't even know where fourth place was or the guy that was in third place. I don't know. He went up here. I don't know why he went up here, guy, but whatever. All right, there we go. I got third place. I shouldn't have even gotten third place. That was not a great race by me. Um, oh my. Oh my. Okay, we need to go back to stunt races. That was awful. That is just straight up awful. Oh, good thing we leveled up. <laughs> Says no one. All right, here we go. We're jumping into another stunt race this time. I think I'm in a full lobby. I'm in an x80 proto this isn't mine and custom vehicles are enabled which kind of sucks i could have used my custom ocelot virtue the vehicle that i got for completing the last dose missions but the uh, x80 proto has a little bit more acceleration so i'm going to use this uh, can you get away from me thank you oh yeah another thing too okay oh my god okay there's a few things about this race one thing hsw mods are enabled uh one of those vehicles that passed me was an hsw vehicle that's fantastic that's fantastic there's no way i could have gone around that another thing too is ketchup is on low yeah that's right it's on low which i didn't even know was a thing so essentially we're screwed we don't have a custom vehicle and ketchup is low so yeah already that beginning of the race has pretty much screwed us for the entirety of the race yeah we're gonna finish seventh place right here couldn't get up to the top five all right there we go we got seven place how much money do i get for that seven thousand yeah not great but not that i deserve a lot of money there yeah whoever's putting these races on at least allow ketchup to be on because my goodness yeah a guy with a weaponized ignis one which is so stupid because a weaponized ignis isn't even supposed to be good at racing it's just an hsw vehicle it's like why okay catch up is normal this time okay that's good yeah the options here really aren't the best as far as like vehicles i can use i mean i could use my ocelot virtue which has great traction but as far as top speed is concerned it really can't compare okay well maybe not top speed but acceleration it can't really compare i have to go the x80 proto but i'm still gonna get outmatched i did try to host another race but i couldn't get enough people to join which kind of sucks so i'm stuck here with all these guys with custom vehicles and here i am just with a stock x80 proto all right here we go i just want a clean start i want to get away from the clutter okay the guy that won last race he's not using an hsw vehicle because like the one thing hsw vehicles or the hsw class is lacking is a lot of supercars okay so far there's been a clean start to the race but we are with a ton of people so one wreck could really change the course of this race okay there was a wreck right there okay 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 we've escaped a big crowd which is good so now it's just me in the track which is what i need this would be a huge accomplishment if i can win this race like the first race that i won and the only race that i've won not really an accomplishment oh my god there's that guy that won last race oh he wrecked though 
<laughs> Loser. Oh, he's going to pass me later on, though. But it'd be a huge accomplishment, though, if I can win this race compared to that one race that I won, just because the guy with the Akachi drag left that race. Right now, I'm in the thick of things. I am top three, and I'm not that far behind the first place spot. Dude, I think they're pulling away from me, though, which kind of sucks. Right here we go, lap number two. Um, I'm in third. Oh, someone just passed me. That's great. That's probably... Yep, it's the guy that won last year. I don't know how that guy has that fast of a car. And that's not his HSW car anymore. Yeah, so now I'm in fourth, but I didn't do anything wrong. Wait, no, I'm in third, huh? Dude, that guy's car is so fast. He just ran into the wall because he went way too fast. I don't know what he's doing. Something's up. Something's a little fishy there, if you ask me. Oh, my God. The guy that was the host won the race. That's fantastic. Yeah, I got fourth, and that was as clean of a race as I possibly could have done. That's what's frustrating without custom vehicles. How much time do I have left? I have 22 minutes. This is a full lobby. I don't want to risk, like, leaving this lobby. But at the same time, I would like to at least have an opportunity to win because pretty much that race showed that I can be perfect and not win a race with my current situation yeah what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna head back out i'm gonna try to host one of these again see if i can get into a lobby where i can make it where there's no custom vehicles all right so we're doing another race we're doing another stunt race called vicious spiral i wasn't able to get more than one person to do a normal stunt race with me as a host so i had to join someone else but this time we got a different selection of vehicles and this time i'm using a devastate 8 which i think is supposed to be a little bit faster than some of the other vehicles that i was using like the X80 Proto. I wanted the Emirates. I actually had the opportunity to get the Emirates, but I saw this had better straight line speed and better acceleration, but you just subtracted the braking and the traction from the Emirates. I was like, all right, we're not going to do much turning in this race. I'll accept that. Ah, oh, but there's a guy right there with a custom HSW weaponized Ignis. Fantastic. All right, here we go. Lap number two. We're sitting in eighth right now. Not the cleanest lap by me, but hopefully we can get top five. Oh, never mind. The weaponized Ignis guy is right there. It's so frustrating how fast that weaponized Ignis is. You just easily go right past me. I do not know why they enable HSW mods in these races when they have their own race class too, which we clearly just did earlier in this video. And we finish in eighth. We almost got seventh, but no. Yeah, just pretty uneventful race. Oh, how much time do we have left? Oh, we have six minutes left. We'll do one more race. Yeah, oh my goodness. First, second, third, fourth, not fifth, sixth. All weaponized Ignises. Like, come on, game. Oh, there you go. I got eighth. Uh, I didn't have a clean first lap, but I mean, after that, I raced pretty well. We're gonna just stop the timer right here. We'll just do one more race. <laughs> oh my god. We did a sports car race, and my armored Karuma is the first thing that comes up. Yeah, that's fantastic. Oh, we do not have good vehicles. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I started the voting out and i saw this was a sports car race i was like you know what should be a change of pace but oh my god i think we're gonna be outclassed by a long shot by the rest of these cars all right let's see what everyone else has looks fast armored karuma i see that um that looks fast um that's an hsw vehicle clearly oh my god. yep we're screwed we're screwed we're just taking laps for fun at this point unless if i get really lucky i need to hit some slipstreams no someone's hitting my slipstream okay it's not what i wanted i need a lot of people to wreck how about that you know well, that's a start there's some wrecks i see you god, I feel like I'm going in slow. Okay, the Comet Safari is just blowing right past me. Okay, well, not anymore. And the Comet Safari was a part of that pileup. Thanks. So now there's absolutely no shot of me winning. Not that I was expecting to. Yeah, this was one of the original stunt races that came out. I remember doing this race, like, a lot. I was even driving around like a Masakro back in the day when that was one of the fastest sports car vehicles in the game. I used to win races with the Masakro, which was nice. Can't do that anymore. Yeah, that was way back in, like, 2016, 2015. But yeah, I need to hit this guy slipstream, please. Yes, this is my only ticket to go forward. No, never mind. No, it's my ticket to crash. <laughs> I mean, we did so many bike races at the beginning of this video. Yeah, I wish we would have continued doing bike races. <laughs> I could at least compete with a body 801. All right, we're going to get eighth this race. Yeah, doing a sports car class race, not a good idea. And you're probably thinking too, I I'm sure someone's thinking, it's like, why did you pick the Obey Omnis? That was literally the fastest vehicle I could choose. That's including my custom vehicles. I do not have a good custom vehicle that can compete in a race. See, like this right here is the Armored Karuma. I do have the Armored Karuma, but it can't compete in a race. See, that guy DNF'd. And we finish out with getting $10,000. I mean, $10,000 for getting eighth? That's not bad. Oh, the S95. That's right. Everyone was using the S95. Yeah, that's an HSW vehicle. I remember that. Okay. All right, so for doing all those races, we made $178,000, which is kind of crazy because that's including us winning $71,000 that one race for getting first place. I was a little held back by 
by not having a custom vehicle. I didn't have like a good opportunity to get first place, but I didn't race too well either, but whatever. All right, so we're back at our vehicle warehouse. We need to sell off three more vehicles and this Roosevelt Valor was a top range vehicle, which is going to be very, very nice. So let's send it to a specialist dealer. Let me customize this thing. We should be ready to go. All right, here we go. We have to take this Roosevelt Valor like three and a half miles, which isn't the worst thing in the world. And I just did a lot of practicing for my driving. So I really shouldn't have an excuse to run into anything unless any NPC wants to change that. That's on me. That's on me. <laughs> <laughs> that one is on me. I was a little aggressive. Whatever. Oh my God. There's a tank right in my way of where I want to go. Okay. Well, luckily we're in a city. There's multiple ways to get to one location. Good thing I was kind of paying attention. That would have sucked if I didn't pay attention and I would just run into a tank. I mean, maybe it could have been friendly, but yeah, let's not test that out. And there we go. We've made it over to this location. Not too much controversy during this sale mission. We only lost like $500. Not too bad at all. Made $149,000 off of that. And we still have two more vehicles we need to sell off. So let's go source those vehicles and sell those things off. All right, so we're back in my terabyte. Let's go source another vehicle. So far, it's been good today. What are we getting this time, though? Wow, another top range vehicle. This has been a great day as far as vehicle cargo is concerned. So far, three top range vehicles in two mid range vehicles, zero standard range vehicles. That is absolutely huge because the standard range absolutely kills how much money we can make. So thank you, game, for giving me that today. So we made it here to the power station. Oh, this is one of those stupid car meet ones, which is so frustrating frustrating so we have to take out a ton of people which i don't want to do because now i have to shoot kind of near the car that i want to steal and there's a lot of them and i can't use explosives because that will blow up the vehicle i want to steal okay there we go finally everyone's been taken out now we have to steal this beautiful fmj and somehow i didn't shoot this thing our repair cost is still at zero i am shocked by that all right so now we have to go three miles and deliver this thing oh but there's npcs coming after me that sucks all right so despite all those people coming after me we only have like a repair cost of 3700 dollars which isn't bad at all all right so once again the timer has expired let's go ahead and sell off our third top range vehicle right here once again to a specialist dealer all right where are we going this time ah uh, like two and a half miles all right not bad at all okay oh well that was my bad <laughs> i keep trying to thread the needle just now sometimes you just can't thread the needle all right so we've made it to the location here is your car only once again like 500 dollars worth of damage whatever all right there we go another hundred forty nine thousand dollars in my bank account and we still have one more vehicle that we need to source and sell so yeah let's jump into that all right, so here we go. Let's go get our last thing of vehicle cargo. Oh my God, we get another top range vehicle. What a day. What a day it's been with vehicle cargo. Out of six, we've gotten four top range vehicles and two mid range vehicles. No standard range vehicles. That is fantastic. And that's without our vehicle cargo warehouse being like stocked up with, you know, standard range and mid range vehicles. Like this is legit. All right, so here's the ETR one. It's going to drive towards me and looks like you're being chased by the cops like that <laughs> yeah this specific mission is a little bit annoying because i have to get out of a vehicle like a normal vehicle and try to chase after that car all right i finally caught up to the etr1 and i gotta shoot the driver out um excuse me can you like stop okay no you didn't listen ha ah, this one's so oh, okay thank goodness i hit that shot all right let's get into the etr1 i have to lose the cops but this mission i can luckily just call up lester yeah our repair cost is going to be the highest one of the day which is going to be right at at $7,800, which I mean, I think that's a pretty good day, honestly. All right, so once again, we have to wait for the timer to expire before we can sell off our final vehicle the day. All right, the timer finally expired. We can sell off our final vehicle right here. We're gonna sell it to a specialist dealer. All right, we're taking this roughly three miles, which isn't bad. The sell missions towards the end of our six vehicles that we had to sell got shorter and shorter, which is nice. Okay, there's an impressive no, no, no. What you doing, cowboy? probably should kill him, but I got to find a good opportunity to. Ready, set, go. Ow. Well, there goes that. I probably pissed him off now. How are you not dead? He's probably going to land on the building and then come down and then shoot a grenade launcher or something. Yeah, this is fantastic. Oh, uh, I got to get creative. Oh, uh, he's like right there, right? Oh, oh, I did get him. Oh my gosh. I doctor clutched. That was a doctor clutch moment right there. I, let me get out of here first. I'm not the best PvP player, but I have a brain. Oh no, but is that? Okay, there's a pink oppressor that came by, but I think he was kind of being our ally or something. I don't know. Oh, that guy. That guy is killing the guy that tried to come after me. That's that pink guy right there. Dude, that guy's a G. Thank you for that guy. Wow. All 
I thought Dr. Clutch would come in during the racing part of this video. I don't know. I wasn't really clutch though during those races. That was clutch right there. My goodness. Wow. Bro, I got to message that pink guy. That guy really just made it a lot easier for me. Uh, he just died. That's okay. Your job is done. His name is Assassin Dylan. Shout out to Assassin Dylan. I don't know if he even knows me or not. Um, the guy's coming after me again. That guy. Oh, dude, it's going to be the same thing, I think. Please learn from your mistakes. I'm not even a PvP channel, and I'm just, like, piecing you together. Goodness, like, please, use your head. You're born with it. It's not meant for decoration. It's meant to apply yourself in life. It's not meant to try to be stupid. What, I killed him that quickly? I guess you're getting a little PvP content. Me versus dumbass. What's he running to? Oh, he's just driving away. What a moron. The pink guy is gonna go after him. Oh, he's right there. Oh, can I hit him with a homing missile? This'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> you can run, but you cannot hide. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so anyways, after all that we did in this episode, we're sitting on $1,081,000. I don't know exactly how much that Vapid Chino is going to cost me in the end, but I assume we're roughly halfway there to purchasing everything that we need to make this thing absolutely beautiful. And come on, that was such a great ending to today's episode. I think you need to go down and hit that subscribe button. I think you have to. I destroyed an oppressor griefer. Also hit the like button while you're at it. Tomorrow. All right, so I had actually out outro this video and it's a new day today and i took a look at how much the benny's modifications for the vapid chino would cost and it's roughly gonna cost us just for the customization like eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars. i mean we still have to buy the car but yeah we're currently sitting at one million eighty one thousand dollars so we should be able to fully customize the vapid chino which i was not expecting yesterday when i recorded this video so yeah we're here today a new day we're gonna pick up this vapid chino which the space price is two hundred and twenty five thousand dollars i calculated it by like maxing everything out with this car so yeah i don't really think we're gonna be using this entire budget but we can afford it so yeah there we go we just purchased our vapid chino so yeah we're left with pretty much eight hundred and fifty six thousand dollars. so yeah i pretty much have the budget to get whatever i want with this car so yeah i'm gonna head over to benny's now and i'm gonna call my vapid chino and we're gonna get to customizing this thing wait what benny's original motor works is currently unavailable visit lamar to unlock it what when is this a thing Thing. Dude, I have not messed around with Benny's in so long. All right, yeah, contact Lamar. Visit Lamar so he can lay out his plan. Oh, Lamar, where are you then? Oh, oh, okay. Now we have to go back over here. Got it, got it, dude. I haven't done Benny's things in probably like seven or eight years. I have not messed around with this at all, but what's up, Lamar? I was not expecting to see you. Okay, that was probably one of the most confusing cutscenes ever. It was just Lamar just talking out his ass, but whatever. Uh, Do I actually have to do this? job. I have a sneaky suspicion we don't actually have to do that. You need a vehicle to use Benny's original motor works. I have a vehicle. Thank you. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call my mechanic and I'm going to call in my new Vapacino. All right, there you go. Benny's original motor works is now available at that icon. Bring a suitable vehicle to Benny's to apply his cosmetic and performance modifications. And then it also says Benny's website sells all the suitable stock vehicles that he works on. Access it through the internet on your phone, which that is what I already did. But here is my Vapacino. I mean, you're probably be thinking, oh my gosh, Dr. Crush, this is a horrible car. Why the heck was this thing on the wheel of luxury? This is crap. And so far, yeah. But we're going to take it in here. Oh my god, we have like another mini cutscene. Benny's talking. Dude, I didn't think Benny talked. At least a whole lot. Um, okay. So we just sat through that cutscene. And here we go. This is the upgrade right here. We have to click upgrade Benny's original motor works. And this modification, which will turn this vehicle pretty much into a completely different type of vehicle, is going to be $185,000. So yes, I I'm sure I want to upgrade this to a Chino Custom. And before I do this, there's special modifications that are only inside of the Chino Custom. So if you want to get some of these special like modifications to any of your Benny's vehicles, you have to pay for this. You can't just buy, I don't know, like the LG RH8. It's a free vehicle, technically. If you want the special modifications for that, uh, you can't just buy the vehicle for free and expect to get the modifications to it. You have to get the custom version of this vehicle, which you can do right here. I'll show you one. One more time you click upgrade benny's original motor works and you select to make custom vehicle so there we go it is now a custom vehicle where you have some hydraulics on it already but first things first i want to mess around with the respray i know it's probably gonna piss a lot of people off but i want to make this thing dr crusher orange we just have to no way around it all right so that's good there um there's some different liveries but i looked at them earlier i didn't think these were the best liveries and no they are not these are garbage now another cool thing with 
Benny's modifications is that you can unlock hydraulics for some of these Benny's vehicles. And these are lift kits to control the height of your vehicle. Extreme use to may cause minor vehicle damage. Okay, whatever. I don't care. So these things are pretty sweet. So obviously I have budgeted to get the most expensive one. So that is very nice. That is $275,000 of my budget. All right, I'm going to finish upgrading this vehicle. Uh, the rest isn't too crazy. So I'll see you when we're done upgrading this thing. <laughs> Bro, you can get crocodile skin in here? <laughs> what? I'm sorry. Oh, we can get tiger fur in here, dude. I don't know. The crocodile kind of goes hard. We have to get the crocodile. Well, we can get action figures in here too. I mean, they're technically bobbleheads, but I mean, I went around very recently and collected every single collectible in the game. I mean, I might as well get impotent rage just kind of as a nod to that video. I think that makes sense. Oh my God. We budgeted so perfectly. We have $381 left. My goodness. But here is our vapid Chino after customizing this thing. I mean, it's a pretty good looking car. This is when driving a low rider, hold the A button and move your left analog stick to play around the hydraulics. Okay. Like imagine me rolling up to your apartment like this. Like my goodness, you'd be afraid. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I figured out something. Wait, no. How did I do that? I'm doing it the wrong way. I should be doing it this way, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. So yeah, let's take a look at this vehicle. I mean, look how nice this thing is. Like, my goodness. Very nice engine. We're doing this in the dark, but oh well. We have the nice crocodile seats. Very nice. And then we go back here. We have our hydraulic system along with our speakers. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ready? Set. Oh, shoot. That's not what I wanted to do. Hold on. I wanted to, like, there's a girl just kind of chilling out in my car now. This is weird. And my head is, like, right in her um, area. I mean, dude, this thing's so fun. All right. So, for next episode, we're going to spin the wheel of businesses to see what business we are going to have to buy next. Make sure you check out this. Back in August, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only businesses I've bought on this account have come through spinning a wheel, determining what business I should buy next. So, today in this video, Video, I will spin that wheel again to see what business I'm gonna have to purchase. So welcome to the 70th episode of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so I'm currently on the wheel of businesses and I'm on the wheel of businesses because the last item we purchased came off the wheel of luxury, which was our Vapid Chino upgraded at Benny's. And the last business I bought was the special cargo warehouse. And currently we're sitting at three businesses left. We have two pretty good businesses, the arcade, which we can do the diamond casino ice with the salvage yard which is the newest business in the game and then we have the document forgery office which was going to be the worst wheel spin out of all the wheel of businesses wheel spins that could have been on here and probably the worst business if you take out the arena workshop so let's find out what's going to be the next business we are going to have to purchase and it looks like we are going to go out and purchase the newest business in gta online which is going to be the salvage yard all right so we're on on Maze Bank foreclosure, and we need to go over to Salvage Yard right here. And there's three salvage yards in downtown Los Santos. We scroll up, there is one right here in the Blaine County area, and then there's one all the way in Polito Bay. It's absolutely insane the options that you can pick because, like, there's three pretty good options, and then there's like two really crappy options. And how I've been buying businesses during this season of Lose to Luxury is I'm spinning a wheel and I'll randomly decide what specific location we're gonna get. And there's five salvage yards, so I'm on a wheel of one to five and how this wheel is going to work. The number one option is going to be the most Southern location, which will be this location right here, the La Puerta location. And then two would technically be this location, even though two and three are going to be very close as far as latitude. But I think the strawberry location is a little bit more Southern on the map than this location right here, the Muerta Heights location. And then we have the fourth option, which is all the way up here. It's Sandy Shores. It's a little bit more cheaper, but it is way more inconvenient. And then we have have the most inconvenient location of them all, the Polito Bay location coming in at number five. All right, so now we understand how this wheel is going to work. Uh, this either can be a huge sigh of relief or we're going to have to suffer a lot with this wheel spin. I don't know. We'll just find out. Are we going to get a good option or are we going to get a bad option? Oh, no. Oh, please. At least give me Sandy Shores. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Ah, this is going to be fun. So we landed on number four. So that means we have to buy this location right here, the Sandy Shores location. 
location. And then we can customize this a little bit. Um, I'll put a tow truck. We'll get a tow truck with this salvage yard. I don't know. Pretty much aside from the tow truck, we really don't need anything else. I mean, having staff will make salvaging what we do bring in a little bit quicker, but I think we're fine with just only getting the tow truck. So with only getting the tow truck at the Sandy Shores location, it's going to cost us $2,680,000. And currently right now, I'm sitting on $881. So we essentially have to make everything. We're pretty much at zero. And that's because we spent everything on the Vapid Chino Custom last episode. All right, so now I'm on the wheel of quick cash. So let's spin the wheel and let's see how we're going to start out this episode in order to make money. And it looks like we are going to have to do something that we actually have never done during this season of Loser Luxury. And that's going to be exporting mixed goods. And we can do this now just because we purchased our special cargo warehouse, I think, two episodes ago. All right, so currently right now, I'm on the wheel of making money. So what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to go out and sell off our maxed out asset lab. I don't think we've sold this off in a while, but I think we had a stretch where we kept getting grief during this specific sell mission. So hopefully we don't run into any issues. All right, so I'm going to have to sell off my maxed out asset lab. But what else in this episode am I going to have to do in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to do two auto shop contracts wow i thought that was going to go over one more wheel spin but it is not we are doing two auto shop contracts we have to hang out with our best friend Sasanta. oh my gosh i've missed you i've missed you it's been exactly a week since i got really really pissed at you so hopefully you've taken that week to i don't know think about what you've done come to the conclusion that you need to apologize to me it was just completely obvious what happened episode 67 all right so i'm gonna do two auto shop contracts and then i'm gonna sell off my maxed out asset lab but first i'm gonna head over to my office and export mixed goods all right so i've made it over to my office and we're about to export mixed goods and we have never done this during the loser to luxury episode and people have been asking me to do this too and i hadn't had the ability to do this until now so we're gonna head over to talk to our assistant and then out of all these options you have a thing on the bottom called export mixed goods so yeah all we have to do is click this and yeah we start up an exporting mixed goods mission and all we have to do is just deliver the mixed goods to the terminal uh so yeah we have to go to the mixed good location which this mixed good location is kind of in the direction of where terminal is so i am very very happy with that but this is so simple this is such a quick and easy way to make money i don't remember the cooldown on this but it doesn't really affect us today but as far as like the free to do whatever wheel spin this is going to be definitely a way to make a lot of money but anyways we are almost at terminal this is going to be like i don't know three quarters of a mile drive or something like that a mile and a quarter okay not bad not bad but still all we have to do is just drive there okay and then there's some like enemies coming after me but like i don't care yeah this is a lot like selling off excess weapon parts except you have to go out and get your cell vehicle but yeah this is definitely defining a wheel of quick cash wheel spins my goodness this is going to be very quick i mean this is pretty much going to take us roughly three minutes all right here you go here's your mixed goods and we get the same cutscene that we get with a lot of other different things and there we go just an easy fifty thousand dollars i assume that cooldown is pretty similar to our excess weapon parts cooldown but i don't know but now it's time for us to start up two auto shop contracts so let's head over to our auto shop and let's get going I'm trying to work. You're going to allow me to work on like last time I talked to you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Or am I? I don't know. I don't care. Anyways, we're at our auto shop. As you just saw me talk to Santa. And we're going to do two auto shop contracts. Now, how we're doing auto shop contracts is that I'm only going to select whatever is on the board. I'm not going to cheese and try to get the union depository contract just because that pays out the most. Whatever's on the board is what's going to be available to me. And I want to try to get the first time bonus for every single auto shop contract. So yeah, we're going to be doing two new auto shop contracts today i think there's a total of eight all right so we have the loss contract the super dollar deal and the ecu job now if i remember correctly i think the ecu job so santa doesn't take a cut don't remember 100% on that. And because Sasanta wouldn't be taking like a pay cut, this technically would pay out the most, even compared to the super dollar deal, because Sasanta takes a 10% cut. So that's $18,000. So that's going to be like 160 something dollars, which is less than 172. So we're going to do the ECU job to start out with. And now Sasanta is going to tell us exactly what I have to do. I'm going to take off my headset because I don't like to hear a voice. All right. So essentially, these auto shop contracts are pretty much like a mini 
heist. You have two setups to do and a finale. These top two things right here, the train inventory and schedule are setups. And this bottom thing right here is the finale, which is going to be the robbery. Now, as soon as we complete these first two setups, we'll unlock the ability to do the finale. Now, I'm not going to show you any of these setups. These setups are pretty self-explanatory. They're pretty easy to do. So yeah, I'll see you when we're ready to do the finale. All right, so I completed the first two setups. So we're ready to do the robbery. So all we have to do is stop the train, steal the ECUs, and deliver them to the client, which the client is going to be Katie J and Sasanta because they're lazy and they don't want to do this themselves. All right, here we go. We are starting up the ECU job. I am driving Sasanta's smelly and dehydrated vehicle. I wasn't going to say that this season because I said that a lot the first season, but no, nah, she pissed me off last week. So no, you get the honor of your car getting that title. Now, why do I say that? There's no specific reason other than I don't like Sasanta. <laughs> there is none. Anyways, yeah, we have to go to the train route interception point and I need to take off my headset. I'm so I can't deal with this blah, 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 blah from Sasanta. It's just talk, talk. Talk. She over talks. I mean, some characters in GTA Online, they over talk, but the same thing, it's just nothing that she's really saying. Like, I understand what I'm doing. I feel like Franklin, when he talks, that's another good example. He, he talks a lot. But when Franklin talks, he at least talks with like some intelligence. The Santa, there's just nothing. It's more like she's kind of saying a lot, but she's saying nothing at the same time. Oh, dang it. Okay. I think I just realized for this specific mission, oh my God, I just wrecked. Well, I don't care if I wreck, is this a Santa's car? I think I got the wrong weapon loadout, at least for this mission. I got the one I usually get, which is the one with the Mark II assault rifle. I have pipe bombs, which I mean, they could do the job for this, but I'd much rather have sticky bombs. I think sticky bombs are an option for one of them. All right, so essentially, Meriwether is bringing a train over, which is right there, and they have a helicopter coming by. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to destroy the brake cylinders. I'm very nervous to throw a pipe bomb on this thing, so, you know, I'm not going to use the pipe bomb. God, this mission is so annoying, in my opinion. You have to keep up with the train, and then you have to shoot out the brake cylinders, which the brake cylinders are on the front car right here. And it's these red things. You have to shoot these things out. And then you have like these little tunnels underneath the railway. Kind of a close fit. Yeah, but you have four of these brake cylinders we have to shoot out, which is so stupid. Can I fit in between here? I think I could have. It's just I got kicked over. Oh, maybe I can't. Help. Okay. Uh-oh. Can I fit? No. Dang it. Oh my God. Sasanta's car is smoking. I mean, that is such a beautiful sight. My goodness. You know what's a better sight though? The remains of Sasanta his vehicle from being blown up, which I mean, it'll look like that in a little bit. Oh my God, her vehicle's on fire. This is such a great sight. Oh, I didn't want to go down with the vehicle though. I, I thought I had a little bit more time. That sucks. Can I call in a vehicle for this one? Delivery not available. Okay. I think there's some that I can call in a vehicle, but not this one. Okay, apparently Meriwether has a white Jeep. I guess I can steal. That is good with me. All right. I need to make it back to the train. The train has gotten a decent ways away from me. I have no idea how far this train can even go. I usually either fail or I do this a lot quicker than what I'm doing it right now. Wait, wait, what's happening? So Santa just said Meriwether has a whole army just waiting. If we can't get this train stopped, I've never gotten it to that point. If it'll even allow me to get to that point. Okay, well, I'm not going to get to that point because Meriwether decided it was a good time to shoot me. Fantastic, thank you. This is one of the harder auto shop contracts. All right, and every time we restart a mission, we get Sasanta's car back. Like, Sasanta, like, went through the ashes and literally put the puzzle back together. Yeah, I definitely think blowing up the cylinders a lot easier. I just do not trust a pipe bomb. If I had a sticky bomb, I'd trust that. Sasanta, get a smaller car or get a bike. Like, why couldn't you get a bike? Get like a Hakachu drag and put HSW modifications on it if you're smart. But no, you're not smart, clearly, as we saw in episode 67, infamous episode 67. Oh, there we go. That's one cylinder. Oh, there we go. That's two brake cylinders. We have two more to go. Oh, there we go. That's another brake cylinder. We have one more brake cylinder we have to take out. All right, there we go. Finally, every single brake cylinder has been taken out. Now we need to search the train for the ECUs. Now, apparently, there's supposed to be a serial number I'm supposed to try to find. But what the heck is this serial number even on here? Like, that's something I'm a little confused about. I probably should know that, but I don't. Oh, is it up top? I don't know. Oh, there we go. There's one. I think we need to find two, though. Yeah, I need to find two. Yeah, there's helicopters after us right now. But luckily, we parked underneath this bridge. So, yeah, we really don't have much of an issue right now, at least with that. All right, there we go. There's 
there's another ECU. Is that everything? Good. All right. That's all the ECUs we need to get. Now we need to deliver these ECUs to Katie J. Blow up Susanna's car, and then we should be good to go. Oh my God, dude. No, no, stop, stop. Don't kill me. I would like to explain something to the audience. Thank you. Dude, I swear, during this mission on the way back, Susanna says like one of the most obnoxious things like ever. They swung and they missed with this character. It is absolute miss of a character. It's so obnoxious. Like people think English Dave is bad, which he is kind of bad. So Santa and KDJ are just so much worse. I don't know how anyone can defend them. If you're defending Sasanta and KDJ, you either don't use your headset and don't actually listen to what they say, or you just haven't done these in general. Like once you actually start listening to what they say, I don't know how anyone can defend Sasanta or KDJ. Just stupid crap spewing out of their mouths. Okay, there's KDJ right there. Hey, KDJ, you want to see something? I want to see a little explosion. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I know, they're all looking at it and they're like, oh my God, that is a beautiful sight to see. And it is. Here you go, KDJ, and thank you for my money. Um, I'm at least happy you don't take a pay cut this time. But there we go, contract passed. We made $172,000, which was the original amount that we had earlier on the board. See, there you go, as you can see, KDJ is the Santa's cut, $0. This is the only contract where they'll have a $0 cut, since we're technically doing something for them. All right, and there we go, we got another $75,000 for our first time bonus for doing this for the first time. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do another auto shop contract. So let me head over to the auto shop and let's start up our second auto shop contract. All right, so I'm back at the auto shop. So now it's time to look at the board again and see what we can do. All right, so we have the lost contract, the super dollar deal, and the agency deal. Oh, uh, we did the agency deal last time. I don't think we've done the super dollar deal and then the lost contract. I don't think we've done that either. Um, I don't like the lost contract, honestly. We'll do the super dollar deal this time around. All right, so say Santa once again is going over what to do here, even though it's pretty self-explanatory. But essentially, we have two setups once again and a finale, which is going to be the robbery. So I'll see you when we have these first two setups ready to go so we can actually start up the finale. All right, so we completed the first two setups. So we're ready to do the finale, which is going to be the robbery. So all we have to do is stop the convoy, steal the printing plates, and deliver them to the client. I think this is another tougher one. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I actually think this one is a sticky bomb one too. I think at least it's going to be easier if we have sticky bombs. So I'm going to use this weapon loadout right here, the sharpshooter weapon loadout. This one has the Mark II heavy sniper. I think the sticky bombs will help us out a lot during this mission. All right, here we go. We are doing the super dollar deal. Once again, we are in Santa's smelly dehydrated vehicle and we have to go all the way across the map to the transporter and Santa's talking. You know what that means? Headset off. Yeah, the transporter is over by Fort Zancudo. So yeah, we have to drive roughly like five miles before we can actually get really started with this mission. All right, so we finally made it over to the transporter. Now, uh, here's what I want to do. I want to drive right past this little convoy thing. Come right here, pull out our sticky bomb and just go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's all the sticky bombs I have in hand and as many as I can put on the car anyways. Let me get away from that convoy and then, well, bam. And that did over half the damage. So now I can just take a mini SMG and just shoot it away. Oh God, I'm about to die. Hold on. I blame that on Susanta's car. No, if Susanta had a better car, I wouldn't have died right there. Well, sadly, I don't have any more explosives to destroy Susanta's car, so Susanta's car is just gonna have to be stuck at Polito Bay. She's gonna have to call a tow truck. She's not calling my tow truck service once we were able to do that. We're not accepting business from idiots. Uh, but anyways, we have a big target, unlike last mission. So yeah, I definitely think this loadout that I chose, this weapon loadout, was the best choice. All right, there we go. We did enough damage. This vehicle's about to stop. All right, let's just enter. Okay, cool. Oh my God, I got run over at the last second. All right, anyways, I think there's people in here, right? Oh, I have to upload the virus and then I have to go take out some people. Yeah, 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 whatever. All right, there we go. We're in and yeah, there's some people, some dorks. So there's one dork down, one dork to go. There we go. Nice. Oh, so yeah, now we have to search the crate and try to find wherever the heck these plates are. Okay, all the plates are in the crate. So we have to search every single crate for all the plates. All right, here we go. Here's the last crate that I need to get. All right, very nice. Now we have to deliver these bank plates to the client. I right, know the problem is there's going to be a lot of enemies like that person right there. All right, so yeah, we have to drive roughly six miles all the way to the client. There's just too much driving this one. I'm driving with quite literally three wheels. I am missing my front passenger side wheel. What? What? 
That was like one shot and I died. <laughs> what? I think it was from that menacer. I think it was a menacer. No, it might have been a barrage. I don't know. Whatever that vehicle was, that's what took me out. Oh my god, I have to do that all over again? Or at least I have to go inside the transporter again? All right, so once again, we've collected all the bank plates. I'm going to get into Santa's stupid car. Oh. Uh... You know what? I'm going to have some fun. We're going to have some fun. You know, we're right next to the military base. Can I just go inside the military base and can I like get a jet and then deliver the bank plates with a jet? All the problem with this though is that I can't blow up Sasan's car. Okay, can't get in that way. I'll do the big jump. You know, I'll do the big jump. Oh, you know what? You know, in theory, though, like leaving Sasanta's car inside the military base, I think that's brilliant because there ain't no way she's getting that out. We're going to donate this car to the military or we're going to trade. We're going to give them a car that we desperately do not want. And we're going to take a jet. I am assuming a jet's going to spawn in. I mean, there's a jet right there, but I don't want to shoot because the military will get pissed at me. Okay, okay. You'll have to have a jet nearby somewhere. You got to have a jet to donate. Bro, where are the jet? There's no jets out right now. Wait, can I really not get a jet during this mission? Bro, I just got inside the military base for nothing? Like, there was literally a jet on the runway. I was like, nah, I don't want to get that jet. But I probably should have. Can I actually get out of the military base now? Wait, what the, what the heck are you in the military base? I don't know. All right, can you please let me go? You know, I accidentally got in here. Uh, no, I can't leave. I'm gonna have to do something. I'm gonna do something very strategic. Ready, set. Oh, I dropped the bank plates. Oh my God. I got to go back and collect them, which that's not happening. So we're just going to do that. Awesome. All right. So military base during that mission, bad idea. All right. It looks like I'm going to have to do this a normal way. Just drive this thing back, you know, normally. No jet, no fun. All right. So we've almost made it to the client. We had to drive it pretty far away. Can I just drive this thing into the water? Hmm. How do I want to do this though? I think if I just hit it just straight ahead, I think it should be able to get into the water. I just have to jump out. Uh, I don't know. Let's it. Ready, set, jump out. We made it and submerged. That was perfect. That was perfect. And we didn't kill any of the guys. That was so perfect. Round of applause for that. Wow, that was fantastic. Drew it up to a T, submerged to Santa's car, did the job, contract passed. We're going to get paid $166,000 because Santa is a little greedy and takes 10% of our cut, unlike the last one that we did, but whatever. And there we go. There's another first time bonus of $75,000 for doing the super dollar deal for the first time. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to call up our asset lab and we need to sell off everything from our acid lab. So let me head over to a public session and let's get started with that. All right, so we've made it over to our acid lab. And as you can see in the bottom right, our acid lab is maxed out with a value of $351,000. And since we're in a public session with at least 25 players, we should get a 50% bonus of whatever we do sell. So let's sell off our acid and let's jump into it. All right, so here we go. We have to take our acid to the drop off. And this is one of the ones where we need to take it to 10 different delivery spots. Now, if I remember correctly, I don't think the past few times when we've tried to sell off our acid, it's gone that well. I think there was like a few times in a row where I've been griefed while I was trying to sell off my acid, which kind of sucks. But hopefully that doesn't happen here today. Right, so we've made it over to the first spot. I almost just drove into the water. Where is this first spot? It's in this bin down here. I have never gotten this spot before. From way downtown? How did that miss? From way downtown? There we go. Nice. One down, nine more to go. There we go. Here's the next location right here. I'm going to say the bank's open. Okay. Apparently it's not up against the wall. Oh my goodness, I swear. There we go. There we go. Bank was open that time. Eight more deliveries. There we go. Here's another container right here. Mid range shot. Okay, I guess we're not good from mid range. There we go. Seven more to go. All right, here we go. Another one. Very nice, easy shot because I drove up right next to it. Six more to go. There we go. Another shot right here. Bank's open. Okay, maybe not that high up. Very nice. Bank's open. Five more to go. All right, here's another spot right here. Can I get it first time? Very good. I, yes, I did. Four more to go. Oh, the bins right here. Jeez, I keep just driving straight up to it. And I apparently missed that one. All right, there we go. Three more to go. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Stop it and stop it. Oh, jeez, you didn't die from that. Okay, now there's more people after me. Why? Just take this and I'll get out your way. Two more to go. All right, here's another container. Bank's open. Bank is always open for me, I swear. One. One more to go if I can actually learn how to drive. All right, here we go. Here is the final container right here. Just take the package. 
Okay, that missed. Take the package. Okay, take the package. There you go. Now, all we have to do is just leave the area and we should be good to go. And there we go. We sold off all of our asset for $527,000. All right, so after everything in this episode, we now have $1,106,000. So we still roughly need about $1.5 million before we can actually purchase the salvage yard all the way up at Sandy Shores. So hopefully next episode, we'll get a little bit closer to being able to purchase that salvage yard. Five months ago, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only way I've made money on this account is by spinning a wheel determining what I should do to make money. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what I will do in this video. So welcome to the 71st episode of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so currently right now, I am on the wheel of quick cash, but before I spin the wheel of quick cash, I just want to remind you that we are trying to buy the Sandy Shores salvage yard next. And with the upgrades I want to put on this, it's going to cost me $2,680,000. And currently right now, I'm sitting on $1,109,000. So we roughly need to make like one and a half million more dollars before we can actually purchase this salvage yard. But how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to, we go into our nightclub. Yes, we we are okay we haven't gotten this in a while but we are gonna have to go to our nightclub and collect my nightclub wall safe which is almost maxed out just because of how long it's been since i've collected this thing all right so right now i'm on the wheel of making money so what are we gonna have to do in this episode in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to sell off our hanger so we're gonna have to go to our hanger and sell off all the product that is inside of my hanger right now but what else in this episode am i gonna I have to do in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to do one of the doomsday heists and since this is such a good wheel spin we're gonna have to forfeit our previous wheel spin so we are not gonna go to our hangar and sell off everything from our hangar all right so now i'm on the wheel of one to three and this is going to determine what act we're gonna do for the doomsday heist but let's spin the wheel and let's see what act are we gonna have to do for the doomsday heist and is it gonna stay on two is it gonna be one i think it's gonna hold on to two so we are gonna have to do the second act of the doomsday heist which is going to be the bogdan problem all right so we have to go over to our facility and start up and complete act number two of the doomsday heist the bogdan problem but first i'm gonna head over to my nightclub and collect my nightclub wall safe all right, so I've made it over to my nightclub, and as you can see in the bottom right, we have a wall safe value of $211,000. And just in case if you don't know how this nightclub wall safe works, essentially your nightclub popularity, which is the bar underneath of the wall safe value, the higher that popularity is, the more wall safe money you will get every GTA online day. Currently, my popularity is absolutely zero, so we're not gonna get a ton of money now, but it was maxed out at one point, which is why we are very close to $211,000. But anyway, we need to go over and collect this money and make ourselves $211,000 richer. All right, and there we go. All right, so now we're sitting on $1,320,000. But now it's time for us to go over to our facility and start setting up act number two of the Doomsday Heist. Now for the Doomsday Heist, there's gonna be a row of prep work missions and then there's gonna be a row of actual setups. The prep work missions are very boring, so I'm just gonna do that off camera, but I'll see you when we're ready to do all the setups. All right, here we go. We are jumping into the first setup of four setups for act number two. A lot of these setups are pretty annoying, but the finale itself is actually pretty easy. I say three of the four of these setups are actually pretty annoying, and this one might be the toughest one of them all. But yeah, right now we're trying to head over to LSIA, and then we need to go inside of a hangar and try to steal an Avenger. Oh yeah, by the way, we're doing this on normal difficulty. We're doing all the setups on normal difficulty, and then the finale will be on hard, and there I go off the cliff. Awesome, good, good, good. Good. Oh yeah, and we're doing this with a level 41 as our teammate. This is just some random player I found. So hopefully this guy doesn't die a whole lot. Hopefully I don't die a whole lot. I really don't have any excuse. What is this like? I feel like this is like the third or fourth time I've done act number two. I think during season number two, something like that. We've done this one a decent amount and we're a decent level now. So I really shouldn't have an excuse. I think I've been just sitting here for two minutes at the location. So that's not a good sign that this guy is not a good driver. All right, we're here. We're ready to go. Okay. I honestly don't have a lot 
lot of faith in my teammate anymore. I fell off the cliff and I still beat him by two minutes. That is crazy. But anyways, yeah. Let's go get the Avenger. Ha 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 ha. Wrong. Lights out. Um, I can't see. Uh, turn on night vision. There we go. So yeah, now we have to take out a bunch of people. So yeah, this is one of the hardest setups in the game. Honestly, just missed the cut of my top 10 hardest missions in GTA Online, in my opinion. And there goes that guy. Oh, I just realized that guy tried to push. I don't know why that guy tried to push. Yeah, this one's a little bit annoying just because there's different guards at like different levels of this building. So I'm trying to take out all the ones that are elevated so I don't get easily taken out at least. Okay, that guy just died again. My goodness. Okay. I would like to be kind to these people or at least say kind things about them. But oh my God, you're not helping yourself. He ran up to everyone. So I mean, with him being that stupid, he should have at least gotten one kill. He got zero. And he should know, you know, like, oh, if that's not working, let's try something else. But obviously he didn't do that. Maybe he'll learn now. That's still only our first attempt. Maybe he'll get his act together here. Yeah, he's literally just running straight to the Avenger. He actually thinks we're stealing the Avenger. No, we're not actually stealing the Avenger yet. Yeah, he's literally just running straight to people. I would, okay, I was gonna try to help him out a little bit and kill the people that he's just running straight towards, but no, he died. Oh, good flat. Oh, oh, he doesn't have his night vision on. Oh, I gotta tell him. I gotta tell him. Right on D pad. Okay, I just told him right on D pad. No context whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled out a flashlight. He's like, oh, that makes sense. That makes so much more sense. <laughs> All right, guys, everyone taken out so far? No, that guy's not. There's one more guy. Yeah, whatever. We can climb up the stairs now. Oh, my good thing I saw him pull out that flashlight. I feel bad, but it's hilarious, though, at the same time. <laughs> There's another wave of enemies that spawn up here once you get up to the second floor. Okay, okay, this teammate's taking out a few players. Okay, the teammate is below right now, just shooting away at people. I don't know where exactly he's shooting people. You know, as long as you don't die, I don't really care at this point. Okay, there we go. I've made it up here. I want to figure out where is my teammate? He's down there with the flashlight. Dude, I just told you how to turn on night vision. My goodness, I swear. This guy's hilarious. Oh, I just turned it off. I didn't even mean to turn it off, but okay. I can still turn on a generator. Yeah, if you want to know what that guy is seeing, this is what he's seeing literally right now. Let's see if I can pull out my flashlight. Oh, I don't have a flashlight. Never mind. So I think that's why that guy was just so confused. But there we go. All the power should be restored very soon. And and he should be able to see light now. All right, yeah, there we go. Light has been turned on. I need to get into the Avenger, and I don't really want him to fly the Avenger, but he is in the driver's seat. I don't think this is the best guy, so I think it'd be kind of funny just to see what will happen. But at the same time, do I really want to mess around with that? Um, I'm going to give him an opportunity. He has an opportunity to prove me wrong. Let's go. Okay, so we've left the hangar. Let me get into one of the turrets. I don't really have to take out anyone, I don't think, with this mission. No, no, that's the ground. That is the ground. Okay. I just got here and he's already flying towards the ground. Another thing with this mission, you have to keep a low altitude or else we'll be locked on. And he's not doing that. Lower, 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 lower. Duh, I think there's jets after. Oh, I think that's my cue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like jets after. Oh, yeah. Hey, jets. Okay, okay. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Oh, I got one jet. Stop. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. What is this? What is this flying? What is this flying? What is happening? I don't even. Is he running into a building? He is running into a building. He ran into another building building. I wish I was in the passenger seat for that one. The Avenger was destroyed. I feel like this guy just got this game for Christmas. Okay. I'm glad you got at least a tenth of the kills with four. <laughs> Dude, I kind of want to just see him do it again. You know, we're going to push for player development right here. Yeah, I want him to fly again. We're going to sit in the passenger seat. We're just going to watch. If jets come after us again, then I can go into the Avengers hold and take him out again. All right. Uh, he's not using the VTOL mode, which makes this thing a little slower, but it's okay. Oh, never mind. He is. He is. Okay, good. All right, now let's get out of here. Oh my God. He's going to go under the bridge. No, why are you? Okay, fine. Trick shot, I guess. Cool style points. I guess while he's flying the Avenger, you should hit that like button if you're enjoying the content that you're seeing right now if you're enjoying the beautiful piloting skills that you're seeing right now and then while you're at it you should hit that subscribe button so you can see more content like this whoa 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 okay the guy got bored the guy got bored okay <laughs> I was looking at my phone and then my controller started shaking just because it was doing a barrel roll pull up pull up what happened there? I guess he got bored or something. I guess he's not a fan of flying all the way across the map. <laughs> all right, no more messing around. I'll be the pilot this time. I think he's proved himself enough as a pilot. I don't think that last crash was him being a bad pilot. I think it's just him being um, not an aware pilot. You've done enough, sir. You've entertained me, which I really appreciate. All right, now I got to show him how it's done, though. Switch the VTOL mode to this. And I feel like I need to do a barrel roll just for the one time, you know? Oh, jeez. 
not the tightest barrel roll, but whatever. Oh, as you can see, he has found the turrets in the back of this Avenger. He is shooting at nothing right now. All right, I've made it all the way up to Polito Bay. That was kind of fun. That was kind of fun watching this guy learn on the fly. Okay, no, do not shoot the ground. No, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Oh, thank goodness. I thought we were about to get a mission failed because of him blowing things up. Okay, whew, that was actually scary, but there we go. One setup done, three more to go. All right, here we go. We're jumping into our next setup right here. It's going to be the rescue ULP setup. Uh, this is another difficult setup that we have to do, but I don't think it should be too much of a problem for us. Now, we don't have our same teammate that we had for our first setup, and our teammate just crashed into the water. Jeez, okay. Well, good thing I saw that. Oh, uh, yeah, anyway, so this is already proving how good this teammate is. Uh, he's level 60 seven so you shouldn't be like the worst thing in the world oh i gotta i'm so sorry i gotta give you hold on wait no you have preference here here let me get on flat ground see if that had anything to do with it yeah okay there you go all right <laughs> now we're good to go wow all right so essentially we need to go to some like warehouse building and then we need to rescue ulp because ulp is a moron and he decided that he wanted to get caught i don't really understand all these missions where one of the protagonists gets caught i mean like why is everyone getting caught i'm just chilling out here i haven't been caught all right here we go we've made it over here and okay he's just gonna shoot one guy so we need to take out a bunch of these people he has to go like take out people from outside i have to go take out people from inside so yeah i have to enter here i have to take out a decent amount of people inside of here but it's a little awkward to take out people in here no guy guy do you hear that beeping that beeping's not from me that beeping's from you yep run good what he doesn't realize is that he needs to stay outside and he has to like make sure no enemies from the outside start attacking like there's gonna be like some reinforcement that come by and he's supposed to take out the reinforcements while i take out all the people that are inside of here yeah it's very awkward to shoot people in here because like there's a lot of different nooks and crannies inside of here Dude, i want to try to do this as quick as possible so my teammates don't have an opportunity to die because i really don't know how good my teammate is that's how good he is he just died great all right so i'm gonna try to low-key speed run this so we have to run over here take out these two guys okay nice oh you want to get up no don't get up all right he's gonna sit down i'm gonna pull out a pistol right here there's a guy right here here we're gonna take out now we have ulp we're gonna try to run out of here clear a path for ulp um he's not right behind me so i don't know what he's doing we're gonna walk down the steps i got that guy we're gonna move forward i don't even know where ulp is right now to be honest like i've cleared him a very very good path i think he's still in the room oh did i have to get right next to him <sighs> I think I actually have to get, like, right next to him and be like, come here, ULP. Like, what a moron. Yeah, you know, I don't think that's your fault. I mean, like, yeah, you should survive, but ULP didn't follow me, so I blame that one on ULP. Absolutely stupid. Like, I shouldn't have to get right next to you and be like, hey, come follow me. No. How would you get a job at the IAA? Makes no sense. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. Um, Yeah, I'll try to go as quickly as possible, and I will this time make sure to run right next to ULP and be like, hey, come with me. All right, I can do this part pretty quickly. At least I think I can. I'm gonna run, 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 kill. There's a guy right here, kill. Nice, keep moving. God, I love an assault shotgun. Assault shotgun's so fun. I made it all the way up here. There's gonna be two guys that spawn out of here. Both of them are dead. Just chill out. We're gonna pull out our pistol so no shotgun ammo accidentally hits ULP. Get right next to ULP because he's a moron. Run him over to remind him he's a moron. Make sure he's following me so we can make sure he's not being a moron. Okay, very fast first part, but we still have to make it out of here pretty quickly. Hey, teammate just died. Not good. Hey, ULP's yelling, take the stairs. Duh. What do you think I'm going to do? Just fall down like a moron? That's something you would do, ULP. And where's the rest of these people? I feel like I only have like a few more people to take out. Yeah, two more. Exactly. One more person to take out. Where are you? We're almost out of here. Good, good, good. Oh, ULP's just making a run. For oh my, okay, now I gotta defend ULP. UL moron. Oh my goodness, <laughs> there's a ton of people. I think this is a checkpoint, which is nice. It's kind of why I wanted to go pretty fast, but my goodness, there's a ton of people right outside of here, so I have to just sit here and just pew, pew, pew. Okay, that's enough people to take out, I think. Uh, ULP, get in here. All right, so now I need to drive like five miles to the destination, and we should be good to go. I'm kind of low-key impressed with myself with how quickly I was able to do that. Usually, I have to take my sweet time during that, but I felt the pressure that time. Time, and my teammate just died, which I mean, at this point, he really doesn't need to stay alive so much because now we're going to spawn outside and we can take ULP to the destination. Goodness, I just take out 44 people. It didn't seem like that much people, but my goodness. All right, here we go. Um, All we have to do is just take ULP to the destination. Um, Hopefully, ULP gets right next to me. Where is ULP? Who's he with? I don't know who he's with. 
Okay, he's going with him. My goodness, all right. I don't know if I trust that, but I'm gonna get in my Karuma, where it's completely armored, and we'll just watch how he drives, I guess. Okay, he's literally running over every freaking car that he sees. He missed his exit. Just take this exit. You know what? Screw it. You know, he wants to go that way. <laughs> He's turning around and he's gonna come back to our exit. My okay. I really just wanna watch him at this point. Bro, bro. Okay, he's actually purposely running over cars. Now, this is tailgating if I've ever seen it. <laughs> oh my god, he missed his exit again. I can't follow him anymore. He's missing every exit. I'm just gonna go to the drop off. I'm just gonna chill out. Oh, you finally made it. Interesting route to take just to get in the hangar, but okay. All right, and there we go. Set up past. Um, wasn't the smoothest thing in the world, but we got it done. Two more setups to go, so I'll see you when we're ready to do the next setup. All right, here we go. We're doing our third setup right here, which we have to salvage the hard drives. And this is another hard setup that we have to do, but this is going to be our last hard setup that we have to do. The last setup that we have to do is pretty easy. Oh uh, yeah, we have a new teammate though. Um, He is a level 70. So hopefully this guy is not too bad. Seems like he's already done this setup because we have the skip vote thing in the bottom right hand corner, which is nice. But yeah, for this setup, we have to go around and we have to like put out a bunch of fires with this thing. And then we have to go pick up the hard drives that are inside of these burning vehicles. All right, so we made it over to the first location where things are burning, these vehicles, and we have to go recover these hard drives. So we have to go over here, and I have to just blow a bunch of water right here, and boom, there we go. That hard drive can go ahead and be picked up, and my teammate just got flown out the vehicle. I am so sorry, teammate. Uh, let me go put out the fire here. Here. All right, there we go. That fire's been put out. Yeah, our teammate messaged me while we were doing this. <laughs> Bro, he's like, you make those YouTube videos? Lol. Dude, shout out to you if you're watching this, but I'm gonna mess around with you. <laughs> Dude, he's just fighting for his life right now, and I'm just messaging him. I'm saying, nah, do you? <laughs> Bro, that'd be hilarious if he doesn't believe me. All right, but we have to go to another location, though. We have to go to, I think, four different locations for this. All right, so we've made it over to the next location of hard drives. So once again, we have to get somewhat close and put out all these fires. There's three vans that we have to take out this time. Oh, yeah, this riot van that we're in is incredibly armored. Like, I swear. Like, I don't even need to get out and really help out this guy, I don't think. I can just literally just shot in here if I really want to. But no, I'm going to be a good teammate. All right, I think I just cleared enough of a path for him. He messaged me back. I kind of want to see what he said. No, there's a guy that makes them and his gamer tag is what my gamer tag is. Loser to luxury or something. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, Dr. Crush. Hmm. <laughs> Why am I having so much fun with this? Interesting. All right, so there you go. He finally got the third hard drive. Uh, we need to go to our next location. All right, so we've made it over to our next location. We have four vans that we have to extinguish. Oh, no, my teammate just died. I don't know what happened there. Oh, jeez, I'm about to die, too. Hold on. All right, I'm good now. Uh, then I have to extinguish one more van, which is right here. There you go. All the vans have been extinguished. All right, I think we've taken out most everyone. There might be a few stragglers that just keep spawning in, but I think we've done a pretty good job. All right, my teammate just picked up the last hard drive. Uh, my teammate's getting in a night shark. He's not getting in a night shark. He didn't mean to do that. I don't know where he's going. Okay, he's coming back here. All right, so we've made it to the final location, and there are five different vans we have to extinguish, and there's a lot of people we have to take out, too. My teammate just got out. I don't know if my teammate meant to get out or not, but geez, I feel like I have to protect my teammate as much as possible. Okay, 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 okay. He's back into here. Uh, we have two more things we have to extinguish. All right, there we go. Everything has been extinguished. Now my teammate needs to go ahead and collect every single one of these hard drives. I think it's so stupid how I can't help out my teammate and collect hard drives. Like, it makes no sense. Like, I have just as much capability to pick up a hard drive as he does. I don't really get that at all. Because literally all he's doing is just opening up a box and collecting something. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, it's not a good time to die. Great, there goes my streak. I stayed alive for a very long time. That was the first time I've died today. Wow. All right, let's try this again. Hopefully, I don't die. Hopefully, my teammate doesn't die. Hopefully, we can just do this very smoothly, and we can just jump into the final setup. Luckily, we had a checkpoint, so all we have to do is just go to the final spot with all the hard drives. All right, we're back at this location. Let's go try this again. All right, there you go. Everything's been extinguished once again. All right, my teammate has one more hard drive to go collect, uh, which is over here. All right, there we go. He just collected the final hard drive, so we need to take this RCV back over to a drop-off location. And once we get there, it'll be mission pass. And we've made it to the drop-off. And there we go. Setup pass. We have one more setup to do before we jump into the finale. So let's get into that final setup. All right, here we go. We're jumping into the final setup right here, which is going to be the submarine recon setup. And what we have to do now is we have to get into a Stromberg. And yeah, we have to do a bunch of different things with the Stromberg. But first, we have to go all the way to Polito Bay, essentially, which is all 
always a fun time. All right, so we finally made it over to the convoy, which is a little bit north of Fort Zancudo. So yeah, I can finally just start just, excuse me, Stromberg. That is not how we hit our shots. You hit your shots like that, much better. That's how you hit your shots, Stromberg. My goodness. You just embarrass yourself, Stromberg. All right, so we need to take out a bunch of things right here. Oh, forgot. These things need multiple shots. I have one more thing we have to take out. All right, and there we go. All right, so now what I need to do is to go to Polito Cove, and then we have to take out a bunch of sea mines, and then, yeah, this setup right here is definitely the easiest one in act number two. It's kind of annoying, though, just how long it takes, especially how far you have to drive. But, like, once you get here, this setup is so easy. Not gonna be saying much here. All right, there we go. I just took out all the sea mines. Now I pretty much need to scan this submarine. So yeah, pretty much I just have to sit here in like all three of these yellow circles that are on the mini map. Really not much is happening here during this setup. All right, and there we go. This thing is scanned. Now we just need to leave the submarine and then make it to the drop off location and we should be good to go and ready for the finale. All right, my teammate made it back to the drop off and there we go. Set up pass. We are ready for the finale. All right, here we go. We are jumping into the finale right here. We're doing this with the guy that we've been doing the last two setups with and this time around i decided to bring my vapid chino custom can i like land on his vehicle hold on hold on shoot hold on i haven't messed around in a little bit there we go there no 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 dang i wanted to land on his car I caught that. I caught that. Yeah, you ran into that pole. I would never. I would never run into a pole like that. Man, this car is so slow. Oh my God, did this guy wreck again? Yeah, that guy wrecked again. Okay, wow, I might beat him. He's driving an Ocelot Virtue, what I usually drive, but I decided to go with my Vapid Chino Custom. You know why? Because I think this is the only mission I can actually get away with like using this vehicle during act number two. Oh, maybe the first setup. I could have gotten away with the first setup, but I wasn't thinking. All right, all right can we hop this guardware? Um, yeah, that's how you hop a guardrail. Can you do that with a normal vehicle? No. He's probably going to try to do that, that guy. He's probably going to be like, oh, I can't do that because I don't have a Benny's vehicle. Oh, I can't hop this. That is... <laughs> The game was like, ah, you figured out something and we're going to give you a bigger test. No, I can't complete it. Oh, no. This is the part where I have to go all the way around. Okay, essentially for this finale, we have to go all the way to Polito Bay once again. And I didn't pick a fast vehicle to do it with. Okay, I picked my low ride. Sorry, I just had to do that. I'm sorry. All right, so after a very, very long and boring journey, I finally was able to make it all the way to where we need to go in Polito Bay. And we need to get out of my beautiful vapid cheese you know, and get into the Stromberg. So now it's time for us to head over to Polito Cove, where that submarine was, and we need to go infiltrate that submarine. All right, so currently right now, my teammate is in the Avenger, and as I'm about to enter the submarine, there's gonna be reinforcements outside of the submarine that are gonna come and try to take me out, essentially. So what my teammate's gonna do, he's gonna take out all those people inside the Avenger, while I'm taking out all the people inside the submarine. And yeah, pretty much that's going to be it for this heist. It is not that hard of a heist. But anyways, we've made it over to the submarine. All right, there we go. We've made it inside and let the fun begin. Oh, look, there's a guy right here. Doesn't even know that I'm here. Can I like do this sneaky? I've never tried to do this sneaky. No, they know when someone dies. Okay. They just have like that sixth sense when their guy dies. But yeah, I will have to say this is probably one of the easiest heists in the game. Yeah, act number two is so easy. Act one can be difficult just because there's a lot of people that we have to take out. Then act number three, obviously, is the hardest mission in the game. Act number two is a a quack compared to those two. There's not like a ton of people that we have to take out like down here. I will have to say like auto aim is a little funky down here. I assume they just wanted to make it kind of realistic with us being underwater and whatnot. But aside from that, I mean, yeah, this is so easy. But well, here we go. We found the contact. All right, there we go. We've interrogated the contact enough. And now we need to go to the control room, which is upstairs. All right, so we made it over to the control room. Uh, Everyone's been taken out. We need to take a photo of the Intel table, which I will gladly do that. All right, there we go. And now we need to plug in Clifford. All right, there we go. Now we're plugging in Clifford. Now we just have to sit through a cutscene, which I mean, we've already been through this cutscene so many times during this season of Loser Luxury, but I'll just kind of sum it up real quickly. Essentially, this guy that we're trying to find, Bogdan, we thought he was a bad guy. He was sitting off the coast of San Andreas with a submarine, and Avon convinced us that he was here for bad things, but no. He was here to try to take out Clifford, but essentially we helped Avon and Clifford take over the submarine. Pretty much that's what happens. And yeah, this is the part where we find 
find out that Avon hurts and Clifford are the bad guys. And then that's pretty much where Act 3 kind of takes us. All right, so the sub is about to blow up. And yeah, now we need to get into the Avengers somehow, some way. All right, there we go. We swam ashore. So now we need to get into the Avenger and we should need to make it back to LSIA. We should be good to go. All right, so we finally made it back to LSIA. We have this final cutscene right here. All right, and there we go. A heist passed. All right, so our actual take was $1,781,000. I got 85% of that cut, which is $1,514,000. We didn't complete it in under 15 minutes. It might have been my fault with the Vapid Chino, but whatever, it's fine. But still, we made $1,514,000. All right, so after that heist, we are now sitting at $2,768,000, which is enough for us to buy the Sandy Shores Salvage Yard. We're gonna go over to this salvage yard. This is one of the poverty locations, but unfortunately, the wheel forced us to get this. Oh, we are going to get the tow truck beater. And yeah, that's pretty much all we really need from the salvage yard. Nothing else really matters too much, but there we go. So let's purchase that $2,680,000. And there we go. We have our newest business in the game, which is the newest business overall in GTA Online, the salvage yard. All right, so let's head over to our salvage yard and let's get that set up and let's go check it out. All right, so I've made it all the way over to my salvage yard, all the way in Sandy Shores. Okay, you honked one too many times, cowboy. There you go. And just in case anyone else wanted your bum ass car, there you go. That is salvage. I was just getting prepared for the salvage yard. Okay, maybe it's not salvage, but it's been taken care of. It's been dismantled in a different style than the salvage yard. Anyways, I'm outside of my salvage yard right here. So yeah, let's go in and um, I think I have to lose. Oh, I don't have to lose the cops. Okay, cool. So yeah, now we have to sit through a nice cutscene. We have to go meet who's going to be running the salvage yard with us. And here we go. This is who's going to be running the salvage yard with us. His name is Yusuf Amir. And as you can see, he's a smart, intelligent person. All right, so here we go. We finally got this all set up, ready to go. Now, there's two new ways we can actually make money from the salvage yard. First things first, we can go over here and we can do a tow truck mission. Now, this is going to be on the wheel of quick cash. Essentially, we can take a tow truck and go collect a vehicle and then bring it back here, salvage it for parts. And then later on, once the vehicle is entirely salvaged, you'll get paid. So that's one way you can make money from the salvage yard. That's going to be on the wheel of quick cash. And then the other way is going to be on this computer right here here. All right, so for this, you can go out and steal one of these vehicles, essentially, and then bring it back here and then sell it off to Yusef, and then you would get the max sell value. And this will be on the wheel of making money, and how this is going to work is essentially, we're going to do two of these for a wheel spin. And then we'll spin a wheel of one to three to determine like which vehicles we're going to have to go out and steal and sell. But this is our new salvage yard, and in the next episode, we are going to spin the wheel of luxury to determine what we are going to have to purchase next. Make Back in August, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only items I've bought on this account have come through spinning a wheel, determining what I should buy next. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what item I am going to have to purchase. So welcome to the 72nd episode of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right. So currently right now, I am on the wheel of luxury and I'm on the wheel of luxury because the last item I purchased came off the wheel of business businesses, which was the salvage yard. And the last item I purchased off the wheel of luxury was the Vapid Chino, which is a Benny's vehicle. But what is going to be the next item I am going to have to purchase off the wheel of luxury? And it looks like we are going to have to, are we getting the latest drip feed vehicle? Yes, we are. I thought we were about to get a vigilante for a second, but all right, we are going to have to buy the latest drip feed vehicle. And currently right now I am recording this on a Wednesday. So we're right at the end of an event week and from what i've heard i don't think there's gonna be another vehicle that's gonna be added in starting tomorrow for the next event week all right and the latest vehicle that's been released in gta online is actually going to sit right here which is going to be the albany cavalcade xl but anyways it's gonna cost us one million six hundred and sixty five thousand dollars uh i don't know how much we can upgrade with this though let's just shoot for two million dollars we're gonna get two million dollars just to be safe i think that's safe this isn't an hs W vehicle or an Amani Tech vehicle. So there's really no like upgrades, at least in that regard. So yeah, we're going to shoot to try to get $2 million to purchase this Albany Cavalcade XL. And currently right now I'm sitting on $106,000. So we need to make roughly 1.9 million more dollars before we can actually purchase this Albany Cavalcade. All right. So now I'm on the wheel of quick cash. So let's spin the wheel and let's see what we're going to have to do in the start of this episode in order to make money. And it looks like we are going 
going to have to do one payphone hit. And this isn't going to be as good as when I think the first time we did it off the wheel of quick cash. Because it originally paid out $85,000, but now it only pays out $45,000. But still, we are only going to do one payphone hit. All right, so currently right now, I am on the wheel of making money. So what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to. Are we playing boosted money job? No, we're not. Okay, that was a little last second wheel turn, but we are going to have to join a random heist, and this is not going to include the original heist. All right, so now I'm on the wheel of random heist, and on this wheel, we have the Kyle Perigo heist, the Diamond Casino heist, and then any of the Doomsday heist. So let's spin the wheel, and let's see what heist we are going to have to try to join as a guest. And it looks like, are we doing Doomsday heist? It's going to sit on one of the Doomsday heists. Oh, great. All right, so we can try to join any Doomsday heist. It's just going to be whichever one I can join first, whether that be Act 1, 2, or Act 3. That'll be determined. All right, so I'm going to have to join a random Doomsday heist. But what else in this episode am I going to have to do in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to... Are we doing Salvage Yard robberies? Okay, wow. I literally just got added to this wheel, and we're already doing it. So this is something we haven't done before at all in a Loser to Luxury episode. It's only been out for a month. But we have to go to our Salvage Yard, and we get to do two Salvage Yard robberies. All right, so I'm on a wheel of one to three now, and this is going to determine what Salvage Yard robberies we can do. We have the opportunity to choose from three Salvage Yard robberies, but I'm only allowing myself to do two of them. And how this is going to work is number one is going to be the most profitable one. Number two is going to be the second most profitable one. And number three is going to be the least profitable one. That'll make sense once we get to it, but let's just spin the wheel and let's see what Salvage Yard robbery am I going to have to do. Okay, cool. I like that. We're going to do the best one, which is very nice. All right, let's spin the wheel again and let's see what's going to be the next Savage Yard robbery I'm going to have to do. Uh, is it going to be three or two? Oh. <laughs> Well, thank you, Wheel. I really appreciate it. All right, so I got to do two Salvage Yard robberies, and then I got to join a random Doomsday heist. But first, I have to go out and do a payphone hit, so let's jump into that. All right, so I've made it over to a payphone, and this is where we're going to start up our payphone hit. So let's pick up the payphone. Let's see if we can hang up quickly. Yes, we can. We have to assassinate a single target. Franklin, you got to tell me how I'm going to do it. Use a scoped rifle to take out the target with a gas tank explosion. I am not a fan of any of the construction sites wants. First things first, I don't think I have a scoped rifle with a suppressor. So I need to go up here and then pick up this little backpack with a scoped rifle, which is a little strange just because it's a small backpack and we have this big sniper rifle, but you know, it's fine. So here's the guy right here. He needs to go over near a gas tank. Oh, I think the gas tank is behind this thing. That's fantastic. All right, so I guess let me get on the other side over here. Yeah, it's over here. Okay, yeah, this will work. So yeah, that's the gas tank right there. He has to just stand right next to it, which is kind of stupid. I mean, like this guy right here, he's going to walk over. He's going to look at the blueprints. But the blueprints are standing right next to the gas tank. Why do you have blueprints right next to a gas tank? Why don't you have that in the trailer? Isn't there like a trailer over here? Yeah, there's a trailer right there. Why wouldn't you have that in the trailer? I don't know, but it's literally going to cost him his life. He doesn't even know it, but I know it. And you know know it so yeah he's looking at the blueprints yeah take a look at those blueprints yeah mm-hmm mm -hmm. and was that on your blueprints i don't think so all right so now we just need to leave the area as you can see the bottom left says assassination bonus complete and i forgot to say for this payphone hit we need to complete the assassination bonus because most of our money is going to come from that assassination bonus as you can see our normal payment was fifteen thousand dollars for actually getting the kill on the guy but the bonus payment was thirty thousand dollars for doing the assassination bonus all right so now it's time for us to start up a salvage yard robbery so how we're going to tackle this episode is we're going to do one salvage yard robbery we're going to sell off that vehicle and then we're going to try to join a doomsday heist as a guest and then we're going to come back and do our second salvage yard robbery so yeah let's go over to sandy shores where my salvage yard is located thank you wheel and let's get started with our first salvage yard robbery all right so i finally made it over to my salvage yard all the way in the poverty part of the map but anyways let's go over here and let's go and take a look at the vehicles we can steal and this is what i was talking about earlier so on our wheel we spawn the top two vehicles and we're going off of that top number value the max sell value so essentially we're going to be selling off the vapid dominator asp and then the pagasi torior um we're gonna steal a dominator first yeah we're gonna steal this dominator all right so for every robbery that we do for the first time we have to do like a big scope out mission this one's the duggan robbery so we have to do a big scope out mission at the maze bank arena so yeah let's get into that yeah i would say a lot of these prep missions even including 
completing the scope out mission it doesn't really take too long i think in total at like my location on my main account which is back in the city i think it takes me roughly like 45 minutes to complete one of these robberies in full i think it's probably going to take a little closer to an hour at least on this account just because of how far away my salvage yard is thank you wheel all right so we made it over to the maze bank arena we technically already have one photograph i think that has to be with like the arena war workshop that i already have uh anyways we need to take a photo of something oh we're taking a photo of the security camera i forgot i've only done this robbery once in my life excuse me i took a photo of that i literally took a photo of that camera hey, do you want me to zoom in that far there you go jamal my goodness all right anyways uh we need to go in and we need to take a photo of this door very, very nice jamal jamal how much more clear can i be right you know i'm just gonna be an asshole now i'm literally just gonna be an asshole people are telling me to back up i don't care i'm literally gonna just stand right here we're gonna zoom in through the small window right here he's gonna know exactly what we're shooting at oh, okay okay no, no no okay the game's a little bit realistic okay i thought they were gonna give me that there we go that's good enough okay people are pissed at me now uh and i gotta lose the cops because i was just trying to be an asshole because the game was being stupid all right there we go we lost the cops thank you lester uh, so now all we have to do is just return to the salvage yard and we should be good to go. All right. So we've made it back to the salvage yard and there we go. Scope out complete. All right. So now we have all the tasks and planning work that we need to do. So essentially the planning work missions right here, these are like actual missions pretty much. And then in the top right, we have task. And in order to start these tasks, we just have to go to a location on the map and then start it up from there. And then there's two optional tasks slash planning work things we can do. Uh, I don't even know what they even are. For. Okay, one's mass. I think that's pretty obvious. But one is disrupt armor. Oh, I guess that's supposed to make like the Duggan men like not have as much armor. I guess. But who cares? I, I'm too good of a shot. So yeah, I'm gonna show me doing the planning work, but I'm not gonna show me completing the task. I think that's pretty simple. So yeah, let's just get into all the planning work right now. All right, so we're doing the planning work bypass module, and oh, it looks like I have a pet cat at my salvage yard. Um, that's great, I guess. All right, so it looks like I have to go destroy signal jammers, which you guessed it, the signal jammers. I think we're back in the city so yeah with this location if you're on a normal account doing your own thing i highly recommend you don't get the location i just got or the Polito bay location because there's a lot of back and forth get a location in the city that is the dr crush tip of the day you are welcome all right so here we go we've made it over to the first signal jammer oh my god there's like actually people here like, why there you go there's one signal jammer gone i don't know why you hire people just to guard a signal jammer you might as well just hire them just to stand there and just be pointless all right the next signal jammer is right there. Okay, nice. That one was a lot easier. All right, where is his last signal jammer? Hmm. Ah, right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stand right there. Thank you, auto lock. Really appreciate it. All right. Oh, okay. Now I have to go to a Meriwether lockup. Um, I still don't know what I'm doing. That's okay. These missions are easy enough where you don't really need to know, like, the backstory or anything like that. Destroy the control panel. Okay, there's a lot of people here. Steal the bypass module. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's a juggernaut. Oh, oh, okay, okay. You're a freaking Clifford juggernaut wannabe. Kind of sad. Bro. Oh, where did the Clifford Juggernaut want to be? Oh, there he is. There he is right there. Yeah. What? Freaking clown. Okay, there we go. Everyone's dead. I'm going to get back into my oppressor. And the bypass module is right there. I'm on fire. That's not good. No, no. Okay, I have to actually pick it up. All right, so now all we have to do is just go back to Savage Yard, deliver the bypass module there, and we should be good to go. All right, and there we go. We just acquired our bypass module. All right, so now we have to go out and get our VIP pass. Um, I guess we can't just buy a VIP pass like a normal person would. Oh, but then our name would be attached to it. You know what? I'm starting to get the whole gist of everything. Got it. So now I gotta go all the way back to the Maze Bank Arena and I guess steal a VIP pass from there. Right, so we made it over to the Maze Bank Arena. Now we're inside of here. We need to access Peter's office. Um, there's apparently a way I could do this like completely stealthy. I have no idea what that way is. Can I just run under... How? How in the world did I just alert something right there? All right, anyways, we have to hack into like some of these rooms, try to find a key to get into Peter's office. It doesn't say that we need to do that, but I already know that we need to do that because I've done this before. Oh, that's literally it right there. But I think, okay, I have to go to Peter's office and be like, Peter, it's locked. So yeah, let me head over here. Let me go over here. And then we're trying to get into Peter's office. And we're like, oh, we need his personal key card, even though we already found the thing. So yeah, we have to go back where we were, which is in here. And we're 
they're gonna get this card that was right here. This is a card. Isn't that a key card? That looks like a key card. Huh? Arena War Peter. How is that not a key card? Or is that like a fake? Are they faking me out? I didn't think Rockstar was that annoying. My goodness. Literally, it's just Peter on the card. All right, I'm in here. Um, they confirm it's not in here. Oh, what wouldn't you know? Collect the key card. Wow. Wow, game. Wow. I had already found that key card, and then I went back to it after accessing Peter's office. Wow. That deserves a written apology if I've ever seen it. Put the key card in the key card slot. And then we have to locate the VIP pass. Uh, if I was a VIP, aha. Uh -huh. Right here is where I'd be, a VIP pass. All right, now you have to exit the abandoned workshop. And then I think we should have to go back to salvage yard and we should be good to go. All right, there we go. VIP pass has been acquired. So now all we need to do is just do the task. So what we need to do for the task is we need to head back outside. And the two tasks are going to be labeled as like green duffel bags. And yeah, here's a green duffel bag right here. And then there's another one in like the Chumash area right here. So this is where we have to go to start up these tasks. So yeah, I'm not going to show these because I think these are pretty simple. But yeah, once we complete these, we'll be ready to do the robbery. So I'll see you when we're ready to do that. I just completed the two tasks I needed to complete. And now it's time for us to start the robbery. We didn't do any of the optional tasks or planning work. We're just doing this at the bare minimum. So let's click to start the robbery. All right, here we go. The Duggan robbery. We are trying to steal a Dominator. ASP. All right, so first things first, we need to fly all the way to La Puerta, and there's a reason why we're flying all the way to La Puerta. It'll make more sense once we get there. All right, so I finally made it all the way to La Puerta, and the reason we're here is to get into this trailer right here, the Ellis Panic trailer, and this is going to be our ticket to get inside of the Maze Bank arena. All right, so there we go. We've made it over to the arena, and now it's time for us to actually enter, and hopefully no guards shoot at me this time, at least in this section. All right, so I'm back here. I I am a fan. I am here to watch the arena war. All right, so we need to go up to this guard and show her the VIP pass, and she's gonna guide me there, but she didn't guide me much anywhere. <laughs> but anyways, we need to go over to the elevator, which is right here, and then we need to go up to the Duggan Skybox. Shoot, I just realized I didn't get any snacks, which could be a problem, but um, yeah, we're gonna have to take out a lot of people, so let's go. Yeah, these Duggan guys are very, very armored. Maybe not that one. There's one more guy we have to take out. He was right here here. Okay, there we go. Everyone's taking out. All right, anyways, we need to find a Dominator ASP somewhere. If I'm a Dominator ASP... Wait, that looked... No, never mind. If I was a Dominator ASP, where would I be? Hmm. Oh, that looks very Dominator-y. Bro, how's that not? Is that a Dominator ASP? Bro, how is that... Okay, that was it. Okay, I was about to say, that looks way too shiny to be an Arena War vehicle. So now we need to sit down here, and we need to disable that car with an EMP, which is going to be with this battle drone. Yeah, this part can be a little bit annoying. You have to make sure you hit your shot. All right, here comes the car. Ready, set, fight. Wait, did I hit it? Oh, I did hit it. Okay, that was not pretty, but wow, I am surprised I got that first attempt. What I usually like to do is just kind of line it up exactly where the car is going to drive towards, and then right before they hit you, you shoot, even though that's not exactly what happened there with me, but that's okay. But now I have to take out a few more people, not too many more people. Oh, come on. That guy wasn't even looking at me. He did one of those no-look shots and he killed me. That is so stupid. Oh, I forgot. There's like bonuses you can get for this robbery. One of them might have been like not dying. I don't know. But yeah, now I need to go and steal the Dominator ASP. All right, here we go. We've made it over to the Dominator ASP. This beautiful car right here. This car looks fantastic. I need to install the bypass module. Okay, this is why we got this. And now we're going to have to leave out of here, which I think the exit is over here. I'm pretty sure. Oh my gosh, the exit to the arena is on the other side of the track. That is so annoying. I'm going to drive into oncoming traffic because I don't care. Oh, I should care. I should care. I should care. That was dumb. Oh, this one's driving the wrong way. Right, so we need to exit out right here. And now we just need to drive this Dominator ASP all the way back to the salvage yard, which usually if you have an actual good vehicle, it's not even that. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, hold on. Um, I'm kind of not in a good spot right now. But yeah, I just realized we we're not actually taking this back to the salvage are just yet. Oh, uh, we need to take this over to Hal so that he can disarm this bomb that's inside of this thing. But I'm in a very tricky spot <laughs> and the bomb's about to explode in like two minutes and 10 seconds. So can you figure out the best way to get out of here? Okay, I finally found it. All right, cool, 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 cool. Okay, okay, you're being just a tad bit obnoxious guy. Like, don't get mad at me that you lost your vehicle. Should have had better security. All right, here we go. Here's Hal's garage. Fix the 
this thing up, please. Or take off the bomb. All right, and there we go. How to disable the bomb. I think we can now take this back to my salvage yard and we should be good to go. All right, and there we go. We've made it back to the salvage yard very smoothly. That was a very smooth way to get back there. Oh, I forgot. We get a cutscene for completing it for the first time. You know, what? I'll spoil what Yusuf is saying right here. He's pretty much saying that you need to make sure that you're subscribed to Dr. Crush. If you want to see more awesome content like this and while you're at it, leave a like down below. That's his words, not mine. That's pretty much the gist of what he's saying right here. Oh, okay, okay. This is the bonus for rewards I was talking about. Uh, I was only able to get $10,000 from that. And that was because I was able to disable the vehicle first attempt. And, oh, I got a first time bonus too. I forgot about that. So essentially every robbery that we do, we can get a bonus reward. Each one will be $10,000. And if you complete all three, you'll get a total of $50,000. But I only got one and that was disabling the car on first attempt. And then we got a first time bonus of $50,000 for completing that specific robbery, the Duggan robbery for the first time. So essentially there's five robberies that we can do right now. And for each of them for our first time bonus, we get $50,000 like this one right here. We just did the Duggan robbery. But now what we need to do is walk up to this vehicle and we need to inspect the Dominator ASP. And we want to sell this vehicle off. Now you could salvage this for parts and you get $288,000 for that. Or you can sell this off to Yusef for $360,000. And yeah, that's what we're going to do. But we have to deliver this vehicle all the way to terminal. But I don't care. Yeah, let's do that. So we have to drive this all the way to terminal, which is a very far drive. And this is another reason why the Sandy Shores location is a terrible location because you have to drive like five miles just to get all the way over there. And if you have one of the three in the city, it's going to be roughly like a mile to like a mile and a half of a drive all the way there. And you're probably asking yourself too, who cares? So you're just driving a little bit longer. So what? And the problem with this is that it's very similar to like the vehicle cargo warehouse. And what I mean by that is like if we wreck at all. So like, let's just say I run into a guardrail, I run into the back of another car, I run into a rock. Our total payment in the bottom right will go down. Honestly, I don't think I've even wrecked a single time doing this, but I have a location inside of the city on my main account. So I don't know how aggressively the total payment will go down, but I don't want to find out to be honest. <laughs> oh yeah. I also know too, that you can actually like hold on to these vehicles at some point and then buy these vehicles back for like a very, very cheap price. It's not in the game yet, but it'll be available at some point down the line. But yeah, this is loser to luxury and we're trying to make money. We're not here to buy cars on the cheap. We're trying to buy the most luxurious items. So yeah, we're selling this thing off. All right. I have made it over to terminal. I didn't wreck a single time either. So we get to keep the perfect $360,000 payment. So essentially we pretty much made $420,000 for that entire like cell mission. All right. We still need to do one more robbery, but before we do that robbery, we're actually going to try to join a doomsday heist. And let's see if anyone actually has a doomsday heist just ready to go. All right. So we found a doomsday snare act number three, and we're doing this on normal, bro. Yeah. He's doing this on normal with three other players. So he's only getting $990,000 out of the hardest heist in the game. It's so unfortunate for that guy. All right, here we go. We are doing the doomsday scenario. Act number three as a guest, only a potential cut of $270,000, all because we're doing this on normal. Anyways, this is my vehicle. You probably think to yourself, what is this vehicle? You haven't seen this vehicle in a while. This is the, dr oh, I just took that guy's door off. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry to that guy. Anyways, yeah, I'm using a Drift Yosemite. This is the vehicle that we got literally in the second episode of Losers of Luxury. We've won this off the podium wheel, which is very, very fun, actually, that we even landed on getting the podium vehicle. And yeah, we used to use this vehicle a lot, especially when we did like the original heist. And ever since we got the Ocelot Virtue, I haven't really messed around with trying to like, you know, drive this vehicle around. Yeah, this vehicle just spins its tires a lot, but it is the Drift Yosemite. And with the Chop Shot DLC, I could upgrade this vehicle into like an actual drift vehicle, then this vehicle could actually compete in those races. But good Lord, do I not want to do that? Cause you do not get paid pretty much a thing. All right. I literally think everyone else is at the tank. I just ran over that truck or not over dumbass. Ran under. Oh, 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 you want to run over that car, huh? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ready? Wait, I want to do something. Oh shoot. I forgot how to do what I wanted to do. Anyways. Okay. I'll stop pissing off my teammates. <laughs> I'll just get into the Kanjali. All right, let's go. I mean, I'm going to have to carry all anyways. Like I'm already going to, if you need to do this, wait, hold on. He's going to blow up my car. 
I probably deserve that low key. But like, that's my Drift Yosemite. It's from episode two. We're on episode 72. Wait, wait, wait. Where's your vehicle? Hold on. I can blow up your vehicle. Hold on. Let me see if I can blow up that white car over there or both. Yeah, I blew up both of them. Yeah, payback. All right, so we finally made it up to the tunnel entrance. And this is where the fun's gonna begin. All right, so we've made it to the end of the tunnel right here. And now we need to start taking out a bunch of juggernaut. Hey, buds, I've missed you. Why is your Kanjali on fire? I don't know, whatever. Now it's time for me to carry. All right, here we go. Uh, Juggernaut's coming this way. Y'all just cut me up. Fine. Y'all take out the Juggernaut, I swear. All right, I'm gonna go speed mode. Oh, there's a box right here. Okay, cool. One box down. There we go. Two more supply crates taken down. We have one more supply crate to go. I am just sprinting right through this because I don't care right now. I'm just going so reckless. I mean, I should. We're doing this on normal. What kind of clown difficulty is this? I mean, okay, I've done this way too many times where I would like at least a little bit of a challenge. I mean, these guys, they seem like they know what they're doing too. Yeah, they've already taken out both of these juggernauts. They're kind of taking everyone out before I even have an opportunity to take all these guys out. So, like, these guys know what they're doing. Yeah, we literally made it here in, I would say, record time. It took us no time to get to this point. This is still our first attempt. I seriously doubt we're going to get the elite challenge because for elite challenge, we need to get 150 headshots. All right, Clifford just opened up the big door. You know what? Y'all can take out those guys. Uh, I'll just go ahead and do the hack. All right, so I need to go up to the second floor. Here I am. I'm at the second floor. I need to go to the server and I need to start my hack. All right, here we go. I'll take care of this. Yeah, some people think this hack is hard. I think this is the hardest hack in the game, but I've done this so much, like, very recently. I've really gotten the hang of this. Yeah, essentially, you have to take this blue line and take out, like, these uh, blue dots, but you have to make sure you don't take out these, like, red square. All right, there we go. Hack number one has been complete. We need to go take out another server. I think one of my teammates are probably gonna beat me there. Yeah, literally, my teammate was camping it. What? I've never had that happen before. Well, I guess I'll just take out a bunch of people then. Oh yeah, everyone that's in here, we're level 961, 172, and 305. I'm literally the lowest level. The 305 is the leader too. I'm still astonished that we're doing this on normal. And the person hacking right now is taking a little long. Okay, there we go. Right after I said that, we got it done. Uh, another hack we need to get to. We're literally just sprinting to the server. It's not even funny. Um, Yeah, I think the final server is gonna be over here. Oh my, oh my God, oh my God. That was embarrassing. That's not the gun I wanted. Okay, where's the last server? Okay, yeah, right here. That's what I thought. All right, sweet. So I can do this final hack. Dude, I'm about to get this hack done in like 30 seconds. That might be a record time. Yeah, that took me 33 seconds to do that hack. Jeez. All right, so yeah, now we need to go up to the top floor, and then we need to make it over to one of these pads right here. So now we need to go and destroy the mobile cloud servers. All right, there we go. I destroyed one mobile cloud server. Uh, there's one more that we have to take out. So I'm literally just going to get out of here. I'm going to trust my teammates to get that final one. Yeah, we took out everything. And yeah, I'm already here. Uh, there's another guy that's right next to me. All right, so yeah, now we just need to get out of here. All right, I made it to the end of the silo. Uh, yeah, literally all my teammates can spawn up here. Oh, you're so welcome, teammates. I'll be ready to go. Dude, this might be the closest we'll ever get to actually completing the Elite Challenge, Loki. I don't think we're going to hit the headshots. But while my other teammates were doing the hacks, I was actually racking up some headshots and we might be kind of close on headshots but i doubt we're actually there though yeah also first things first we have to take out avon hertz bro they're talking about government jetpacks do we actually have like government jetpacks like in real life is that actually a thing bro avon just took a shot right to the dome Dude, I saw that Avon. There you go. Yeah, I got the final kill on Avon. All right, so now we just need to go back to the observatory, and then we should be good to go. Yeah, this is definitely the quickest I've ever done a doomsday scenario. All right, so there we go. We landed our thruster right there. Bro, who parked the thruster right? You moron. Ah, it's okay. You know, put the team on my back. I swear. I'll just drag this thing right here. Ta-da. Bro, why does that guy have an RPG out? You put that thing away. Oh, that's why. That's why. <laughs> okay, that's actually hilarious. All right, we're just going through the final cutscene. I'm actually very interested to see how close we were on the Elite Challenge. All right, and there we go. Act number three has been passed. And do I... Oh, they only gave me gold. Sorry, I was a little lacking, I guess. All right, so I got 15% of the cut, which is $270,000. All right, Elite Challenge. Okay, we completed under 30 minutes. Headshots? Okay, no way waste. Okay, headshots? Okay, we get it. I'm good at hacking. Headshots? Oh my, oh my, oh my, we did it. Okay, that is so anticlimactic though. We actually did it. <laughs> I really didn't think we were going to complete it. Wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Complete all the elite challenges for all the acts. One out of three. I did not think we actually had an opportunity to complete the elite challenge. There's 150 headshots. That's a lot of headshots. But somehow we got it. That is nuts. Dude, I might have to give myself the title of the doomsday scenario like God. Like no one else is doing that. I will say 
say a little disappointing though that it's only fifty thousand dollars for completing the elite challenge on the hardest heist in the game but whatever anyway so we made three hundred twenty thousand dollars from that heist all because of the elite challenge and we still have one more robbery that we have to do so let's head back over to our salvage yard and let's get started with that robbery all right so we're back at the salvage yard and we're back at the computer screen so the next vehicle that we need to steal is going to be the Bugatti Torior. I hope that's how I pronounce that. Uh, it's going to be a max sell value of $405,000 plus a first time bonus along with our bonuses during the robbery. Oh yeah, I forgot to say too earlier, if you don't know how any of this works, you can only steal and sell these three vehicles once a week, if that makes sense. So like we just stole the Vapid Dominator ASP. I can't do this one over again, at least for this event week. So then when the next event week comes around, these three vehicles will reset and it'll be different vehicles that we can steal and sell off okay anyways just to clear that up just in case if you didn't understand that so yeah now we need to go steal this torior oh yeah i forgot we have a setup cost too i didn't remember that all right so this one's gonna be the podium robbery and this is probably my favorite robbery okay to be fair i haven't even done the mctony robbery yet but i've kind of seen a little bit of it i think i still prefer this podium robbery this one's really cool but yeah the podium robbery takes place at the diamond casino so yeah we need to go scope out the casino first all right so we made it to the diamond casino uh we need to take some photos of the exterior so we need to take one photo right here by the music locker right there right there we go. that's one photograph done and now we need to go over here take a photo of this entrance all right and there we go that's the two photographs and now we need to enter the casino i think we need to take more photographs inside of here okay we need to take a photo of the podium vehicle all right there we go i think we're good we can exit the casino all right and that's pretty much it we just need to return to the salvage yard all right and there we go the scope out has been completed all right so for this one we have once again two planning work missions but then we have three tasks that we have to complete. So once again, I'll show you me doing the planning work setups and then I'll just do the task off camera. But yeah, we're gonna start out by doing the LSDS disguises. All right, so we needed to come all the way to Elysian Island and we need to destroy a bunch of sewage tankers. So there we go, there's one. There we go, there's another one. There's another one right there. And we need to go and turn the release valves. Yeah, so what we're trying to do right now is we're trying to contaminate this area and we're trying to contaminate this area so that LSDS people can come by and then we can steal their vehicle so we can be disguised for the actual robbery. So yeah, we have to turn these valves so we can just spray a bunch of sewage. Kind of disgusting low-key, but I'm sure. All right, there we go. I think this place should be contaminated enough now. All right, so now we need to just wait for the LSDS to arrive. Dude, this guy just landed right next to the sewage. Oh, that is a dirty way to die. All right, so the LSDS van is somewhere over here, apparently. Uh, yeah, here's the van. Um, we just need to take this van. And then we need to lose the cops. All right, so we just lost the cops. So yeah, now all we need to do is just deliver this van back to the salvage yard and we should be good to go. All right, so we've made it back to the salvage yard. Oh man, I guess I missed the checkpoint. Dang it. I want to just run straight into the checkpoint, but whatever. There we go. That's the first setup done. Now we need to go ahead and get the storage key card. So yeah, let's jump into that. All right, so we've made it over to Mirror Park and we're supposed to find the valet's home, but we're auto locking over here. And wow, I am so thankful I took the oppressor as that just made that really easy. I just need to locate the valet. Ah, here you go. <laughs> it's just so funny. Just absolutely just run into his house and just absolutely knock the crap out of him. All right, there we go. He's intimidated enough. Oh, he's watching anime. What a guy. Hello? Oh, I took out the valley. He wasn't dropping his thing. Like he was trying to throw it, but it never like actually fell, but whatever. Oh yeah, so now we need to go inside his safe. There's his key card. Wait, what is this? Hey, that's a thousand dollars right here. That's like a thousand dollars you can play at the Diamond Casino. Why can't we take that? Come on, game. All right, whatever. We just need to exit the valet's home. I'm pretty sure we should have to go back to Salvage Yard, right? Uh, no, I have to lose the cops because apparently a neighbor heard something and called the cops. Just a stupid neighbor. How do you hear me headbutt a guy to death? All right, and there we go. We made it back to the salvage yard. Return the storage key card. All right, so now I need to go and do the three tasks before we can actually start up the robbery. So let me go and do that, and I'll see you when we're ready to do the robbery. All right, so I completed all the tasks, so we are ready to start up the finale for the podium robbery. All right, so first things first, we have to go to this Boxville, and then we have to drive all the way to the Diamond Casino. And luckily, this brute Boxville is a lot faster than the post op van. You know, that van that we get during the MC cell missions? Like, that van is incredibly slow. This at least is a little bit faster. All right, here we go. We've made it over to the vantage point. So yeah, we're on the other side of the interstate from the Diamond Casino, and we need to detonate a bomb. And one of the tasks was to play 
plant a bomb inside of the diamond casino in the woman's bathroom. <laughs> just kind of funny. Anyway, so yeah, to detonate the bomb. Okay, they, apparently the explosive went off. It was just a little sticky bomb, so I didn't expect like a big, big explosion. All right, so now we need to take this van to the casino. We need to drive around back. I need to collect the rappel equipment, which is going to be in the back. And this is going to be very important for us at some point. Now we need to enter the casino. Excuse me, sir. Oh, okay, never mind. You don't fall over. You're just a concrete structure. All right, so now we are inside of the Diamond Casino. We need to follow this gourd to where there's a little bit of a mess. And oh, ew, there's the mess. All right, so yeah, we need to mop up the floor. Yep, this is our robbery right here. We're robbing ourselves of any sort of way to get money because we're mopping up floors. Okay, the guard is leaving, which is good. Um, We mysteriously did a good job of actually cleaning up the floor. But we're going to finish there. And now it's time for us to sneak to the elevator elevator which the elevator is over here so yeah let's go inside the elevator okay now it's pitch black uh now we need to locate the elevator hatch okay so we need to run past these cameras that are up here yeah there's a few cameras this one is a lot easier to do stealthy than that one setup i don't even really need like actual light i can just stare at the mini map and like once i see an opening i can just run through like right here we have a little bit of an opening blah 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 and i think what we're looking for is somewhere in this area right yes here we go this is the elevator hatch we're gonna get inside of here and yeah we are at the top of the casino and one the task we had to collect rappel equipment and we collected rappel equipment so we can actually rappel down which is pretty cool in itself you know first time we can do this in gta online oh my god i'm being stupid i'm doing a bunch of short jumps i can do a long jump all right and there we go we've made it down to the bottom now we've made it down here to the storage so we need to open up the storage facility doors all right now we need to take out the car hey 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 stop calm down calm down guys i'll right, be sure to try to hit headshots like today is all about headshots oh here comes the gas awesome oh i have a gas mask I have a gas. Hey, I'll have to hold it to equip my gas mask. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. So now I need to hack this control panel. Oh, good. Even more of this hack. I've already done this hack today. Like even this specific hack I done today. All right, there we go. I just did that hack. Open sesame. Thank you very much. Now there's going to be even more guards we have to take out like that guy. So now we need to go steal the Torior, which is back over here, which is going to be this beautiful vehicle. Very slick. So now we need to escape the casino, but I have a feeling we're not going to be able to. Oh, wait, we can escape through that door but oh no the security doors are unlocked i was not expecting that so i need to go in here smack a guy in the face you know what i'll do it for the fun smack another guy in the face and now we need to make sure that that door can open up and i have to do this very fun and annoying hack which didn't take me too long actually so we need to get back into the car and let's get out of here all right so now we need to lose the cops and head back over to the salvage yard all right and we made it back to the salvage yard all right and there we go robbery complete and oh okay we actually got everything there no lives lost reach the elevator hatch undetected and escape the casino in one minute i got fifty thousand from that and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get another fifty thousand dollars yeah okay got another fifty thousand dollars for the podium robbery but i think i'm supposed to get another fifty thousand dollars yeah for perfect run i'll explain to you what that was i saw that earlier so essentially we got fifty thousand dollars for having a perfect run for that robbery with all those objectives and then we got a first time bonus of fifty thousand dollars then i also got this right here which is perfect run which is completing all the elite challenges for a salvage yard robbery to earn an extra $50,000. So yeah, we made $150,000 just off of that. But now we need to inspect this thing and sell this thing off. We can sell this off for $405,000. So yeah, let's go do that. And this is going to be the same thing as before. We have to take this thing all the way to the terminal, which is once again, roughly a five mile drive, which is always awesome. Oh, no. Wow, that was the dumbest way to ruin my perfect run. Oh, my. <laughs> well, I barely tapped a tree, and instead of $405,000, we're at $404,290. So we lost $710 for running head on into a tree. So, yeah, that's pretty much nothing of a loss. So, in total for that one, we made $556,000, which is a pretty decent amount of money. And after everything we did today in this episode, we are now sitting at $1,391,000. So hopefully by next episode, we'll have enough to purchase the Cavalry. Five months ago, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only way I've made money on this account is by spinning a wheel, determining what I should do to make money. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what I will do in this video. So welcome to the 73rd episode of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so currently right now, I am on the wheel of quick cash and before we spin the wheel of quick cash i just want to remind you that we are trying to buy the latest d 
DLC vehicle, which is currently right now the Cavalcade XL, coming in at $1,665,000. But to customize this fully, it's gonna roughly take $2 million. So we're trying to shoot for $2 million. And currently right now, I'm sitting on $1,409,000. So hopefully we can get right around $600,000 today in this video so we can hopefully purchase that Cavalcade XL. But how are we gonna start out this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to go to our auto shop and sell off the auto shop car that we can take to a customer. All right, so right now I am on the wheel of making money. So what are we gonna have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to do what is gonna be, okay. We are going to have to sell off our maxed out counterfeit cash factory. All right, so we got to sell for counterfeit cash today, but what else in this episode am I going to have to do in order to make money? And it looks like we are free to do whatever we want, but it is going to be determined by something. And in order to determine that something, we got to spin a wheel. All right, so this is the free to do whatever wheel. And if you don't know how this wheel works, there's a bunch of different options on here of a bunch of vehicles that we've bought during this season of Loser to Luxury. And we're going to try to get as many kills as possible with this vehicle. So like this one right here is the Kanjali. We'll have five minutes to get as many kills with the Kanjali. We get the Buzzard, we'll have three minutes. Armor Karuma, we'll have seven minutes and so forth. But let's spin the wheel and let's see what vehicle we're going to have to use to try to get as many kills in a certain amount of time and all right we're going back to the original thing that we used to do all the time which was melee kills so we have to get as many melee kills as possible in a span of 10 minutes and how many kills we get is going to determine how long we have to do whatever we want in gta online all right so we're free to do whatever we want but it's going to be determined by melee kills and then we have to go and sell off our counterfeit cash factory but first i have to head over to my auto shop and sell off a vehicle inside of my auto Auto shop. All right, all right, all right. I'm already pissed. We've already run into this freaking problem again. So Santa can't get a car in here for me to customize and sell off. I need a written apology from you. I don't know what is your problem. Like, where are you, Santa? You're in here. What is wrong with you? No, I'm dead serious. What is wrong with you? Oh my God, she's on a call with Katie Jade. No, I don't want to hear him talk. No, get me out of there. Yeah, there's a car lift right behind me right here. There's supposed to be a car on that car lift that we can sell off. But for some reason, there is no car in here. And it's not like I just joined this session. I've been sitting in this session for close to an hour and there's no vehicle on the car lift. Like, I don't get that. This is not going to be a wheel of quick cash wheel spin. I don't know what I'm going to do now, though. Oh, look at that. It says new contracts are now available from your auto shop job board. That's fantastic. I need a car to sell off, idiots. All right. So instead of doing that, um, hmm. You know what? We'll do a full against job. How about that? We'll do one full against job and we're not going to try to cheese and get like a good full against job. We're going to get whatever full against job that just appears good or bad what are we getting liquid assets okay this is a good one but the problem is we have to go all the way to Polito bay which kind of sucks but whatever all right so we've made it over to this grass farm yeah we have to take out a bunch of dealers like so so much nice to do this when you actually have like good weapons and everything i remember when i used to have to do this with like terrible weapons all right so we have to contaminate the water supply before we actually got here i got some hazardous chemicals there we go water supply is contaminated now let's turn on the irrigation system and i mean there's a door right there uh you know you think you can just walk out this door right ah it's a door you can't go out so you have to go right through the chemicals that you just you know put in and yep here we go we're seeing a bunch of pretty colors and now we have to exit the grass farm and now we are hallucinating oh what a wonderful time and there's a way to cheese this which i'm going to do essentially what we have to do is just go up high so like i'm on top of a building we'll go up here and then there you go there's not gonna be any clowns or whatever the heck running after you because now i am just chilling out on top of the building and you can just chill out up here and you can eat a bunch of snacks while you're hallucinating so you don't die and yeah this makes this a lot easier all right and there we go we have ended our hallucination and we are spawning in and this is the first time we've spawned up here but there we go mission passed we usually spawn in you know at this location but we spawn in like inside of this hut thing we're on top of mount chiliad and like we're on this hut where the gondola is supposed to go we usually spawn in here but instead we spawn on top of here okay we got fifty thousand dollars for that which is nice we wouldn't have gotten fifty thousand dollars for 
selling off that vehicle for Santa. So thank you, Dax. Never thought I would say that. But now it's time for us to try to get as many melee kills as possible in a span of 10 minutes. So let's head over into a public session and let's go see what I can do. All right, so I'm now in a public session. So now our goal is to try to get as many melee kills as possible in a span of 10 minutes. So first of all, how this is going to work is we're essentially starting out with 20 minutes and every single melee kill that I get is going to be an additional 10 minutes. So let's just say I only get one melee kill in the span of 10 minutes, then that's an additional 10 minutes added on top of the 20 minutes we started out with. So in total, that would be 30 minutes for me to do whatever I want in GTA Online. So hopefully that made sense, but how I'm going to get melee kills is we're going to pull out a melee weapon, obviously, but we're going to pull out our stone hatchet in particular because it's a lot easier to get killed with a stone hatchet than any other melee weapon. So like we can just take this lady and well, bam, that's a melee kill. And then we get this ability too that prevents us from taking damage. I don't think that's going to be really relevant for what we're doing. Oh yeah, one more rule before I start. I'm not allowed to get any kills on anyone that's AFK. I need to at least have some sort of evidence that they are currently playing by like moving or whatever. But anyways, let's start the timer for 10 minutes right now. All right, clock is running. We need to try to get as many melee kills as possible in 10 minutes. I don't know, right now I'm flying around in my oppressor, which could be a little bit intimidating. Their guard might be incredibly high. Uh, I don't know. Here's a guy right here. Hey, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, sir, 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 sir. Can't believe you actually let me do that. All right, here we go. This guy is here. I know that. Well, there we go. That's one kill. <laughs> <laughs> that was so quick. Nice. All right, we're on the board. Dude, this guy's running away from me. He's gonna get back in that car. That sucks. Dude, I can easily get a kill on that guy if it wasn't for a melee weapon. Okay, there's a guy right here. I saw this guy moving. No, he's moving again. Dang it, dude. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, the cops are on him. Uh, excuse me, sir. Sir, 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 sir. No, dude. Dude, I'm friendly. I'm friendly. I'm friendly. What part about friendly do you not understand, you dork? God. Okay, there's apparently a guy over here. His name is Big Bully. I don't know if he's moving or not, though. That's a problem. Mr. Bully, sir, can I... Oh, he is moving. Oh, I think I might have accidentally just pushed him right into his garage. Wait, he's coming out. He's coming out. Wait, 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 wait. Mr. Bully, sir. Uh, that's what you gotta do in life. You gotta bully the bully. That's what I just did. All right, the bully guy is over here. Excuse me? Okay, you just look freaking... Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, 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 I saw that. I saw that. You pulled out a sticky bomb. I saw that. Uh-uh. No, that's our third kill. Nope, nope. He's gonna try to blow us up and be kind of like ha-ha funny about it. No, uh-uh. No, I get to do the ha-ha funny. You get to be the victim. Plus, you dropped a sticky bomb, so that's nice. So I got an extra sticky bomb out of that. All right, so we're doing good right now. We have three kills with like just under five minutes to go. Yeah, he's pulling out a sticky bomb. Bomb. He's gonna try. Yeah. Wow, you are so funny. Ha 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 ha. I just blew up my freaking oppressor. I wasn't even using my oppressor. I was just meleeing you, you freaking dork. He's probably sitting there right now. He's like, oh, I got him good. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am under strict limitations right now. You're not. All right, Mister Dork. Oh, yeah, I got him good. <laughs> Loser, I swear, man. No, I can get him. I can get him. He's literally just waiting. Can you rush me? Okay, he's not shooting. Oh, wow, you really suck. My goodness. Okay, no, no. Yeah! Bully the bully. That is number four. Kill number four. Oh, 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 oh. He's kind of joining in the fun. Okay, that was just bad on him. Wow, that's number five. That was embarrassing. You should be bright red embarrassed at yourself. You might need to join another session because that was so embarrassing. Jeez. Bro, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought that would have been automatic. All right, fine. I kind of like set up like the glitch punch thing, you know, just hold down A and right trigger. Run at him. Yeah, that was easy. Okay, that's number six. Jeez. All right, I have the glitch punch ready to go. I'm holding down A and right trigger. I'm just going to run right at him and then... Jeez, I don't know. I, okay, I'm kind of embarrassed that I died from you off of a melee kill. Dude, you need to get better at your meleeing. Okay, there's like 10 seconds left. I think he's a little too far away for me to get another kill. Oh, I see a scramjet in the air, Um, but the clock is expiring now. Well, that was something. Dude, okay, the clock is expired, but my gosh. That doesn't count as another kill, but just stop. Just stop. Like, oh, wow. We're going to go back to an invite-only session. We're going to regroup.
All right, so I quite literally think that this is a new record for me for doing one of these challenges, but I was able to get seven kills in the span of 10 minutes only using a melee weapon. Now, I will have to say that guy was, I mean, not the best, but that being said, I took advantage of him not being the best. So got six of our seven kills on that guy. But we started out with 20 minutes and then we get an additional 10 minutes for every single kill. So that's an additional 70 minutes added on top of that 20 minutes we started out with. So in total, we have nine. 90 minutes or an hour and 30 minutes to do whatever I want in GTA Online with the exception of a Kyle Perico Iced. That's incredibly cheesy just to do a Kyle Perico Iced. When you get a challenge like this, we're not going to collect any wall safes because all the value in wall safes are going to be outside of this 90 minutes. And then selling off any businesses, that's not going to count either because the value inside of the businesses was gathered before this 90 minutes. But everything else is in play. So yeah, let's Let's see how much money we can make in the span of 90 minutes. All right, so we've made it over to our first way that we're actually gonna get money, and it's going to be through payphone hits. And as soon as I pick up this payphone, the clock is going to start. So here we go. All right, clock is running. Pick up the payphone. Can we hang up quick? Yes, we can. We have to kill multiple targets. Frankie, oh, Franklin, you gotta tell me how to do it. Take out all the targets within seven minutes. Good, good. This is a good one. This is a good one. It's what I like to see. Thank you, Franklin. See, so Santa should take some notes from me, Franklin. Like, my goodness. Franklin actually like caters to my needs for the most part. See, so Santa just absolutely does not do that. Santa just does everything in her power just to piss me off. She does a great job at it too. Anyways, there's a target right here. So how are we going to kill this target? It's like that, which didn't work that time. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Well, bam. There we go. One target down, three more to go. Oh yeah, the reason we're starting out with doing a payphone hit is because now payphone hits, the cooldown instead of being like a GTA online day with it being 48 minutes, it's now reduced to 10 minutes, but the pay is going to be a little less. Uh, the point is I want to do as many payphone hits as possible. You know, it's actually like a good way to make money, but you just got to keep doing it. Dude, this guy won't die. Dude, you are being a little obnoxious. Fine, you know what? You know what? Eat this. There you go. I didn't want to have to do that, but you kind of forced me to do that guy so yeah hopefully in this time frame we can do at least seven payphone hits <laughs> i think that's reasonable seven payphone hits because they roughly take like three minutes to do even though this one's taking a little longer hello guy okay i can't hit these guys dead on usually i run them over with the oppressor they'll die like you know first attempt all right, there you go. One more guy we have to take out. All right, we're just gonna get this guy quickly by giving him that. Assassination bonus complete. Now we're gonna head this way. And there we go, payphone hit complete. Got $45,000, good start. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head over to the board, the animal board. I forgot the name of this board, but I wanna go to the animal board. All right, so while we wait 10 minutes for the cooldown of our payphone hits to expire, I want to at least get this started. So this is the wildlife. We have to get a photo of a coyote, a rat, Rabbit and a hen. Uh, I see a lot of rabbits. I don't think the rabbits will be too hard, but the coyote? Oh, I know. I feel like I see a decent amount of coyotes, but a hen. I have no idea where a hen is going to spawn in. I mean, definitely like a farm. I think I've just seen coyotes just strolling around in sandy shores. I think I'm just going to look there first. At least I didn't get a great cormorant. I don't have to look up what a coyote is. I understand what a coyote is. Got to find one. Oh, coyote. All right, I'm already getting pissed off at this. All right, I'm looking it up. Okay, I think I found a location. Apparently on the other side of the Alamo Sea. I don't know. I looked up a YouTuber. I'll shout out this YouTuber if he's correct. Okay. It was apparently by this bunker. Oh, you are so right. Okay. Shout out to this guy. Hold on. There's a coyote right there. Nice. Nice. What? What do you want from me? That's perfect. That's a coyote, you morons. Come on, game. No. Don't run. No. No. Don't run. I didn't do anything. Well, that one's running away, but this one's walking close here. Just thank you, game. Don't piss me off like that. It's one. I got a coyote and I need to find a rabbit. Uh, hold on. Let me shout out this guy. Shout out to Hellboy200120. Good video. Good video of where to find a coyote. Shoot. I feel like I always see rabbits, though. I feel like rabbits are just everywhere, but I just need to see one now. Wait, I see one. Let's go, dude. I see you. It's kind of hard to see, but I see. Look, look. 
Yes! Let's go! God, I'm so hype finding animals. I gotta find a hen. I have no idea where a hen is. They're commonly seen around the countryside of Blaine County. Uh, I would like a little bit more specific, please. But they can also be found in Alleyway in Rancho Los Santos. Uh, there are several chickens present in the Cluck and Bell factory. Uh, I mean, I know I'm already at the Blaine County area, but uh, that's just way too broad of an answer. So I'm gonna go to the Cluck and Bell factory. Oh yeah, I don't know if I explained this like too well, but essentially if we photograph three different animals that were on that list, which we've already got two of them, once we get the third one in total, we'll make a hundred thousand dollars. We get twenty thousand dollars per animal that we get, and then a forty thousand dollar completion bonus. So yeah, we just gotta find a hen. So we have to go to Cluck and Bell factory and see if we can find a hen that's getting ready to be turned into fried chicken. All right, we've made it here. Um, can I take a photo of this and this will count? That was a joke. That was a joke. That was a joke. Don't roast me. I knew that. I knew that wasn't gonna work. Okay. Where? Oh, where would a chicken be? Chickens? No, they're not on their chicken slide thing. I was promised they're at the Cluck and Bell factory. There is no chickens at the Cluck and Bell factory yet. All right, yeah, this is getting ridiculous. I have found no hens. This is stupid. Yeah, I made a complete lap. There's no chickens here. That's so stupid. All right, so what we're gonna do now, uh, we can actually start up another payphone it. So we're gonna take a little break from trying to find a hen. We're gonna do another payphone it right now. And then once we complete this payphone it, we'll go back to hen hunting. All right, this payphone is right here. Let's pick it up, hang it up. We have to assassinate a single target. Franklin, you know the drill. Use a scope rifle to take out the target with a gas tank explosion. Okay, this is one of the construction site ones. All right, anyways, we've made it over here. Um, it's usually a bad idea to park your oppressor right here. Well, okay, that might be the spot. Okay, usually I just fall off and embarrass myself. Then I, like, cry myself to sleep, but uh, not today. Not today. Um, okay, so we picked up a sniper rifle. I need to pick this one up because this one has a suppressor, unlike my other snipers I have. All right, the gas tank is right here, so he needs to get close to that. Oh, I think I forgot to mention with these payphone hits is the fact that we're trying to get the assassination bonus, and we're trying to get the assassination bonus because that's where we're going to get majority of our money. This pays out $45,000, but $30,000 of it. Is that close enough? Okay, cool. Um, As I was saying, $30,000 of it is with the assassination bonus. So that's two thirds of our money. But anyways, we got the assassination bonus right there. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here once it shows out the payout. All right, there we go. Hit complete. It says payment. It's just a payment of $15,000, but we get $30,000 for the bonus payment. So yeah, two thirds of our money is coming straight from the assassination bonus. All right, anyways, there's supposedly a bunch of hens here. There's apparently supposed to be hens just chilling out in here. At least they're supposed to be. Uh, I might have to come back and see if they'll spawn in. Let's take a quick lap, make sure, you know, there's none around the back. All right, chickens, where are you? I know you're here. Do I have a flashlight or anything? No, I don't have a flashlight. Dude, there's supposed to be a chicken in here. I'm gonna come back one more time and see if they'll spawn in, but my goodness. All right, no more Mr. Nice Guy. You're here. I know you're here. Well, how stupid is that? No chickens want to spawn in for me. All right, well, I'll go to another location. That All right, this is apparently another location. All right, chickens. All right, you're pissing me off, chickens. They're supposed to spawn in here. They're literally supposed to spawn in there. Is it only like a daytime animal or something like that? Which is so stupid to even say out loud. We'll wait a little longer before we try that again. But I guess while we wait, we'll go over to our bunker. We'll sell off excess weapon parts. And then we'll do another payphone. And then we'll come back and see if a hen wants to spawn in. All right, here we go. Here is our dune loader full of excess weapon parts. Hopefully, I can do this twice. I think we should be able to do this twice, which is huge. All right, all right. Did they fix something with selling off excess weapon parts? This is kind of pissing me off. I have the same location of a bunker on another account, and when I've done this, I've gotten this same freaking location like the past three times. This is getting ridiculous, and this is a problem with this one because this is six miles. Like, we're driving all the way back into Los Santos, even though there's so many, like, ammunitions that are pretty decently close by. The game just wants to screw me. Nah, that's definitely not the case. They probably just made, like, an adjustment. They just didn't tell anyone about it. Don't worry, Dr. Crush is here to explain everything to everyone and wreck because of stupid NPCs and I have to deal with this for freaking six miles. No, 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 no. What are you, a cop? It's like the most perfect fishtail I've ever seen. I legitimately don't think I've seen a more perfect fishtail. Stop! 
Dude, what is your problem? You didn't manufacture these weapons. I did, apparently. I know probably some of y'all are like, oh, just shoot out their tires. Problem is, I can't aim back here. I can't shoot. Like, I'm trying to shoot right now. I can't. Like, I can't shoot out the back window because, well, it's impossible. Oh, I probably had an opportunity there to shoot out their tires. God dang it, dude. They're just being annoying today. Just stop. Y'all are being a pain. But that's what we were programmed to do. Dude, it's somewhere else. Here, fine. They're not in their vehicles yet. There you go. I don't want to kill them. I don't want to kill them. No, no, you're not getting... Oh, of course, I have to reload. All your tires are going to be screwed. I don't want to kill them because then more will spawn in. I want those specific guys to come after me now because they have no tires. They're just going to be slipping all over the place. But then again, they're not even following me anymore. So then they're going to despawn and then there's going to be some fresh ones coming after me and then they're going to ruin my day. Yeah, I think I did too good of a job. I think I'm way ahead of them now. I assume some more new ones will spawn in. Yep, two more new ones just spawned in. That is fantastic. Hopefully, I can outrun them though. Yeah, oh my god, this is already taking me just over six minutes and we still have a mile and a half to go. Yeah, this little silent update that GTA has freaking put down on this, it sucks. Oh, but anyways, here we go. Yep, I'm getting too familiar with this specific ammunition. All right, there we go. That's $50,000 though. It's still a great way to make money. It's just taking a little longer than it originally used to take. But I think we should be able to do another payphone it though. All right, here's another payphone. Let's pick it up, hang it up. Oh, okay, I can't skip this one. All right, we haven't done this one before on this account. Yeah, essentially right now what Franklin's telling me, he's telling me to tell you to subscribe to Dr. Crutch because we are less than 10,000 subscribers away from reaching 100,000 subscribers. So if you're not already subscribed and you're enjoying the content, then you might as well just hit the subscribe button. And then he also said, if you're enjoying the content, you should leave a like down below while you're subscribing. You know, that's his words, not mine. I really appreciate it, Franklin. And Franklin's my boy. You know, Franklin didn't have to say that. He's just too nice. Then he slipped in. We have to go assassinate a single target. Uh, we have to pursue the target in a police car until they crash. Are we close to it? Hold on. We might be close to a spot where a police car can spawn in. If not, I can just call 911 and then a police car will just come on by. I think the impound lot has some. I mean, there's a riot van. Does that count? I don't think it does. Uh, okay, that's great. I'm just going to call 911 and we'll steal a cop car. We're going to call emergency services, which is 911. And then we'll call for the police. Yeah, Franklin just told me a location of where police cars will spawn it. Oh, come on. Really? I'm right here and it's right there. Oh, Frank. Oh, Franklin. I feel committed doing it this way now. I just got to get that cop car to spawn in. What? Are you kidding? It was literally just guys walking here? Oh, come on. Y'all are the lousiest policemen ever. Get a car. Oh, right, here's the car. I think those guys literally just ran from all the way down there. Morons. Anyways, I got a police car now. I wonder if he bought like a police car with this latest update if you could use that during this mission. All right, so anyways, we have to pursue the target in a police car until they crash their vehicle. No, wrong vehicle to crash. No, 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 no. It can't be me. It has to be them crashing. All right, so we see the car just up ahead. On the minimap, there's a little red circle. So we have to stay within this red circle. We have to turn on our lights though. All right, here we go. Yeah, they're intimidated. Um, What does a cop usually say at GTA? All right, <clears throat> show's over, clown. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. That's actually what they say. All right, crash. Awesome, thank you. Let me get out of here. All right, there you go. Payphone hit complete. All right, so we're gonna try to find a hen now. All we have to find is a single hen. It's now the daytime, so hopefully a hen will spawn in. Because the only thing I thought that could have maybe been a factor was nighttime, which makes no sense to me. All right, so we've made it over here once again. Oh, hen, oh, hen. All right, hens, where are you? It's okay, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Will you spawn in? I just need you to spawn in, hens. Gosh. After I photograph these hens, I am blowing them up. This is getting ridiculous. It will not spawn in. And I have seen proof that they spawn in right there in those little hut things. All right, hens, don't be shy. You're the most annoying animal in the game. My goodness. Hey, sir, where are your hens? Where are your hens? Okay, I think he's a little shy. Oh boy, oh boy, okay, okay. I looked up another YouTube video. Like, to be honest, I don't think that was Hellboy's fault, but it's not spawning in at his locations. I think this Polito Bay location, uh, he also said. I clicked on another video, and this guy said 99% guarantee that it'll be at this location. 99, all right, 99. My odds are very, very good. I mean, he did kind of cover himself a little bit by giving that 1% possibility of it not being at this specific location. All right, 99. Where exactly was the location though? Oh my God, he was right. All right, all right, okay, okay, 99, 99. He was right, he was right, here you go. There we go, that's it. You know, all animals have been photographed, but not all animals have been cooked. 
All right, there we go. All animals have been cooked. Oh, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing, you little dork? You running away? <laughs> you ain't running from anywhere. I got you now, stupid hen. All right, I feel much better. I'm gonna try to do a fully inch job right here, see if I have enough time to do that. All right, but anyways, we got twenty thousand dollars for photographing that hen, along with another forty for photographing every single animal, which is nice. What are we doing? Right off? Ugh, I don't want to do this one. Yeah, screw it, I'll do it. I haven't done this one in so long because this one's an annoying one to do. But I have a Kanjali, which is supposedly supposed to make it a little bit easier. Or just any sort of tank. All right, so what we have to do for this full against job is we have to destroy Mary with a transport. And there's one thing right here. And there we go. So, yeah, we don't have to destroy all of them, but we have to destroy a decent amount of them. So, let's just take some of these things out. There we go. Another Meriwether transport has been destroyed. I think that's all I technically have to take out, right? All right, yeah, there we go. So, all we have to do now is go to the Meriwether Depot. Right before we get there, we're going to call in our tank. Oh, yeah, here is my Kanjali. Hey, look, I can just walk in and then, well, bam. Oh, jeez, I missed that, but, ah. Uh. So, yeah, reinforcements are supposed to come in 30 seconds. I don't really care, to be honest. I don't even think it should be a factor. Okay, okay we're doing a good job of taking out most everything. We have four more things we have to take out i mean yeah this is definitely the way to go if you get this one okay don't be stupid like that though shoot the thing right in front of you all right there you go everything's been taken out so now we just need to get out of here problem is we have to escape the reinforcements but the kanjali is very not fast so first things first what i'm going to do i want to take out this helicopter like that there we go nice Take that out. Okay. Okay, what am I doing? Sorry, I was being a little silly there. All right, cool. Uh, now what I want to do is I want to call in my buzzard. We'll get out of here with the buzzard. Oh, okay, there we go. I didn't even have to get out of Los Santos. There's $50,000 right there. So let's call up Franklin and let's do another payphone hit. All right, here we go. Here's the payphone. Let's pick it up, hang it up. We have to assassinate a single target. Uh, it kind of looks like the construction site one, which not my favorite. Yep, use a scoped rifle to take out the target with a cargo container, which this is another construction site one. The one we got last time was a little bit easier with taking them out with an explosion. This one, I have to get a little better angle. Okay, so once again, I've made it over to the crane. Now we learned last time we can just park our oppressor right here if it wants to work. Work! Okay, cool. Nice. All right, we're going to go up here. Yeah, take the sniper rifle, head back down. All right, let's get back on our pressure. We got to get a better angle because the angle that we have right now is not great. The cargo container is like sitting over here. Yeah, this is probably going to be the best angle. Maybe sitting on this pipe right here. There's a target right there. He needs to walk underneath here. So if he can do that, that'd be great. Okay, he listened. Okay, he's underneath. Shoot. Boom. Okay, not bad. Assassination bonus complete. Let's leave the area and we should be good. Good to go. There we go. Another $45,000. All right. I want to do the time trials now. We're not doing the HSW time trial or the normal time trial just because it's early in the event week when I'm recording this. And if I were to do it now, that would take away the ability for us to do that wheel spin if we do land on it like later on in this event week. So we're going to do the ones that reset daily. And I'm going to start out with doing the junk energy time trial. I should be able to complete this first attempt, but the key word is should. Then after this, I'll try to do the RC bandy time trial, but that could be a little bit tricky. Oh, I think I'm remembering this junk energy time trial. I don't think this one's one of my favorites. I think it gets a little bit annoying towards the end. Okay, I've kind of flown through this like pretty good, but this is where it gets a little tricky because you can't have too much speed, uh, but you got to have enough speed if that makes any sense. But I've kind of done this very nicely. I just have to climb up here and all right, nice. First attempt. It's an easy $51,000. All right, so I'm going to try to get the RC Bandito time trial done. All right, so the RC Bandito time trial is going to be over here. I don't think I've done this specific RC Bandito time trial. The Vinewood Bowl. Okay. All right, but here we go. Can I do this time trial first attempt? Uh, I think the betting favorite is going to be no. I mean, so far, this seems pretty simple. As I run into a bollard, thank you. That's just me being stupid. Can't blame that on the RC Bandito. Ah, 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 we don't run into a wall. Let's keep going. No, ran into another bollard. Okay, yeah, bollards are gonna absolutely just ruin this run for me. I guarantee it. Kind of already has. Ah, car, where are you coming from? Okay, less than 10 seconds to go. I don't think it's been that bad, to be honest. Okay, okay, okay. That didn't have to happen. Where's the finish? I just want to see where the finish is. Get my eyes on it. Okay, okay. I don't think that's horrible. I really don't think that's horrible. We just had a few minor screw ups. I think I'm gonna give myself three more attempts. If I can't complete it in three more attempts, we'll do another payphone it and then come back to it yeah this really doesn't seem that bad of an rc bandito time trial 
No, no, we don't run into bollards. That's not how we complete time trial. We complete time trials by not hitting anything. All right, yeah, this feels very fast. I think I had like one screw up. I think we should be able to complete this. 15. 16. Yep, got it. Wow. I had a feeling that wasn't going to be too awful. I screwed up too much that first attempt, but there we go. That might be the easiest one ever. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to call the wrong guy to call. I need to call Franklin, my boy Franklin, and see how much time we have left before we can start up another payphone hit. Oh, uh, we have two minutes. Uh, we're going to go to the Diamond Casino. How about that? We'll go to the Diamond Casino. We'll spin the lucky wheel. Then after that, I don't know what I'm going to do. All right, so we made it over to the Diamond Casino. So we're going to spin the lucky wheel. This is what we're going to do. All right, here we go. Uh, I don't even know what the podium vehicle is for this week um i would like to find out by landing on vehicle okay no we're not landing on vehicle oh good a discount oh, wait is it gonna be southern san andreas that might help me out <laughs> okay we're gonna get our cavalcade xl discounted okay that is like the one time i am okay in this series with getting a discount okay all right cool i mean we're saving money instead of making money which is cool i guess all right, here we go. I was camping right next to a payphone. Pick it up. Hang it up. Cool. Assassinate a single... T Dang it. No, it's the motel one. Ah, oh, shoot. We're going to not do that one. That takes up too much time. That takes like at least five minutes to do. No, we're going to get another one. All right, let's try this again. Franklin, give me a better one, please. And thank you. Uh, What do we got? All right. Not one with a question mark. It's the one with the target. If you see one with a question mark, you're going to get that one with like the motel. Uh, This one's not that though. Uh, Let me guess. Construction site one. Yeah, no, it is. It literally is. I can tell on the map. First time we're getting this one. I used a skipped rifle to take out the target with a bulldozer. We've literally gotten all three of the ways to take out the guy at the construction site. The gas tank explosion, the cargo container landing on his face, and now the bulldozer. The game really wants me to show this today. Oh, wait, no, he's literally at the perfect spot to get run over by a bulldozer. I'm going to go for it now. Oh, shoot. Go, just go, 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 go. Okay, I missed the first shot. That was almost embarrassing, but okay, cool. Okay, wow, that took me a minute and 31 seconds. Cool. I almost forgot I can do one thing, but I'm gonna go over to my office and we're gonna export mixed goods. All right, hello. Uh, I would like to export mixed. Oh wait, I need to get some snacks. Let me get some snacks. Uh, yeah, I would like to export mixed goods, please and thank you. All right, cool. We have to exit the office right now. All right, so all we have to do for this is we just have to collect the mixed goods, which is usually gonna be in the city, and then all we have to do is just deliver these mixed goods to the terminal. That is pretty much it. We only recently unlocked the ability to collect mixed goods because we were able to buy a special cargo warehouse. A lot of people make the mistake of thinking all you need is an office building to do this. No, you need an office building along with a special cargo warehouse. Uh, I just realized that the mixed goods spawn in outside of your cargo warehouse, which in this case is good for us because it's like just over a mile away from the terminal. All right, and here we go. Oh, geez, that was a little embarrassing. Uh, here we go, fit through the gap. Oh yeah, that took just under three three minutes to do that. Very simple. All right, and there we go. Another $50,000. Now, honestly, I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> kind of running out of things that I can come up with to do. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and do a security contract next. And probably a lot of you are thinking like, hey, you can just call up Franklin to start up a security contract. Yes, but I like to go actually to my agency to start it up just because I can at least pick the best one. Because when you just call up Franklin, you get stuck with whatever one you get. And you don't know if you're making like $32,000 or $70,000. At least with here, you have an understanding of like how much money you're going to get. And obviously you're going to pick the best one too. All right, so we're going to go to security contracts. We have professional, specialist, and professional. All right, we're going to do the specialist one, which we have to recover some valuables. Okay. We get the recover valuables for the location at Tequila Lab. We get this one a decent amount. So I understand how to do this one as fast as possible. So first things first, we've made it to Tequila La, and we need to go through the back entrance which is going to be up here then we need to locate the safe um is it in here uh no doesn't look like it which is fantastic so that means it's going to be in the basement which is not great but now i've pissed off the lost mc so now a bunch of people are going to shoot at me Dude, there's so many people here my goodness i almost died there all right but the safe should be down here in the basement there's gonna be even more people that spawn in down here and yeah the safe is literally right next to the door right there so we have to go try to find the combination for the safe which can be hard to find, but luckily I already found it, which is right here. So we pick up the combination for the safe, and then we're going to go down here, and of course there's more people that spawn in down here. All right, and then we're going to open up the safe, and then we're going to recover the valuable, which is going to be a necklace, and then we're going to exit to Kilala, and then we're going to take it back to the agency, and we should be good to go. All right, so we're back inside. We're going to hand Franklin the nice necklace, and there you go. Security contract has been completed. So now I think we should be able to do our final payphone hit. All right, so 
So we caught up for another payphone hit. Uh, hang up. All right, cool. We have to assassinate. No, Franklin, no. Stop. All right, you know what? No, we're not doing that. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our bunker because I just got a notification that we can sell off some more excess weapon parts. And selling off excess weapon parts will give me $5,000 more than a payphone hit now. So I'm going to do this. And then if we have enough time, we'll do one more payphone hit. But I have seven minutes and 30 seconds. And I assume I'm going to have to take this stupid Dune loader all the way back to the freaking terrible location. And you're supposed to load in game. I get it. This is my bunker. Thank you. I know it's my bunker. Now speak. Spawn in. Hello, game. Come on. There you go. You took a little too long there, cowboy. We're going to go over here. We're going to get in this dune loader. And we're going to haul ass down the road. Probably going to be the six mile one, which sucks. And then hopefully I'll have enough time to do one more payphone hit. Now, where's the location? Okay, never mind. I Why? Okay, for some weird, weird reason, I kept getting that six mile location. Now I'm getting the four mile location, which is good for us right now. But I'm so confused why I kept getting that stupid, stupid location. I think either three three or four times in a row off of multiple different accounts. And by the way, since we're cutting it close on time, if we're in the middle of doing a payphone hit and the clock hits zero, I have to set down my controller and go to an invite only session and we won't get credit for completing that payphone hit. For this challenge, it is a hard cutoff. So just keep that in mind when the time is about to expire. Oh yeah, I just realized uh, there has literally been no NPCs coming after me this time. So that's nice, but I don't know why I had to come after me the first time. All right, and there we go. We have made it over to this ammunition, a different ammunition. And there we go. Uh, so what I need to do now is I need to quickly call up Franklin, and then hopefully we can do a payphone. And luckily, I'm right next to a payphone, which is nice. All right, I just wanted to bring my oppressor over closer. Um, let's pick up the payphone, hang up. What are we getting? Multiple targets. Oh, jeez. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to complete this, but I'm going to try my hardest. Take out all the targets with a headshot. Oh, this is going to be incredibly close. Yeah, we'll have to say the location for this specific one are not the best. We got the locations kind of going into Blaine County, which is not great. If we got the locations, I think in the city, it would have been a little easier. What are you going? All right, how much time do I have left? I have a minute 30 left. I've only killed one. All right, we made it over here. Um, Of course, this ledge. Oh, okay. No, I can... Of course! Okay, that stupid ledge. Uh, how much time do I have left? Uh, 40 some seconds left. That's not good. You know what? Yeah, no, we're just going to stop it here. I'm stopping the timer. There's no way we're going to complete this, so I'm going to head over to an invite-only session and we'll regroup. All right, so after an hour and 30 minutes of trying to do whatever I want to make money, we made $673,000, which honestly, I feel like I could have done a little bit better. I feel like I left a little bit on the table, especially that last payphone hit. But all in all, we still made a lot of money in that time frame. All right, all right. I actually took a look at this discount voucher. Uh, we have like less than 23 minutes left for this voucher. This is gonna be the best time I can use a discount voucher. So I'm gonna take advantage of it now. I already have one well over the amount to buy the actual Cavalcade XL. Wait, how do I use a discount voucher? I don't even know, dude. Discount voucher. Do I have to like click on it? No. Okay. The discount doesn't even show on the website. So I'm a little bit concerned. It's just not going to go through for some weird reason, but we're going to buy it. Yeah, there you go. This purchase will use your 10% discount. Of course, I would like to proceed with that. Thank you very much. So all I had to spend was $1,498,000 instead of the $1,600,000. 65. So nice. We saved like a hundred thousand. But yeah, we still need to sell off our counterfeit cash factory. And then once we sell that off, we'll go back and we'll customize the Cavalcade XL. So yeah, let's head over to a public session now. All right, so I've made it over to a public session. And as you can see in the bottom right, our counterfeit cash is maxed out at a value of $217,000. So it's ready to go to be sold off. So let's head over here. Let's click to sell stock. We haven't sold this thing off before. All right, so we're going to sell this off to Santos, and it's going to have a value of $325,000 since it's further away than Blaine County. Plus, we'll get a 50% bonus on whatever we do sell since we're in a maxed out public session. Uh, larger sales may require multiple vehicles. Um, Just don't give me a stupid sell mission, please. Uh, Okay, we get planes. We get planes. I think this one's doable. The only problem is our planes are just sitting here on the Alamo Sea, but I don't think there's a lot of people around the Alamo Sea. So yeah, essentially, we have to take a plane and we have to go to five different locations locations with each plane and there's a total of three different planes here so in total we have to go to 15 different locations all right so yeah here's our planes right here uh, let me make sure there's like no one yeah there's one person right here that's just chilling out in the alamo sea area there's one guy on the train tracks up near mount chiliad all right here we go there's a deliver the counterfeit cash to the drop-offs the locations are holy 
far away. That is annoying. Oh, good. We have to fly as low as possible to avoid detection by cops. Great. So yeah, we can't go a little too high like this. Yeah, because then LJT is yelling at me. Don't fly too high. Lower the altitude or the cops will be all over you. Like, what are cops going to do to me? I mean, I'll fly low, but like, what are cops going to do to me? Like, really? All right, here we go. Here's the first drop-off location. Yeah, that took us almost five minutes to get to this location. All right, here we go. Just drop the counterfeit cash. Let's move on to the next one. Yeah, these locations are pretty far away from each other, too, which is a little bit annoying. Like, there's some over here, which this is the east side of Los Santos. Then there's some over in the Chumash area, which is all the way on the west side of Los Santos, which is fantastic. All right, here we go. Another drop-off location. Yeah, I'm probably not going to talk too much during this just because it's not really much happening. So, yeah, I'll see you when we get to each drop-off location or if something crazy happens, which hopefully nothing crazy happens. All right, there we go. That was our third location. All right, here's our fourth location. So let's drop the cash. And then just over here is going to be our fifth and final location that we need to go to with this plane. So let's drop the cash there. Uh, so yeah, now we need to go back and enter another plane. I'm going to jump out of this plane. This plane is so slow. It's not even funny. So we're jumping out the plane. We're going to pull our parachute. And then we're going to call in my oppressor mark two. And it spawned on the other side of the built game. That is... Oh, Dude, I'm right next to a road. Oh my, I have to lose the cops now. Yeah, this is an incredibly boring cell mission. But the thing is, it is possible to do it within the 30 minutes. So I'm gonna keep going. All right, here we go. We've made it back to the locations where the planes are. Let's get another plane. We have just under 19 minutes to go. Uh, I think we still should be able to complete this, but we're gonna be cutting it close. All right, here we go. We've made it over to the first location with this plane. There you go. All right, here we go. Second location. Tick the cash. Three more to go. All right, here we go. Third location. Ah, uh, we just flew over a bounty. Uh, okay. Wow, that kind of scared me a little bit. Uh, back to this boring cell mission. There you go. Fourth location. We have one more to go. All right, and there you go. Same ordeal. I'm going to jump out the plane. I'm going to call in my oppressor, and then we're going to fly back and then do that one more time. All right, we've made it back to our final plane. We have just over 10 minutes to go. So, yeah, we should be able to sell this thing off. All right, here we go. First location with our last plane. Yep, take your cash. Three more locations to go. All right, here we go. Third location right here. Two more to go. All right, here's the fourth location. We have one more location to get to. All right, here we go. Final location. And there we go. We successfully delivered the counterfeit money and we made $488,000 off of that cell mission. Oh, geez. I guess we're going down. Okay. Yeah, it's fine with me. How in the world does this thing not blow up? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So we've already bought our Cavalcade XL, but we're sitting on $1,058,000 still just to customize this thing. So let's go check out our new Cavalcade XL and let's go customize it. All right. So here is our Cavalcade XL right here. The newest vehicle that was added into GTA Online. So yeah, let's head over to a Los Santos Customs and let's go customize this thing. Alright, so I've made it over to Los Santos Customs. I'm gonna put as much customization as possible on this thing. And I'll see you when we have this thing fully customized. Alright, so here's my Gavelcade XL after customizing it. You know, I never done a vehicle before that was painted gold. And I was like, you know what? This is gonna be the vehicle that we're gonna have painted gold. But one weird thing about this vehicle, if you can see the wheels, the wheels are slightly like cocked out. I don't know why they're like that. But yeah, this is my new Cavalcade. Yeah, but there we go. We just purchased the Cavalcade XL, the latest DLC vehicle in GTA Online. And in next episode, we are going to spin the wheel of businesses to see what business we are gonna have to purchase next. Make sure you check out, back in August, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only businesses I bought on this account have come through spinning a wheel determining what business I should buy next. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what I am going to have to purchase. So welcome to the 74th episode of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so currently right now, I am on the wheel of businesses and I'm on the wheel of businesses because the last item I purchased came off the wheel of luxury and that was the latest D LC vehicle, the Cavalcade XL. And then the last time I spun the wheel of businesses, we went out and purchased the salvage yard. And we only have two more businesses left on the wheel of businesses, but let's spin the wheel and let's see what's going to be the next business I am going to have to purchase. And we are going to have to buy the arcade. And the arcade hosts the final heist that we haven't hosted yet in this season, which is going to be the Diamond Casino heist. Now, in order to take a look at what arcade 
arcades we need to purchase. I'm gonna have to do a short cutscene real quick. So let's head on over and do that first. All right, so we need to head over to Mirror Park and we need to go meet with Lester. Is this Mirror Park? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, game, for just forcing me to just jump into the water. Hopefully my oppressor didn't just get submerged. That wouldn't be great. But anyways, we have to go through this cutscene before we can actually look at the arcades we can purchase. Okay, um, we're back in the game. Um, let's just get on it and pretend like nothing happened. Okay, cool, 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 cool. That was almost really scary. I thought we were about to lose our oppressor over something really stupid. So essentially, Miss Chang wants us to go and rob the Diamond Casino, but we need to go buy a base of operations, which is going to be an arcade, which now I think we can take a look at the arcades. Yeah, now we can actually take a look at the arcades. All right, so these are all the arcades that we can purchase. There's four in downtown Los Santos area, and then there's one all the way in Grapeseed, and then there's one all the way in Polito Bay. So there's a total of six arcades that we can purchase, and right now I've pulled up a wheel of one to six, and this is going to determine what exact location of an arcade we could purchase. And how we've been doing this is number one is going to be the most southern location, and in this instance, it'll be this one right here. It'll be the warehouse, Davis, great name. And then number two is going to be right here, which is going to be Video Geddon at La Mesa. Then this one right here will be number three. This one will be number four. And then it's going to be a big jump all the way to five, which is going to be Wonderama all the way in Grapeseed. And then we'll have this one right here. Pixel Pete's Polito Bay is going to be number six. All right, but anyways, let's spin the wheel. And I am hoping for something one through four, please. One through four. Keep spinning. Keep. <laughs> oh, no. No. Wheel. Oh, wheel. Well, that's fantastic. I mean, let's look on the bright side. If we click on salvage yards, I mean, we have a salvage yard kind of in the area. We have a salvage yard right here. And now our arcade that we're going to purchase is going to be right here. Wow, it's like a rock skip away. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, let's click this. We're going to buy the Wonderama at Grapeseed, which is going to be roughly one and a half million dollars. But I need to check to see if there's any upgrades I need to purchase. I mean, maybe I might want to purchase a personal quarters just because this location is is so far away. Um, I don't know. We'll decide that when we get there. But essentially, we need to make $1,565,000. And currently, right now, we're sitting on $523,000. So we roughly need to make like $1 million before we can actually purchase this arcade. All right. So currently, right now, I am on the wheel of quick cash. So let's spin the wheel and let's see how we're going to start up this episode in order to make money. And it looks like we're going to have to go to the grapeseed area, kind of close to where that arcade we're going to buy is going to be. We're going to go to our salvage yard and we're going to do one tow truck mission. All right. So currently right now I'm on the wheel of making money. So what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to play the boosted money job for this week. Um, I'm currently recording this on like one of the worst event weeks of all time. I don't even remember like what is boosted for this week, but we're doing something. But now we're on a wheel of one to two hours and this is going to determine how long we have to do whatever the boosted money job is going to be for this week. So let's spin the wheel. And are we going to have to do this thing, this mysterious thing for long? No, <laughs> no, we do not get a lot of time. We get only one hour to do whatever the heck the boosted money job is for this week. All right. So we're going to do the boosted money job for this week. But what else in this episode am I going to have to do in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to, oh, great. We get to do the beautiful, I don't know why I said beautiful. We get to do the time trial, all the time trial. Yeah, we love doing that. All right, so we're going to start out by doing all the time trials, and then we're going to do the boosted money job for only one hour. But first, I'm going to head over to my salvage yard, and we are going to do one tow truck mission. All right, so we've made it over to the salvage yard, and behind me is going to be the tow truck, and this is how we are going to do our wheel of quick cash wheel spin. We have to get inside of this tow truck, and we are going to have to launch a tow truck service mission. So let's jump into that. All right, so currently right now, I'm in the tow truck. Uh, all we're doing right now is we're just going to drive to a location of a car that we need to tow and then all we're doing is just bringing it back to our salvage yard and then once we bring it back to the salvage yard i'll explain exactly how we're making money off of this because it's a little bit different than a normal mission all right so we've made it over to the location so the issue is going to be just over here so i just ran over someone i am really not sorry um now that guy's pissed at me or a guy is pissed at me okay okay yeah, jamal just said watch your back someone's mad we're cleaning up their trash excuse you want to punch me 
excuse me, no. I'll just put you to sleep. No witnesses. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. She looked like she was about to square up. Well, that's more like it. All right, anyways, we just need to back up to this issy right here. Put the hook on it. And all we have to do now is just deliver the issy back to the salvage yard. Once we make it back, hopefully smoothly, I'll explain how the money's gonna work with these missions. All right, so we made it back over to the salvage yard right here. And okay, now we are in the checkpoint. Thank you. All right, so there we go. The Winnie issy has been recovered. And the Winnie issy is going to be right here. And it's currently being salvaged for parts. And now how this is gonna work now is the Winnie issy is going to take some time to be salvaged for all of its parts. And I only have one worker inside of my salvage yard. So it's gonna take, I think, 96 minutes for this thing to be fully salvaged. And then once it's fully salvaged, we'll get paid a certain amount of money. I I think it's gonna be roughly thirty thousand dollars something like that now if you had two workers inside your salvage yard here i'll show you i'll show you hold on okay we're at the salvage yard right now we went to staff right here we can hire extra staff and instead of it taking 96 minutes for a vehicle to be salvaged it would take 48 minutes so essentially it goes from two gta online days to one gta online day but this is loser luxury so we do not have an extra staff member so it's going to take roughly 96 minutes for this thing to be salvaged all right but now it's time for us to get into all the time trials so let's head over to our first time trial all right so we've made it over to our first time trial and it's going to be the junk energy time trial and it's at the court center once again which is a little bit annoying because we've done this one pretty recently oh we'll see how it goes get oh my god i don't know if you knew what i was doing right there i was holding down right trigger thinking it was like a normal vehicle <sighs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We're just going to restart. We're going to pretend like that didn't happen. All right, so let's not use right trigger, okay? This isn't like a normal vehicle, yeah. Spam the A button and then boost, yeah. Now we're getting the hang of it. Jeez. Yeah, let's complete this first attempt right here. Uh, we did this one not too long ago. I don't exactly remember like what episode. So I apologize for not getting you a variety of different junk energy time trials. Oh yeah, and then I saw the RC Bandito time trial. It's another one that we've done already. And we've only done, I think, two RC RC Bandito time trials, which honestly for the RC Bandito time trial, that might benefit me just because I am not very good at RC Bandito time trials. All right, big jump. I didn't even jump, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, is this a finish? All oh, right, yeah, there we go. Easy first attempt. Wow, one and done. Jeez, that was too easy. Now it's time for us to get into our next time trial. Okay, 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 okay. Before we actually do that, we found a blue dot on the map, as you can see right here. Um, We found a security van. And last time I got this specific one, I absolutely embarrassed myself by blowing myself up, which I thought you had to only throw a sticky bo car. No, you've... Oh, why do you have to be so annoying? And you two, don't act like you're innocent. Anyways, I thought you had to throw a sticky bomb on it. I got told it don't have to. Essentially, we just need to blow up the doors on the back of this thing. So ready, set, go. So the doors open. Oh my goodness, we have some liars in the comment section. Wow, if you lied to me, I need a written apology. Okay, I just shot the guy at the driver's seat. That works. Okay, this is what I was talking about earlier. Oh, here's a guy, hold on. This is what I was talking about earlier. I don't know, let's just say we have a homing missile, right? Look, it didn't blow up. But then we take a sticky bomb, we put it on the back of here, and then, well, bam, it opens up. Yeah, I need an apology from someone. I didn't think that was right, but multiple people told me otherwise. Can't believe I listened to you. Wow, wow, wow. I need some apologies. I need multiple apologies in the comment section. Wow. But anyways, we made $25,000 out of that, which is pretty nice. Holy crap, there's another blue dot. We're just on a blue dot frenzy, I guess, you know? All right, here's a blue dot right here. It's labeled as drug vehicle, which I don't even really know what that means. It might just give us cash if this is what i'm thinking but i don't know we're gonna find out oh how oh, 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 cute guns <laughs> look at this dork yeah anyways we have to take the car seems you got your hands on my powder turn it into me we'll consider it even got it might even throw in a sweetener mm Hmm. thank you vagos i guess yeah honestly these drug vehicles they don't really spawn in for me too much they only spawn in for me like once in a blue moon security vans spawn in for me like a decent amount and honestly whenever they do spawn in for me i'm kind of like zoned in and like doing something else like within the video so i don't really go and do it but i mean this is a great opportunity to do these blue dots right now i haven't done them in a while all right and here we go we've made it over to la mesa hello boy why are you shooting at me i am delivering your vehicle so much for good hospitality mission pass i got twenty five thousand dollars and a death so we made fifty thousand dollars just off of blue dots which is fantastic all right now let's head over to our next time trial all right so we've made it over to our next time trial and it's going to be the or 
RC Bandito time trial, which is going to be the construction site number two. I think the first time we ever did an RC Bandito time trial, this is the one we got. So hopefully I should be able to complete this, but I don't know, let's find out. First attempt, just like how we did the junk energy time trial. Yeah, driving an RC Bandito is a lot different than driving anything else in the game. It is so sensitive. Jeez, jeez, there goes all my momentum. Awesome. No, no, I, I knew it didn't set that up right. Oh, that might have just screwed me over there. There it goes. We have less than 10 seconds to complete. Yeah, jeez. Yeah, this one's an annoying time trial just because we have to go all the way up this building. Or not all the way up, but, you know, a decent ways up. And there's a lot of tight turns, too. Like, we have to go up some of these ramps, which is incredibly annoying. No, I, mm, I was doing so good. That was, like, almost perfect. Okay, I just ran into that. Go. Thank you. I don't know where I'm going. Mm. Okay, that's a little annoying. Checkpoints are a little further away from each other. Even though I kind of know the route with this time trial, it's still so complicated. Like, I don't know, just take like a junk energy time trial, for instance, since that's like the most comparable thing. Yeah, the junk energy time trials, the checkpoints are very easy to find. And it might be just because it's a lot slower paced than the RC Bandito time trial. The RC Bandito time trial is incredibly fast paced. Oh, dude, that was... Mm, this has been such a good attempt, too. I can't see. I cannot see. I don't know why. Last time I did this time trial, too, I did it in the dark. I don't know why I'm just so obsessed with doing this in the dark. Please, go. Just go. <gasps> okay, we got it. We beat it by seven tenths of a second. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Another time trial done. First attempt. Huge. All right, so now let's get into the next time trial. And this one we haven't done this season, but I know it's a pretty difficult one. So, yeah, this will be fun. All right, so we're at our next time trial now, and it's going to be the normal normal time trial which is the observatory location yeah this one is a very annoying time trial and i haven't done this in probably like six months uh how far do i have to go i have to go there okay so just keep that in mind yeah there's gonna be a lot of off-roading with this specific one all right so here we go can i complete this first attempt let's go hopefully i remember the exact route i need to go and that would be nice okay so we need to like jump off here right and then yeah we need to go down this little valley yeah 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 then we need to do this little jump and then this is a stunt jump so i just completed a stunt jump like it's nothing okay so we're done there and this is where it's gonna get a little bit annoying i didn't angle that correctly but it's okay we move forward we go this way uh-uh whoo okay you almost pissed me off okay we go this uh oh Mm -mm, mm -mm, I screwed up. That's on me. Forgot there's guardrail right there. I'm gonna have to be perfect on this one too. So yeah, we're gonna have to just restart right now. Not gonna lie. I feel like that first attempt was a pretty good attempt. Yeah, currently right now I'm using the body 801 as the vehicle I'm using for this specific time trial. And I feel like I always have to say this, but there's some people that are like, oh, why don't you just use your HSW vehicle to do a normal time trial? Or they're like, oh, you can use your HSW vehicle to do a normal time trial. Well, buddy, there's two things wrong with that. One, this is loser deluxe. Luxury. I think I just missed my turn. Yeah, I did. Oh, we're good. We're good. Oh, and I ran into a thing. That's great. All right, let's try this again. But anyways, as I was saying, there's two things wrong with that. One, this is loser luxury. And if I had the Akachu drag, then yeah, I would agree with that statement. But I do not have the Akachu drag. I have, let's just call it a four-wheeled vehicle. We're not going to name the vehicle just yet because we're going to see it later on. But then also it's like, okay, you want to see me try to do a normal time trial off-roading with that garbage vehicle that we're going to display a little bit later on? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. You're a funny guy. Like, should be a comedian, I swear. I feel like this has been a good attempt, but we'll see. Yeah, a lot of normal time trials, they involve a lot of off-roading, and, well, I'd much rather prefer to off-road with a motorcycle than a normal vehicle. Oh, this is gonna be close. I feel like this was such a good run. Yeah, we're not gonna complete it. Holy, dude. I don't even know, like, what I did wrong. Yeah, we might be here a while for this specific time trial. All right, this is going to be extremely close. Are we going to be able to complete this? I just need to send it. Holy crap. Razor thin margins once again. We completed the RC Bandito time trial by seven tenths of a second. We completed the normal time trial by eight tenths of a second. Oh my goodness. Oh, jeez, that was annoying. That took me a while. I mean, um, first attempt. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention exactly how much we're getting paid for each time trial. So the Junk Energy time trial and the RC Bandito time trial, we got paid like $50,000. And then the normal time trial, we got paid $100,000. But now it's time for us to go over to the HSW 
time trial. All right, so we've made it over to the HSW time trial and it's going to be the Sandy Shores time trial. This could be one of the easiest HSW time trials in the game, at least in my opinion. I usually don't have any issues with it. And I did an HSW time trial yesterday with the Sentinel XS, which is not a very fast HSW vehicle. And I did that in two attempts, just to have some sort of basis. But anyways, we're gonna get into our lovely Arbiter GT. This vehicle sucks. Like, do you really think this vehicle could complete that last time trial? You're gonna sit there with a straight face and say the Arbiter GT can complete that last normal time trial? Like, absolutely ridiculous if you even think that. Anyways, let's see if we can complete this first attempt with the Arbiter GT. I don't know if I've ever completed a time trial first attempt with an Arbiter GT. This could be the time, though. Okay, Arbiter is already kind of having a mind of its own, kind of just going all over the place, which is absolutely fantastic. I kind of need you to just get on the road and drive. I don't need you to just sway all over the place. Okay, but low key, very nice entry onto the interstate. And pretty much we're going to go straight almost the rest of the way there. And this is where the Arbiter GT shines, just because it's a pretty decent top speed. I think it's technically one of the lower HSW vehicles of top speed, but top speed is the best thing with Arbiter GT. Handling sucks. Absolutely garbage. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm trying to like, you know, weave through traffic right here. It is not fun. Honestly, Rockstar, I might need to go back and like fix the handling on this thing, especially since it's an HSW vehicle. Okay, car, you got to move. You got to move. You got to move. I need a handwritten apology from you. You got to move. Like, dude, I'm trying to line this Arbiter GT to like go straight. It just wants to keep going left and right, left and right. Stop, stop, stop. You're being annoying. You're being annoying. You are so close to completing this first attempt. I'll mark you have not ever completed Arbiter GT. You are so close. Oh my God, you're actually going to complete it first attempt, even though that was not pretty at all. Wow. Well, I'm very shocked by that. But after doing all four of those time trials, along with the two random events that were on our map, we made $507,000. So now we're currently sitting at $1,024,000. But now it's time for us to do the boosted money job for this week for only one hour. So let's jump into that. All right, so I've made it over to the boosted money job for this week, and it's going to be collection time. This, along with the Savage Yard safes, was the only things that were boosted money for this week. So yeah, pretty uneventful week. I don't even know what collection time is. I have never done this before. It's double money, and that's all I pretty much know about this. So I don't know. We'll see how this goes. All right, I was actually able to find a session. There was a leader that just kept sitting in here and slowly waited for people to keep joining and joining. So we are in a lobby with 12 out of 16 people, which is absolutely nuts for Tuesday for adversary mode that not too many people are excited about. All right, here we go. The clock is going to start right about now. All right, clock is running. All right, here we go. Collection time number six. I have no idea what I'm doing. I read the description. I didn't really understand it. Take out enemies and steal their points. So is this just like PVP? Sweet, I got a kill. All right, uh, let me go collect a bag. Oh, uh, there's another bag over here. We're trying to collect these bags. And as you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, we're holding five bags. The purple team is holding four bags. Our goal is to hold 12 out of 12 bags for at least 30 seconds or have the most amount of bags at the end of the round. I think that's pretty much how it's gonna work. Okay, we're doing a great job, our team, right now. We are absolutely pushing forward. Okay, I haven't really done too much, though. Oh my God, we almost have 12 out of 12 bags. Okay, someone got the last bag. Okay, yeah, we just need to hold all 12 out of 12 bags for 30 seconds and we win this round. So yeah, essentially all we have to do is just chill. Three, two, one, zero, bam. Well, that was an easy round. There we go, round one. -er. I didn't do a whole lot, but we won. And we made $8,000 off of that. Not bad. All right, here we go. Round number two of collection time, number six. First round was pretty much a cakewalk. Can this round be easy too? That'd be great. Okay, I just picked up a sniper. I think this could be nice for us. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, okay, I'm being bad. Hold on. I need to hit my headshots. <laughs> <laughs> and someone just cleaned up the kills on that guy. It's so fun. Dude, I am not doing anything. Dude, these guys just absolutely know what they're doing. There we go. I got a snipe. Oh, we have 11 out of 11 already. Yeah, literally, I can just chill out here and we can win. I mean, he has to push me. Ready, set. Huh? Just ate that in the face. Okay, someone just stole my kill. I kind of played him. Yeah, that's another round winner. Yeah, our team is dominating. It's first to four that wins. Yeah, I'm not even playing that well. I only have two total kills. Kind of embarrassing, Loki. All right, here we go. Round number three of collection time number six. I am just straight up chilling. Yeah, more and more of the other team is just progressively leaving. There we go. I hit a headshot finally. Okay, we have all 10 bags once again. We just have to hold it. Ah, we're good. We're good. We're good. I am not good at this. I have three total kills. There's people on my team that are getting like three kills a round. So yeah, I am definitely being carried right now. All right, here we go. Round number four. I mean, if we win this round, we're going to win this match of collection time. Oh, shoot. There's a guy pushing me. Oh, this is awkward. No, roly poly. Roly, roll. 
fantastic. Dude, I was just chilling, just sniping people, and then I died. Yeah, I'm pushing that guy that killed me. I don't care. Let's go, cowboy. Let's go. Oh, jeez. You're actually... Okay, we got him. I'm taking the bag, though. Okay, there we go. It's nine out of nine bags. All right, and there we go. We won again, which means we're match winner. We got $54,000, which is pretty nice. Um, It only took us 12 minutes, so that's pretty nice, but it took me a while to try to find this group of people, which kind of sucks. Wow, another one kill performance. Jeez. All right, they finally started up another collection time, the group that I was in. It's not going to be 12 people this time. It's going to be nine. Uh, we're on a team with four people, and the other team has five. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Okay, there's a kill. Nice, nice, good kills. Okay, I didn't hit any of the headshots there, which is awesome. Okay, yeah, our team is sitting at zero. The purple team has seven. No, now down to three. Jeez, what is going on? Okay, we are in a very awkward spot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. This is a little bit more fun now. All right, all right. Yeah, we lost. Great, 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 great. All right, anyways, round number two. Um, Let's hope things turn for the better. I don't even know what I'm doing right now, to be honest. Okay, there we go. I got a kill. I got a kill. Hey. Hey. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, okay. Hey, I got a kill, and I got a package or bag, whatever it is. Dude, I'm getting... Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting double teamed. I need one of my other worthless teammates to kind of, you know, do something. Yeah, this is not great. Oh, okay. One guy with three bags just dropped off his bag. That is awesome. So I am going to collect. Okay, this guy's charging me. Nice. That guy was holding five bags. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, I'm going to collect all these bags, and then we're going to hide real quick. Okay, I just collected like eight bags at once. And now we're holding zero. And none of my team can even help me out. That is fantastic. So the purple team is probably going to collect every single bag. All right, they have a lot of bags. Once again, oh, it's one guy that has nine bags. We need to rush that guy somehow. I need her. I can't worry about everyone else when a guy has literally every single bag. Yeah, we're going to lose. So much bag talk. Oh, we lost him. Why did you only put it on two rounds, guy? Dude, one guy had 10 kills that round. My goodness. All right, here we go. We're doing another match of collection time. We're doing collection time three once again. This one's going to be different because we have four different teams instead of just the two big teams. We have four teams, roughly, of two people. And already my teammate has a kill, which I appreciate. Uh, there's a guy right there. Can you please die? How are you not dead? There we go. He's dead. All right, cool. Oh, jeez. I did not know they were right there. And... Dude, you are so worthless, green guy. You are so worthless. My goodness. The pink team, they have the people that got like 10 kills during that match last time around. Good. Oh, 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 oh. Give me all. 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 Do we have all of them? Oh, we do. We do. We do. We have all of them. We have all of them. Okay, let's just hide. We just need to hide. I would be very surprised if we win this. Okay, so far, not bad. Okay. No, teammate, can you help me? He's literally behind me just going... Blah, 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 blah. Literally, now that this moron of a green guy has all the points. No, pink, you are not... No, we have to get this guy. Thank you. Yes, now you can come after me. Okay, no, he died in the process of coming after me. Now, everyone's just trying to fight each other. I'm really starting to realize that. I'm trying to take this a little bit more strategically. Okay, there's all seven bags literally right there. That's our goal, trying to get those bags. So I am protecting it with my life. I'm about to die. Yeah, I just... <sighs> I did not know people have grenades during this. It's a little frustrating. Yeah, now pink has all seven. No. Thank you. No, no. Oh, no, never mind. That was his teammate. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. That, that's a good teammate. Thank you. Okay. I had such a clear shot to get that kill. <laughs> There's a bag right here. Okay. I have a singular bag. I have another singular bag. I have two bags. The pink team has five. I'm just trying to survive right now with bags in my hand. Problem is, there's just so much chaos that I can't really just survive. No. No. That is not the gun I wanted. That just sucked. Okay, so it looks like they finally got the kill on the guy that was holding the bags for so long. All right, I'm currently holding two, but no. <laughs> Why? It is so annoying to... <sighs> There's not a good spot you can have good coverage in this game mode. Okay, orange has all the bags. I gotta be clutch. No, they're lagging. It's... <sighs> That is so frustrating. I was right next to him with a shotgun and we lagged. Nah, that is so stupid. I am so pissed. Dude, that is fun though. That is so fun. All right, round number two of collection time three. I think I had like 25 kills last round and I died 26. Oh yeah, another guy joined. So the green team has two people now. Please do not take the special carbine. No, I need a special carbine. My teammate took the special carbine from me. Come on, man. Oh, geez. Pink team has all the... No, no, no. Don't be stupid. Do not kill me. We're going after pink. Pink is holding everything right now. Don't be stupid. 
Yeah, I think Pink's literally gonna win this round. Unless of a miracle can happen. Yeah, Pink team won. It's just so stupid because everyone's focused on each other and not with the team with the most amount of bags. But whatever, you know, I make too much sense. All right, here we go. Round number three of collection time. I need to get a special carbine first and foremost. I will die just trying to get a special carbine because the normal assault rifle, I hate. Okay, cool. I have a special carbine. Okay, I'm set. I'm ready to play. That is not what I wanted to do. Yeah, I... That's exactly what I want to do. Just jump like a giraffe. Like a giraffe. That is the dumbest thing I've ever said. I apologize. Jump like a giraffe. <laughs> I don't know. There's just a lot of chaos going on right now. I'll, I'll be honest. So like, it's kind of tough to commentate all this. Okay. No one's looking at the bags right now. I might as well just collect it just for fun. Okay. I have all the bags. I'm getting lit up though. I need to survive. Just chill out. Okay. I literally have all the bags. <laughs> okay. We just need to hold it for 20 seconds. I'm going to try to get as far away as possible, which I think is this spot right here. Oh my God. We might win a round. I think this has been my best round, but as been like a great round. I mean, just someone died and no one was next to the bag. I was like, all right, I'll take all the bags. <laughs> No way we won like that. See, this is what I'm talking about. Everyone's just so focused on fighting each other, not like focused on, you know, me having all the bags. See, I only had two kills and I died once, but I was at the right place at the right time. Dude, one guy on green had 16 kills and only died three times, <laughs> but he lost. Yeah, I think this is going to have to be the final match. Um, We'll just play this out. I'm going to stop the timer right here. We'll just play this out. So whenever the match ends, we'll just end playing this. All right, here we go. Round number four of collection time. For this game mode, you definitely have to be very sweaty you have to focus all right i need to get a special carbine a special carbine is my you need to stop being annoying okay i got a kill i don't care about kills right i just need to get a special carbine there's an orange guy being annoying screw it i just need to get a special carbine okay cool i'm ready to play let's go ah whatever i'm just happy i got a special carbine that's all i need okay green has all of them which is so frustrating hold on Let's save the day Someone on pink just ran right past a moron. You, that guy, this guy. No, of course we had to reload. I hate reloading. I'm in a bad spot. I'm in such a bad spot. Okay, no, 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 no. There's something wrong. There's something wrong. There's no way. Okay, no, no, no. We need to get green. Hold on. Don't worry about me. We're trying to get green. Moron, we're trying to get green. You're such a moron. Why are you going after me when green is about to win? Wow, you need to write an apology to me. You need to write an apology to yourself. You need to write an apology to everyone you associate yourself with. That is so stupid. Why are you going after me? All right, so every color has won one round, and I think match winner is first to two, so this could be match right here. All right, first things first. I need to run straight for a special Corbine. Oh, yeah, wait, wait a second. Why are you going after me when pink has seven out of eight? I just realized that, too. Don't go after us. Go after pink, idiot. You might be good, but you're not that's smart. Yeah, he literally has me and my teammate like boxed right here, which is so dumb because Pink is just thriving right now. Yes! I hate you so much. Okay, we need to get the guy that's seven out of eight since no one else wants to. You know, I'll step up. I've been boxed by some green guy for the longest time. No, that is a shotgun. Well, that's not how we do it. <laughs> I thought I had my rifle in my hand, but I didn't. Yeah, pink has everything. Okay, yeah, we need to go after pink, guys. Pink. Go after pink, not me. Go after pink. We have 10 seconds. I need to get this kill. That's huge. I just saved the game for everyone. You're so welcome, everyone. No, and then there's gonna be a green guy who's gonna charge right behind me. Well, what am I supposed to do? I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. It's either that or the green guy just pushes me from behind. It's pink. Yeah, pink has it all again. And it's one guy this time. No, green. Don't be stupid, green. Green, don't be. You're stupid. There's no way around it. I don't care if you're the best player in GTA Online, which that's a weird statement in general, just how broad this game is. But still, you are getting so many kills. But the problem is you just lost. You know why? Because you're stupid. You're so good. You're using your talents the wrong way or you're cheating, which I don't think you are. Yeah. Holy crap. How many? rounds is this is this gonna be the first of four i might just keep playing this out then um i guess round number six um yeah the reason that green guy was a little stupid last round is because um the other team had all the bags and all they had to do no let me i need i need to get special carbine <laughs> wait where's the special carbine i just okay thank you i got a special carbine Okay, I don't care. Yeah, that guy last time, in my opinion, he was stupid because he was literally trying to kill everyone but the person that was holding all the bags, which is so stupid. Do I have all the bags? Where's the last? There's the last bag. Okay. I have all the bags. I don't know. I don't think. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to survive that. <sighs> 
No, 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 no. That guy's throwing. That guy's throwing. Yeah, th that guy's cheating. He's standing right next to Pink. Wow. Yeah, that Ray Me Die ZX. He was standing right next to Pink, and yet he's shooting me. No, you're a scumbag. No, you need to write an apology to yourself. Well, round number seven. It looks like it's going to be the first of four, because I think the Pink team, one of them is at three wins, I think. I think my teammate is about to leave, which I don't blame him. Yeah, my teammate left. Okay, it is just me. Yeah, they're so cool helping out your Pink buddies. Dork. Yeah, one time he had all the bags, and he killed himself. No, do not. No, no. He's going to kill me. I don't even want to kill you. Yeah, it's because pink has... No, don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Do not be stupid. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. You're being stupid. Yeah, no. Go after pink. I just wanted to watch and see what he'd do. I knew what he was about to do. Yeah, match loser. I made $58,000 from that, which is not as much as what the 12 minutes we started out with. You have two teams combining. It's not cool. I don't know how else I'm supposed to say this. It's quite embarrassing. All right, so anyways, we made $160,000 out of just over an hour of doing that i mean we got lucky to be in lobbies with a ton of people but didn't win a lot all right so after today we're now sitting at one million one hundred and fifty two thousand dollars um not our most profitable episode but i mean that's just how the wheel goes and we're currently sitting like half a million short of being able to purchase the arcade so hopefully next episode we'll be able to purchase the arcade make sure you check out this five months ago i started as a level one on a new account in gta online and the only way i've made money on this account is by spinning a wheel determining what I should do to make money. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what I will do in this video. So welcome to the 75th episode of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so currently right now, I am on the wheel of quick cash. But before I spin the wheel of quick cash, I just want to remind you that we are trying to buy the arcade next. We're going to buy the Wonderama arcade located in Grapeseed. And that's going to cost us $1,565,000. And currently right now, I'm sitting on $1,146,000. So we need to make roughly like $500,000 before we can actually purchase that arcade. But let's spin the wheel and let's see how we're going to start out this episode in order to make money. And it looks like we are going to have to do another payphone hit. All right, so currently right now, I'm on the wheel of making money. So what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to go out and sell off everything from inside of our nightclub all right so we gotta sell off our nightclub today but what else in this episode am i gonna have to do in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to do the contract so we have to go to our agency and we have to do the contract for dr dre and this is such a good wheel spin that we have to forfeit our previous wheel spin which was selling off our nightclub so we are only doing the contract today we're not selling off our nightclub so yeah we have to go to to our agency and we have to go recover dr dre's music and take out the guy who started all this mess but first i have to go call up franklin and start up a payphone hit all right so we need to do a payphone hit, and right behind me is a payphone so we're gonna go over here we're gonna answer this payphone uh can we hang up immediately yes we can we have to assassinate a single target uh i'm feeling like this is another construction site one which for some reason i've been getting a lot of okay never mind i lied uh it's not the construction site one we have to pick up the target in a taxi and drive them to a car crusher at the scrapyard okay i think i've gotten this maybe like only once like in my gta online career i don't remember doing this one too much at all so this would be pretty interesting now for this specific one you can call in a taxi and then you can just rob the taxi and then just use that taxi but instead i'm gonna go to the taxi depot wherever it is oh it's over here okay i'm gonna go straight to the taxi depot since it's not too far away i'm gonna pick up a taxi myself and then we're gonna go and pick up the target all right so i've made it over to the target's location which is right here he looks a little wobbly i wonder why right, so now we need to go to the scrap yard which is not too far away so we're at the scrap yard we need to go all the way to the back like i know he's not paying attention but like this should be a dead giveaway anyways yeah we're just gonna park right here i guess we don't get an animation we just get to look at that building but there we go payphone hit has been complete we got the assassination bonus for a total of forty-five thousand dollars. all right so now it's time for us to start up the contract for dr dre so let's head over to the agency and let's get that started up all right so we've made it over to our agency so we need to go over to this computer right here and we're going to scroll down to vip contract and here we go this is where we can start up the contract for dr dre now we've already done this once before so we don't have to meet franklin at the golf club again and also we do not have to infiltrate
infiltrate the FIB to try to retrieve any data that could lead to Dr. Dre's phone. So all we have to do during this is going to be the three leaks and then the two finale missions. Uh, I'm going to start out by doing the nightlife leak. And how each leak works is you have to do like two setups. And then there's like a little finale at the end where we actually retrieve the copy of Dr. Dre's music. So yeah, for these three leaks, I'm going to get the two setups out the way off the camera. And then I'll see you when we're ready to do the leak finale. All right, here we go. We are starting up the nightlife leak right here. We have completed all the setups for the nightlife leak. And I forgot to call in one of my personal vehicles because I was using my oppressor during the setup. So I am using the vehicle they provide. All right, so right now we have to go to the Diamond Casino. And apparently there's a guy that's hosting a penthouse party that's displaying Dr. Dre's music. And you know, we don't like that, especially when Dr. Dre pays us to not like that. So we're going to go and stop that party. Now, I was thinking about it during the setups. I'm going to display what not to do during these leaks. Well, maybe not this leak because there's not really like a bad way to do it. This one's pretty straightforward. But the last two leaks, there's some ways that'll make those leaks even harder to do. I'll show you exactly like what'll happen if you don't do things the right way. But for this specific leak, there's really no wrong way to do it. It's just the right way or you fail. All right, so we've made it to the penthouse and we need to try to find the promoter, but the promoter is going to be over here. Yeah, the promoter is going to be right here at the DJ. Uh, so yeah, we need to grab the music and, you know, politely give it back to Dr. Dre. And okay, well, that wasn't very nice guy. Just hitting me upside the head with a glass bottle. He's running away like a little coward. And apparently he has private military. So yeah, we have to take out all of his men right here. It's not the hardest thing in the world, but still you kind of have to pay some attention to this. So yeah, the promoter just exited the penthouse. So we have to also exit the penthouse. All right, so we're running down the hallways. Okay, I'm getting lit up by someone. All right, come on, poke your head. Thank you. So the promoter went inside of this elevator. So we are going to do the same. So we're going to call the elevator and chase him down. All right, so we made it down to the music locker and we have to take out a few people. And it's going to be a little bit annoying to take out some of these guys. There's a guy right here that I killed, but then there's like another guy, not this guy I'm about to kill. He's just sitting right there. But there's another, okay, not that guy. There's another guy somewhere in here that's just sitting with a shotgun that's not really far away from us. So we need to take out that guy first. Uh, yeah, he's right here. Yeah, right there. That guy. That guy you need to take out. It's a little hard to, like, see in here, too. Just because of all these lights and everything. All right, so there's one more guy we have to take out. Of course, we just reload right in front of him, but it's okay. Guy can't shoot a gun to save his life. So I need to take the backpack. So there we go. And we don't have to take out the promoter, but I mean, like, the promoter, he was pretty mean to Dr. Dre, you know, playing his music. So here, hold this, this, hold that also. Uh, can you please hold that? And then hold that for me, please, and thank you. We're going to step back for a second, and then we're about to watch the fireworks go off oh my god the promoter landed up here he landed on top of like the chair jeez oh my god it's okay here i'll cool you off with a snowball launcher there you go. All right, so now we just have to leave the music locker. All right, so now all we have to do is just deliver the backpack to the agency. And then once we do that, this leak will be fully complete. All right, so we made it back to our agency. And there we go, mission passed. The nightlife leak has been completed. And we made $11,000 from that. All right, so we completed the nightlife leak. And now we're going to start up the high society leak. Uh, same ordeal. We have to do two setups and a finale. So I'll see you when we have all the setups ready to go. And we're ready to go after Dr. Dre's music. All right, here we go. We're we're starting up the high society leak and these last two leaks are the leaks that i was talking about on how there is a wrong way to do these so with these last two leaks i'll display the wrong way to do each of these and i'll also show you how to avoid doing it the wrong way but first things first we have to go to the billionaire's mansion so yeah there's like a house party at a billionaire's mansion right now and that's where dr dre's music is being played so we have to go and recover the music back all right so we entered the security code so now we are inside of the mansion and we have to find the source of Dr. Dre's music. And we have to go park this car, but there's a car bomb that's been implanted in here. So I would like to park this car kind of right in the middle of all the chaos. And I think this is a good spot right here. And then we run over here to the DJ set. The guards are still not on to us right now, but everyone else is running away. So let me run away from everyone for a second. And then, yeah, let's start shooting people. We have to intimidate the guy playing the music as much as possible. So I'm gonna go to my contacts. I'm gonna scroll down to detonate bomb. And we're gonna detonate bomb. And then, yeah, the car that we just drove into here just exploded okay now the helicopter just got here so okay being a little annoying helicopter 
All right, there we go. Helicopter's been taken out. Eat some snacks. We're all good. So yeah, as you can see, the intimidation bar is slowly rising. So yeah, we have to just fill that bar up entirely. That's our goal right now. All right, and there we go. The billionaire is trying to make a getaway. So yeah, there's going to be a helicopter that gets here and they're going to fly out. All right, so right now we are supposed to destroy the billionaire's helicopter. All right, and first things first, I want to drive my Cavalcade XL, the latest vehicle I just bought. So I'm going to drive this. Now, I would recommend you not even call in your personal vehicle. Unless if it's a visual Lanty or something like that, then it'd be definitely worth it to call on your vehicle. Yeah, you don't start out with your personal vehicle during this mission. All right, but anyways, though, the best way to like destroy the billionaire's helicopter is to get somewhere right in here. And okay, well, these guys are being a little annoying, so let me take them out. All right, so you get like right in here, pull out your sniper, and this usually is a good spot, but I think I'm a little late because I called in my cavalcade XL. So yeah, we'll get right here. And I don't have like all the best weapons in the game since this is loser luxury, but the way I usually like to take out this helicopter is just snipe away at it. It usually takes like eight shots shot something like that but we're not taking the helicopter out today we're not going to take out the helicopter because i'm showing you the wrong way to do it if you want this to be a lot easier you want to take out the helicopter i think i screwed up destroying the billionaire's helicopter i think like once i think i've only done it once and it is incredibly annoying but we're going to jump down here I have to return to the mission bounds? They really want me to take out the helicopter. I mean, I am so far ahead because I already know where I'm about to go next. So yeah, I guess I'm just going to wait for this helicopter to get here. Oh my, dude, it is going so slow. How does someone fly a helicopter this slow? I mean, like literally, look how slow it's going. <laughs> Jeez, man. What if I just shoot you just to like hurry you up? That doesn't do anything. All right, so yeah, now instead of destroying the helicopter, just follow the billionaire's helicopter. So yeah, now this helicopter is going to go to a yacht. And in order for us to get on the boat, we need to use use one of these jet skis and we need to drive all the way there sometimes there's a sparrow that spawns in or if it spawns in all the time it's at very different spots i don't know i don't do this too often i don't do this often at all anyways made it over to the yacht anyways we need to get up on the yacht and now we have to take out a bunch of people because there's a ton of people in the way of where the billionaire is okay where oh where are you billionaire oh is this the billionaire oh i would like to take you out another way hold on <laughs> Well, that's a fun way to take them out. All right, and there we go. We collected the phone, and now all we have to do is just deliver the phone to the agency, and we should be good to go. Yeah, so this is definitely not the way to do this. But if you do get here, I think we can take off with this helicopter. All right, so yeah, if you, for some reason, get to this point, you can just get in this helicopter and fly all the way back to the agency. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Why is this on? It literally just went up in flames, and it didn't even look like it was smoky. Well, that is so annoying. No, no, no. I don't know why that happened. It literally just went up in flames for no reason. Whatever, man. Luckily, I put bulletproof tires on my Cavalcade XL, so we should be good to go. All right, and there we go. We've made it back to the agency. And there we go. Mission passed. That's the worst way to do that mission. But now we have one more leak we have to go out and find. All right, so it's time for us to start up the final leak right here, which is going to be the South Central leak. So let's start this up. Once again, we have to do two setups and a finale for this leak. So let me set this up, and I'll see you when we're ready to do the finale for this. All right, here we go. We are about to start up the South Central leak. This is the final leak that we have to complete. And this one, we're teaming up with the families and the Balas to try to go find where this last leak is. All right, so we have to meet Vernon and some guy named P here at the Davis Mega Mall. And we have to go follow these guys. I mean, I can follow, but I could also just try to wreck these guys. <laughs> Dude, I have P boxed out like it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, anyways. In that low rider right there. That's where the music is. We have to go steal that car. Oh my God, that was so funny. And yeah, we just spawn here like it's nothing. Yeah, Vernon was yelling. I was like, hey, where are you at? And I'm like, dude, just having some fun. Right, but anyways, right now we have to take out a bunch of Vagas members. So yeah, I usually like to get behind this van right here. This is a good spot to take out the rest of these guys that spawn in. This is probably the easiest leak, but there is a wrong way to do this leak also. So we're going to be displaying the wrong way to do this leak. It's not going to be as bad as the high society leak, but still, why do it wrong when you can do it right? All right, we took out enough people, and this guy's going to get into the low rider. This is a Vapid Chino, like the one that we have. I should have brought my Vapid Chino for this mission, but I didn't. All right, so now we're supposed to steal the low rider and recover it to Dr. Dre, and there's multiple ways you can do it. Uh, the best way to do it is to get right behind the low rider, like so, and then just kind of shoot, and you know, you would hit him. Like, let's just say this motorcycle was the low rider, and then boom, yeah, you just take out that guy, and you'll jump like a kangaroo 
through and, you know, ta-da. But we're not going to do that. We're going to do it the wrong way. Let's just say you screw that up, which I used to screw it up a lot, actually. Yeah, let's just say you screw up and, oh my god, poor guy. He just got run over. So yeah, the low rider, if you don't shoot him out while he's driving, he'll go here and then, yeah, he's going to go to his hideout. So there's a ton of people that we have to take out in here. Kind of similar to the yacht that we did for the last league, except this one's not as bad. We don't have to get in a helicopter for this one. So yeah, you just had to take out a bunch of people, like so. Okay, that was actually really easy taking out everyone. All right, so now we're in the... Oh, I thought this was a Vapid Chino. This is a Buccaneer custom. Oops. <laughs> Dude, it's like tomato, tomato, whatever. So all we have to do is just deliver the low rider back to the agency and we should be good to go. All right, and there we go. We've made it back to the agency. And there we go, mission pass. That is all three leaks that we have to do. So now it's time for the two finale missions. All right, here we go. It's time for us to start up the mission studio time. And for this mission, we have to get into Dr. Dre's vehicle, which apparently he just left it at our agency like an idiot. I don't know why. Uh, but anyways, we have to take his vehicle back to Record A Studios. But as we drive to Record A Studios, Franklin's going to get on the phone. And he's going to be like, oh, no, there's some enemies that are attacking Record A Studios right now. And this is where we get our first interaction with pretty much the bad guy during these missions. And the real bad guy is Johnny Guns. And these are all of his men right here. No, no, no. Okay, yeah, I wasn't really paying too much attention. That was just me being stupid. Yeah, there's a ton of people you have to take out during this mission. I say around 50. You have to take out at least like 50 people. Where's this guy? Okay, there we go. Just smacked him in the face. Didn't even see him. All right, there we go. Everyone, oh, never mind. Another guy spawned in. Come on. There you go. All right, now everyone's been taken out out here. So now we have to go inside of Record A Studios where we have to take out even more people. So yeah, for this part of the mission, pull out a shotgun. I recommend the assault shotgun. And we have to take out even more of Johnny Guns' people. And this part is a little bit annoying because there could be people that spawn in behind you, which is probably one of the most annoying feelings in the game. You clear out a section and then more people just attack from behind like this. I killed one guy by the drum set and then another guy just appeared out of this room that you can't even normally... Oh, now you can. I was about to say you can't go into it and then the game allowed me to go into it. So frustrating, okay? And then, yeah, we cleared out everything, but there's more people that are coming from behind. So we have to make our way back and take out these last few people. All right, and there we go. We took out everyone there. So now we need to head over to the control room, and then we have to sit through a long, long cutscene. All right, and there we go, yeah. Dr. Dre's like, oh, thank you for saving me. And then after that, he's pretty much just saying, you should subscribe to Dr. Crush if you're enjoying the content that you're watching right now. And while you're at it, you can leave a like down below. He also wanted to say that we're so close to 100,000 subscribers and you did see a stat that 80 percent of you are not subscribed to dr crush and dr dre is not having it so yeah dr dre is pretty much just saying you should subscribe to dr crush that pretty much sums up what he said but yeah this is like a five minute cutscene, something like that so i'm just gonna sit back and wait for this to end all right and there we go mission pass and it's time for us to get into the final mission for the contract all right here we go we are starting up the finale for the contract which is going to be don't f with dre so right now we have to go to johnny guns's last location. All right, so Johnny Guns' last location is somewhere in here. I'm going to park my car right here so it doesn't despawn, because if you drive it in here, it'll despawn. But yeah, here is Johnny Guns, and this is where the fun's going to begin. And Johnny Guns, he doesn't want to face this like a man. He wants to drive away like a coward. So we're going to have to chase him down. But first, we have to take out a bunch of his hired men. So yeah, Johnny Guns sends like, I don't know, like 30 people after us, like at this point. All right, I think all we have to do is take out one more vehicle, which is right here. So now we need to go to LSIA because I think Johnny Guns wants to try to get out of the country. He's trying to really run away from us, which, mm -mm, not going to happen. All right, and there we go. We've made it over to LSIA. So we need to enter this hangar, and this is where the fun's going to begin. So yeah, Johnny Guns has two men just posted up right here, but a paper plate would be worth more than what they did. So yeah, now there's a ton of people that we have to take out. So we just have to slowly make our way forward and try to find Johnny Guns. Killing these guys in here can be a little bit annoying because, like, some of these guys, one aren't even on the map. Like, this guy, there's a guy right over here here oh, okay never mind he's dead but some of these guys aren't even on the map oh yeah that guy yeah you that guy wasn't on the map so, yeah mini maps are lying to us really appreciate that okay and then we turn here and yeah there's a lot more guys over here right, is everyone taken out no there's a guy right there and it's that everyone taken out so now johnny guns is up here now there's a way i could take out johnny guns like from right here i think or what if i just throw a sticky bomb up there is that a good strategy Wait, excuse me, you really just eat a sticky bomb? Yeah, maybe sticky bomb strat doesn't work. Because I think that's literally exactly where he's at. Bro, 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 bro. Poke your head, poke your head. I know you can poke your head. Oh, I just hit him. <laughs> I did hit him. You could barely see his head right there. My goodness. Yeah, you're supposed to come up here. And you're supposed to like injure Johnny Guns, but ha 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 ha. Here, here. I need you to hold something here. Can you hold that for me? Hold this for me. Hold that for me. Hold that for me. Oh yeah, and hold that for me. And thank you. Now I'm gonna go down here. Face plant. Exactly how I drew it up. And then we're just gonna. 
Hmm, what else can I do? I mean, do you need to cool off a little bit? Here, here here's a snowball. Hmm. I'll just kick him. Yeah. Kick him while he's down. Oh, stab his knees. I like that. Yeah, stab his knees. Stab his knees again. Yeah. Good knee stab. Absolutely tore his ACL, literally. But I hit a home run here. Nice. Hmm, what else can we do? Oh, yeah, this is going to be foreshadowing right here. Uh, let's see. What else can I do? Yeah, uh, we need to fix the pipes with a pipe wrench. You know, let's have some tear gas on him, you know? Make sure he can't breathe. Dude, this guy must have the best lungs, like, ever. All right, anyways, yeah, let's pick up Johnny Guns. All right, now we get this final cutscene. All right, so now we have to just drive Dr. Dre all the way back to Pacific Bluffs Country Club. And this is all we have left to do with the contract. All right, and there we go. We've made it back to Pacific Bluffs Country Club. And now Dr. Dre is going to get into his helicopter. Yes, you're welcome. Yeah, I know, I know. I I just saved your career whatever it's fine all right and there we go mission passed and that's where we get our million dollars for doing the contract all right so for the contract we made a total of one million one hundred and five thousand dollars and the reason for that is because during those setups we got paid ten thousand dollars pretty much per setup and then every leak finale we got like an extra ten thousand dollars or roughly it all adds up to an extra hundred thousand dollars so in total we made one million one hundred thousand dollars so that puts us at two million two hundred hundred and seventy two thousand dollars which is way over the amount we need to actually purchase the arcade at grapeseed so let's go purchase that all right so here we go we are at the wonderama the grapeseed arcade um like the only thing i really want like extra would be personal quarters i mean we could also put a garage in here i mean geez okay that is not as expensive as i thought that would be but we're not gonna do that so in total this is gonna cost us one million seven hundred and fifteen thousand dollars so yeah let's go ahead and purchase this arcade arcade and there we go so that leaves us with five hundred and fifty seven thousand dollars left over for whatever we purchase next so yeah i think we have to go through a cutscene to like introduce the arcade so let me head over to my arcade and we'll go check that out all right so here we go this is the arcade that we have actually purchased which is all the way in grapeseed yeah this is not a great location not the worst location but comes in at the second worst location but anyways we need to go inside and i think we have to set it up a little bit all right so there we go we just sat through that cutscene. nothing too much was set there other than the fact that we need to actually like set this thing up so we need to head over to this small computer right here and then yeah arcade management app is locked you need to collect the equipment for the arcade so yeah let's get that started all right so we We've made it back to the arcade with the equipment. That took a while. We go all the way back to Los Santos. Well, that's what happens when you get an arcade in the middle of nowhere. I think we have one more cutscene to go through, so let's go do that. All right, but there we go. We just sat through that cutscene. Pretty much all that was said was we could do this heist many different ways, but we'll go over all the ways we can actually do this heist when we actually land on it for one of our wheel spins. And in next episode, we're going to spin the wheel of luxury to see what item we are going to have to purchase next. Make sure you check out back in August. I saw started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only items I've bought on this account have come through spinning a wheel, determining what I should buy next. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what item I'm gonna have to purchase. So welcome to the 76th episode of season number two of Lose the Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so currently right now, I'm on the wheel of luxury and I'm on the wheel of luxury because the last item we purchased came off the wheel of businesses, which was the arcade. And the last item I purchased off the Wheel of Luxury was the latest DLC vehicle, which was the Cavalcade XL. But what is going to be the next item I am going to have to purchase off the Wheel of Luxury? And it looks like, oh my god, it's finally time! Thank you! Yes! Woo! All right, so we landed on HSW vehicle. And if you're just tuning in for the first time, we already have an HSW vehicle, which this vehicle sucks. And a lot of people don't understand how bad my current HSW vehicle is. And the idea with this wheel spin was to get that vehicle and then take this wheel spin off the wheel. But that vehicle has been so bad, I put it back on the wheel. I put it back on the wheel, like, I don't know, like episode 30, I think? We're on 76 and we finally landed on it. Thank you. All right, so it says we have to spin a wheel of one to 19 to determine what HSW vehicle we can purchase, but there's been a new DLC since we've had this wheel spin up. I think there's a total of 20 HSW vehicles. All right, so I'm currently on a wheel of one to 20, and whatever number we land on is going to determine what HSW vehicle we are going to have to purchase. And what HSW vehicle we're going to have to purchase is going to be based upon this list right here on GTA Wiki. How this is going to work is the Karen S95 is going to be number one. The Fister Astron Custom is going to be number two. We're going to go top down if you're not getting the picture. The Coil Cyclone 
two is going to be number three and then blah 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 all the way down and then the Declassy Vigero ZX convertible will be 19 and then the Karen Viva Knight will be 20. All right, but let's spin the wheel and let's see what's going to be my new HSW vehicle. Let's throw the Arbiter GT in the trash can and we are going to have to get number 20, which this is going to be easy to count. So on this list, number 20 is going to be the bottom one right here, which is going to be the Karen Viva Knight. Oh yeah, I just realized too, before any of y'all say it, there's technically 21 HSW vehicles in the game, but one of them was vaulted back last summer and that is the Sterling GT. So the Sterling GT, you can't buy. So there's 20 HSW vehicles that you can buy. All right, so here's the Karen Viva Knight right here coming in at $1,605,000. But we have to turn this into an HSW variant vehicle, which the conversion for this specific vehicle is going to be $800,000. And then for the customization for this vehicle, I think it's going to cost right around $400,000 on top of that too. So in total, we're going to need $2,800,000. And currently right now, we're sitting on $572,000. So we roughly need to get right around $2 million before we can actually purchase the Karen Viva Knight, which will be my favorite vehicle once we get it. I'm already calling it. It's going to be my favorite vehicle. All right, so now I'm on the wheel of quick cash. So how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to do the Los Santos to Taurus board. So we have to go out and photograph a bunch of different animals. All right, so now I'm on the wheel of making money. So what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to sell off our maxed out methodology lab. All right, so we're going to have to sell off our maxed out methodology lab. But what else in this episode am I going to have to do in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to sell off sourced vehicles from our vehicle cargo warehouse. And we're going to have to spin a wheel of five to seven to determine how many vehicles we're going to have to sell off. So let's spin the wheel and let's see how many cars we're going to have to sell off from our vehicle cargo warehouse. And it looks like we are only going to do the minimum, which is going to be five. All right, so we're going to have to sell off our methodology lab. And then at some point, we're going to have to go out and take some photos of some different animals in GTA Online for the LS Taurus board. But first, I'm going to get started with us selling off five vehicles from our vehicle cargo warehouse. So let's jump into that. All right, so right now, I'm currently inside of my terabyte. And this is how we're going to start sourcing vehicles for our vehicle cargo warehouse. So we can go over to vehicle cargo right here. And then, yeah, pretty much from here, we can click to source a vehicle. So what vehicle are we getting? A mid-range vehicle. And just in case if you don't know, there's three different ranges of vehicle that we can steal. There's a standard range, which is the worst one. We have a mid range, which is the one that we're getting. And it's right in the middle. And then there's a top range vehicle. And that's going to pay out the most. We're looking to get top range, but I don't mind if we get a mid range vehicle. It's not the end of the world. I just do not want to get standard range. Where is this car? Is this car pulled off to the side of the road? Oh, I have the cops on me. Oh, pardon me. I just stopped nearby. I mean, like, you didn't know I was going to steal a car. All right, so we just called off the cops. Now we just need to deliver this back to the warehouse house, which is going to be like three miles from here. If you don't know, we want to try to wreck as little as possible because in the bottom right, as you can see, we have a repair cost right now. It's at a thousand dollars. A lot of that was from me just shooting out the cops and just ran into a street sign. That's awesome. And just ran into a car. Great. Oh my God. And then why? Oh my God gosh wasn't paying attention to traffic as i was saying that it was at a thousand but in a blink of an eye it is now two thousand one hundred dollars all right and there we go we made it to our vehicle warehouse all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually try to go to a public session and we're gonna go to a public session so we can get a little bit more money for the sell mission all right so i was able to join a public session with at least 25 players so we'll get a 50 percent bonus on whatever we do sell but here we go we're gonna sell off this mid-range vehicle and yeah there's gonna be a cooldown after we sell off this vehicle before we can sell off another vehicle. But yeah, let's click to export it. And there's three places that you can export this vehicle to, but you want to select specialist dealer right here because this is going to give the most profit because this one's going to give $50,000 of profit plus the 50% bonus on what we sell. So yeah, let's click to sell this off. And then yeah, we have to go and modify this vehicle just a little bit. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're just exporting this vehicle. We're in a public session, but we don't have to go too far. So there shouldn't be too many griefers coming after us. 
Oh, jeez, I just ran into a bike. We didn't lose any of our commission. Oh, yeah, same ordeal with the cell mission as to us sourcing the vehicle. If we do wreck with this vehicle, our commission is going to go down. So we want to make sure that we drive flawlessly so our commission can stay perfect. All right, and here we go. We've made it over to the buyer. Not a scratch on the car. We have a payment of 62500 but we got the 50% bonus. So that is $93,750, which is very nice. All right, but now we need to source and sell four more vehicles. So let me call up my terabyte and let's go source our next vehicle all right so once again we're at our terabyte so let's click to source another vehicle so what's this one gonna be okay, they're not telling me oh okay there we go a tyrus top range vehicle that is what we're looking for thank you game oh and a bonus it's not even that far away it's just at this mansion on top of this hill right here oh oh i get it i get it i get it it's this one right here where we can just go ahead steal the tyrus and then we have to trigger the boost so then we can just jump off of that ramp with the cops on us. All right, I just called off the cops. Um, and there's also enemies coming after us, but we have a repair cost of $5,000 and none of that was really my fault. Pretty much all the security guards that I just ignored to take out, they put in like $4,800 worth of damage right there. And then there's still a helicopter that's coming after me too, but I don't know, I think I'm outrunning that helicopter. So I don't think that's even being a big deal. Okay, this helicopter's caught up and this guy is putting in a decent amount of damage into me. Oh, okay, as I say that though, I'm close to my vehicle warehouse. And once we get here, they kind of pull back. But there we go, our repair cost roughly $75. $500, which is not great, but it's fine. All right, so you're thinking I could probably sell this off immediately, right? Well, the issue is, no, I cannot. I have like 15 minutes left. I think it's what, roughly a 20 minute cooldown between each cell mission, I think. Not too sure on that, but I just know I have 15 minutes left. And you're probably also thinking, oh, Dr. Crutch, you can just go ahead and source a ton of vehicles. Well, the cooldown is still gonna stand. So no, I'm not gonna do that. It makes no sense. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to take all the photographs of all the animals that we need to get for the LS tourist board which i think we have an email yes we have an email right here and there's this big wall of text blah 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 but you go down here and here's the animals that we need to take a photo of today we need to take a photo of a boar a pug and a hen um the hen's gonna piss me off like last time i guarantee it uh all of these are a little bit annoying in my opinion i don't know it's not just a dog we have to get a pug i might as well do that one first all right and right now in game it's actually like pouring its ass off so i don't know if this even affects any of this i hope not but apparently this is a pug location. Hopefully the rain doesn't force them inside. That would really piss me off if that's the case. Yeah, I literally don't even see like anyone. I don't even see like NPC humans. There's like no one here. Dude, I might blame this one on rain. All right, I'm at the Rockford Hills area and there's absolutely like no one walking. As I say, there's one person walking. I need a pug. You know, honestly, I might have to can this one for right now. I mean, just the freaking rain is screwing everything up, which is stupid. This is a video game. Rain is being a fan. Factor. All right, so I'm currently pivoting off of trying to find a pug. So instead, I'm going to try to find a boar. And I have a few locations in mind for a boar. You know, I've done this a few times now, and I've never gotten a deer, which is a little bit annoying because I always see deer. Like, I'm not even trying to find deer, and I just stumble upon them. All right, boar, where are you? Bro, do not tell me you're hiding because of the rain, too. They really just want to piss me off today. Oh, oh, wow. There's nice birds flying in the air. Wow, wow, wow. What a nice, great cormorant right here. That's so cool. Yeah, this is a decent way to make money money but the problem is like a lot of these animals are just so annoying to find bro this is supposed to be another location of a boar but there's not dude there's no way there's no boars because the rain it's a wild animal dude there's no way there's no way i'm gonna go to trevor's house i'm gonna come back and there better be a boar right there else i'm gonna be pissed all right i just need a boar oh there's a boar there's a boar there's a boar there's a boar but it's on the run okay 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 maybe the trick is just to go to trevor's house say hi and then come back but there we go we found a boar uh we're kind of near location of where hens can spawn in. I don't know if this is going to be rain affected or not. Because last time we got hens, we couldn't find it in the nighttime, but we found it in the daytime. Someone said that they do only come out during the daytime since apparently that happens in real life. But can we find a hen? Will you come out in the rain? Which doesn't look like it. Okay, so I'm literally just going to go back and forth, which is going to be a little annoying. Oh, wait, never mind. No, nope, never mind. Never mind. I looked at the time. I think we can actually sell off another vehicle from our vehicle warehouse. So I'm going to do that. All right, so we can go ahead and export this vehicle right here, the tire. So let me customize this thing and then we'll send it off to a specialist dealer. All right, so here we go. All we have to do is just take this tires to the buyer, which he's like three miles away, the buyer. So not too bad. Wow, I did not expect that to actually like affect my commission. And I know it only knocked my commission down by $64, but there's just something about seeing like a perfect $100,000 or whatever the price is to sell the vehicle off. There's something nice about seeing it as a perfect number.
Frick, frick. Okay, that was a bad wreck. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. All right, and here we go. We've made it over to the buyer. So we made $147,000 off of that sell mission, but we have three more that we have to go out and get. So let me call in my terabyte. Let's go get our third one. All right, here we go. Once again, we're back at the terabyte. Let's go source another vehicle. Which one are we getting this time? Okay, Coquette Classic, a mid-range vehicle. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I do not want to see the word standard range at all. Oh yeah, by the way, there's actually a way you can like cheese the system so that you only get top range vehicles. And essentially what you do for that is you keep sourcing a bunch of like standard or mid range vehicles like in your vehicle warehouse. And then at a certain point, all you'll get is top range vehicles. We're not doing that in this series. I just want to make that clear because a lot of people suggest me to do that, but we're not doing that in this series. So we just go out and we just take a chance, see if we get a good top range vehicle, if we'll just get a mid range or get a standard range. All right, the cars in here just smacked a guy and shot her. But yeah, here's the Coquette Classic right here. So all we have to do is just drive three and a half miles back to our warehouse and we should be good to go. Oh, great. But there's people coming after me too. So they're going to rack up the repair costs, which is going to be a little bit annoying. Hopefully I can outrun them. That's a funny way to outrun them. Just run into the back of a car and then the enemy run into the back of me. That's a very funny way of outrunning them. Jeez. That's another funny way of outrunning. I'm running into a tree. Wow, yeah. My unorthodox ways are not really working. Well, let's just say I didn't drive very well. <laughs> the repair cost is 7000 Yeah, that was pretty much all my fault that time. Yeah, that was not good. So as we wait to export another vehicle, I'm actually going to go up to my methodology lab. We're going to sell off all of our methodology right now. So yeah, let's jump into that. All right, so I've made it over to my methodology lab. And as you can see at the bottom right, we have a value of $263,000 product that's absolutely maxed out. So we need to go over here and see sell it off. Now, obviously, I'm still in a session with at least 25 players, and I guess we haven't even sold this off before, so this is going to be a first time selling this thing off. But here we go. We're going to sell it to Los Santos for $395,000 plus a 50% bonus on whatever we do sell. Okay, it says enter a boat. We get the boat one, which depends on which boat one. Okay, okay, that one's not bad. I don't mind that one. It's kind of off the eastern coast of Los Santos, which are not a lot of people go on the east coast of Los Santos. Everyone, if they're going to go on the coast, they're going to be usually at the west coast with the Del Perro Pier and Vespucci Beach and all that area. So I think I'm happy with this. It's not a long cell mission either, but that's good too. Oh yeah, the reason that I'm doing this cell mission now versus trying to find a pug or a hen is because I actually think that the daytime slash nighttime affects whether these animals come out, which is very frustrating. I think hens come out during the daytime, but at the same time, they don't want to come out during the rain. And pugs, well, I'm going to assume they're going to come out in the daytime too, which just makes sense. So yeah, hopefully we'll do this cell mission. We'll go back over to our vehicle cargo warehouse, sell off another vehicle, source another the vehicle and then as we wait for that cooldown we'll go back and try to find there's two other animals all right so here we go we've made it over to our boats i like the location that we're at because if someone wants to grieve us they're gonna have to make a big effort just to come out here just to try to grief me so i think we should be good but we'll see so essentially with this cell mission we have to take a boat and we have to go to five different locations with the boat and we have three boats and each boat contains five different things of product so after one boat is fully sold off then we have to get out and get on our next boat essentially repeat that process over and over again all right, so here's the last location that we need to go to with this cell vehicle. Oh my God, we have to go in the cave. I always forget this cave actually exists, but there we go. Delivery has been complete. See, I just called in my oppressor, but it spawned in all the way over there, which is not good. Think, think, what can I do? Oh, it's gonna be annoying. Oh, this really sucks. I just called in a dinghy and it spawned in right there, which I mean, it's closer, but not close enough. Fine, fine, I'll just take a jet ski. And just in case for the people that want me to spawn in a sparrow, which will spawn in right next to you and go all the way back to the boat, I don't have a sparrow because this is loser to luxury. We have to spin the wheel to see if we can land on buying a sparrow, which we haven't. All right, we made it back to our cell vehicle. Once again, we have to get to the same spots over again, so pretty much nothing really to see as long as no griefer comes after me. All right, here we go. Once again, back in the cave. Very nice job. We have one more cell vehicle that we have to go to. So yeah, let me get inside this boat. Let me head all the way back there and do the same thing over again. All right, so I'm in my last cell vehicle. As you can see in the top left, I mean, we were at a pretty full lobby. There's now only nine people in this lobby so i think that's gonna affect our payout i think the bonus is determined by how many people are in the session once you sell off the final vehicle as opposed to you know how many people are in at the start of your cell mission so yeah i think we're gonna get screwed with that which sucks nice another person left right before i was about to make it here so this is gonna be great four hundred and ninety two thousand dollars oh let me do some quick math in my head i don't know i'm a little confused by that because that's like roughly a 25 percent bonus instead of a 50 
but there's only nine people in here. I don't know, whatever. Anyways, we made like roughly $500,000 off that sell mission. So yeah, let's head back over to our vehicle warehouse and sell off our next vehicle. All right, so I'm having a tough time trying to find like a pretty full session. So I'm only in a session with 20 players, but you know, it's close to the 25 I need to get for a 50% bonus, but whatever. But here we go. Let's sell off this vehicle right here, the Coquette Classic. So yeah, let me customize this thing and we'll get into it. All right, so here we go. We have to take this Coquette Classic two miles and three quarters. It's not awful. We'll see how it goes. Okay, car is swerving into my lane. Car. And that car barely tipped me. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, hold on. We have bigger fish to fry. We have bigger fish to fry. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Okay, yeah, yeah, there's an oppression nearby if I just didn't make that clear. So I did learn last time that they can't lock on to my car when we're doing a cell mission. But still, they can still blow it up if they, you know, are good. Or they can die if they run into one of my bullets. So here, I'm gonna bait them a little bit, right? Since I know they can't auto lock onto me, I'm gonna get him away from the building. That's my issue right now. I need him to get him open range. Okay, so now he's getting away. He's gonna hide behind here. I got mugged. Get up. No, no. Well, that worked. That worked. That worked. That worked. That worked. Here. Um, hold that for me. Thanks. Okay, run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Good. We blew up the vehicle. Go. Just go. Run. 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 I don't care that someone just mugged me. I assume it was that guy, which, I mean, ha 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 ha, you're so funny. I just need to sell this thing off. Please and thank you. All right, anyways, we have like a mile to go. My commission right now, I don't care about it. Let's just get there. Let's just get paid. Dang, I got mugged for like $4,500, though. <laughs> that sucks. I didn't want to mess around and try to, like, you know, take out the mugger, but I will mess around and complete this cell mission. Ah, oppressor griefers. Ah. No match for Dr. Clutch. No match at all. Absolute W. We made $88,000 off of that sell mission. We have two more vehicles that we still need to sell off. This might be a little risky, but, you know, getting into a session has been pretty hard today, so I'm probably going to stay in the session. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna drive up here. He's gonna drive up here to do what? Suck? <laughs> like what? They're like, actually, what is his goal of just driving up here? Just to be like, oh, I'm trash. <laughs> Oh, here he comes. Oh, he's in a door door. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's no incentive for you at this point. Here he comes. Yeah, he's probably just going to shoot from a mile away. Oh, no. He just turned around. Okay. He's requested a ballistic armor and minigun. Hmm. Doesn't that mean you're like slower though? Oh, wait, no. He's back in his door door. I don't know, man. This guy's something. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Poor four. Poor four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I don't have ammo. Shoot. No, give me ammo, dude. I need homing launcher ammo. Oh, you freaking annoying person. Dang it. Called it in right at the last second. Oh, well, he is a griefer. He's not a smart one, though. We have confirmed that. Confirmed moron. So yeah, we're just gonna get out of here. We'll take the high road for right now. See, this is what you have to do, ladies and gentlemen. You take the high road, put him in his place, not once, but twice, and then just take the high road. Right, anyways, we call him my terabyte. I'm gonna get another vehicle. Oh, poor guy. He's in his deluxo right now. Oh, there's a blue dot on the map. Oh, it's a security van. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. You know what? I'm actually gonna ignore that right now because I think that guy's gonna still try to come after me. Okay, okay. It's making sense why he's in a deluxo. He's in a deluxo because it's like one of the best counters for an impressor mark too. Which I'm not trying to go after him. I'm trying to, you know, do my wheel spins. So we're getting the Z type. Oh, it's a top range. Nice. Oh, he's after me. Yep. Okay. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. He doesn't even know what I'm doing. That's the funny thing. I think he's just trying to come after me. Oh, he's sending grenades at me. Can you actually make it that far? Dang it. He blew up my oppressor though. Well, I guess there's no need for me to be up here anymore. Dude, he's going to be just a little pissed at this point. Did he just fall off the building? Oh my God. That's hilarious. He fell off the building. I think he left his deluxo up there too. Oh my God. This guy. This guy, man. I'm gonna call in a vehicle. I'm gonna call in my buzzard. He's trying to come after me still, which, you know, I'm just trying to make money. You know, I'm trying to entertain the masses. He's just trying to entertain his ass. <laughs> See what I did there? So yeah, we're gonna get into our sparrow right here. Nope, this isn't a sparrow. Be smart. We're getting into our buzzard, and we're just gonna make it over to the location, and I'm just gonna jump out immediately. We're not trying to dack him. We're just trying to do our thing. So we've made it over to Vespucci Canals. All we had to do. He's already back in his deluxo. Oh, we have to tail the Karuma to the high out. I'm not going to be close to that. This issue. The Karuma was lost. I, I couldn't tail it. We never got to our vehicle, so we're not counting that as, you know, like a fail cell mission. So we're going to go back and try to source another vehicle. Oh, wow. Wow. You are so mature. Little explicit word right there. Wow. Mm, very mature guy. All right, here we go. We're going to try to do the same old thing. Oh, I can't do the same thing. I didn't know there was a cool there between us doing that. Okay. I wish we put missiles in here. If we put missiles in here, it would be so easy just to take them out right now. 
now. Yeah, there it is. Personal vehicle's been destroyed. I kind of expected that. I kind of wanted to put it back in storage, but the game didn't let me. He's just camping outside of my terabyte, which is hilarious. Let's try it again. I mean, we're just going to get into our oppressor and we're just going to get out of there. Let's find out what vehicle it is first. T20 top range. Cool. <laughs> He's just sending a ton of missiles at my terabyte right now. I can just hear all the explosives. Oh, man. What an interesting fella. Dude, I'm curious, like, what goes on in his head? He's like, hmm, let me go after this guy that's not really trying to engage me anymore. You know, I wasn't even trying to engage him in the beginning. I was just doing as the wheel told me to. And then he's like, oh, boo, boo. that's exactly what he did. Shoot, I have to get in a cargo bob? Hmm, I don't like that. I don't like how I have to get into a cargo bob. Where'd he go? Did he go off the radar or something? I'll see him on the map. Or did he leave? Wait, did that guy leave? <laughs> did he rage quit? His name is JP. Where's JP? Mr. John Patrick left from the looks of it. Wow, that's just too much skill. He couldn't handle all the skill that I just put out right there. I mean, I'm kind of saying that jokingly, but at the same time, that guy was not talented. So my little bit of skill probably just overwhelmed him. I think once we actually get this back to the vehicle warehouse, I want to message him. I want to see what's up. All right, so this source mission is very annoying. We have to go over here and you have to hook onto the T-20 with this cargo bob. And I think a helicopter comes after us too once we hook onto it. Okay, there we go. We hook onto it. So yeah, all we have to do now is just deliver the T-20 back to the warehouse. Oh yeah, yeah, here comes the helicopters coming after me. Luckily, it's not that moron coming after me though. All right, and here we go. We've made it back to the warehouse. I think it was only like a $3,000 repair cost, which isn't bad. All right, so the goal was after sourcing that vehicle to actually go out and try to find the hen and the pug. But since that guy had to be stupid, uh, he kind of wasted my time a little bit and now it's the night time once again. So we'll have to wait it once more just to try to find a hen and a pug. Let me see if I can find this guy somewhere. All right, here we go. Yeah, I found him. It was this guy right here. Yeah, that'll hurt his ego right there. 100% that'll hurt his ego. Why are we playing him like a fiddle? I might as well just play him like a fiddle even more as I wait for our cooldown to expire. Oh, wait, do I? Hold on. I might not have to. Oh, I don't have to. <laughs> what a day. Awesome. All right. Yeah, let's just sell this off real quick. All right, so our cell mission this time is only like two and a half miles. It's not bad at all. I mean, most of the locations aren't bad. I think there's like one from my vehicle warehouse is like four-ish miles away. Aside from that, they're roughly between two and three miles. And when you get to use one of the best cars in the game, the T20, it makes it a lot quicker. I remember like eight years ago when I was driving around my T20 thinking I was like the coolest thing in the world, you know, just doing the Pacific Standard heist over and over again. Ah, those were much simpler days. Also days where I didn't wreck like a moron. Wait a minute. Is there someone after me again? Oh, I just ran into a tree. I see something on the mini map. I got to keep an eye out. Um, I don't know if he's after me or not. He's a little far. So I'm going to just send it in a deluxo. I, apparently everyone wants to attack me in deluxos today. Hmm. I'm going to pay attention on the map. Oh yeah, he is after me. Okay. Yeah. Let's get in here. Let's get the little delivered thing right there. That's four out of five vehicles we need to sell off. Made $147,000 off of that. Where is this guy now? Um, he's driving back this way. Are you a good person or are you a bad person? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he's not like coming after me anymore. After what I experienced earlier, I don't know what to even think. Okay, he just flew away. Might have to keep an eye out on that guy for our final cell mission. Oh, that guy messaged us back. Oh, okay. Let's see what he has to say. You're the one running. You left. Hmm. How should I roast him? Because there's two avenues I can roast him here. I have the two nothing roast. I have him actually running away for good. Hmm. Oh, you know, I'll combine them both. Yeah, there you go. But you left after two nothing. Yeah. You know, I should probably title this video i made someone cry in gta online he has to be crying right now there's no way that he's just sitting there just calm he is probably so pissed off right now he's probably like crying like in the bathroom or something like that we have one more so much we have to do so yeah let's go ahead let's source another vehicle ah oh, we end off on a standard range vehicle but okay we only got one so what do we get we got two mid-range vehicles we had two top range vehicles and then we're gonna get a standard range not bad okay here's a car right here i just found the car the car is on the run. Um, can I be a good shot? No, I cannot. Yeah, I'm not using the best vehicle for this. I'm using the oppressor. Oh, okay, yeah, if I had like a compact EMP launcher, I could like disable the vehicle for a second. That would be like really smart to do, but I don't have that. So I'm going to post up like right here. Excuse me. I'm doing something, cops. Thank you. Here's the car. Here's the car. Well, it's over too. All right, here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. 
Oh, I just, did I take him out? Wow, that was kind of a lucky shot. That was from far away, too. All right, yeah, let's just get in the felter. Oh, good. Something we can look forward to. He messaged me again. Wow. It took him a while to respond because he's probably crying so hard right now. He's probably, like, choking on tears. He had to, like, gather himself for a second just to, like, write something out. I mean, it's just what I'm assuming, you know, with this individual. He's leading me to assume some things. It's his fault. But anyways, there we go. We've delivered the felter back to the warehouse. I think, once again, like, a $3,000 repair cost. Not bad. All right, let's see what he said because he kept running. Bro, bro doesn't know what I'm doing. Well, we're just going to end it right here. See you Thursday. All right. I'm going to be so cryptic right here. I'm saying see you Thursday. This is what this video is going to come out. It's going to come out on a Thursday. See you Thursday. A bunch of winky faces. He's probably so confused right now. Oh, but people will know. People will know what that means. All right. So we still need to go out and try to find a hen and a bug. So we need to go do that. We need to go do that now. And I'm not going to sell off that final vehicle until we find our hen and our pug. All right. So it's not raining anymore in Los Santos. It's a beautiful sunny day in Los Santos. You know, it's a perfect day to bring out your animals, right? So I better see a pug. I better see a pug somewhere. Yeah, there's a lot more people walking around. Okay, there's a dog. That's not a pug though. Bro, there's a ton of people. There's just no pugs. It's all one dog. Okay, there's no pugs. There's no pugs spawning in here. Ah, uh, dude. Hey, that guy just messaged me again. Hmm, let's take a look. No. Yes. That's just what's gonna happen. He has no idea, but oh, he will know. He will know. Maybe. Oh, oh, pug. Please, there's a cat, but there's no pugs. Mm -mm. That is so stupid. All right, on to our next location. I don't play with rabbits. <laughs> okay, I don't play with rabbits. Hmm, what's a good comeback? What's a good comeback for that? I don't play with rabbits. Hmm, I'll just say you'll see Thursday. <laughs> I'm being so specific with this Thursday, too. He's probably so confused with that. All right, anyways, let me go try to find this pug still. Great. There's a ton of explosions here. There's a pug. I found a pug. I found a pug, but there's a ton of explosions. The pug is just sitting here looking inside the shop. That's where I find a pug with a bunch of explosions nearby, but it's just sitting and looking into the store. God, this game is so confusing. You have all the other NPCs just running away, but the thing I'm looking for is just staying put. I appreciate that one, but interesting. Very interesting. All right, I made it back to the hen house. I should find one. Who is feeling photogenic? I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. The second time I've gotten hens and they're just allergic to the camera, I guess. All right. I need one. I need one. One hen. Oh my. This is really starting to get frustrating. It is a prime daytime. It's almost noon. It is prime daytime. They should be just prancing around, but I know. Yeah, this is really getting frustrating. This is getting so frustrating. I know there's another spot I don't want to go to, but there's like another spot somewhere in Palito Bay. Ah, I might as well just go over there because I think when we got this last time, it was at the Polito Bay location, which is stupid. All right, hens. Wait, I just heard something. No, don't get near the oppressor. Oh, is this what you want to take a photo by? Oh, no, you're running away. No, you're not running away from me. I think I was trying to make a run for it. Please do not turn the corner. Okay, nice photo right <laughs> It is right next to the oppressor. Still right by the oppressor. My goodness. Look at it. Wait, where did it go? I don't even know where you went. Wait, where did it go? Did it really just get juked out? Well, that hen's gone. It just despawned. Oh, no, it's running away. Now they're just running out in the street. <laughs> it's stuck on the curb. Oh, hen. Oh, hen. This is what you get. This is what you get for being so annoying. But there we go. So in total, we got paid $100,000 for that whole ordeal. Which, I mean, that is a lot of work for $100,000. At least what we did today. But we still have to still have one more vehicle. So, yeah, let's go back and do that. All right. So we're back in our vehicle warehouse. Oh, we have to sell off this felter right here. So yeah, let me customize this thing and we'll be ready to go. All right, and we have to go like two and a quarter miles to the buyer for this one. Not bad at all. Driving this cheap felter though, we're gonna get a commission of $3,700, but we'll get a 50% bonus, which what? That'll be like $50,000. Ugh, disgusting. Well, that was embarrassing. I thought I could thread the needle. Wait. Oh, never mind. I thought there was a pressure after me. Sorry, I'm a little paranoid. There's multiple oppressors on the map. Let me put my oppressors away because I think I got spooked out by my own oppressor. Yeah, that's really embarrassing. After that bad wreck too. Jeez. All right, and here we go. We've made it over to the buyer. This is one bad wreck. But whatever, it's fine. There we go. We made $55,000 off of that sell mission. So after today's episode, we're now sitting on $1,584,000. So we still need to roughly get like $1.2 more dollars before we can actually 
actually purchase that Karen Viva Knight, our newest HSW vehicle. Make sure you check out this. Six months ago, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only way I've made money on this account is by spinning a wheel, determining what I should do to make money. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what I will do in this video. So welcome to the 77th episode of season number two of Loser Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so currently right now, I am on the wheel of quick cash. But before I spin the wheel of quick cash, I just want to remind you that we are trying to buy the Karen Viva Knight next. Now, it starts out at $1,605,000, but we need to turn this into an HSW vehicle and then put some of the HSW mods onto this Karen Viva Knight. So in total, we're going to need $2,700,000. And currently right now, I'm sitting on $1,500,000. $538,000. So we need to make roughly $1.2 million in order for us to fully customize this Karen Viva Knight. But how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to go to my office and export mixed goods. All right. So currently right now, I am on the wheel of making money. So what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money? money and it looks like we are gonna have to go to our special cargo warehouse that we recently bought and we have to sell off all of the product inside of our cargo warehouse all right so we're gonna have to sell off our cargo warehouse today but what else in this episode am i gonna have to do in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to do two savage yard robberies wow i thought that was gonna go over one more tick all right so i'm on a wheel of one to three and i'm on a wheel of one to three because there's three total savage yard robberies that we could could do, but I'm only allowing myself to do two. And we're going to spin this wheel to see which one we're not going to do. And how this wheel is going to work is number one is going to pay out the most. The second one is going to be the one that pays out the second most. And number three is going to be the one that pays out the least. And whatever this wheel spin lands on, it's going to be the one that we're not doing. So let's spin the wheel and let's see which one is going to be left out. And okay, that is really fortunate. Thank you very much. We're doing the two that pay out the most. All right, so we're going to do two salvage yard robberies and then we're gonna go and sell off our cargo warehouse but first i need to head over to my office and export mixed goods all right so i'm standing at my office right now so we need to go up to our beautiful assistant right here and we are going to export mixed goods right here which i think this might be only like the second or third time we've ever done this because we kind of just unlocked it when we got our special cargo warehouse not too long ago but yeah we have to export mixed goods now this is very very easy so yeah let's exit my office and let's get going with this all right so we're collecting mixed goods and the mixed goods just spawn right outside of your special cargo warehouse which mine is in a very good location for this and you'll see why but we need to just get in this truck right here and then all we have to do is pretty much just drive like roughly a mile and we have to go to terminal which is not far away at all i'm so sorry to those ladies i just ran over but you can't get in the way of me making some money all right so we've made it over to terminal so pretty much you just want to drive over here if you've never seen this before you're probably probably thinking like, oh, what do you have to do once you get here? Well, I'll show you. I'll show you exactly what we have to do. So we're going to drive in the checkpoint right here. And then we're going to watch this cutscene. A nice cargo container. Yeah, it's a very beautiful cargo container. And then I lied. That's all you have to do. <laughs> this is exactly what the wheel of quick cash is all about. Go out, do something very quick. And boom, you get quick money. We made $50,000 off that. Very nice. But now let's head over to our salvage yard. And let's get started with our two salvage yard robberies. All right, so I've made it all the way over to my salvage yard. And we need to go to this computer computer right here to get started with our two savage yard robberies now these are the three vehicles that we can sell off today and hopefully us spinning the wheel earlier to determine which ones we're gonna have to sell actually is making some sense now so we landed on three which is this vehicle right here the Picasso Taurus so we're not selling off the Picasso Taurus but we're selling off this vehicle and this vehicle which I'm very happy about so yeah we're gonna get started with this Lampadati right here and oh yeah I completely forgot there is a setup cost but it's only twenty thousand dollars that is not too bad at all all right, so we're doing the gangbanger robbery for this one. Um, This one's not too bad at all, in my opinion. But yeah, we haven't done this one before on this account. So we have to do this scope out mission. If we've done it before, we didn't have to do a scope out mission. But fortunately, we have to do one here. Now, these scope out missions aren't too bad at all. It's going to be a little bit annoying for us just because we were forced to buy the salvage yard all the way at Sandy Shores. So yeah, our commute is going to be a little bit annoying. All right, so we've made it all the way over to our vantage point, which is right here. Now, we have to go scoop out the police station. Oh, uh, we need to take a bunch of photos. I just fell off my pressure. That's awesome. But yeah, we need to take a bunch of photos. All right, so we need to take a photo of that. Excuse me, Jamal. Why do you have to be? You are too far away to photograph the point of interest.
there's how can you not see that fine 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 i'll just get right next to it you know yeah 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 i know i'm on the police station i don't care i have the cops on me boo hoo here here you go jamal i'm right next to it there you go all right we have two more things to scope out anyway let's take a photo of this helicopter wow what a beautiful helicopter one more thing we need to photograph which we need to photograph something down here there's another cop right here he can eat a missile right to his face and we have to take a photo of these doors what a lovely set of doors now we just have to lose the cops and then make it all the way back to our salvage yard all right and there we go we scoped out mission road police station very smoothly didn't alert anyone don't worry about it now this is our planning board right here so we have two missions of planning work that we have to do which is going to be us collecting a police maverick and us getting tactical gear and then we have three tasks that we need to do now the planning work things are like actual missions themselves like we have to come here to this planning board and start them up but these tasks right here we have to go to a specific location on the map and then we have to start up like a very quick mission and that's pretty much it so yeah i'm only going to show me doing the planning work missions i think the tasks are pretty just straightforward but yeah let's go ahead and collect our police maverick i would say like 90 percent of these missions like even the tasks included pretty much spawn like in the middle of the city which kind of sucks but the wheel spoke and the wheel said that we had to go out and collect the sandy shores salvage yard so we're feeling the pains of that now all right so we've made it over to the weasel news building and we need to hack a signal box to determine the location of this police maverick so yeah let's get inside this signal box oh nice a volt lab hack which these are very easy in my opinion i was a little slow on that low key i'm very good at math so i shouldn't be that slow when it comes to this but whatever got it done yeah oh ooh, wow nice police maverick you got there wow pretty much what the game wants us to do right here it's over on the east side of los santos right the saint fiaker hospital i hope i'm pronouncing that right all right so we need to access the roof which i can access the roof so easily oh we could do the stealthy but that is not how we did it um there's a paramedic kind of just sitting there um there's no guy shooting at me on this level though there's just that paramedic who's just kind of scared for his life all right but now we just need to lose the cops last mission i was able to call lester i don't feel that confident i can call lester this time yeah yeah, yeah. you can't call lester during like these actual missions okay all right there we go we finally lost the cops and now we just have to deliver this police maverick to a marked location okay so i'm learning just now that the marked location that we have to deliver this police maverick to is going to be different depending on where the heck your salvage yard is since we have the sandy shores one we have to deliver it all the way over here in sandy shores all right all right all right all right i have a little beef here game i literally put it exactly on the how yeah there you go yeah 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 you heard me i knew you heard me game and you're like oh shoot he's literally right on it we have to give it to him literally right on that checkpoint and the game was like hmm i don't think you're here yet morons all right and there we go the police maverick has been acquired delivered and we're ready to go but yeah let's go ahead and let's do our next planning work mission all right so now we're gonna get into our next planning work mission which is going to be us getting tactical gear so let's go out and do that all right here we go i finally made it to pillbox hill we need to break into the lockup which i mean there's a few people i have to like get past but i mean i'm on a flying bike right here so i just go straight through them um there's a guy right there i mean i guess you can okay okay all right i was just about to get off my bike game didn't want to give it to me did you all right let's enter the lockup now all right all right i'm here where's my gear oh i think i remember this one okay yeah this mission is very very tough at least down here because yeah there's a ton of people right in here yeah I even tried to get cover right there and I still wasn't able to get cover. All right, let's try again. I see you. I see you. Of course you have an assault shotgun too. All right, here we go. Third time's charm. All right, whatever you do, do not piss me off. Okay, good. Good way to not piss me off. Just die straight away. Good. Yeah, you deserve to die. There's one more guy, apparently. Oh, pump shotgun. Mmm. There's one more guy. I don't know. Where... Oh, he's right there. Okay. Are we good now? Hope so. All right. Give me the tactical gear. Yeah, we have to search four trucks to try to find tactical gear. Oh, wait. I found it there. That's messed up. I mean, I'm glad I found it. But at the same time, two guards spawned in right next to me and killed me before I could react. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Luckily, this thing is armored. I don't even have to kill those guys. We just have to get out of here. All right. And now all we have to do is just take this all the way back to the salvage yard, a.k.a. drive all the way to the middle of nowhere. All right, and here we go. We've made it back to our salvage yard, finally. That was annoying. Well, there we go. Work complete. All right, so now we have a bunch of tasks that we need to do, and tasks are labeled by this green duffel bag right here. So there's one right there in Plato Bay, which honestly is not the end of the world with where I'm located. There's one over here in the Chumash area. That kind of sucks. And then there's one in the heart of the city. So yeah, I'm going to complete those really quickly, and then I'll see you when we're ready to do the finale. All right, there we go. We just completed our final task. So now what we need to do is actually go ahead and do the robbery. 
Now there's two optional things that we can do. There's an optional planning work mission. Then there's an optional task, which is just collecting a mass, but we don't need those because this is already pretty easy just overall. Plus I don't want to waste any more time. So yeah, let's just jump into the robbery. All right, so here we go. We need to collect our police maverick and then we need to take this police maverick and go all the way over to the mission road police station. So yeah, I'll see you once we get there. All right, so we made it over to the police station. So all we have to do first is just land on the roof like so. That wasn't the prettiest thing in the world, but there we go. Oh, okay, so first thing I have to do is incapacitate this cop. And all we get for this mission is just a stun gun. We don't get any other weapons, so... What did that just graze his shoulder or something? Okay, there we go. He's down now. So now what we have to do is throw BZ gas into here. And I like to do it this way because it's a little annoying to throw the gas from down here just because the angle is a little annoying. You have to get it in like that top area that I just put it in. So yeah, I like to climb up here and then throw it down. Okay, it literally, mm, even when you do that, that's annoying. Okay, there we go. That one just fell through. Nice. Throw it right here. Very nice. One more to go. All right, can I hit this shot from range? Of course I can. All right, so now the gas is inside the police station. And yeah, as you can see, the policemen do not like that. All right, anyways, now we just need to enter. Oh my God, I thought I almost fell off the building. Wow, I thought I just really choked for a second. Okay, so we need to go to the first floor. All right, so here we go. We're on the first floor. Someone's shooting at me. I don't know who. You locate the cell keys. The guy right here. Is it in the locker room area? Oh, it is. Okay, can I pick up the keys? Okay, nice, thank you. All right, so we made it down to the basement. We need to access the computer right here. Oh, nice, we gotta do a hack real quick. All right, and there we go. The security door is open. And now we have to use the keys to open up King Tiny's cell. Okay, very good. All right, so we just need to escort Tiny to the exit. All right, very good. So now we need to collect the stashed weapons, which is underneath here. Oh, now we need to destroy the control panels like so. Now we need to lose the cops. So now what I would like to do is call in my buzzard. I think this is the best course of action for us. Now we could get into our getaway car. That was one of our tasks, but instead we're going to use the buzzard because this is going to be a little better for us. Yeah, the best vehicle to use would be a sparrow, but I don't have a sparrow, so the buzzard is going to be the next best thing. I would like to use an oppressor, but the oppressor is only a one-seater vehicle. So yeah, here I am in a buzzard. All right, there we go. We just lost the cops and we need to take King Tiny to LSIA. Are you really kidding me? Oh my God. They won't let me access the checkpoint because we're just directly on it. Oh yeah. Now I just made it. Oh wow. Job game. All right, there you go. King Tiny. He's getting into his helicopter and he's going to fly away. And as he was flying away, he really wanted me to tell you to hit that subscribe button and leave a like down below while you're at it. I mean, that was his words, not mine. But anyways, now we need to infiltrate Kang Pei hideout. And we need to infiltrate the Kang pay hideout so we can actually steal this vehicle all right so we've made it over to the hideout uh so yeah we have to take out a few people before we can actually make it over to the Osiris, the Vesaris. i don't know how to pronounce that all right very good so now we can actually get in the Vesaris, and we need to drive this all the way back to the salvage yard it's just gonna be a little bit annoying okay that's a little annoying i'll just exit this way since the kang bay don't want me to exit that way all right and there we go we made it back over to our salvage yard and we hit all the bonus rewards no cop lives lost jailbreak in three minutes king tiny has 75% health. All challenges complete for a total of $50,000. Plus, I got another $50,000 first time bonus for completing the gangbanger robbery for the first time. But now we need to go ahead and sell off this Vesaris. So we're going to sell this thing off for $360,000. So let's go ahead and sell it off. So yeah, this is where we're going to go ahead and make most of our money from these robberies, from actually selling off these vehicles. Pretty much all these sell missions, we need to take the vehicle from our salvage yard and we need to drive all the way to terminal. Very similarly to how we did our exporting mix good at the beginning of this video. But instead of us driving one mile, we have to drive five, which is going to be a little annoying. And this is very similar to us selling off vehicles from our vehicle cargo warehouse. If we do wreck, our total payment in the bottom right is going to go down. So we want to make sure we don't wreck, but it's not going to be a terrible, terrible deduction, but still just keep it at $360,000. All right, so we've made it all the way to terminal without wrecking. Uh, let's thread the needle real quick just for style points. And yeah, there we go. No scratch on this car. Not the same for when I took it to my salvage yard, but for us delivering it, not a scratch. And there we go, $360,000. All right, so we have one more robbery that we actually have to do for our salvage yard. But first, I'm actually gonna go to our special cargo warehouse and sell off everything from inside of it. So yeah, let's head over to a public session and let's get into that. All right, so I'm in a public session now and we're in our special cargo warehouse. So now it's time for us to sell off everything. So we need to go over to this laptop right here and we wanna sell off everything that we have. We have 22 crates inside of here currently and we can sell this off for $340,000. 
$41,000 plus a 50% bonus that's a minute public session. So yeah, let's click to sell this. The sale may require two delivery vehicles. Oh, please. Let's get into it. All right, so we have to enter two trucks. Kind of like how they said. Um, I'm not too familiar with these sell missions. I'm not going to lie. I don't do a ton of these sell missions. Uh, us having to go like one and a half miles, it's not bad at all. And granted, I just got in this session. I do not know if there's a lot of griefers in this session or not. Oh my gosh, this path has me going down griefer lane right there. Or maybe not griefer lane. There's just a ton of people right there. So I'm not going to take the direct path. We're going to go around all that mess. Yeah, literally last episode, I had to make a griefer cry. So yeah, I don't want to have to make a griefer cry. But I mean, if it comes to that, then okay. Um, There's a guy right there in purple. Um, Okay, now he just drove away. Okay, I don't have a good feel for this session quite yet. I don't know what to expect. Huh? What? Oh my God, EA. That is so stupid. <laughs> they won't let me go on that side. And oh, I'm too elevated to get over there. Oh, there's like one collapsible fence right here that I can break and then go down here. Wow, this is definitely not the way you're supposed to go. Yeah, we're supposed to go on this side of the building, but the map was telling me to go on that side of the building. So that was nice. Thank you, map. Really appreciate it. But there we go. We sold off one truck and now we need to go back to our other truck and drive that to a delivery location. All right, so we made it over to our second vehicle. Uh, do we have to go to the same location? are different. It looks like the same location. So once again, we're gonna have to dodge Griefer Alley like how we did the first time around. I don't know. There's like a huge war going on on like one of the roads that it suggests me to take, or at least there was it's like five people over there. It might have moved low key though. Oh yeah, they moved, but they're on like another part of my route. Is there a way I can go around? Yeah, they're literally all right here. I need to figure out a way to go around. Hmm, I'm gonna go this way. Can I just run off the road right here? Dude, I'm trying. I'm trying to take the exit. All right, this is my stop. Oh, okay. That was slow. Thank you. Um, okay, there's a guy off the radar. A little nervous about that. Okay, never mind. Uh, the person that I thought was off the radar is not. And the people that were near me just turned around. So I think we should be good to go. Just put this special cargo right here. And there we go. Sold that off. We made $511,000. All right, so we need to go back over to our salvage yard. We need to go ahead and do our second robbery. So let's head on back. All right, so we need to go ahead and sell off our next vehicle, which is going to be the Bravado Buffalo. Buffalo EVX. So yeah, let's go ahead and click this. Yes, we would like to pay for the setup cost. And this is going to be the cargo ship robbery. Um, I think consensus is that this one right here, the cargo ship robbery, is the most annoying one. At least I'm not a fan of this one at all. This one's annoying. All right, so since we haven't done this robbery yet, we have to go out and scope out the docks once again, just like how we did with the last robbery and every other robbery that we've done. We haven't gotten a duplicate yet. So yeah, let's go ahead and scope out the docks. All right, here we go. We've made it over to the docks. So we need to take photos of some things at the docks. Here's one thing that we need to take a picture of. And no, it's not the action figure. Oh, I'm too far away. Wow, cool action figure. Here, here you go. Or is that too close in? Okay, maybe they printed a little clearer. Maybe you could see it from that far away. Okay, I just took a photo of something. Oh, the cargo ship. That's it. <laughs> What's the final thing I need to photograph? I don't even know. Oh, okay. Last thing we have to take a picture of is this cargo right here. So yeah, all we have to do is just go back to the salvage yard and we should be ready to go to actually set this thing up. All right, there we go. Skip out complete. So we need to go back over here and access the planning board once again. All right, same ordeal. We have to do planning work and tasks and the same amount of planning work and tasks that we have to do. Two planning work missions we have to do and three tasks we have to do. So once again, I'm gonna show you the planning work missions and I'll do the task on my own. All right, so here we go. We're going to start off by doing sabotage and the disguise planning work mission. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, okay. We have to go to Polito Bay for this mission, which is not bad for us. We're just on the other side of the mountain. We're still a little far away, but still, that's not bad. Better than going all the way to Legion Island, like how we had to do for that scope out mission. All right, so we've made it over to Polito Bay. Um, What am I doing here? I'll have to break into the LSPA office. I've already alerted officers just by my presence, but let's just head on inside. All right, and there we go. We hacked whatever we need to hack and now we need to plant explosives so we need to go over here and place down a sticky bomb like that all right and there we go all the explosives has been planted and now we need to go locate some coast guard outfits oh it's right here okay there we go got the coast guard outfits and now we just need to exit the office all right so now what we need to do is we need to detonate the explosives all right and there we go the explosives just went off so now we just need to deliver these outfits back to the salvage yard lose the cops and we should be good to go all right and there we go we've delivered the outfits all right so now we're going to go ahead and get the 
sky left, so let's go do that. All right, all I have to do is just go to Sandy Shores Airfield. Okay, wow, I'm liking this one, at least the setups. I like the setups. Not too far away from middle of nowhere Sandy Shores. Now, if I have to go to Los Santos, I'm gonna be pissed, but it's a good start at least. All right, here's a sky lift. Um, there's a ton of people nearby. So yeah, I think we're gonna have to take out a few people. We'll have to take out Meriwether helicopters. Dude, uh, oh my, I'll just get back on my oppressor and I'll take care of them that way. Dude. Okay, y'all are being just a little bit annoying. Okay, there we go. Now I don't have to, like, you know, waste my homing missiles. All right, all right, that's a little rude once again. You're gonna have to stop that. All right, Savage, you're out. Bye. Buzzard, you're gone. There we go. All oh, those helicopters have been taken out. Yeah, that was a little annoying. All right, so I got the big sky lift. I don't know if I'm taking this kind of close to the salvage yard, like how we had to do the police maverick, or are we taking it close to Elysian Island? It's a pretty big difference. You know, I'm just gonna assume we're gonna go to Elysian Island. Okay, yeah, yeah, I don't know if we're going to Elysian Island, but we're going somewhere in the city, so good thing I started heading that way. All right, and here we go. We've made it all the way here. All we have to do, I think, is just leave the area, and we should be good to go. All right, and there we go. Skylift has been acquired, so now we need to do our three tasks. Uh, there's one, the Vespucci Beach area, not bad. There's one in the Legion Island area, and there's one here, kind of close to downtown Vinewood. So yeah, I'm gonna do these three tasks, and I'll see you when these are all complete, and we're ready to do the robbery. All right, there we go. That was our final task that we had to complete. Yeah, those tasks were very annoying. You know, most tasks, you don't have to take it back to the salvage yard, but for some some reason all those tasks involved us coming back to the salvage yard to deliver what we had to deliver which sucked anyways we have it all done we're ready to start up the robbery so yeah let's go steal this thing all right so i need to head over to elysian island so yeah let's get on our oppressor and i guess i'll see you there after our five mile long journey all right so i made it over to elysian island we need to get into one of the sea sharks that we stole earlier final task that we did was collecting a sea shark then we have to go all the way out to sea and then i can barely see it now but there's a cargo ship out there and we need to go get on this cargo ship okay, well we've made it here but i just kind of wrecked into the boat but yeah now we're gonna climb this chain to actually make it onto the cargo ship all right we finally made that slow slow climb right, so now we have to sneak to the bridge i remember last time i did this or the first time i did this i failed pretty badly Okay, I failed again. I That is so stupid. I killed them both with suppressors, but I don't know how I'm supposed to do that one silently. And I died pretty quickly. Yeah, but anyways, we have to go to the bridge. I didn't get snacks in between. This might be the only salvage yard robbery where we might need to have snacks on hand. Okay, we've made it up to the bridge. Uh, there's gonna be a guy just right on the inside. Excuse me, why can't I get in the door? Who wants to piss me off? You, you, it's you. Okay, can't piss me off when you're dead. Okay, same goes for you. Oh, 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 okay. I had to press right on the D-pad. Wow, nice kick. I have to take out that guy. Take out that guy. Okay, cool. Now I have to search the captain. What do you have, captain? I don't know. Codes. I got terminal codes. Okay, so we need to access the terminal bridge so we can find where our Buffalo EVX is going to be. All right, so now we have to cut open containers, but the issue is I do not have any snacks anymore, so this is going to be a little interesting. Yeah, this is going to suck. This is absolutely going to suck without any snacks. I should have got snacks beforehand, but I just completely forgot. That's on me. Okay, whatever. Let's just start cutting open containers. I would like this to be one and done. Please? No, that's literally the opposite of what I needed. Oh, that didn't actually injure me. Okay, never mind. I thought that was going to be a big deal. All right, we made it over to the next container. Can you please just be in here? You know, I said please, and you still just didn't give it to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so it has to be the third one. Yeah, here's the Buffalo EVX. So now we we need to attach a flare to the container. How do I attach a flare to the container? Huh? Oh, you literally just put it on the side of it. Like, what? Like, how is that not good enough? Whatever. All right, now I just need to protect the sky lift. I mean, why can't you protect yourself? I mean, granted, I can't even protect myself right now because I don't have snacks. <laughs> All right, we're in our sea sparrow. So yeah, now we have to protect the sky lift. Oh my God, this part is so boring. Yeah, I am not a fan of this robbery. Yeah, the other robberies are actually pretty fun. This one's just not. Like, we just have to follow behind this slow sky lift. Like, geez, I can just land right on you. Okay, okay. Like, let's not mess around. All right, you can drop the cargo container. There you go. Very nice. Thank you, Skylift. You are so slow. All right, so now we need to open the container, and then I'm pretty sure we just have to drive this Buffalo EVX all the way back to our salvage yard, and we should be good to go. All right, and there we go. Robbery complete. Bonus reward is only 10,000 because I died, and I reached the bridge while being detected. So, yeah, not good. All right, and once again, we got a first-time bonus of $50,000, but now it's time for us to go ahead and sell this Buffalo EVX off. So yeah, we can sell this off to the terminal for $410,000. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here we go. We 
have to drive the Buffalo EVX all the way to the terminal. Same ordeal as before. Don't want to wreck because we want to keep our total payment right at $410,000. But it's nighttime and it previously rained during that mission. So it's a little slick right now. And we have to drive like five miles. So anything can happen. Mm -mm, mm -mm, no, 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 no. That happened like three intersections in a row where a car is just trying to pull out right in front of me. Uh uh, no, that pisses me off. There goes my perfect cell mission. I know you're probably thinking, like, oh, that's only. Okay, well, that was a lot worse. That's on me. You're probably thinking like, oh, that was only like 500 and some dollars. I mean, like, yeah, but now it's not a perfect number. All right, whatever. We've made it here. And there we go. We made $407,000 off of that. So for everything we did today in this episode, we made $1,490,000. So we're now sitting on $2,976,000, which is enough for us to actually go ahead and purchase the Karen Viva Knight. So yeah, let's go over to Southern San Andreas. It's one of the newer vehicles in the game, so it's going to be right here actually paying for it right now is going to be one million six hundred and five thousand dollars but we need to customize this thing a little bit all right so here's our karen viva night right here and you're probably thinking like oh dr crush why the heck one is this a hsw vehicle and two why are you so excited about this vehicle uh actually i really have no idea why this is an hsw vehicle but i mean at least it is because it'll give some nice customization to this and two this is going to be a lot better than the arbiter gt so yeah let's go ahead and let's go make this thing the Arbiter GT killer. All right, so we're at the Ellis Carmi right now. We need to take this thing into the HSW mod shop right here. So we need to go and click the HSW upgrade, and we need to pay this $800,000 to actually upgrade this car into an HSW vehicle. So there we go. So now it's an HSW vehicle. So now everything else that we need to customize with this vehicle is going to be pretty much only the HSW mod. So like brakes, we're going to put the HSW brakes on it. Engine, we're going to put the HSW engine tune. And I'll stuff like that the livery we're putting the hsw livery on it of course have to wait a mode i didn't even know there's a mode what okay i did not know that was a thing loki wait i didn't realize this thing doesn't have turbo on it so i guess the mode was pretty much the turbo on this thing i guess it's like a replacement for turbo i don't know but okay i'll purchase it so here is our karen viva night after actually customizing this thing and yeah i can already tell this is my new favorite vehicle in the game at least on this account and why it's because we don't have to use the arbiter gt anymore this thing actually can handle very well and i've used this on my main account before so i already have a good idea about this car it's only been out a month but yeah i'm a fan of this car this car can actually complete an hsw time trial when it should all right but in back in august i started as a level one on a new account in gta online and the only businesses i've bought on this account have come through spinning a wheel determining what business i should buy next so today in this video i will spin that wheel again to see what business i'm going to have to purchase so welcome to the 78th episode of season number two of loser to luxury and without further ado let's jump into it so currently right now i am on the wheel of businesses we only have one more business that is on our wheel we have acquired every other business in the game even the salvage yard which recently came out like just over a month ago but we have one more business on the wheel so let's just click to spin the wheel and hmm i wonder what it's gonna land on and it's going to land on quite literally the worst business in the game <laughs> the document forgery the wheel has been a little harsh to me lately but i mean i think it was looking out for me when they saved the document forgery for last because this business is awful anyways i'm here at my mc clubhouse so yeah let's take a look at what document forgery that we can actually purchase okay so here's all the document forgery offices and yeah this is a very cheap business this is the cheapest mc business but it is the worst mc business and how we are going to determine what document forgery office we're going to purchase is going to be determined by the wheel of one to four now how this is going to work is number one is going to be the cheapest option which for us is going to be the grape sea location and then number two will be the Polito bay location the number three will be the elysian island location and number four will be the most expensive location which will be textile city so let's spin the wheel and let's see what document forgery office we are going to have to go out and purchase are we getting the most cheap one most cheap one good grammar no we are getting the most expensive location which is going to be textile city so yeah here's a location 
location right here. Um, I guess someone forgot to take down the scaffolding here. I don't know how that's OSHA approved, but anyways, this location is going for $1,235,000. And currently right now, we're sitting on $41,000. So we pretty much need to make $1.2 million before we can actually purchase this document forgery office. All right, so now I'm on the wheel of quick cash. So let's spin the wheel and let's see what we're gonna have to do at the start of this episode in order to make money. And it looks like we are gonna have to go all the way back to the Diamond Casino and spin the lucky wheel. All right, so currently right now, I am on the wheel of making money. So what are we gonna have to do in this episode in order to make money? And it looks like we are gonna have to go to our bunker and sell off everything from inside of our bunker. All right, so we have to go out and sell off our bunker. But what else in this episode am I gonna have to do in order to make money? And it looks like we are going to have to do whatever we want, but it's going to be determined by something. And this is how we're gonna determine how much time we have. This is the free to do whatever wheel. And on this wheel, there's a bunch of different ways we can actually get kills on people. So yeah, let's spin the wheel and let's see how we're gonna have to get kills to try to see how much money we can actually make. And it looks like we are gonna have to use our Deluxo, but we only get four minutes to try to rack up as many kills. All right, so we're free to do whatever, but it's gonna be determined by Deluxo kills in four minutes. And then we're gonna go off to our bunker and solve everything from there. But first let's head over to the Diamond Casino and let's spin the lucky wheel. All right, so I've made it over to the Diamond Casino and behind me is gonna be the Lucky Wheel. So let's head over to the Lucky Wheel and let's see what we can get. Can I land on a vehicle? Um, Please just don't give me like RP or clothing or something like that. Okay, it doesn't look like we're getting a vehicle and it looks like, ah, we're gonna get clothing. Awesome, what I just said I didn't want. Oh, cool, a classic SN print sweater. Mm, yeah, I woke up today and I was like, mm, I wanna win a sweater, thank you. But hey, I'll give it a shot, let's check it out. Okay, the sweater is gonna be this. Oh, okay. I think this is the luxury brand of La Santa, so I guess that's pretty cool. Am I wearing it? No. We're not luxury just yet. I don't have every business in the game. All right, so now I'm going to head over to a public session, and I'm going to try to get as many kills as possible with my Deluxo. So let's jump into that. All right, so I've made it over to a public session, and right here is going to be my Deluxo, and this is the vehicle we're only allowed to use to get kills. And just in case if you don't know how this is going to work, any kills that we get with the Deluxo is fair game. Any kills outside the Deluxo, like let's just say I come out here and I'm like, oh, you're annoying. Ha ha, you're dead. No, that doesn't count. All I'm allowed to do is maybe run over someone like so, or you can go into hover mode like this. And I don't know, let's just say you want to shoot like a missile at someone. Wow, good missile. Good missile. There we go. Third time's a charm. So yeah, we're allowed to take out people like that. But any other method is not allowed. And we're only going to have two limitations as far as like who we can kill. So one thing that we can't do is we can't kill someone that's AFK. You know, that's a little cheesy. And I just thought of another rule. And that is we're not allowed to get more than three kills in a row on someone. If I get three kills on someone and they haven't killed me at all in that time frame, then that just means that they're bad. And we don't want to exploit someone just to get kills. So we're going to start the timer for four minutes right now. Our right, clock is running. Um, Who can I get? Okay, well, there's a guy driving right here. I, dude, I have so much power with this vehicle. Dude, I'm gonna feel so bad for this. That's one down. Uh, let's see. Who else can we get a kill on? All right, so since I've flown away from that guy, I mean, I really haven't run into anyone or seen anyone just yet. I mean, this is part of the reason why I wanted to make the Deluxo time so short because, like, it is so easy to get kills with this thing. Okay, well, this guy looks pretty AFK. So, yeah, I can't get a kill on that guy. Yeah, he's just chilling there. So, yeah, we're not going to get a kill on that guy. Dude, where is everyone? There's a guy in a boat right now. I feel bad for going for a guy in a boat. But, I mean, I need to get kills. Oh, my God. With some of these overpowered powered vehicles too. I kind of feel bad. Oh, this is going to be so icky. But here, just have that. Yep, there we go. I blew him off. I feel so bad for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to get another kill on you. Oh, I didn't tell you how this is going to work. So essentially, we start out with 20 minutes. And every kill we get in our allotted time, which is four minutes, we get to add an additional 10 minutes. So currently, we have two kills. So that's an additional 20 minutes. So in total, we have 40 minutes to do whatever we want. But here's another guy driving around. Oh, he just spun out here. There you go. You don't have to spin out anymore. That is three kills. I just feel so icky, you know? This might be a little too overpowered. Oh, here's a guy that's AFK. You want to get out of AFK? You want to get out of AFK? Okay, fine. This person's not getting out of AFK. We have 30 seconds to try to get one more kill on someone. But who and what? Oh, 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 this guy's moving. Dude, you're moving. I know you're moving. We have nine seconds. Oh, we're just messing around with an AFK guy. Okay, yeah, I could not determine if that guy was AFK or not. Oh, now this person's moving. Oh, well, how funny you are. Oh, I've confirmed you're moving. You're so annoying. 
thing. Anyways, let's head back over to a private session. Let's regroup. All right, so since we got three kills with our deluxe show, we have a total of 50 minutes to do whatever we want. So essentially, we start out with 20 minutes and then we added an additional three kills, which is going to be an extra 30 minutes. So in total, 50 minutes. But let's head outside and let's get started with our 50 minutes. All right, so 50 minutes is on the clock and behind me is going to be a payphone. And this is how we're going to start out our 50 minutes and we're going to try to do as many payphone hits as possible. But anyways, as soon as I pick up the payphone, we are going to start the timer. So here we go. All right, clock is running. Hang up, hang up. Okay, good. We can hang up quickly. We have to assassinate a single target. Franklin, you got to tell me how to do it. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Hold on. It looks like a golf club one. Nice. We have to collect the golfing equipment. Run them over with a buggy, which is not bad at all. All right, so anyways, we need to head over here and we need to get in one of the golf golf cart. All right. So now all we have to do is just run over our target with this vehicle. All right. I see the target. I have the target in sight. All we have to do is just run this person over. And I am very surprised that, that was our first attempt. You usually have to run her over like a few times before she actually like dies. But first attempt, I am liking that. So yeah, all we have to do is just leave the area. We should be good to go. All right. And there we go. Payphone hit complete. So the reason we're doing payphone hits a lot is because payphone hits now have a 10 minute cooldown. All right. So now I'm heading inside of our office. But anyways, we need to head over to our assistant we need to export mixed goods so yeah let's do that we're gonna do this next as we're just right next to it so yeah this is gonna be another quick way to make fifty thousand dollars all right so pretty much all we have to do is go over to our special cargo warehouse and collect our mixed goods and just take it over to terminal which is only like a mile away such an easy way to make money all right so here we go this is the truck full of mixed goods and all i have to do is just drive this thing oh yeah i forgot to say there's three things that we're not allowed to do to make money with this wheel spin well, first First one's gonna be the Cayo Perico heist, even though we really have to be perfect in order to complete it within 15 minutes. But yeah, it's a little cheesy. We're not doing that. Second thing that we're not doing is selling any business because we didn't acquire all that value within the 50 minutes. And then the final thing is going to be collecting wall saves because once again, we didn't collect any of that value within the time frame. But what we did do is collect mixed goods and delivering it to terminal, which all we have to do is just thread the needle right here for fun. And then boom, here we go. We've made it over to terminal, put it in a nice cargo container and get paid fifty thousand dollars now what i'm going to do now is just head over to a private session or to another session and we're going to spawn in at our bunker so we can sell off excess weapon parts all right so here we go here's our excess weapon parts so yeah let's head inside of our dune loader and let's take this to wherever we need to go oh right, where are we going oh geez we only have to go two miles what in the world i mean i think we're getting pretty lucky today i mean so far the things that i've done within what this first 10 minutes like i've gotten like the best location for oh yeah i just remembered another thing i could do is go try to photograph all the animals from the ls tourist board and we get an email for that which the email is going to be right here this is dear resident blah 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 wall of text blah 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 and we need to take a picture of a deer a pug and a chicken hawk deer that should be pretty easy i could literally you know what screw it i'll do it right now Okay, never mind. I'm not going to do it right now. They're running away. Uh, a pug, that's going to be a little tough. And a chicken hawk, that's going to be tough also. So yeah, during this 50-minute time frame, let's keep an eye out on what animals we can actually photograph. But anyways, yeah, we've made it over to ammunition. Here's your excess weapon parts. All right, there you go. Another $50,000. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to photograph a pug, which I think this might be a little bit difficult. And the sun's about to set too. So I don't think pugs come out at nighttime. I'm still not 100% sure about that. All right, so I made it to Rockford Hills. I just need to find pug i need to find a pug i think last time i found a pug it was literally just right here just staring inside of the store which didn't make sense but it's not here today all right i'm not having any luck finding a pug i'm gonna take another lap one more time and if it's not here we'll move on yeah no, i don't even see any dogs like dude jeez they make it a morning thing i guess okay whatever the junk energy time trial is just nearby so let's go ahead and do that all right here we go we just have to do a junk energy time trial hopefully we can complete this first attempt because that would be really really nice i think i did just check and we had to wait like another minute to do another payphone hit so we're gonna be going a little bit over the time that i really want to spend on this but it's okay all right and there we go we completed the junk energy time trial all right I just called franklin for another payphone hit so yeah let's head over to his payphone let's get into our second payphone hit all right here we go what are we doing which one are we doing assassinating a single target is this another golf club one i don't know why this looks like another golf club one no way it's another golf club one collect the golfing equipment and take out the target with a golf club so literally all we have to do is just take him out with a golf club. Okay, fine. Bro, she just ran immediately. I mean, I mean, she already died earlier. 
There we go. Stay down. Very nice. Okay. Assassination bonus complete. Let's just leave the area and we should be good to go. All right. And there we go. Another payphone hit. Another $45,000. So yeah, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to head over to the HSW time trial. We're going to do an HSW time trial. And I'm only doing this because it's Wednesday and tomorrow when I'm going to film another Loser to Luxury episode, it's going to be a new HSW time trial. So yeah, let me call in my new HSW vehicle, which is going to be the Karen Viva Knight. All right. And here, here is our beautiful, beautiful Karen Viva Knight. Now, I would really, really like to complete this first attempt for multiple reasons. One, to be quick with our time, but two, to stick it to the Arbiter GT. Now, I've done this one already this week for another video that I'm currently working on this HSW time trial. And I think this is one of the easier HSW time trials too, but we'll just find out. All right, here we go. Welcome to the big leagues, Karen Viva Knight. Today is your debut. Okay, okay, okay. See, we kind of ran into a few things. That was my fault. But if that was the Arbiter GT, we would have spun out completely. We would have been completely turned around. I guarantee it. See, like, already the Karen Viva Knight showing why it's much better than the Arbiter GT. It's not even doing much either. Okay, that's not my fault. Whatever, let's just keep going. I'll put race mode on this thing. Let's engage this thing in race mode and let's just complete this time trial. I mean, like the way this thing can weave through traffic, even though it's a wide vehicle too. I mean, this thing can weave so much better than the Arbiter GT. Like, oh my God, this is a dream come true for me. I don't even know if this is like even in the top half of the best HSW vehicles in GTA Online. What I do know is that you can handle this thing a lot better than the Arbiter GT. Arbiter GT has the worst handling. And if you doubt me, go and buy it for yourself. Okay, we're cutting it close a little bit from some wrecks that were not my fault. But there we go. First attempt. Like, I'm telling you, this thing is great. All right, we've been so efficient so far. I don't even know what to do at this point. Hmm. You know what? We'll do the RC Bandito time trial. I do not want to test out the normal time trial for this week because I have never completed the normal time trial that's available for this week. And I think the one time I did try to do it, I think I spent like over an hour doing it and I was not able to complete it. So I'm not going to mess around with it. All right, so here we go. Here is the RC Bandito time trial for this week, which is going to be Cemetery. I mean, for once, I can actually say that we've completed both of our time trials that we've done so far first attempt. Can we keep that trend going with the RC Bandito time trial? Uh, my guess is going to be no, but I would like to prove myself wrong, bro. I don't know what is up with me. I feel so locked in as I say that, though. I just ran into a gravestone. Elp. Okay, never mind. Maybe I'm not so locked in. <laughs> bro, where's the finish line for this? Where is the finish line? Oh, wait, where? Oh, man. I was so close. Dang it. That's on me. I think that one screw up kind of, well, screwed us up. But here we go. I'll complete this attempt. I will for sure complete this attempt. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's probably one of the biggest chokes I've ever had. Wow, that was embarrassing. I ran into a pole right at the end. Wow, that was bad. Oh, no, no, no. RC Bandito, no. What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, you just want to hide in the bush? What is this, Fortnite? What are you, uh, no. I'm trying to flip it over too. I just can't see which way I can flip it over because it's hiding in a bush. Wow, yeah, this has gone really bad. Wow, probably should have done a payphone hit like in between some of these attempts, but um, I am just so locked in. I just want to complete this now. <laughs> No, no, no. We don't complete time trials by running into light poles. What did I just say? Ran into another light pole. I, that's the third light pole this attempt. I am surprised I even completed that attempt. I ran into three light poles. It was so bad. But hey, at least we completed it. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to call up Franklin to do another payphone hit. All right, so here we go. What payphone hit are we doing this time? Let's hang up. We have to assassinate the target, but it is a question mark one. Hmm, this sucks. I'm gonna have to spawn into another location. The question mark ones, we have to like sit and wait like a few minutes before the person leaves the motel. And no, we're not just gonna sit and wait when the clock is running. So yeah, now we're in a new session. Let's call up Franklin again and let's see which one we get this time. All right, which one are we doing? Okay, it's not a question mark one. That's all I know. Destroy the target using a truck cab. Okay, um, you gotta tell me where a truck cab is. Oh, yeah, and I've tried it before where I've gotten like a different truck cab, like one I found off the street that's not listed by Franklin, and it just won't work. It has to be whichever truck cab is listed by Franklin. He's about to list it soon, but, you know, he takes a sweet time. Bro, Franklin, this is getting ridiculous. Okay, never mind. You just said it. Never mind, never mind, never mind. All right, so there's going to be a truck cab here at the Mile High Building construction. So, yeah, this is one of the truck cabs we can use. Okay, so this one can be a little annoying. We just have to keep running into the target like that. But the problem is the target has a much faster car and now he's alerted so he's gonna go a little faster does that work does that work hey that was pretty good i think that was pretty good just pinned him up right there that was a textbook can i just send you this way 
Oh, oh, jeez. I was not expecting him to just blow up right there. Okay. All right, and there we go. Another hit complete. All right, so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to photograph some more animals. All right, all right. Last time I got Chicken Hawk, it was like in this location. Dude, I just need birds to spawn in, and there's not even birds. Aha. Uh -huh. There's a bird. That's a great cormorant. I could have used you a little. Oh, there's a Chicken Hawk. I think that's one right there. All right. Yeah, you can tell by the way they fly, the way they flap their wings. That thing right there. Yep, there we go. That's a Chicken Hawk. Yeah. A great cormorant and a chicken hawk. They flap their wings in a very different way. All right, so now I just need to find a pug, which is probably going to be a little difficult, and then deer. I could probably find deer right now if I really wanted to. You know, maybe deer might be a little bit challenging just because you can't get so close to them or else you'll spook them. See, like that. I just spooked this deer. Excuse me, deer. I don't know where I went. That's fantastic. Yeah, okay. We gotta be a little bit more careful. Oh, really? Now there's not gonna be a deer that's gonna spawn in. I feel like I always run into deer. Aha, aha. You're the one. You're the one. You're the one. Oh, wow, nice buck right there. Very good. Very good. Oh my, the game is gonna make me try to get close to it. I don't wanna spook the deer. Game. It's good enough, right? Good enough. Okay, good. I got two out of three and... There goes a deer. Let's see, I need to find a pug. That was a daytime, so hopefully a pug will spawn in. All right, so last time I found a pug, it was on this street. So I'm gonna try and search this street. Oh my God, dude. Is it too early in the morning to walk your dog or something? Dude, there's no way that a pug's not gonna spawn in. There's no way. Aha, found it. Yeah, I don't get it. It's in the same spot. Wait, what? Wait, no. What What are you doing? Why are you running? You're not running away from me. Is it running away from me? I have no idea. You're being frustrating. Pug. All right, I'm gonna just have to like predict where it's gonna be right there. Well, bam, that's a good photo, right? It was, it was. Okay, good. Wow, I was about to be pissed if that thing ran away from me because it was just sitting there once again, just staring into the store. So in total, we made a hundred thousand dollars off of that. We have ten minutes left. Um, can I do another payphone hit? Oh uh, no, I have two minutes. Okay, I honestly don't know what I can do. Hmm, should I do the normal time? You know what? Screw it. I'll attempt the normal time trial. You know, I've only attempted it one other time. I might do like a few attempts. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Still using a body. 801, so not the best vehicle to use this with. Maybe I could try with the Viva Knight. I don't know if the Viva Knight has the top speed to even think about trying to complete this. Yeah, the only thing with this time trial is that it's on top of a parking garage. I have to drive all the way up the parking garage. All right, I need to know where the heck I'm going. I think pretty much all I have to do is just jump off of this building and then just send it. I think that's all I have to do. Dude, and every... Oh, I respawned, like, down here. Thanks. Now nah, I'm wasting time. All right, here we go. Ready, set, let's go. Let's go. All right, let's do this time trial. Okay. Land good that is not landing good oh my gosh yeah i remember that was the annoying part about this time trial. no we're not getting in that car idiot like maybe i can complete that time trial like even if i fall off the bike just straight away but my goodness it is so frustrating after having to climb all the way up this parking garage just for our attempt to be that all right i'm gonna try it like one more time if i can't complete it here then we're gonna go do a payphone it then maybe i'll come back to it okay let's not have that same screw up that we did last time no, no. I don't know if a better way to even land. I'm going to be honest. Screw it. What if I just send it? <laughs> that one was funny. I was pissed at the first one. That one was funny. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to come back to it, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to do another payphone hit, though. All right, what's going to be our final payphone hit? Okay, we have to take out multiple targets. Um, How am I doing it? Take out all the targets with a headshot. Okay, that's not awful. Okay, here's target number one. And hey, can you can't see your head because it's behind a tree? Okay, there we go. Nice. One target down. Two more to go. All right, here's the target right here. And there he goes. Two more to go. Here's another troll. Um, we got the wrong guy. It's okay. As long as I get the guy I needed to get. And one more troll to go. All right, here's a final target right here. Oh, wow, that's cute. Yeah, pull out your pistol. And right, anyways, assassination bonus complete. Um, let's head back over to that parking garage. I'm gonna embarrassingly keep drawing that. All right, I just looked at the clock, and I really only have, like, one attempt. Even if I fall off the bike off of a stupid jump, which I hate. Uh, yeah, we still only have, like, pretty much one attempt to get this done. So if we fail this first attempt, I'm probably just gonna just stop my timer entirely. All right, here we go. Can I not, like, fall off my bike? Like, how am I supposed to prevent that? I, I, I like that, I guess. I don't even know what I did differently, to be honest, even though I jumped off to the side just to mix things up. But, okay, we have to beat this in two minutes and four seconds. We have to go, I think, roughly four miles. I don't know if this is possible or not. We'll see. We only have one attempt. One fail, and we're done. Dude, this has been such a great attempt. Like, nothing really bad has happened, and I don't think we can complete it. I think this leads to show that it is not possible with the Body 801. I mean, maybe I could have customized this thing a little bit more, but I don't know. That was a pretty flawless attempt, and 
And yeah, we have seven seconds to go. So yeah, we're just going to stop the timer right here. All right. So in that 50 minutes, we made $735,000. So now we're sitting on $764,000. But now it's time for us to go over to our bunker and sell off everything from inside of there. So yeah, let's head over to a public session. Let's get into it. All right. So now I'm in a public session and we can sell off our bunker product for $360,000 once we sell it off to Los Santos, plus the bonus that we get for being in a public session. So yeah, let's click to sell this to Los Santos. Larger sales may require multiple vehicles. I'm a one man band. I don't care. Let's jump into it. All right. What are we doing? Which one are we getting? Uh, we have two delivery vehicles. I don't know why I'm getting in a bike right now. Um, okay. I don't think this one's that bad. I think we should have to go to one location with each of these vehicles. Um, even though we have to go like five and a half miles with this thing. It's not awful. It's possible. It's definitely possible. You know what? Actually, I think this is pretty easy to be honest, at least with two vehicles, three vehicles might be a little bit interesting. All right. And here we go. We've made it over to our first location. Really no controversy with our first journey to this location. There we go. All right. One shipment has been sold. We need to go back to our other one and hopefully sell it off. All right. Here we go. We've made it back to our other delivery vehicle. Uh, how far do we have to go with this one? Uh, six miles. Okay. We have to go six miles in eight minutes. All right. If no one comes after me, we should be able to complete this within the time frame, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, never mind. Okay, okay. I was literally just sitting back in my chair. And I just see a guy that's like right up my butt. Okay, but he didn't kill me. I, I guess I appreciate. I mean, yeah, we're pretty much already at our location now, which is at a nightclub. Okay, that'll work. And there we go. We made $514,000 off of that sale mission. All right, so now we're sitting on $1,278,000. And that's barely enough for us to purchase the document forgery office. So yeah, let's head back over to our MC clubhouse. Let's go purchase that thing. All right, so here's the document forgery office that we need to buy this one's in textile city for one million two hundred and thirty five thousand dollars so yeah let's go ahead and let's purchase this thing all right so here we go here is our document forgery office all right so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna set up this business so yeah i'll see you once we have this thing fully set up all right, so here we go. We set up this business. So this is our document forgery office. All right, so buying the document forgery office marks the last business that we needed to purchase for this season of Loser to Luxury. So you're probably thinking, what is going to happen for the rest of this season? And well, it looks like you're gonna have to figure that out for our next episode. Make sure you check out this video. On this account, we started as a level one in GTA Online. And the only way I made money was by spinning a wheel determining what what I should buy next. But today in this video, we will begin our final journey to purchase the most expensive item in GTA Online to reach a luxurious state in society finally. So welcome to episode 79 of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So we are on the home stretch of Loser to Luxury and our final quest is to buy the most expensive item in GTA Online. And we're finally at that stage because we purchased every single business in GTA Online, and that was the goal of Loser to Luxury. Start out with nothing and slowly but surely acquire every single business along with some fun things in between so that we can make a final push to purchase the most expensive item in GTA Online. And that item is going to be the Super Yacht. See, there's three different yachts that we can purchase. We can get the Orion, the Pisces, and the Aquarius. And you can see right there, it quite literally says, this one, obviously, which I mean, it makes sense. We are obviously going to purchase this one. I mean, why would we go for like the broke boy Orion super yacht or the slightly less broke boy Pisces super yacht? No, 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 no. We are getting the Aquarius, but it's not even going to be 8 million. It's going to be more because we are going to just trick this thing out. Absolutely. So in total, this yacht is going to cost me $10 million. And in order for us to reach this $10 million mark, we're going going to split up the finale into four parts. And currently right now I'm sitting on $43,000. So we have a long, long ways to go before we can actually even ponder the idea of purchasing the super yacht. And the finale for us to actually purchase this super yacht, we are going to be splitting into four parts. And for each of these parts, it's going to be without wheel spins. We're going to be doing stuff that's going to be pretty exciting in GTA Online, but also pays out pretty well in the process. 
so we can slowly build our way up to $10 million. We're just not going to do Cayo Perico 10 times over. We're not doing that. I might sneak in a Cayo Perico, but we're not just going to sit here and just do that over and over again. But right now, we're on part one of the finale. And as you can see right here, I am in my arcade. And well, this arcade looks like crap. I'm not going to lie, this arcade looks terrible. But anyways, I'm in my arcade because we are going to be doing the Diamond Casino Heist for part one. And we're doing the Diamond Casino Heist because the arcade that I'm standing in right now was the second to last business I was actually able to purchase. So we only had an opportunity to do the Diamond Casino Heist for only like a few episodes. So the wheel spins never landed on the Diamond Casino Heist. And I'm not going to cheat y'all out of a Diamond Casino Heist that I'm actually going to host. I haven't hosted a Diamond Casino Heist yet in season number two of Loser of Luxury. And we're going to change that right here today in this episode for part one of the finale. So yeah, let's head over and let's start setting up the Diamond Casino Heist. So yeah, we're gonna actually going to set up the Diamond Casino Heist right here. And I'm going to walk you through setting up the Diamond Casino Heist. And actually the finale that I'm going to do, or the at least the strategy I want to do, I've never done before. And I want to do it this specific way just because I think this one is pretty interesting from what I've kind of seen. So yeah, we're doing the Diamond Casino Heist for the first time and we have to go and scope out a lot of different stuff from the Diamond Casino for our first time, which is going to be a little bit annoying. All right, so I'm at the Diamond Casino. And you take photos of different spots and I'm going to scoop this out to the best of my abilities. Oh my God, I've never, okay. I'm trying to scope out one of the points of interest and oh my, this is so hilarious to me. Yeah, Miss Baker's secretary was like, oh, Miss Baker's ready for you, which is like, okay, that's interesting. And I just walk in and she's just sitting here like, what was she doing there? Like looking at her nails? Yeah, no, it was exactly what she did. She's like looking at her hands or something. Like, okay. This is so interesting because like right here, we need to take the photo of this, which is the casino vault blueprints. And she just doesn't think that this is suspicious. Like, okay. <laughs> if I scope out Miss Baker, a uh, smile. I kind of looked in my direction. That's kind of cool. Okay, Lester doesn't want that. Oh, that's right. He's pursuing another woman. I forget. I'm sorry, sorry. He's a loyal man. Yeah, I quite literally think that's everything. It's just so funny to me. I just get to chill out in here. All right, and there we go. We scoped out the diamond casino there. So we have to head all the way back to our arcade. And then I think we have pretty much another scope out mission that we have to do. All right, so after scoping out quite literally everything, we have this board a little bit assembled now, but I guess Lester's going to force me to zoom in all the way up here. So yeah, now what we need to do is do that mission right there. We have to scoop out the vault content. So we have to go all the way back to the Diamond Casino once again and pretty much figure out what's going to be our primary target, which I already know what our primary target is going to be for this first one. It's always the same, but just in case you don't know, you'll find out when I actually find it for myself. All right, so we made it back over to the Diamond Casino and we need to search the vault camera feed. Okay, now we're inside the vault, so we need to look at the vault contents, which is going to be the same every single time we do the Diamond Casino heist the first time. And it's going to be cash, which is the worst one so that, that's not great but i mean it will be a little bit better for us doing it the first time just because we're gonna get some first time bonuses for completing the diamond casino eyes yeah you can also get gold or paintings inside the vault which i mean both of them are gonna be a lot better than cash but it's all good so yeah now we just need to leave the area and there we go heist prep complete so now we can actually truly start setting up the diamond casino heist now all right so we scooped out the casino and we scooped out the vault content so now what we need to do is select our approach and there's going to be three different approaches we can select from we have the silent and sneaky approach and then we have the big con approach and then we have the aggressive approach all right so the way we're gonna do our first ever diamond casino heist as a house is going to be through the big con approach i'm gonna do the big con approach because i want to do a specific disguise i haven't used before for the big con approach but yeah there we go that's pretty much all we needed to do so now we can scroll over to the prep board oh my god okay so i think the way that i actually want to do the diamond casino heist the big con approach i actually i don't thing I haven't unlocked yet. It's kind of stupid the way I have to unlock the way I want to do this. So I'm going to go unlock it real quick. Okay, so I'm back at my penthouse. I actually have a penthouse at the casino that we're actually going to rob, which is pretty funny. But in order for me to do what I want to do, we need to go to the roof terrace. Yeah, I mean, this is the roof terrace. So I think I can get the cutscene by... No, apparently not. Hold on. We try this again. Okay, it says I need to go to the elevator. So we go to the roof terrace via the elevator and let's try Try that again, okay? We do get a cutscene. Okay, there's young ancestor, and he's gonna be a big.
big part of the way that we're actually going to be doing the big con finale. Okay, we just sat through that cutscene. Okay, yeah, Lester just called us and pretty much he said that we can use him lashing out in that cutscene as an opportunity for us to rob the casino so he can get us on the inside or something along those lines. So yeah, I think we're good there. I think we've done all that I need to do as far as that's concerned. So I'm gonna head back over to my arcade, which yeah, I can just teleport there. And then once we get back to the arcade, apparently Young Ancestor calls us. Okay, well, Young Ancestor isn't calling me. Okay, here's our prep board now. Uh, the Young Ancestor entry disguise is currently locked because we have to select our support crew members. But yeah, we'll do that now. I, I think I've done everything I need to do to unlock Young Ancestor. All right, so right now what we're trying to do is we're trying to select our support crew. Now, the way I like to pick my support crew, I like to go by this. Weapons don't really matter, especially when we're doing it the big con approach. Even if you're doing it the aggressive way, I still prefer to do it with lesser weapons, but that's just me. So yeah, we are going to select Carl. He's the worst one. Oh yeah, by the way too, if you're just wondering why we're selecting the worst one, it's because these worst ones, they take the least amount of money. So this one right here, this is the worst driver, Kareem Dens. He takes 5%, but this person's a little bit better. They take more of a percentage. This person's a little bit better than that last one. They're gonna take an even bigger percentage. But yeah, anyways, we're gonna select Kareem right here. Same ordeal, we're gonna be taking the cheapest option. And now we're going to select a hacker. And this is the option you probably don't want to use the cheapest option for. So Ricky Lukens, he's going to be the cheapest option. And then you have Christian Feltz, Johan Blair. You have a mystery person. Oh, this mystery person. I know this mystery person. This mystery person is Avi Schwartzman. You unlock him by destroying all 50 signal jammers across the map, which I have not done on this account. So Avi Schwartzman is locked. But then we have Paige Harris right here. Paige is going to take 9% but the reason we want a better hacker is because a better hacker is going to give us more time in the vault and you'll see why that's important once we actually make it to the vault but yeah we're going to select Paige Harris right here all right so that's our crew uh first things first I'm going to get all the stuff for the support crew so we're going to need to select a weapon loadout now each gunman will give you two options of weapons that you can select from for Carl it's going to be a micro SMG loadout and then a shotgun loadout as I've said before you really really shouldn't be using weapons during this heist. You really should not be using weapons, at least during the big con approach. But just in case if things go bad, because we're going to be doing this with randoms, but just in case if things go bad, I'm going to be using a micro SMG loadout just for a little bit more range. So yeah, let's go out and get our micro SMG loadout. I think there's different missions that you can get. This one right here, we have to search news fans for the weapons. Just seems a little bit annoying. How am I supposed to search these news fans? Do I really have to take out all these cops? I was kind of excited that this mission was like really, really close to my arcade, but no, I'm not excited anymore because we have to take out a bunch of cops. I think I've taken out pretty much everyone that we've needed to. How am I supposed to search the news van? Is this one of the missions where I have to like use a sticky bomb? All right, are you in here? No, you are not in here. Great. Thank you, Van. Oh, and my vehicle's been impounded. But just in case if your vehicle gets impounded like me, you can call up your assistant if you actually have an office building. And you can recover your impounded vehicle for $1,000 just from anywhere on the map. Like, I'm in Grape Seed. Why would I go all the way back to Los Angeles just to get my oppressor? It's going to be annoying. But there we go. Assistant got my vehicle for $1,000. There's the weapon right there. All right, nice. So yeah, let's get inside. And yeah, now we just need to lose the cops, bring these weapons back to our arcade, and then we should be good to go. All right, and there we go. We delivered our weapons back to the arcade. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our getaway vehicle. Now, I think this one, we get four options. With Kareem, there's two options that are absolutely bad. And the two options that are bad, at least in my opinion, are gonna be the Asbo and the Kanjo, which is so sad because those are fun names to say out loud. Now, these two are so bad because they're just so weird to drive. They're front wheel driving cars, which is so bizarre. So we're not doing those. And I think it'd be funny just to get the Issy Classic. So let's go out and get that. Bro, this is great. Dude, we're getting some nice prep missions. This prep mission is going to be at the Sandy Shores Airfield, which I mean, this mission is a little bit annoying just the way it's set up. At least solo, it's a little bit annoying. We have to go to the airstrip and then we have to like steal a vehicle, deliver it to the arcade, then go back here and then do it all over again. I mean, yeah, as far as location is concerned, it's way better than what it could be. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. Holy, oh my God, that scared me. You don't even know what probably even happened. I got jump scared by 
the horn to start the race. Like, I feel like that's incredibly embarrassing. Okay, how are y'all not dead? Okay, one's dead. Can I hit a cheeky snipe in the clouds? Okay, I need to go stop that car before it goes all the way to Vice City. Oh, never mind. It just takes laps around the airstrip. All right, come on. How did I hit him? I don't even know how I hit him there, but apparently I did. So now we just need to deliver these getaway vehicles to the arcade, which is going to be across the pond. Then we should be good to go. All right, and there we go. We've delivered our getaway vehicles and we can actually go here. We can upgrade our getaway vehicles. I mean, it's kind of silly, but I kind of want to do it just for like one reason. You can spend $25,000 per getaway vehicle to get certain upgrades. So like this top upgrade right here, the upgrade level three, it installs turbo and 100% armor upgrades from level one and level two are also included which i don't even know what that means i literally came over here just to make this car orange for the dr crusher orange that's it that's quite literally it that's all i want to do the okay, same thing applies over to this other getaway vehicle so yeah we'll just make it orange and there we go two orange getaway vehicles all right so now what we have to do is go out and get the hacking device so yeah let's go ahead and get into that all right so we've made it over to the fib building we had to go and get a security pass which we already did so now we need to enter the fib building with our bullet holes on our coat but you know it's all good because we have to security pass no one's gonna judge us so now we just need to take the elevator up to the upper levels all right so yeah we're supposed to be looking for a device and you pull out your sight to your app which is in your phone but i already have it pulled up the hacking device is in the bathroom very interesting okay, i guess i won't judge uh yeah so we just need to return to the elevator i think we just need to get out of here and we should be good to go yeah, you know, I didn't do that. I had a feeling the security was going to go off. I don't think there's any way around that. Yeah, but anyways, we should have to lose the cops, head all the way back to our arcade, and we should be good to go. All right, and there we go. Hacking device has been delivered. All right, so everything for the support crew has been taken care of. And we have three more mandatory prep missions that we have to do. And then we have a bunch of optional prep missions. And one of the optional prep missions is going to be the way I actually want to get into this big con approach, which is going to be the young ancestor approach but in order to do that we actually still need to get an entry disguise so yeah i guess i'll take care of that now i mean the best entry disguise is going to be this one right here the group sex gear i mean all of them according to this are split into two parts so i might as well get the best one just in case the things go bad so yeah let's go get this all right so there's apparently a van that's up here in Polito bay which is actually kind of nice and then yeah we're supposed to steal this stockade but the thing with this mission is that apparently one of these guys has like key but yeah, we have to be like, oh no, it's locked. And now we have to go like to the mechanic or one of the mechanics that we shot and steal their keys. And then once we get the keys, we can get into the stockade, bring it back to our arcade. And then that'll be it for this prep mission. All right, there we go. Part one for that has been complete. So now let's get into part two. Right, so here we go. Here's part two. So yeah, let's go and figure out what that's going to be. All right, so we made it all the way down here. And what we need to do here, we need to take a photo of the stockade's license plate. But then we also have to steal some gear and bring it back to our arcade, which is going to be a little annoying due to our location. Not much to see here. All right, and there we go. We acquired the outfits. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to jump into these young ancestor missions right here. Now, these technically are not required, but this is going to be our entry disguise. It's a little confusing because this is going to be our entry disguise for the finale, but we needed to complete an entry disguise mission, which is what we just did. But anyways, yeah, let's jump into the first mission right here. Yeah, as I've said before, I've never done this approach for the diamond casino eyes before so this is going to be definitely interesting for me and if i do something a little bit wrong just bear with me all right made it over to the diamond casino so apparently young ancestor wants us to find his rental car dark blue rental this looks blue okay not dark enough okay there's a lot of dark blue cars am i blind or something i cannot find this oh is it here oh he put it in the was this the handicap parking <laughs> okay okay that makes sense okay i i don't know what's going on with young ancestor he said there's like a chopper outside of his room but we need to drive the rental car into the land act reservoir and ditch it because there's apparently some evidence in here oh my okay he just changed his mind we need to go to the abandoned lot and burn the rental my goodness mr ancestor man wait 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 hold on i'm trying to think of like the logistics in real life he's gonna burn a rental car how can you get away with burning a rental i'm really trying to wrap my head around that buy it outright then it makes more sense in my opinion i don't know i'm thinking too long 
logically about this. This is Grand Theft Auto. This isn't real life simulator. Dude, now he wants me to go to the scrapyard and crush the rental car. Oh my, I swear, dude. Oh my God. He changed his mind twice, dude. This guy's a little paranoid and I'm kind of understanding why he's a little paranoid. It's because of what's in the... No, my God, he's calling again. Okay, so now we're going to go to the altruist camp. Oh my God. Okay, yeah, this is probably going to be our final destination. Oh, geez. So we have to deliver the rental car to the Atrus camp to get rid of the evidence for young ancestor once and for all. So yeah, I can already tell why people don't use this entry disguise. Like not just that you have to do extra missions just to do this, but also the fact that this mission is a little bit annoying. Okay, so young ancestor confirmed that this is where we're going this time. Hello, hello. Okay, okay. Nice guns you got there. Okay, yeah, looking over a dead corpse right there. I see you, yeah. Okay, kicking a dead corpse. Okay, interesting. Okay, nice gun you got there. What do you got? Oh, a sawed off shotgun, sir. Very cool. Very cool. Um, yeah, here you go. I guess you can have the rental car just in case if you ever want to go into the city. Um, oh, there's a movie prop here, too. Yeah, why not? Get a movie prop, too, while I'm at. Oh, my God. I have to return it to Solomon Richards. I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> I just pushed that guy off. Oh, that's so funny. All right, and there we go. Mission complete. Well, that was a little annoying of a mission, but it's all good. All right, so now we're back here. And obviously, as you can see, we have one check mark by the Young Ancestor pamphlet. So yeah, let's go and let's get that other check mark by doing the next mission. Okay, so once again, we need to go over to the Diamond Casino. Uh, apparently, Young Ancestor wants to talk to us face to face, apparently. So yeah, let's head over to the casino. Okay, so Young Ancestor called us back and apparently there's some guys in his apartment that got some evidence or something so yeah we have to destroy the evidence aka take these guys out okay you're being a little annoying guy bro he's evading everything oh my god a pressure missiles are terrible there we go one down three to go all right there we go another piece of evidence taken out two more to go there we go another piece of evidence taken out one more to go all right, and there we go. Um, all cameras were destroyed. Wait, I thought there was another mission that I had to do. There's a specific setup mission that I thought I was going to do. That wasn't it. Oh, oh, the mission that I wanted to do has nothing to do with the young ancestor, <laughs> which is hilarious. Oh my God, it's kind of silly by me. But I mean, I still wanted to do the young ancestor approach because I've never done it before. Uh, but anyways, we have two more mandatory prep work that we have to do. We have to get vault drills and we have to get vault key cards. So yeah, first, First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do the vault drill mission so let's go steal that so yeah pretty much i think for this one we have to go steal two vault drills and bring it back to the arcade problem is i can only carry one at a time so this is gonna be a little boring so i'll see you for our next setup mission all right and there we go the vault drills have been acquired um so yeah we have one more mandatory prep that we have to do which is gonna be the vault key card so yeah let me jump into that okay so apparently we need to steal a prison bus containing guard uniforms and use them to infiltrate bowling Brook Penitentiary. So essentially, we are doing the prison break heist just to get some key cards. Okay, the prison bus is about to arrive pretty soon. So I'm gonna need this bus, please. Holy crap, I can't aim. Fantastic, fantastic. That is great, yeah. Oh, I got it. I got the driver, but I died in the process. <laughs> all right, so now let me drive four and a half miles all the way to Bowling Pro Penitentiary. Yeah, one of the big reasons why the Diamond Casino heist isn't used a whole lot nowadays to try to make a ton of money is the fact that all these setups, it kind of take a little bit. I've done some I probably didn't even need to do, like the Young Ancestor missions, but still, it's taken me roughly like two hours to get to this point so far, and we're about to finally complete our final mandatory setup mission, but there's gonna be two more that I think are pretty worth it of the optional preps that we have to do and then there's gonna be another one that i'm just looking forward to doing and then we'll actually be ready to go for the finale all right so i finally made it over to bowling brook penitentiary so here we go just doing the prison break heist haha -ha. oh wait for the gate to open i'm so used to us being forced to stop right here okay, there we go gates open i need this gate to open thank you very much and we need to search the tower for the prison guard i mean okay right, so here we go this is the tower we need to search right here which is search the tower for the prison guard which is at the top of of this tower. So way I can do this stealthy? I don't remember. I feel like we always get the cops. I'm not 100% sure on that. Wait, where's this guy? Huh? Did I just walk past him? I didn't even know it. Oh my god, let's see how stupid I am. Oh my god, he was just sitting right here. I'm, mm, I'm so sorry. You know, it's February right now. It's about to be baseball. 
I was about to say it's baseball season. There's about to be baseball season, but there we go. Search the guard for the vault key card, and there we go. So now I just need to lose the cops, but the problem is I am just inside of the prison, so I'm gonna try to get myself out of here by doing a little bit of that action. Worked for me to get out of the prison. Uh, I still have the cops on me. It's not a big deal. Let me get out of this hideous outfit. Okay, never mind. I can't get out this outfit yet. All right, and there we go. All we had to do is just lose the cops. All right, so yeah, there we go. We could technically start up the heist right now, but I don't think it's in our best interest to do that. So we're gonna do three more options preps uh the first one that we're gonna do is gonna be the exit disguise i'm kind of shocked this isn't mandatory we can either choose between noose and firefighter gear but if you also collect every single playing card which is one of the collectibles in gta online there'll be another exit disguise of being a high roller which then if you have that then you don't actually need to do an exit disguise and i don't think there's anything connected with exit disguises with young ancestor but i don't know i've never done it before so i could be wrong with that but just to be safe i'm gonna get firefighter gear i think firefighter gear is gonna be better than the noose gear at least that's what i've heard so yeah let's go ahead and get that okay so we have to go ahead and steal a fire truck but here we go yeah i have a fire truck now i think we have to lose the cops and take this back to our arcade and then we should be good to go all right and there we go we acquired the firefighter outfits all right the next thing we need to do is we need to get a security pass now there's gonna be different levels of security passes that we can actually get so this one right here is gonna be level one security pass and this one right here is gonna be a level two security pass we're gonna want to get the level two security pass it's going to give us a little bit more options of where to go. So yeah, let's go ahead and acquire this. All right, so pretty much we need to blend in with a party. So yeah, we need to like go around and avoid suspicion. So now we need to locate this croupier, which is one of these guys that are just like face down after, you know, having too much fun. But there we go. Got the security pass. Oh, never mind. He didn't have the security pass on him. So yeah, that was a big waste of time. Oh, uh, so yeah, now we need to locate the security pass. Should be just laying it down somewhere. Oh, it's right here. It's over here by this plant. And there we go. We have that acquired so all we have to do is just pretty much leave the area and we should be good to go all right and there we go heist prep complete so we have one more heist prep that we have to do so let's get into that all right so the final prep work that i'm going to do is actually going to be the security intel mission now i don't think this is really that necessary at all but i think there's a mission in here that's pretty fun so yeah let's launch this mission and let's figure it out all right so for this mission we need to go over to rockford plaza we have to go down here then we have to get to this point right here and then we get in a cutscene and look it's our boy vincent my goodness he's about to be a very busy guy pretty soon but yeah anyways yeah we're just chilling with vincent right here and if you don't remember this was the guy that worked at the diamond casino as the bouncer but then he got fired and he just got run over i'm uh, not gonna lie vincent you gotta have that agility you know you gotta get out the way and then you know go pop pop you know but it's fine it's fine you know i'll save you vincent you're too good of a guy i'll just boost it into a wall okay so yeah we have to search the area for the gauntlet that gauntlet that just ran over vincent our boy vincent who's gonna be pretty busy in 2024 okay there's the gauntlet now we have to recover this gauntlet duh i am in the wrong vehicle for this great excuse me can you stop your car Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna get a different car for this. I am going to pull out my Viva Knight. The Viva Knight that we just bought pretty recently. Ah, uh, never mind. Never mind. I don't have to chase him down anymore. He made it to his crew. All right, so yeah, we have to take out a bunch of these guys. All right, yeah, I think we're good. So yeah, now we're in the gauntlet and we should have to take it back to Rockford Plaza. All right, so we made it back to Rockford Plaza. Oh my God. Vincent made a miraculous recovery. He gets run over by a car. I mean, he has a noticeable limp, but it's okay. Okay, and there we go. Vincent's gonna give us a flash drive full of, I think, security intel at the Diamond Casino. Goodbye, Vincent. I'll see you soon. And there we go. Heist prep complete. I've never even done that mission before, but I want to do it because of Vincent. And Vincent's gonna get pretty busy pretty soon. But now it's time for us to get into this heist finale. So yeah, let's start this heist up. All right, so we have all the subs I want to do, and it's a brand new day for me. Before we go into it, I just want to mention we're not getting some of these optional prep missions because I think it's a little bit unnecessary necessary yeah i think patrol routes are kind of unnecessary for this dug in shipments i mean we really shouldn't be even hitting any guards or at least dealing with any guards like we shouldn't be shooting anyone inside the diamond casino and this one affects like how good their weapons and armor are power drills um yeah i've had people who've really hadn't done a diamond casino heist before and they're standing like right next to like a bundle of cash but instead they use a power drill to like get the safety deposit boxes that are like right beside it which is far less valuable so we're just gonna avoid that 
that from happening again. And we had the potential to acquire mass too, but that is unnecessary. So yeah, this is how we're going to go into the Diamond Casino heist. Oh, nice. Okay, we get a nice cutscene. We are going to skip that. All right, anyways, here we are. Uh, For this heist, I got two other players in. Uh, you can't do this solo. And when you get something other than the artwork, I think it's personally better to get at least three people. Anyways, we have to pick our entry disguise, which we are going to use the Young Ancestor Entry Disguise, which is going to be through the main door, which is going to be very interesting. Uh, Exit strategy is going to be staff lobby. Exit disguise, we're going to be using the firefighter exit disguise. All right, and the buyer that we're going to use, we're going to use the high level buyer because it's going to give us the most amount of money. So yeah, this is how I want this heist to run. And usually people will accept 15%. Some people might be a little bit annoying. I don't feel obligated to give these people more than 15% because they haven't helped me out. They just showed up. They're lucky to be here. Anyways, jump into the heist. Dude, this kind of looks sick. I'm kind of digging the purple here. But before we actually get into the heist, make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave a like down below while you're at it because we're about to rob the Diamond Casino heist. Okay, here we go. We are doing the Diamond Casino heist, the big con approach. Okay, it says, I got the label to leave you a vehicle. Use it if you need a ride to the Diamond. And remember, you legit competition winners. Um, Okay, I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Yeah, I just want to make this very clear. I don't know exactly how to do this approach. I haven't watched any guides on this. So this is going to be very interesting. Usually I come prepared, but I wanted to come to this one without really any preparation just to see how it goes. Oh my goodness. I'm not driving. Just want to make that clear as someone else. Oh yeah, by the way, we are doing this heist with a level 264 and a level 122. So pretty good level individuals. Hopefully these people have the mental wherewithal to actually be able to complete a Diamond Casino heist. All right, so finally made it over to the Diamond Casino. Now what are we doing? Okay, so we just have to make it to the casino, I guess. What are we supposed to do from here? Oh, we have to go to management area. Got it. Okay. So yeah, this part's a little bit annoying. I can't run throughout the casino anymore. We have to walk all the way over to management area. Can I play a slot machine? No? Thanks, game. All right, so we made it to the management area. Now what's happening? Are we going to get a cutscene or something? Oh yeah, we are getting a cutscene. Oh, Brucey. Mmm. Nice to see you. Okay, well, young ancestor and Brucey are kind of freaking out right now. Hey, yo, well, okay. <laughs> Just shot him in the leg. Wait, how did you not hear the gunshot? <laughs> she kind of heard it. <laughs> What is going on? Okay, so we got a card. Okay, and then we just shifted through a door, I guess. And now we're in here. Now what? We have to get to the basement. This is our way to the basement? There's no way that's how we get to the basement. What? We already alerted the guards. Okay. Yeah, we're screwed. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's just restart. Yeah, just restart. It's fine. Yeah, okay. All right, so that cutscene was actually pretty funny. But I think the heist from here on out is going to be incredibly hard. Because, you know, we're not disguised up pretty pretty well. No, this guy's shooting. Yeah, no, you can't use real guns. Oh, dude, this is gonna be so difficult. My goodness. I'm just gonna die on purpose. Shoot me. Oh, he just shot the guy behind me. Oh my god, I'm trying to die. I'm trying to die. Hold on, give me. Okay, okay, I'm gonna have to try to take charge. I mean, if worse comes to worse, I can switch the outfit. That is not a problem because we have the best outfit in our back pocket. One of these guys keeps making the same mistake. I want to take charge. I want to get up ahead. No, dude, do not use that. Don't use that. Okay? He's using it. It's the same guy, isn't it? Yeah, that guy keeps making mistakes. Bro, I'm trying to die because I want to do this stealthy. Kill me. Thank you. I would like to do this stealthy. Okay, well, I figured out the stairwell part. I'm very happy with that. The stairwell part doesn't seem to be that hard. Okay, yeah, you just have to wait for the camera to pan and then just jump around like that. And then you get down here and then this is where I got to figure out where to go. Yeah, he's been caught. Yeah, you've been caught. It's the same guy. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. Wait, you know what? I'm kind of thinking, like, what was that card that we stole off of the desk? What is that even for? I don't even know what that's for. Okay, this guy really wants to go in this way, but th there's guards in here. There's a guard right there. Okay, took him out quick. We don't have suppressors on here. This guy thinks we have suppressors. Bro, this is just starting to piss me off. Okay. I mean, sure, we can make it down here, but I'm just gonna be honest. Y'all are gonna die. I mean, yeah, we're down here and whatnot, but you know, if y'all can make it all the way back there to the vault, then I'll keep going. But if we fail on this attack, Oh, geez, I'm about to die. I don't want to be the one that dies up. If we fail, then we're going to move on and we're going to go back to the best way to do this. Okay, they're actually not doing bad now. This is where we needed me to do the Duggan Shipments mission. See, if I did the Duggan Shipments, then it would have been a lot easier to take out these guys. But I mean, at the same time, we shouldn't have to take out these guys. Okay, I guess we're going to do it then. Okay, I will keep going, I guess. I said if they were able to make it, then we'll keep going. Okay, we've made it over to the vault door. Um, Let's go grab the cash, I guess. This is how I like to do it, just because I'm good at the hack. I like to go and 
and try to get the hacks done. Okay, I gotta do this hack real quick. If my team doesn't get a lot of money, then I might just dip. But I think we're doing all right, yeah. On a good run, I think three people should get close to all of the money. But since we alerted the guards, we only have two minutes instead of three minutes to try to take everything. So yeah, that's not good, but man, yeah, whatever. I think we did get a lucky run though, at least as far as like the vault door. I don't think there was too many doors we had to hack through, which is nice. And we have like three more things to get. I don't think we have enough time to get the rest of everything. Oh, then another teammate's trying to hack. We don't have enough time to get all that other stuff. <laughs> One teammate's still hacking and then one's grabbing cash. Yeah, I'm just getting out. I mean, the gas is about to come on in. Uh, we're gonna leave with 1,500,000 ish. Yeah, you can stay in there while the gas is still going, but it eats away at your health. So don't wanna stay in there too long. All right, so now we have to make it out of here, which is gonna be a little interesting. Every time we do get hit, our take is gonna go down. So obviously we don't want that. Ah, here we go. Yeah, these guys that have so much health. Yeah, I think I remember saying we don't really need to use our weapons. Unfortunately, that is not, oh my God, I'm about to die. Unfortunately, that is not the case here. Bop. There you go, that's a one shot. All right, I'm using the elevator. I'm using the elevator because we already have alerted everyone. Okay, how are we gonna get out of here? You know, we don't need exit disguise anymore. Bop, bop, nice. Well, that wasn't smart. I tried to melee that guy again, but I died. Yeah, I am very curious at how you're supposed to do this, like, incredibly stealthy. Like, I'm sure there's a way, but you're gonna have to be extremely coordinated. Yeah, but anyway, since I died, we, uh, spawned back here. So, you have to make it all the way back to where we were again. Well, nice. Both my teammates died. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way around it. This is my fault. <laughs> <laughs> this is my fault that we're in this situation just because I chose this approach. But hey, we're having a fun time. Or at least I am. Dude, that guy keeps dying. Oh my God, you're kind of pissing me off now. I mean, you've been pissing me off. Bro, and then that guy left. Instead of leaving, how about just think about dying and then not do that? Bro, and that was a level 264 too. Oh my God, you are not a level 264. He alerted the guards, I think, every time. And he died, I think, 10 times, roughly. All right, young ancestor approach was pretty fun, but we're not gonna do that again. We're gonna use the other approach that we've already prepared for. What? I literally just loaded in and four people are already here. I don't know how that, I quite literally just clicked to start this up and four people just already appeared. Didn't have to click on a single thing. You know what? Fine. I'll do this with all these guys. I don't know though. I kind of, you know, no, 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 no. They earned it. They earned it. I was about to be greedy for a second, but no, 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 no. And they're all pretty decent levels too. Or It's not decent. That's good. Those are good levels. Ah, the cutscene again that I'm going to skip through. So our entry disguise last time was the young and ancestor entry disguise. Now, as we saw it, that wasn't fun. All right, okay, no, no, okay. I need to use my words correctly. It was fun. It wasn't smart. I had a fun time. So this time we're going to use this one, the fun word one. So our entrance is going to be the security tunnel. Um, our exit uh, is going to be the staff lobby and exit disguise is going to be firefighters. We're going to use the high level buyers because we're not broke boys. All right, here we go. So let's try this again. The big con approach for the casino heist. Oh, no way. He died from that too. No way. No way. That was hilarious. Oh my God. That is so funny. Okay, anyways, we have to head over to the casino in the stockade right here. And this is gonna be the best strategy for the big con approach. And in my opinion, this is the best way to do the diamond casino heist as a whole. I mean, obviously you can't just do the big con approach just repeatedly, but if you have the choice between big con and any of the other two, you are obviously choosing the big con. And yeah, you're really gonna see just how easy this method is compared to what we just went through. Like this is gonna be quite literally a cakewalk. And we have four people in here too, so we should get all the cash. So yeah, this should be a good time. All right, we finally made it over to the Diamond Casino. And this time we are not going through the main entrance. We are gonna go over here and we're gonna go down here and it, it cuts us off there. And yeah, it's gonna show us entering the casino underground. Okay, so now we're inside the casino, but we're at a completely different spot. But anyways, yeah, we need to make it over to the loading bay, kind of like the prison break heist where you kind of just sit here and you're like, hello, I need to get in. All right, so now all we have to do is go to the loading bay. So, yeah, let's park the truck. And now it's time for us to get going. So, yeah, we need to head down to the basement. And, yeah, I think we can actually use the elevator. Usually on the way out, after collecting all your stuff, you don't want to use the elevator. But I think we can use the elevator here. All right, and you're about to see why this is going to be the best strategy. Because we are already down at the bottom floor. Obviously, no one's been alerted. And we can literally just run right past these people. We can just walk right past them. They don't care. I mean, last time, if we wanted to do it sneaky, we had to, like, 
try to sneak around them. But this time around, we don't have to, at least down here and before we get into the vault. We can just walk right past them. And then we have a little bit of freedom on our way out too, which you'll see. All right, and here we go. We've made it here. And yeah, this guy doesn't even suspect a thing. We are so close to our objective and he's literally just going to open the vault door for us. I really appreciate it, sir. You are a kind gentleman, but you are also a tired gentleman because you're getting knocked out and put to bed. All right, let's go get our cash. All right, same ordeal. Um, I'm going to, okay, that person wants to, go ahead. You want to hack? Go ahead. I'll hack right here then. Yeah, see, last time we had like two minutes and something we have three minutes and i think 20 seconds here because we didn't alert any of the guards okay there you go that hack is done i'm gonna try to find more hacks before i start collecting stuff i just want to take care of the hacks myself just because i know i can complete these hacks and i don't know if my teammates you know have the capabilities of actually completing these hacks so i'd rather just take it into my own hands because i'm pretty good at these hacks but there we go that hack is done easy okay this would have been the time for me to get the power drill if i would have gotten the power drill for this time around like that would have made sense because we could have gotten these boxes with probably a good amount of time left still, but it's okay. Yeah, I think we've almost fully looted the place. Yeah, the last two spots are being looted right now, which is crazy. Yeah, I mean, we've done this incredibly quick. So yeah, I guess I'm just gonna chill out here. All right, and there we go. We have the entire take right there of $2,115,000. So now we have to make it out of here. And at least on this level, we are still stealthy or at least we're still disguised. We can just walk right past these guys and they won't suspect the thing. All right, so the doors is gonna open up. No one's shooting at us like last time. We can literally just hop right past them. They don't care. All right, and this time around, we're gonna use the stairs. All right, now we're on a different level, and yeah, now we have the cops, but we're still under stealth. Take out that guy. Take out that guy. Take out that guy. Guy. Okay, good. Okay, good. There's just a lot of chaos going on right here. No, he, he shot the gun. Yeah, okay, yeah. There's just too many people, and they're too aggressive, these guys I'm playing with. We could have done this completely stealthy, but some of my teammates screwed it up. They got a little ahead of me. What happened? Oh, I guess someone died. I didn't see that. And then obviously, as we started out this heist, someone died. Can't believe that actually came back to bite us. Getting out of here is not that hard, in my opinion. You just got to do it right. I think the people that did it last time, they rushed. They rushed a little bit. You got to take your time with it. So I'm going to try to get out ahead as much as possible. Okay, so now we're up here. We want to wait for, as you can see on the mini map, there's a guard that's about to turn the corner and pass right by us. We want to wait for this guard to pass by this door. And then once he passes, by this door. We want to melee. Okay, I'm stuck. Okay. I want to melee him, and yeah, we can do that quietly. And then there's going to be another guard, as you can see on the mini-map, turning the corner right there, and then as he passes by us right there, melee him like that. And now, I can sneak. Shoot, I can't sneak in there. Uh-oh. Okay, good. I thought that was about to screw us over for a second. All right, so now we need to go collect our outfits, our exit disguises. So yeah, now we can get into a different disguise. We're gonna get into a firefighter outfit because the firefighters have to come in and make sure, you know, things are A-OK -okay after someone robs the place. So one of my teammates doesn't have a disguise. I wonder, who is it? It's you. Yeah, get your disguise. Get your disguise. All right, cool, cool, cool. That guy's getting this disguise. All right, so now we can walk past everyone once again and we should be good to go. They want us to exit through the main entrance. I wanna use the side entrance. Okay. Okay. I don't know why people are using the main entrance. I don't think that's smart. Did I accidentally set it at main entrance? I don't think I meant to do that. If this is how y'all want to go out, then okay, fine. Very interesting. I don't think I've exited this way before. Yeah. So now we're just literally walking through the casino like a moron. Yeah. What are we doing? This is stupid. It's just a waste of time. We're just walking a little more. I mean, we're still stealthy though. I mean, no one suspects that there's a firefighter just walking through the casino. Okay. We've made it to the main entrance now. So <laughs> can we actually get out of here? Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Here here comes all the SWAT team and whatnot. I mean, sure, fine. I'm just gonna walk right past y'all. Y'all looking for a guy in a paper mask when instead he's just a firefighter. So yeah, all we have to do now is just to deliver the loot to the buyer. Yeah, you know, we're literally just running past cops right now. So yeah, I'm gonna head over to a car, probably our main. Did someone get caught? Dude, why? Why are y'all getting caught? Who got caught there? Okay, anyways, yeah, let me get this cop car then. I don't know where my teammates went, but I think they got caught and I don't know where they're going either to be honest but i have a teammate with me and we can just get into a helicopter like smart intelligent people so yeah we're gonna get here and same ordeal as the union depository contract we're gonna just go over here climb up here climb this way climb up here climb up here turn around this way climb up here and look at that a beautiful helicopter just sitting and waiting for us and where are my teammates they're really trying to make a getaway for it ah uh, poor guys so now we just have to lose the cops and deliver the loot to the fire but it's gonna be a collective unit it can't be just two of us doing it you know i 
would like for my other teammates to get in the helicopter. Hello. Do y'all want to? Nope. They're driving away from me. Okay. Oh, teammates. Oh, teammates. I'm just chilling in a helicopter and y'all are sweating when I mean, y'all don't have to sweat. All you have to do is just stop the car. Nice. 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 Now. Yeah. There you go. Okay. That was not close. Now y'all are using your heads. Good job. Good job, fellas. Huh? <laughs> that guy didn't get in. I thought you were in. I'm so sorry. It looked like he was getting in on my screen. And then at the last second, he was like falling out. So now we can deliver the loot to the buyer. But we have to lose the cops. But that shouldn't be an issue in a helicopter. All right. And there we go. We lost the cops. Um, As we were leaving the Diamond Casino, I think we lost like $80,000, which kind of sucks. All right. And there we go. We have made it to the buyer. We didn't even have to land our helicopter. Yep. There you go. There's our briefcase. They're going to take their little duffel bag. And there we go. Heist pass. What? bronze excuse me i kind of orchestrated that for the most part okay but anyways i got 55 percent of that so i got eight hundred and fifty one thousand dollars. all right so after that dime casino heist we're now sitting on we're now sitting on me getting run over. Excellent timing. But anyways, we're sitting on $865,000. So we still need to make over $9 million before we can actually purchase the Galaxy Super Yacht. But you're going to have to see just how we're going to get the rest of this money so we can actually purchase the yacht. Make sure on this account, we started as a level one in GTA Online. And the only way I made money was by spinning a wheel determining what I should buy next. But today in this video, we will continue our final journey to purchase the most expensive item in gta online to reach a luxurious state in society finally so welcome to episode 80 of season number two of loser to luxury and without further ado let's jump into it so we are starting on part two of a four part finale for loser to luxury and i just finished up last episode and in that episode we completed our first diamond casino heist as a leader on this account so now we're sitting on eight hundred and sixty five thousand dollars. and currently right now i'm standing inside of my facility and this is pretty much a dead giveaway of what we are doing in this video we are doing the doomsday scenario heist but this doomsday scenario heist is not going to be like any other with this heist you need at least one more player to actually start up all the setups and the finale i am quite literally just going to do this heist all by myself yeah i know you're probably so confused right now how we're gonna do this but it's gonna happen and we're gonna get a clap that you probably didn't even know that you really even wanted but yeah you'll see what i mean but yeah, let's go ahead and let's start setting up the doomsday scenario heist. All right, so I'm at my planning board right here and I already completed all the preps I can do. I can't complete this last prep down here until I completed the first four setups. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing all the setups by myself. So yeah, let's get into our first setup right here, which is going to be rescuing agent 14. Okay, actually, no, I'm changing my mind. We're not gonna start out with this setup. It's gonna make more sense if we get a different setup. All right, instead, we're gonna do the escort ULP setup. We're gonna start out with this. Then we're going to go back to rescuing Agent 14. All right, here we go. Here are the boys right here. We have Season 1 of Loser to Luxury and Season 2 of Loser to Luxury. Hey, where are you going? Okay, low-key, I have to use my bad controller with this other account. Yep, here it is. Season 1 of Loser to Luxury collabs with Season 2 of Loser to Luxury. Never done before. All right, so for this setup, we have to go all the way to Pleto Bay Construction Yard. And if you're wondering how I'm doing this, I actually have two Xboxes. I have an Xbox Series X, which is what I record my videos on but i also have an s and that is what my other account is playing on right now hopefully i don't have to use my other account but so much i'm definitely not going to use it really at all for the finale i want the finale to be truly a one player job for the setups i might need to you know do some stuff like this one right here i'm probably gonna have to use both accounts no i definitely am I'm definitely gonna have to but this first part as long as i don't run into trees shouldn't be too much of an issue oh we can do a skip vote oh yeah i always forget that's a thing yeah, please hurry this up oh you know what i can do hold on hold on i'm gonna make sure friends can drive my vehicle so i want that account to drive and then i want my season two account to be in the passenger seat there's a reason for this all right anyways we've made it all the way up to Polito bay and we have to take out avon security team so yeah the reason i hopped into the passenger seat is because i can just lock on from the passenger seat driver's seat you don't get auto lock yeah but all these setups pretty much are going to take a lot of coordination out of me like this is interesting i'm picking up like one controller to like use and then like i sit the other one down to use the other one 
Yeah. Like right now, I'm using one to drive, one to actually shoot. Yeah, the only reason I want to do this setup first is just to show off that we are using both of the Loser to Luxury accounts. I couldn't show that on the first setup. Okay, I think we have one more person to take out, which is going to be this guy right here. So we can have that. So everyone's taken out. Oh, uh, so now we need to get into the Chernabog. So once again, I'm going to have season one drive, and then season two is going to be in the gunner seat right here. Yeah, but from this point on, this setup is really the most boring setup in the game. We have to go to the landing site and we have to escort ULP to go like halfway across the map, but he goes at a snail's pace. All right, here we go. We've made it to the landing site. And yeah, from this point on, I pretty much have to like coordinate with myself to stop and shoot pretty much like the pursuing helicopters. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to say, we're doing this heist on hard. Or, okay, oh, we're definitely doing the heist on hard. We're actually doing the setups on hard too, just to spice things up a bit. And look at Agent ULP's like health. It is going down quickly. Yeah, ULP's health is at a quarter. Like, I don't know what else I can do differently here. I mean, we're pretty close to the end, but that is still a very narrow margin. Oh my god, ULP said they're dropping off the radar. Look how much health he has. Oh my gosh. Alright, and there we go. Set up pass. Season 2 obviously got platinum. I mean, I got most of the kills there. Oh my god, you're not seeing this right now, but Season 1 got $63,000 for this setup. Dude, I did not know a setup for this pays out that much. I'm gonna be honest. I don't even think I've done a setup as a guest for a Doomsday Heist. I've always been the leader. All right, here we go. We are jumping into our next setup, which we are coming back to rescuing Agent 14. Now, we just completed the most annoying setup out of all of these setups. And now we got to do the hardest one. All right, so we've made it over to the shipyard. So now we need to take out a bunch of people. We're going to do it like I did last time and just take out all these people. Because once again, season one's driving and season two is shooting. Oh, yeah, once again, this setup is going to be on hard, which might be a mistake. Just because this setup is one of the hardest missions in the game. I forgot exactly where I ranked it when I ranked the top 10 artist missions in GTA Online, but it was up there. Okay, I think that's all the people I can take out from inside the car. I think everyone else is a little bit too far away, at least in my opinion. Okay, I took out everyone. Yeah, now we need to go to Agent 14, and before I do that, I'm gonna get Season 1 out of my car. I'm gonna return my car to my personal storage, because we're about to do some stuff right there. Dude, I just found a good hiding spot for Season 1. Okay, huge. My Season 1 account is literally hiding behind that cargo container. But anyways, yeah, this is the part where I thought it'd be a little bit interesting because I don't know how this is going to go. Okay, well, no one's really paying any attention to season one right now, so I'm just chilling right now with season one. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, season one's running around like a weirdo. And then my season two account died. Yeah, okay. So yeah, this is where it's going to get a little bit interesting. I had a feeling, at least it's definitely this first part, is going to be a little bit interesting. You know what? I'm going to kind of cheese a little bit. My season one account has a vigilante, so I'm going to use a vigilante at least right now. I didn't want to do this, but I mean, I've already proven I can do this first part easily. So, okay, once again, I took out all the guys. Uh, let's see if I can survive with both accounts. <laughs> oh my gosh. My season one account, it literally says, wait for your team to finish the cutscene because I'm so far away. It's at the spawn location where we spawn in this time around. Okay, there we go. Uh, those three juggernauts have been taken out, but we have some more. You know what? I have an idea. What if I take my season one account and I call back my vigilante? I'm gonna send some homing missiles their way. I just want to hit this checkpoint, this first checkpoint. And once I hit this first checkpoint, I can do the rest by myself, I think. I just hate this part so much. Okay, I got one. I got one of them. Huh? How did that get blown up? Oh, it must have just taken too many minigun shots. Oh my god. This is annoying. Yeah, I knew this setup was gonna be annoying, but oh my gosh. I might just need to get a pair of balls and just take it out on my main account, my season two account. Okay, once again, for a third time, everyone's been taken out. Now, can I do this quite literally on my own? Not gonna use my season one account to help this time. All right, there you go. First wave has been taken out, but there's gonna be another wave coming in. No! Oh my god. This is really pissing me off. There's no excuse there. That was my fault. Ugh. Okay, once again, first wave is done. We just have to get the next wave. What a fun idea to put this on hard. It was just such a fun idea I had. Bro, can this guy die? Okay, there we go. All the juggernauts have been taken out. We just have, like, another wave of goons. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, I think that's a checkpoint after taking out that last guy. After that part, it gets a little bit easier. At least in my opinion, it does. Yeah, for most of the second part, we just have to take out some of his goons which really isn't too bad at all, especially if you hit your headshots. Ah, uh, but there's going to be a few more Juggernauts we're going to have to take out. I think it's two more? No, four more. Sorry, four more. 
Okay, well, that was dumb. Not gonna lie, I was trying to melee that guy. I thought he was a little closer around that corner. But it's okay. We hit a checkpoint. Okay, yep, there we go. We hit a checkpoint. Nice. This might be shocking, but I actually think that this setup is gonna be harder to do than the finale. I really think so. There's just a ton of juggernauts we had to take out here. There's not as many to take out during the finale. Yeah, I, I think for doing this solo sake, I think this is harder than the finale, but we'll see. I need to one get through this so we can actually attempt the finale. No, oh, no, dude. Oh, dude, that is so frustrating. There's a helicopter in the sky. So what do you do when a helicopter's in the sky? You take out said helicopter. But as you take out said helicopter, they walk up to you, shake your hand, and then kill you. Okay, let's move forward. This has been my best run so far. Bye. Okay, but we're about to hit to the next part where there's going to be more juggernauts. Yay. Found a very, very narrow gap to shoot through. Can this actually work? Oh my god, we actually... <laughs> that is so funny. We actually did get a juggernaut. You can't do it both like that. I think there is like a cheesy spot I can get, if I remember correctly. Was it this? No, it was definitely not this. No way. No way way written apology written with a no no i was about to say written with a pen no mm -mm. you're gonna pluck a feather out and you're gonna write it with a feather in ink it is embarrassing uh-uh uh-uh no 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 why is my guy not doing the normal thing you know when you're right there at a corner you peer around the corner instead of just aiming right at the corner like no like come on no i don't take any responsibility for that that's just hold on hold on i'm being stupid i'm being really dumb for a second well i uh, this is agent 14's fault. Look how close he is to the action. It's not really that bad of a spot. It's just Agent 14 is right in my way and he can't die. I, you know what? Screw it. I might as well. I'm not using explosives after what happened last time. Wow, that worked. That worked. That worked. Wow, Agent 14, you are a great bodyguard. No, you're more like a great shield. And it's also going to be interesting how we're going to get out of here. My Season 1 account is just chilling right now. Before we do that, there are more juggernauts that we have to take out. Okay, there we go. One juggernaut down. There we go. We got it. We got him. We got them both. There's like one more guard or something. Like right here. Please. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Is that going to be three? Is that going to be three apologies for one mission game? How does this guy still alive? There we go. Just stop. Just perish. You're a clone. So yeah, all we have to do now is just take Agent 14 to the drop off. All right. We finally made it a drop off. That was very frustrating. I really think that's going to be harder than the finale. I, I really do just because of all those juggernauts. But there we go. Set up pass. Of course, season two is going to get platinum because season one quite literally was hiding in a corner. But season one got paid $67,500 for that setup, which is nuts. All right, here we go. We are at our next setup. We're doing the barrage setup. And the setups from here on out are going to be a lot easier. Not necessarily easy, just a lot easier than what we just had to go through. Um, Yeah, this one, I'm using the vigilante. I'm using season one's vigilante. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This is what happened. All right, this is what happened here. So I was trying to trip skip, and I was trying to trip skip on the other account, and well, things didn't go according to plan. I'm actually gonna blow myself up right now. This is stupid. It's gonna take so long just for us to like get a vehicle. <laughs> trip skip okay there we go that's how we trip skip my goodness we don't trip skip by boosting directly into the water no 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 all right so here we go we have made it over to the ambush point so what i like to do here oh we don't even need the vigilante i kind of just realized that because we need to get the barrage but anyways yeah we need to wait for the convoy but i'm not gonna wait because i would like to take matters into my own hands and we are just gonna start shooting yeah this mission you get equipped with a mark ii heavy sniper with explosive rounds so yeah, you can just shoot the convoy and then it should let go. It got too far away. All right, yeah, let me just get over there quickly. Dude, where is this barrage? Oh, it's literally stuck in the tree. Oh my gosh, there's like a convoy coming straight from my season one account. Yeah, we're about to die. Hold on, I gotta hop on my season one account for a second. Season one account wants to be the gunner, even though we're not gonna be gunning anything. Uh-oh. Well, we got run over. Yeah, there's no easy way for me to just get out of that situation. Hopefully season one will be okay with health. But uh, for some reason, I feel like he's going to die. 
Yep, there he goes. Okay. Yeah, all right, all right. I'm gonna have to rethink my strategy. Maybe I just leave the season one account just in a Kuruma. <laughs> that could work. That could work. All right, let's try this again. And my season one account, quite literally, is just in the Kuruma. You know, I need to close the doors. Okay, there we go. Doors are closed on that. Uh, hopefully nothing goes bad. It's kind of funny. They're all just chilling out next to my season one account, or at least that first wave. All right, so we had to drive all the way to Sandy Shores Airfield, and there's gonna be a big cargo plane that's about to take off. So. So yeah, we have to take this thing out. Okay, there we go. Cargo plane has been taken out. Now we just have to take out pretty much everything else that's down here. Okay, I took enough of Avon's goons out. But yeah, now we just have to take the barrage to the drop off. And then I think we should be good to go. All right, I've made it to the drop off. Oh my gosh, season one is still at the observatory. That's crazy. But there we go. Setup pass. We have two more setups that we have to get into. So let's jump into those. All right, here we go. We're jumping into our fourth setup, which is going to be the Kanjali setup. Now, this one's going to be a little interesting. This one, I do feel like can be difficult. But I don't know. We'll see how it goes today. All right, so we've made it to where we needed to go. Now we have to take out a bunch of people. But we also have to take out a bunch of equipment. That's our main objective, take out a bunch of equipment. Here, just take that. Yeah, we should have to blow up a bunch of equipment like that. Okay, all the equipment's been taken out. So now we need to go steal the tank, which shouldn't be too bad. But it can be a little bit interesting just because there's a lot of people that we have to take out. All right, I think we've done a good enough job. So I want season two to be the driver. Okay, good. Uh, season one should be in now. Safe. All right, so now we just have to deliver the Kanjali to the drop-off. But there's going to be some heavy reinforcements that are coming after us. So there's going to be a bunch of helicopters coming at us that are shooting missiles. So that is not good. Oh, my God. I just realized I wasn't even going the right way. Oh, my gosh. I shouldn't have gone this way. Oh, my God. What is going on? Every time I do this mission, it is so frustrating. Compared to the rest of these missions, it's not horrible. All right, according to Lester, they're pulling off. So we should be just smooth sailing the rest of the way to the drop off all right and there we go another setup pass we have one more setup that we have to get into but we have to do another prep work for that mission so uh, i'm gonna do the prep work off camera and then i'll see you when we're ready to do the final setup Okay, so we're jumping into the final setup right here, which is going to be air defenses. Now, in my opinion, this out of act number three, the doomsday scenario setups, in my opinion, the easiest setup. I actually think it's not affected at all by me doing this pretty much by myself. Like pretty much the pilot is the most important part here. This is the plane that we're going to take right here. This is the volatile and pretty much the most important person with this setup is going to be the pilot. Like it's going to make my other character get in. And yeah, there are like other secondary guns on this thing but pretty much the pilot and the carpet bombs that the pilot can use is all you really need all right so we have to destroy a bunch of sam turrets and pretty much how i like to do this is i like to line up where a turret is and then right before i actually get there i hold down a and then we just shoot out a bunch of carpet bombs and hopefully one of them hits like that and then well bam there we go one turret down and we have to destroy a total of 12 turrets i can understand if some of y'all have issues with this because it has to be a decent pot. Oh my God, dude. Okay, that jump scared me. Oh my God. Yeah, you probably have no idea what just happened. The vibration from my season one controller or the one that's controlling that account was so crazy that the controller just fell like right onto my hand. But yeah, that's probably gonna be the most exciting part about this setup. It's an easy setup, but it's a very boring setup. You know what? I did just realize I am doing this on hard. I really never do this mission on hard. I will say the missiles have been a little bit more accurate this time around. Okay, last turret right here. And there it goes. So now all we have to do is just deliver the volatile to sandy shores airfield and that should be mission passed all right so all i gotta do is just land this thing okay let's pull up over the rocks okay nice the rocks could have been bad all right and there we go our final setup has been passed but now it's time for us to actually jump into the finale so i'll see you at the planning screen all right so we're ready to go for the finale and oh my this is so beautiful just looking at the player picture and just seeing two guys paper mask on our faces it's just beautiful it is so beautiful but anyway since i am playing by myself i am gonna give my loser to luxury account the max profit which yeah i can't go anywhere past 15 percent. so we're gonna make one million nine hundred and twelve thousand dollars out of this and then before we actually start this ice and this is gonna come from both loser to luxury accounts right here both accounts want you to subscribe so you don't get to miss out on any awesome content make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave a like down below okay let's go ahead and launch the mission 
mission. All right, here we go. We are doing the doomsday scenario all by myself, quite literally all by myself. And to be honest, I'm pretty confident in my abilities right now. I feel like I can actually complete this pretty easily. I don't think the finale for this is going to be as complicated, to be honest, compared to what we had to do for the Agent 14 rescue mission. So yeah, during this heist, we're going to make sure that our season one account, he's just standing in a corner that's pretty safe. And then my season two account, we're going to go ahead and carry ourselves to a heist victory. All right, so we've made it over to the location. We have the option to choose a barrage or a tank. We are using a tank. I do not want to get into the barrage. That's going to take a little bit more coordination out of both of my accounts, at least in my opinion. So instead, we're going to take the tank and pretty much just drive right through everyone. If the game will allow me, I might not even get out of the tank with my season one account. If the game will allow me just to sit for that first part in the tank, then I might as well just do that. Now, once I actually make it to the end, like right in front of that door, I am going to have to run with my season one account. But aside from that, if I can just stay in the tank the entire time, I am very willing to do that. But yeah, we'll see how this all goes. But I'm feeling pretty good, which is kind of strange because this is the hardest mission in the game. It is clearly meant for two people, but call me crazy. I feel pretty good just doing it by myself. All right, so we've made it over to the tunnel entrance and now let the fun begin. All right, so yeah, for this first part, just in case if you don't know, we can stay in the tank. There's gonna be a few enemies that come out and attack us like this insurgent right here, but we can just make that thing blow up, laugh at how stupid they are, like so, ha ha, you're dumb, and we can just keep driving through. All right, so we've made it over to the end of the tunnel. So now once we hit to the end of the tunnel, we realize we can't go any further, but there's some juggernauts right here that we can destroy. So goodbye, goodbye. Ooh, you get really close there. Uh, not anymore. You're dead. And goodbye. Okay, there we go. That's all four juggernauts taken out. All right, so here we go. We are doing this all by myself now. You know, last time I did this heist, I did complete the elite challenge. I was a guest with someone. You know, we spun the wheel and we landed on joining a random heist and we were able to get a random doomsday heist. Imagine if I can get the elite challenge just by playing by myself. Imagine that. I mean, I'm trying to hit my headshots. I want to see if I can complete this first attempt. I seriously doubt we're going to be able to do this within 30 minutes. I think that's what we need for elite challenge, but I I feel like I can complete this first attempt. I'm pretty confident in my abilities. You can make fun of me if I don't complete a first attempt, but I feel pretty good. Okay, anyways, we have to destroy the supplies now. Oh okay, yeah, meanwhile, like I said, my season one account is just chilling in the tank, quite literally. Oh yeah, I did forget to say too, we already killed one juggernaut and we're gonna have to take out two more before we hit our checkpoint. So yeah, that's gonna be pretty interesting. Nice. Okay, so all the supply crates have been destroyed. Yeah, this is going great so far. Not elite challenge pace, but I mean, this is a pretty good pace. The challenge from here is going to be my snack consumption. Like, I don't know how many snacks I've consumed. I don't think it's been crazy. I don't really want to, like, waste all of my snacks. But then also, these last two juggernauts. Yeah, these last two juggernauts are going to be incredibly tough. Wait, where are these juggernauts? I don't even see these juggernauts. Hold on. They're just sitting there. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, do they not activate if my other character is not here? Or they're just, like, bugged out right now? Well, this is going to be easy if they're just bugged out. Because I can just do this. And I can do this. I gotta kill on something. Oh, now they're moving. I just got both of them. <laughs> this is so great. Hey, okay, there's literally one more guy. Not anymore. Okay, we've made it to the control center. See, now it says wait for your team to reach the control center. So this is where on my second account, I can just get out. Are you kidding me? The one... Mm -mm. That pisses me off. No, 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 no. I killed everyone that was literally there. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Oh, 69. Oh, funny number. I'm pissed. I did not know that people were just going to come after me. Okay, that's going to be a little annoying. I got to be very aware of that happening now. Oh, my God. That really sucks because that was such a good first run. I got to do that all over again because I was literally right at the end. Oh, yeah. Just in case if you're wondering, I was not looking at my season two account, the one that you're looking at right now. I I just had gotten out of the tank on my season one account and I literally just was starting to run over. Dude, I have a theory. I have a theory with this heist. I feel like after you die the first time, it gets a little bit harder because I'm getting shredded here now. The first attempt, I didn't really have too much issues in this room. Well, we'll see how this goes, this attempt goes, but I mean, you've already seen me go through this entire part already. No, no, no. Okay, that's my fault. That was me being dumb. Yeah, dude. 
Huh? Uh-uh. Um, uh -uh. mm -mm. nope, 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 nope. Yeah, my theory, I feel like, is coming true. No, 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 no. I literally just maxed out my health with snacks, and I get floored quickly. Uh-uh. No, 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 that's not good. That's not good. No, 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 that guy's not even looking at me. How do you not look at me and put my health to red? Makes no sense. No way anyone's that accurate. There you go. I'm that accurate, but I'm me. I'm going so conservatively right now. Like, I'm slowly moving up, and then before they even, like, realize that I'm close enough for them to shoot me, I, like, put a headshot in them. Okay, I feel like I can get wrecked here. I was worried about this part the first time around, but I didn't get wrecked. Because there's gonna be, like, a lot of enemies on both sides of me. Poke your head. Bro, you want to. Bro, you want to. Oh, there you go with the no look. No look, huh? Huh? You really want to no look? There you go. Now you really can't look. You're welcome. You're welcome. That's what you wanted. Now that's literally what you told me you wanted. Okay, there we go. All the supplies have been taken out again. It's been a good run. All right, let's see what the juggernauts do this time. Why do I... No, do not hide there. Okay, they're after me now. All right. So, yeah, I think that first one was a bug. Oh, I got one of the juggernauts? I did not think I was aiming that well, but okay. Oh, there's the other one right there. Is there something on fire over there? What is on fire? Yeah, something just blew up. Yeah, I'm taking out the juggernaut this way. Yeah, just safe. Okay, we're almost done. As long as no one pisses me off, we should be good to go. Okay, yeah, this area. Yeah, I'm killing the people in this area because I have been wrecked by these people before. I usually just run past. That's what I did on the first attempt, but I want to kill these guys this time. All right, what do we have? Like two, three more people to take out? No, 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 no. Okay. That's kind of stupid there. Oh, I approach that. One more. There you go. Okay, we're at the end. I don't see anyone coming after me. Da 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 ha ha uh ha. -huh. There you are. There you are, you little person. Want to be monetized? There you go. Yep. There we go. All right. We're gonna chill out here. We're gonna chill out here. And on my season one account, I'm gonna run all the way over there. But I'm gonna keep my eyes kind of going back and forth between both. And so far, it seems like the coast is clear with my season one account. I'm quite literally just running. I haven't killed anyone yet. Look up and oh look, there we are. Hey, there's season one. What's up? All right. All right. We hit a check. Point. Now, I think on my season two account, I am running out of snacks. I think that could be an issue. But anyways, this next part, I can do pretty much the same thing I did with that first part. I can keep season one kind of just tucked away in a safe spot, and I don't think anyone will go after them. And then on my season two account, I think I can literally just run up, and I think I can control everything on my own without a problem. I think. Okay, I'm at a good hidden spot on my season two account. Okay, so pretty much from this point on, I'm gonna pretty much make a run for but I don't know if I have the snacks to do that. But anyways, yeah, we're just sprinting right now. And then once we make it over to a server, we don't take any damage, which is very nice. So I can go ahead and do a hack right here, which I am pretty good at hacking. So this shouldn't take any time, in my opinion. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. There's an enemy that came after my season one account. Oh, my God. Thank goodness I saw that. Whoa. Okay. 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 Hold on. Before I continue this hack, I got to set up proximity mines. Oh, wait. No, that's a bad idea. I might forget. <laughs> <laughs> I, dude, I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna chill. Okay, let me continue this hack. Wow, that was scary. i have been pissed if we would have died because of that crap. All right, there we go. Hack number one has been completed. No one else has attacked my season one. Okay, eat some snacks. They're attacking me here. Um, But yeah, I think once we get going, I think our speed should be good enough because yeah, we are absolutely sprinting our butt off right now. Really no shots once we get going, but yeah, you should have to get going. Uh, let me eat some snacks and then yeah let's go to our second hack right here so yeah we have to do a total of four hacks hold on hold on hold on hold on i see something on the mini map there was another guy that attacked all right huge huge good thing i saw that i was paying attention to my mini map on my other account wow the coordination that's going on right here Woo! all right there we go another hack done um oh god okay this is gonna be awkward because there's a guard coming after me on my season one account but i am running my butt off right here to make it over to the next hack Okay, yeah, now there's two guards right next to my season one account, and they're both dead. It's starting to get a little annoying. No, 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 no. Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention. Jeez, that is so frustrating, dude. Another two guards just came in here. One just walked right in. Oh my, I had to kill three that time. Dude, I think I'm in this corner where they have to push me. Oh my god, all right. I have one more hack. No, my health, 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 health. Okay, we have to go, we have to go, we have to go now. Pronto, okay, just injure that guy, keep running. And just keep running right now. Uh, there's another guy trying to attack me on my season one account. God. No, 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 no. I got 
You gotta be- God, this is so frustrating. That was the wrong time for someone to push me, and I literally got thrown to the ground on my season one account. Yeah, imagine that. 59 kills to nine. I had to kill nine people while trying to do something else. So yeah, I gotta do that all over again. I liked where I hid, though. I'm trying to see if there's another option to hide. Okay, I think I'm in a good hiding spot once again. Die, 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 die. Thank you. You need to die. Thank you. That guy needs to die. The assault shotgun is so nice. Gotta love it. Got to love it. I gotta do hacks again, but at the same time, I have to try to survive. All right, there we go. That's one person dead. No, 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 no. Dude, oh my god. It is so frustrating. I'm so focused on, okay, how am I gonna complete this hack? And then as I'm trying to figure that out, well, bam. Like, I might actually have to put some proximity mines down. This is getting ridiculous. I'm getting Dude, someone said they're gonna put me in the hospital. Well, I mean, that's fine. I'll put you in the grave, cowboy. Yeah, sorry. That's just an easy counter for that. Sorry, just stupid GTA dialogue. All right, go back to hacker mode. But once I get to the hack, I am actually going to put down proximity mines on my season one account. So I don't have to deal with what I've been dealing with, but so much. Oh, here we go. Someone's walking through. Bro, it blew up and he didn't die? No, don't piss me off with that crap. He just walked right through a freaking explosive. Am I really gonna have to put down two proximity mines oh you know what no i can put down one proximity mine and then i can put down a sticky bomb ah! oh my god dude you're just seeing me just at a hack right now i am trying to set up a trap and as i was setting that one up another guy just ran through but the proximity mine went off and then he just got blown up and got thrown onto me there you go finally this first hack has been done i was a little occupied all right here we go now we have to just run okay someone died someone died in my trap that's great um that's why i put it there so I can focus on this when I need to. Kill that guy because he's in my way. Keep running, keep running. All right, we hit it. That's good. All right, so I'm gonna set that up again. Trap works once again. I gotta set it up though. Oh my God, dude. This is so stupid. I ran out of ammo. So I have to go buy that ammo once again, dude. I just set that up and another guy just ran through it. Can y'all stop being stupid for like 10 seconds so I can actually do these hacks? I am so focused on this season one account right now okay trap has been set up I'm about to run once i complete this hack okay 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 um very weird stuff is happening right now i'm even not weird oh my god why is there three people right here stop being annoying okay i ran out of snacks that is awful that is absolutely awful made it over to the next hack though which is nice i gotta set up my trap no that was I blew myself up. Oh, why? Why? I had to kill 14 people. All right, and back to the snack consumption management. I know I could use like my other account to just go on through. I think my other account has full snacks. My problem with that is that you can't even see it because, you know, I want you all to actually see what's happening. All right, this first part though, I haven't had to use any snacks, which is awesome. So that's good for my snack consumption management. This is the stuff I have to worry about with this mission that I've put amongst myself. This is what I do to entertain you people. You're welcome. I made it over to the first hack. We set up my traps again. All right, now let's go ahead and do the hack. I just, oh my, I just set it up. Someone's about to run right through it. <sighs> oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. I had to focus on my season one account right at the end there. Not in a great spot, but we'll just run for it. All right, there we go. Another hack done. Uh, we have two more to go. I'm getting destroyed right now. Eat some snacks and uh, it's become Usain Ball. Oh my God. Oh, no, no. I thought I had my shotgun in my hand. Why is my shotgun not in my hand? Why is that in my hand? There's no way I clicked on a grenade launcher right before I started that hack. There's no way. I don't know what happened there. That is dumb. There's no way around that. That is dumb. All right, anyways, <laughs> let the hacking begin. Right, there you go. A hack is done. Let's move on to the next hack. Okay, y'all can stop shooting at me. You know, it's not going to get you anywhere. Okay, yeah. Two people are about to attack my season one account. No, no, no. How did you? The guy just walked right past the proxy. Mine as I was setting it up. No, it's about to happen again. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No, no, no. They're literally standing on top of the prox. I wish you could see this. They were literally standing, two of them were standing on top of the proximity mine. Wow. Really trying to find ways to piss me off. It's working. You're doing a great job, game. I'll show you what I'm doing on my season one account. I'm pretty much hiding right here in this little hallway. So, yeah, that's nice. But, like, right here, I put down a prox proximity mine, but only one proximity mine does not kill them. So what I do is I put down a sticky bomb right next to it. And then 
when the proximity mine triggers, it'll also blow up the sticky bomb, and two explosions will kill both of them. Like, so, like that. Like that. I don't even know why a guy's even attacking me right now. But that's what I do. That's what I've been doing. Beautiful demonstration. Wasn't even meaning to, but yeah. Well, that's pretty much what I've been doing. And it works, but it's kind of annoying. No, 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 no. That is so stupid. I was setting it up, and then a guy just walks right in, and the proximity mine works great. And then there's a chain reaction to the explosion, and I die. Yeah, I didn't think this part would be as complicated as it's been. I thought the way that I'm doing it right now would be hard on one account. But then the other account, I could literally just let it sit there and it wouldn't be too much of an issue. That other account is being an issue because the guards are going to try to come after that other guy. Like I've heard people say that if someone's really bad on your team, you can just tell them just to stay in there and it wouldn't be an issue. I took that as no one comes after you, but no, there's people that come after you. Like I said, I'm not paying attention to my season one account when I'm doing these hacks, but when I know my trap has gone off is when my controller vibrates because a freaking explosion went off. Then I have to be like, oh, yep, there it goes. Yeah, the explosion just went off. I gotta go back and set that trap up again. I just gotta keep doing that over and over and over again. All right, there we go. Another hack done. Okay, okay. I need to eat some snacks. Eat some snacks. Okay, I keep forgetting. There's a... <clears throat> That's on me. That's on me. That's on me. I forgot. There's four people just sitting right there like, Ooh, I'm a clone. How pathetic are you? Freaking clone dork. There you go. Hack done. Kind of losing count if this is the first or second one. Okay, that was the first one. Okay, someone hit the trap. Okay, another person's about to run after my other account. Okay, let me make sure I get to the hack. Nope, I got to... Nope, nope, nope. I'm screwed. I'm so screwed. <laughs> Dude. No. Why? That is such bad timing. There's nothing I can do there. No, what happened was the first guy came through, did the trap. I can't set up the trap as I'm running through there. So I just have to hope no one comes and then someone comes and then that guy walks in and then he knocks me on my butt. <laughs> He literally knocks me on my butt. And then I can't do anything to take him out. Then he kills me. So, yeah, that's what happened there. I'm trying to give you a good description. There we go. Hack number one's done. Uh, I think this is where I get screwed over. This is where I have been getting screwed over on the other account. So, let's see how it goes. I'm doing the same thing because I can't figure out another way I should be able to do it. Other than me just being quicker here. Okay, yeah, there's one. But then, yep, another person. Okay, I got to figure out something. I got to hide. I got to hide real quick. Okay, yeah, I'm about to. Okay, there we go. Uh, I just killed that guy. And the second guy was about to walk on in. We don't want a second guy to walk on in. Need to eat some snacks here. A lot of snacks here. Okay, we're good. Okay, wow, that is so stressful going from one to two. Oh my God, now they're coming in in twos. Stop, stop, stop. Y'all are clones. What are y'all gonna do in life? Wait, can you be a president as a clone? I don't think so. You know what? I don't know. I don't know the logistics on that, but I am assuming you cannot be a president as a clone. No, 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 no. I was buying ammo and then a guy runs in. Oh my. My God, I can't make this up. They find the best opportunities to attack. Oh my God, this is getting so stupid. I didn't even touch that last hack on this account. I didn't even touch it. Wait a minute, I just thought of this. The first attempt, I think only like two people ran after my season one account. Last attempt, I had to take out eight. That's just more proof that if you fail it the first time, the game makes it even harder. Like there's no way around that either. Only three people came after me on that first attempt. I don't know how that was close enough. I blew myself up. I've been doing that same thing over and over. I have no earthly idea how I was close there. You know what? I have an idea. I'm actually going to do this first part with my other account, and I'm going to do it with this account to hopefully maintain some of my health, because we take a lot of health in here. All right, now, yeah, I think we pretty much cleared everyone, so yeah, I can just go in with here. That's pretty nice, because I still have my body armor on right now, but this account hasn't been the issue. It's been the other account. All right, hack number one's done, and yeah, the trap has already been exposed, which is not good, so I gotta pay attention both ways. Make sure no one runs after this other account. Okay, yep, here comes a guy, so I'm ready for this. That guy is dead. Okay, cool. I can go back to this account and keep running. All right, now we're at the hack, so I can set up another trap. There we go. Hack done. That's hack number two. I gotta remember, there's gonna be three dorks, three dork clones that are just right here. There's one, there's two another guy right there uh 
the trap has been exposed. That is not good. Okay, okay, we're good. I can go ahead and set up the trap again. They're ramping up how many people are coming through, which is getting to be annoying. Holy crap, I have a minute left on this hack. I, oh my God, keep having to have to set this thing up. We're almost about to run out of time for this hack, which I've never done before. I'm pretty fast on hacks and it's not a hacking issue. This is stupid. Yeah, I have like, what, 22 seconds remaining with that hack. Never, that never happens. Oh my God. Everyone right here, y'all gotta stop being annoying. Eat some snacks, stop being annoying. Eat some snacks, stop being annoying. The amount of people is ridiculous. Stop being annoying, trap just went off. Oh my gosh, pretty sure. Yep, we're out, we're out of snacks. We're so screwed. Okay, we've made it. Okay, okay, no, 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 I can't. No, I'm using, okay, wow, that was so interesting. Okay, wow, a guy walked in again after the trap just went off, almost killed me. I think this might be the first time I've hit the final hack. I don't even know what attempt number this is. I'm not keeping track. Okay. Okay, there we go. That hack is done. Okay, that is the final hack. But the problem is I don't have any snacks. I have no idea what to do here. I gotta think for a second. I mean, I could hide here and then I can just use my other account, but there's gonna be people running after me now. Yep, I, I, mm. Oh, that is so frustrating. That is so, so, so frustrating. The snacks are what's really gonna kill me. Yeah, I died that time on this account because another guy came in and I had to take him out or I was trying to. And in the process of that, I died on this account. It's just focus on one thing, focus on the other. You know what? I'm gonna switch it up. I'm actually gonna switch it up. We're gonna flip positions. I'm gonna do the hacking stuff with my other account. And then I'm gonna do the hiding out part with this account just because of the snack consumption. I think that makes sense. I think that's kind of smart so yeah once again just in case you didn't see how i did it before i get like right here throw a proximity mine down here because that doesn't kill him no it's don't see this is what i'm talking about okay to be fair that is partly my fault i forgot as we learned earlier that there's a guy that just immediately just shows up that was my fault but still that guy was just standing on the proximity mine it wasn't going off that was far too long but yeah anyways sit down a proximity mine so if someone runs in it'll go off and then as you saw it didn't take him out with one shot so then the sticky bomb behind it will blow up once the proximity mine blows up and then yeah we should be good so yeah i'm doing the hack on the other account now you're gonna see the real process on the other account see there it goes blew up another guy okay so since that guy is dead um we throw down a proximity mine throw down a sticky bomb and then wait for the next guy and then while we wait for the next guy we keep trying to complete this hack Okay, there we go. Another person dead. So I have to come around here, put down, it's again, a proximity mine, put down a sticky bomb. I actually have to keep doing this over and over again. And then you'll see when they start coming in twos, that's when it really gets frustrating. Yeah, before we actually get into it, I have to keep buying ammo, which buying ammo, it gets a little annoying. It's like $6,000 a pop, but I keep not completing this. So it's kind of adding up. All right, yeah, this is not good timing because I just completed the hack and I gotta go over to the next part. But the problem is I don't have a trap installed so i have to pay attention okay never mind just forget it i just died all right i got the second hack done uh this is where it's gonna get a little interesting for me though okay we're at the third hack so i can come back here throw down a prox throw down a sticky bomb oh my god i just started the hack and okay see now they're coming in twos so now there's a guy here oh they're coming in threes my mistake i lied i'm sorry wow it came in threes well good thing i was ready for it see i can kind of keep up with it a little bit better on this account because I can't hear what's happening on the other account. Oh my, I just set it up. See, then this happens. Then I just set it up and then another one just runs right there. Another one's coming right there. He's standing on the proximity mine. I assume it's a little bit of a delay after you throw down the proximity mine. I assume that's the reason why it just doesn't blow. I threw that in fire, so that automatically just blew it up. That's on me. Just, mm -hmm. This is so frustrating. I think I was far enough away from the proximity mine there. I was throwing the other sticky bomb, I think mid air as that happened. And that's why I died there. Cause I don't think I was close enough to the proximity mine. That's just so frustrating. I didn't even touch that third hack. It is just so dumb. It is so dumb. All right, I'm adding even more ripples to this. I'm gonna do this part with this account. How am I almost dead? Ah, damn dude. I'll start out this part with this account. But then after we get through this part, I'm sending it over to the other one because I'm running low on snacks on the other account too. So I think that makes sense. Now let me head over to the first hack and then I'll sit down on my trap. Dude, I truly think no one's done this before. I've never seen anyone attempt to do this before. Okay, I just got a two for one deal. Oh wait, no, someone's dying. I don't even know, dude. I don't know what just happened. I just heard someone screaming. I don't care if you scream. I just want you not to kill me. Okay, didn't even get any progress done with that hack. Now another guy's about to walk in. Dude, I know there's a guy right here. Yep, there you are. So 
obvious. Oh my god, there's a guy burning alive right here. Well, it's not that gruesome because you're a clone. Really? No. No. No, 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 no. Ah, dude. Oh my god, and then another guy's about to walk in. Good thing I saw that. Oh, you want to shoot at me prematurely? Oh, oh, and then your little best friend? Oh my god. God, just went back to hacking and another guy runs in. Oh, this is fun. Yep, there comes another guy. Dead. Bought ammo in the process of that happening. Yep. Ow, no. Ouch. I got hit by a proximity mine. Oh my god, they have P's and Q's. I need to pick up some of these. <laughs> that down. Am I gonna get an opportunity to actually complete the hack now? Oh my god, I have 10 seconds to actually complete this hack. I'm not gonna be able to complete this hack. Yeah, three, two, another guy died. One, zero. Failure. I failed the hack technically, which is so stupid they didn't fail the hack the oh, oh, oh hold on hold on you see this is what happens and i get so focused one way now i'm beating him with my fist yep this is what happens i got too focused on one thing that i got pressed and i almost died because of it so i don't even have enough time to complete the hack oh my and another guy's about to walk in now mm, 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 mm. oh you want to run away now yeah this is what i've been going through Dude, how are you not dead there you go that's how you die look how many people oh my god we have six minutes before missile launch there we go final hack i've made it to the final hack okay i'm a about to complete this final hack. I'm gonna go for it. I think we're good. Yeah, that trap is still set up, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. I gotta take out the rest of Avon's goons. Oh my god, I'm getting destroyed right now. All right, yeah. So I'm gonna try to take out the rest of the goons with this account. Or not this account. I'm sorry. The season one account. If I can do that, then things will be good. Okay, that's not good. I have no snacks on this account. Oh god, how am I gonna do this? I don't have... St oh my god. The pain this is putting me through i was so close there but i ran out of snacks oh my god oh okay okay i did that first part but still even with me doing that first part with this account i killed 47 people and i'm not even trying to engage i'm gonna take out 15 of them for that first part that we're about to do so yeah i want to do this first part with this account now i would like to hope my other account can maintain its snacks which it didn't okay there we go that's enough people taken out let me get to my spot. Now let's go on the other account. Okay, there is no one coming after me on this account for some reason. I don't know why no one's coming after me now, but it's all right. I'm cool with it. Wait, hold on. Yeah, we still have our trap set up. It's been like the longest time before anyone's like even attacked us. Like, this is great. I'll probably talk to you soon, but I can actually focus on doing what I need to do. Okay, yeah, there they are. There's people. No, no, no. Eat snacks, dude. That is so frustrating. It's just me trying to set up my little trap and nope, that is so frustrating. All right, I'm done with the Are you kidding me? Another guy's about to walk in. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this sucks. I have to hide in a corner on this account and then go take out this guy. Uh, door? Not now, door. Thank you. About to die on the other account. Gotta eat snacks there. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The coordination. Dude, we had such a good start to this run, but then that just got all thrown away right there. Just ruined everything that I just did. That ruined like my snack consumption and everything. Okay, we're finally at the next hack so I can focus on setting up traps. There you go, just standing right next to a proximity mine. After I set it down. Wow, 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 wow. It's annoying, dude. All right, there we go. That's the third hack done. We have one more hack to go. Uh, dude, there's so many people. I gotta eat some... I don't know how they wanted me to die so quickly that time. They absolutely wanted me to. Like I was surrounded there. I usually don't get surrounded after that hack, but this time was the time. Thanks, game. <laughs> All right, we just got our third hack done. So yeah, we just have to get a one more hack. All right, so my trap has been exposed. That's not good. I have to run a four ways too for this specific one, which is not a good time. I gotta eat some snacks here. Smack a guy in the face. Keep running. Okay, I'm surprised no one's attacking me right now on the season two account. We made it there. Wow, okay. I don't know how much snacks I have left on that account, but um, we're at the final hack. You know, I have an idea. I have an interesting idea. What if I like pretty much complete all the hack except for like one little node? Then at that last node, I come up with this account that you're watching right now and I start attacking essentially. I think that could be smart. I could start attacking, kind of clear a little bit of a better path or something like that. Maybe get to like a decent spot. Cause I think it gets a little overwhelming. Okay, yeah, we're ready to go on that account. Okay, yeah, we're so close. So I'm gonna, no! <laughs> 
my god. Oh my god, that is so stupid of me. But at the same time, I'm trying to get creative. I had to make this easier on myself, and I make it harder on myself. Oh my god, dude. I still think that's the way to go. I just gotta remember that I had a sticky bomb down there. Okay, there we go. Uh, is that the final hack? I always forget. Yeah, it is. Okay, I wasn't prepared the way I wanted to be, because I wanted to attack with my main account that you're watching right now, but... Oh, good, I guess. Now, I just gotta take out all the goons, which I'm slowly but surely doing on my other account. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta take out this guy. Okay, huge, huge. Get back on this account. Oh my god, how did I not die? God, that is so fresh. No, mm -mm, mm, you're not killing me. Stop. Embarrassing. You're an embarrassment. You're a clone. You were cloned to do that? Ah, dude. I think there's three more. Two more now. One more. Oh my god, we took everyone out. We can go to the top floor. Oh my god. Oh my god. We did it. We're not really. I don't think we're at a checkpoint yet, but we're pretty darn close. Wow. We can finally go up to the top floor. Wow. Okay, I have to wait for both teammates to arrive, so let me walk up with my other account. But we're not even gonna get behind the orbital cannon with that account. I'm just gonna focus on this account. I was confident going into this. I really was. I wasn't just saying that to say that. I really was, but my goodness, I did not think that part that we just went through was gonna be that annoying. Yeah, so this part, we have to take out mobile cloud servers, which isn't the biggest deal in the world. Right, we have two more cloud servers to take out. Another one down, one more to go. All right, last one right here. Excuse me, uh, game. I don't know why. Oh, I might know why. There's a bridge right there. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I figured that one out. That was a bridge. I think I accidentally hit the gap right in between. All right, so now we just have to get to the lab exit. I think I still have some snacks on this account. I think I still have snacks on the other account too, but I think it's very, very low. So yeah, we have to take out even more people, but this isn't that bad. This is like similar to getting into the control room, that first part that we were at. Did not know there was a guy right there. You can, you know, game, you can put a little icon on the map saying like, hey, this is an enemy. He wasn't on the map. He was not on the map. All right, is there a mystery guy over here this time again? Yeah, there is. I, he almost killed me again. Okay, we're at the end. Do I need to make it all the way here with uh, my teammate? Okay, no, we don't. Okay, we just get the cutscene. Okay, we're almost done. I'm interested. The last little ripple of this is I don't know how this is going to work. Obviously, I can really only focus on one, but so yeah, one pretty much just gonna have to hover in the air but there's gonna be enemies after us so that's gonna be pretty interesting i, I don't know how that's gonna work <laughs> my other account is literally just hitting the side of a mountain okay i might have to like pay attention to like a buzzard or whatnot that gets behind me like this buzzard just got behind me i usually i just ignore it but i think this time around we're gonna have to like pay attention to it to make sure that it doesn't kill my other account oh well, there's avon right can i take him out he literally just ate a missile straight in the face there you go. Eat that. All right. So all I have to do is deliver the thruster back to the observatory. And meanwhile, my other account is just chilling right on Mount Chiliad. All right. We've landed that one right there. And I just need to make it over with my other account. All right. Here comes our other account coming in right here. All we have to do is just land this thing like so. Good enough. Oh my God. We actually completed this. Oh my. That was a lot harder than I thought that was going to be. <laughs> And there we go. Act number three has been passed. Finally. And for this account, we are going to make $1,912,000. I sold Avon's Barrage on the black market. I've sent a small cut of profit. So we got an extra $50,000 because of that. So now we're sitting on $2,635,000. And for next episode, we are going to be doing something else that's going to be pretty difficult. We're also going to bring in our season number one account to help us out with that too. But make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on the next episode of Loser to Luxury. Make sure you check out this. On this account, we started as a level one in GTA Online. And the only way I made money was by spinning a wheel determining what I should buy next. But today in this video, we will continue our final journey to purchase the most expensive item in GTA Online to reach a luxurious state finally. So welcome to episode 81 of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado let's jump into it so we are on part three of the finale for loser luxury we have two more episodes to go including this one and we are trying
trying to buy our final item, which is the most expensive item in GTA Online, which is going to be the Aquarius Super Yacht, which is the most expensive super yacht in the game. And it's going to come in at $10 million. And currently right now, we're sitting on $2,637,000. And you're probably thinking right now, Dr. Crutch, you still need to make three quarters of that $10 million. And you have to do that within the next two episodes, which yeah, we will definitely hit that $10 million mark. But today we are going to be revisiting the Pacific Standard Heist. We haven't touched this heist since one of the earlier episodes, I think within the first 20 episodes of Loser Luxury. And we're sitting on episode 81, so it has definitely been a long time. So we are going to revisit the Pacific Standard Heist. We're going to start one up and we're going to complete it all the way through in this video. Now, the issue with the Pacific Standard Heist is to just get people. That's an issue. And I'm filming this on a weekday when not as many people are playing. But here we go. I'm going to try to do the Pacific Standard job. Hopefully people join. Now, I'm going to cheese a little bit. Last episode, I played the Doomsday Scenario all by myself, which essentially meant I had this account and then I had another account in that I was controlling. I'm doing sort of the same thing here. For all the setups, I'm going to have my Season 1 account for Loser to Luxury in, and then we still need two randoms. And for the finale, I'm going to sub out my Season 1 character for someone else. All right, so we got enough people to actually start out this heist, but some people get a little faked out by this little intro. Because sometimes when they join this, they think this is going to be the finale. But anyways, yeah, Lester's pretty much saying, hey, we are going to start up a heist, and he's being weird. But, you know, whatever. I'm skipping it. All right, so essentially for the Pacific Standard Heist, we have five setups that we have to do. Now, I've done these setups so many times. I used to do the Pacific Standard Heist a ton back, what, 2015, 2016, something like that. So I am very comfortable with all of these setups. The finale, I'm not so comfortable with, which that probably doesn't make any sense, but I'll explain why once we get there. But first, we have to do a setup. And for these setups, instead of putting it on hard, like how we did last episode, I'm going to put them on normal just because we have other people in. I don't want these other people to leave. Okay, essentially for this one... Oh, God! I accidentally left. Shoot, that's on me. <laughs> I accidentally clicked A and B at the same time. Oh my god, that is so stupid of me. I haven't even started the heist yet. I'm doing stupid things. All right, so here we go. We are starting out with our first setup. This one is going to be the Pacific Standard Van setup. Now, this setup isn't really bad at all. I really don't have an issue with this one. Essentially, I'm a navigator, but um, <laughs> before I actually get into this setup, I need to try to get a thumbnail, so I hope no one gets pissed at me. The reason I'm doing it here is because the lighting is so perfect. Okay, I think I got my thumbnail. Yeah, no one one's done a thing, which, I mean, this is not the end of the world, but whatever. I've purposely made myself a navigator, and I want to make myself a navigator because I can literally just go here, and I can go ahead and use the Trackify app to try to find where these vans are. Now, no one in this ice crew has done a single thing. I mean, yeah, technically, the way you're supposed to do this setup is that you're supposed to, as a navigator, get in the passenger seat, and then you're essentially, as a navigator, you're supposed to communicate with the person driving driving exactly like where a van is. I just think that's so stupid. So instead, as a navigator, I like to just be both the navigator and a driver, if that makes sense. So essentially, the drivers, they really don't have to do anything. And you're not really doing much in this setup other than photographing vans. I mean, we'll get into something else a little bit later on, but you know, still not the craziest thing in the world. Ah, here's another van. This is the only time where I think someone else being the driver would be a little bit ideal just because I cannot get a good photo while this guy is driving. I have to like wait for a stoplight, but that's like the only issue. Okay, there we go. Second van down. I've gotten both vans. Yeah, all these setups I'm very, very used to because I used to do these setups so often. And there's even with the next setup, there's like a cheesy way that I learned recently. I kind of want to try it. There we go. Here's third van. Can you accept this? Even though I didn't. Oh, dang. They actually didn't allow me to get that. Wow. Okay. Sometimes the game will allow you to do stupid stuff like that, but they didn't that time. Fair play, I guess. There we go. Finally. Didn't get the full license plate, but got enough of it. All right, here's our last van right here, though. Well, bam. There we go. Pretty Grab all the post op vans. Ready, set, pop. <gasps> oh, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, okay. Anyways, that last van that we photographed was the one that we need to steal. So I'm gonna have to do it like that. Then we're gonna take the van, we're gonna lose the cops, and then take it to Lester's factory, and then we should be good to go. Are you kidding me? I hit a bike rack? That's what flipped this stupid van? A bike rack? Come on, game. The stupid stuff like that really pisses me off. Like, he run into a bush, and the bush, instead of acting like a bush, acts more like a freaking concrete slab. Just stupid. Yeah, literally with my season one account, we're just... Excuse me, how did I just get the cops on me again? I know I drove right past some, like, some cops. I didn't do anything illegal. Anyways, my season one account, we're literally just standing there. Here, I'll show you. Like, there's two of my teammates right here, then there's me, and then here's my... 
<laughs> here's season one of Gal just chilling. And we spawned in right there. All right, and there we go. Finally lost the cops. Get this cutscene with Paige. Pretty much saying, wow, you are so good at this, Dr. Crush. And I'm just like, I know, I know, ma'am. All right, and there we go. Setup number one has been passed. I didn't my season one account get gold. I just sat there. Other than getting a thumbnail, I didn't touch my season one account. Granted, I pretty much did everything this setup, but at least the other guys drove around and tried to help. Oh, well, let's move on to the next setup. All right, here we go. We're going into setup number two, which is going to be the signal setup. Now, the way I want to do this setup is going to be very, very different. Now, it's going to tell us to go to the meeting point. We don't actually have to go to the meeting point, and usually, I already ignore that, but this time, I'm going to ignore it in a very different way. I was doing research for the criminal mastermind challenge for, like, every setup and whatnot, and apparently, we can actually go ahead and get a helicopter, like how we can for the Diamond Casino heist and the Union Depository contract. We can get a helicopter. Okay, well, we can't get a helicopter when someone accidentally leaves. That's fantastic. All right, we got another crew in together. Oh, well, it's not another crew. It's essentially me, myself, um, the person that left last time, actually. He came back. And then we have another guy, which the fun thing about this other guy is that it's the guy from the Criminal Mastermind Challenge video. And actually, well, we have two. The guy that accidentally left last time, which I know it's accidental. Sir Snacks a lot. He's in it. And then Hyper Ninja from the Criminal Mastermind Challenge video. So yeah, shout out to these boys. But yeah, so I guess we're getting practice in for whenever we want to do that Criminal Mastermind Challenge again. But anyways, as I was saying, the first attempt we try to do this is that I want to try and get the helicopter. According to people, the helicopter does spawn in for this too. And I want to see if that's true or not. Because if we can get a helicopter spawn in for this mission, then it's going to be so easy. Like this could be the biggest cheese strat of all time. <laughs> oh man, it's right here. Yeah, anyways, the way that they want you to go is they want you to go to the Chumash area and then get some sea sharks and then kind of just boat like halfway up the map to an island. The way that I usually did it was that I pretty much just drove as close to the island as possible. And then there was like sea sharks right off the beach close to that island. So we just took the sea sharks there. But I mean, now we have a helicopter. So this is an absolute game changer. I'm sure Hyper Ninja and Sir Snacks a lot are so confused right now. And I don't blame them. I don't blame them for being so confused. I am in a helicopter. They are on jet skis. They're probably like, uh-huh. It literally says go to the sea sharks. It doesn't say go to the helicopter. You don't have to. Yeah, look at them. They're just on their sea sharks right there, just boating all the way up. All right, so there's the island right there. You can see a helicopter in the air. I can't take it out because I'm in a police maverick, which doesn't have explosives on it. And you want to be sure, at least from what I've heard, to park this helicopter like far away from Avi Schwartzman, because if you get it too close to Avi Schwartzman, then it's most likely going to despawn. All right, so now I have to take out a bunch of enemies. I'm still the first one there, and I had to drive out of my way just to get that helicopter. I mean, there probably was some other spots to pick up the helicopter. I'm just very, very comfortable with getting it from that one spot. And then we want to make sure that I actually pick up Avi Schwartzman, because if I can actually pick up Avi Schwartzman, that can carry him to the helicopter or force him to follow me to the helicopter, pretty much. Yeah, I'm just hearing my other teammates get to the island now. And I've taken out probably like 60 to 75% of the people here. Yeah, just putting the team on my back. You know how it is. Just some normal Dr. Crush stuff, you know? Okay, there we go. I literally took out everyone. I'm pretty sure. And there we go. I've made it over to where Avi Schwartzman is. So now we get this cutscene. But this cutscene pretty much is saying, hey, Avi's gonna follow me. And I want Avi to follow me to the helicopter. I hope there's not an issue. I will say, I just left my season one account just in the helicopter. So I don't know if that's a factor, if it's going to stay spawned in or not. See, okay, yeah, now we're in here, but we're not going to actually drive that boat. We're going to get back in that helicopter if it's still here. Ah, it's still here. It is still here. All right. Okay, Avi, you're being a little stupid. Avi, you're being dumb. Okay, there we go. For some reason, he didn't want to follow me anymore. Yeah, okay. Now Avi's following me. So pretty much all we have to do now is get in this helicopter. I'm going to get my season one account in this helicopter, and then we're going to fly away. So someone's not going to be able to get in the helicopter, so I am so sorry, sir. Snacks a lot. Okay, we're in the helicopter. Avi took a spot, so yeah, this helicopter's full. <laughs> now we just have to take Avi Schwartzman to the drop off. We have like a timer. I don't know. I assume that timer started at 10 minutes. So yeah, this is definitely the best way to do this setup. Like the other ways of doing this setup aren't that bad. Like you can park like a personal vehicle on the beach, very close to the island where there's sea sharks, and then like after you get that cutscene, you can just drive the boat back to the beach, and then you can have a personal vehicle like a Karuma or something like that, so you don't really get shot at. That's another good way too, but this is so much easier. There's no one shooting at me right now. Yeah, I can provide
provide a lot of tips for these setups. It's just the finale, <laughs> not my favorite thing in the world. No way. Why in the world are helicopters spawning in on the side of a mountain on that hiking path? Like what? I'll show you what I'm talking about here. There's cop cars, not helicopters, cars on this path. Like what are we doing? That's just straight suicide for those cops. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I can still evade them. It just makes no sense. Okay, there we go, finally lost the cops. So now we can just take Avi Schwartzman to the drop off. All right, and there we go, set up pass. We have three more setups that we have to get into. All right, here we go. We're jumping into setup number three, which is going to be the Pacific Standard hacking setup. And this setup, there's another cheesy way that you can actually do this one. So yeah, I'm gonna get in my armored Karuma right here. Instead of going to the van, like how it says on the map, we are gonna go to, I think it's this alleyway, I'm pretty sure. Now you're probably asking yourself if you've never really done this heist before, you're like, Dr. Crutch, why would you go to that certain alleyway? Like what is happening at this certain alleyway? You know, Dr. Crutch, just stop messing around and get in the van. Ah, you think I'm messing around? No, 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 no. I'm being smart. I'm using my head. Wait, hold on. Actually, I'm gonna switch seats. Let's season one drive, and then season two will be in the passenger seat so I can get better shots. All right, anyways, I've made it over to this alleyway, and look, there's a bunch of enemies here. Why would you look at that? Now, let's start taking these enemies out, because we have to take out all these enemies. We quite literally have to take out these guys, and I'm just gonna take them out in the Karuma just straight off the bat. God, this is so weird to be driving a Karuma and then going on and taking out all these guys. I remember doing this cheese strat for this setup a long time ago when I used to do the Pacific Standard like all the time. Now you're probably thinking, Dr. Crush, why didn't you take your vigilante? If you were to take your vigilante instead of your armored Karuma, you'd probably blow up the van that we need to steal, which is not good. We need the van. So if you accidentally blow up the van, well then you just fail the mission. So obviously we don't want that. We don't want that at all. Yeah, finally my teammates are here. They brought the van also. Okay, and now we are actually gonna get into the van. So yeah, now we need to take the van to Vinewood Boulevard. Ha 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 ha. So funny. So funny game. We were kind of already here, but it's okay. Oh, Hyper. Hyper, you can't back anything. Hyper, he just ran into a bollard. My goodness, Hyper. Dan just backed into a car. Okay, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> and then we've taken out everyone already. So yeah, all we have to do is just park the white van. It usually will say you have to take out a bunch of guys, but there's no one to take out now. And there we go. We have brought the van right here. So now for this setup, they're going to do the old switcheroo. They're going to switch out this thing with one of our things. Yeah, so now the decoys, which includes one of my accounts, has to leave right now. And I am here in the white van just waiting for them to leave. And then I'll just make it back safely. I think the game wants the people that own that van, that black van, to think that we are trying to steal that black van, even though we weren't. We were trying to steal one specific thing from that black van. And we just put it into our van, which they don't know exists. You know, I'm kind of thinking about it now. Since we're doing this with people that I kind of know, I'm going to actually use my secondary account for the finale, which is going to be a little bit interesting, but we'll still get it to work. All right, but yeah, this is all I had to do. I had to park this white van underneath this bridge, and then Paige is going to be like, wow, that's a nice thing. Okay, so we're done here, and we just have to wait for the decoys to destroy the black van, which I'm watching them right now with my other account. A rail gun. Okay, and there we go. Destroyed it with the rail gun, and we destroyed that setup. Set up pass. Holy crap, I keep getting platinum. I mean, it kind of makes sense though, because I'm kind of cheesing this like to my own favor. But anyways, we have two more setups we have to get into. All right, here we go. We are doing the bike setup right here, which usually most people would do this one last. I'm doing this one second to last because I want to save the hardest setup as our final one. Once again, I'm getting into my Karuma instead of the Vigilante because we don't want to accidentally blow up these bikes. We have to go ahead and steal bikes just in case you didn't get it from the title. All right, so first things first, we have to drive over to the Lost MC Clubhouse, which is right here. I'm going to run into Hyper Ninja for fun. Uh, and then, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just take out a bunch of people. Yeah, this was going to be a little interesting. This is going to be the first, like, interesting, like, situation with me using two accounts. We really haven't run into any issues because I could just control the setup just with one account. This one, everyone pretty much is going to have to drive a bike. All right, anyways, yeah, I'm going to get... Oh, okay, Hyper Ninja died. He, he's something with dying. All right, anyways, yeah, we have to deliver the Electro back to the drop-off. And right now, my other character is just quite literally sitting in that Karuma still. So I'm going to have to deliver this bike and then... Once we deliver this bike, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to control my other character and deliver the last bike. This is probably the quickest setup out of any of these setups. And in my opinion, probably the second easiest one. But still, some people might have a little issue with it. See, look, and there we go. We have made it over to the drop off. So now let me control the season one account and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Wait, what happened? Oh my God, dude. What was wrong with my guy's face? It had blood all over his face. Oh my God, this game is so gruesome. 
Oh, whoa. I only got nine kills. Wow. I think Hyper Ninja, at least according to the map, I think he crashed the bike and then he kind of got into a shootout with a bunch of guys. He went the wrong route. Okay, so I'll explain this. I'll explain this kind of in depth. I didn't really do a good job or even even attempted to explain the exact route you want to take just because the setup was so quick. But yeah, I'll show you the exact route I want all y'all to take because the route that he took, there's going to be more people coming after you. We don't want that. We don't want that. But anyways, we have to go and take out a bunch of people once again. So I got to go ahead and do that. I think pretty much everyone's been taken out. So I'm going to show you the exact route I want you to take. So hopefully you don't make the same mistakes. So instead of taking a right, like how it recommends you do, I recommend you go this way and then take a right here and then follow this route. The map will readjust. And yeah, there are going to be some people coming after you, but it's not going to be as much as it is going the way they initially suggest you to go. And then if you're the person up front, there's going to be more people coming after you too. Because I remember that first attempt, there really wasn't anyone after me. And there was people this time around. All right, so I have to control my other account now and we can go ahead and finish this setup. All right, and there we go. We finally made it back. And there we go, setup pass. So we have one more setup to get into. Oh my, I'm bronze? How am I bronze? I'm trying to think about this. Like my other account, I don't think even killed more people than I did there on my main account. I don't know. That's so weird. It's rigged if you ask me. Anyways, yeah, we got one more setup to do, so let's get into that. All right, so we're jumping into our final setup, which is going to be the convoy setup. Now, this is going to be the hardest setup out of all of these setups, and this is why I wanted to save this one specifically for last. <laughs> Dude, watch this. Ready, set. <laughs> That was just too funny. Like, I'm in the bully mobile. I'm so sorry, Hyper. That's just too funny. I can't resist. Oh, yeah. And by the way, like, in between setups, my main account doesn't spawn in with any of my teammates, but my secondary account does. And literally, right after we do a setup, I go ahead and I just beat up Hyper Ninja. <laughs> I gotta do the glitch punch strat. It's just too funny. I'm so sorry. Anyways, we have to get to the ambush point. And bro, I'm just messing around with Hyper Ninja. We talked a decent amount when we did the criminal mastermind challenge. And yeah, he's a pretty chill guy. So it's all jokes. Yeah, this one's gonna be interesting because the way I would prefer to do it in a perfect scenario, I cannot do here. And it's not because of my season one account and me having to manage both accounts. The way I would prefer to do this, which would be so easy, I would need a Mark II heavy sniper with explosive rounds which I do not have. It's kind of silly to even get it because you have to like do research through your bunker or just buy research outright, which is a little bit annoying. So yeah, we never did that for loser to luxury and we will never do that for loser to luxury. But in a perfect scenario, I would like to use that and I would like to have used that to take out the savage that comes and tries to destroy us because these savages, which are the helicopters that come after us during this mission are incredibly brutal. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> dude, Hyper Ninja just messaged me. The bullying of the jet incident is understandable. Dude, I don't really care. It's just so funny. It is just so freaking funny. Loki, just for jokes, I just kind of want to send his car into the freaking water. Okay, finally, Hyper Ninja just arrived. Hey, he just ran over. Hey, 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 do you really want to run over Sir Snacks? I could send this thing. Oh, 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 I see. I see what you're doing. Now they're both in here. Dude, I want to send his car into the water. How am I going to do this? Bro, he's backing up. Dude, I think he's away that I'm about to just send his gore into the water. Hey, hold on. Wait, ready, set. Uh-oh. Backfired. No, we're good. 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 We need to take out that helicopter. We need to take out the helicopter. We need to focus up for a second. Okay, there we go. Oh, never mind. They can eat a shot. I forgot that. Just, just die. Just die. How? Okay, okay. We got it. We got it. Okay. Uh, honestly, I'm going to let my teammates take everyone out because the reinforce. Okay. Well, Hyper Ninja died. Dude, Hyper Ninja, he's on a cold streak. Let's just put it at that. He is on a cold streak. Dude, I am not helping at all right now. Dude, what is wrong with the convoy? The convoy is like on fire. I'm going to actually have to help for a second. I got you guys. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Have no fear. Dr. Crush is here. Okay. Okay. Now they're getting in the truck. So yeah, we have to help deliver the truck to the drop off. Yeah, there's going to be savages that come after us so there's one like right there i kind of have to like pay attention to okay there's a savage right there we need to take this savage out now here we go oh how is that savage still up how many shots can the savage bro 
There we go. The savage is finally dead. Wow. I took three shots. I didn't want to be in a vigilante earlier because you can blow up a convoy, which is the vehicle that they're driving right now. Yeah, and we need to take that convoy to a specific location. We didn't want to blow up the convoy, but we need to take out a bunch of different vehicles and whatnot. Hey, no, 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 no. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you right now. I swear. I swear. There we go. Okay, another savage has been taken out. Nice. Okay, I'll save you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I blow up everyone. Yeah, for this part of the mission, though, vigilante is great. All right, so we destroyed Meriwether or we escaped them. So now we need to help deliver the truck to the drop off. I'll help. Hold on. Give it a boost. You know, nice boost. Bro, I'm such a good teammate. Who would want a better teammate than me? Oh, my sir, snacks are alive. Was it the bag? He got thrown out. That is hilarious. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I want a prank. I want a big prank, okay? We're going to get right here. And then when they arrive, I'm going to boost. Ready, set, bam. Oh, that. Never mind. That was such a letdown. Okay. Well, we did it. Oh, my God. They had me as the driver? That is so cheesy. What objective did I just get? Mastermind? You earned 25 platinum medals across high setups? Oh, of course I'm platinum. I had to kill like five savages. But there we go. Set up pass. And yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a spoiler alert that we just got. But platinum as always. But now it's time for us to get into the finale. All right. Here we go. We're actually starting up the finale right here. We get this cutscene, but we don't need to look at this cutscene. All right, here we go. Uh, so this is how I'm going to do this specific one. I'm going to make myself the season two account that you're watching right now. I'm going to make the season two account crowd control. I'm going to make hyper ninja hacker. Yeah, I'll make hyper ninja hacker and yeah, should be good to go. All right, but here we go. We are starting up the Pacific standard heist right here. Now earlier I said this was a heist I did all the time back in like 2015 and 2016, but back then we actually had a glitch that made the Pacific Standard job very, very easy, but it is not in effect anymore. And that glitch was the armored Karuma glitch. Now, hold on, hold on. Hyper is driving my car. Uh, I have to mess around with him per usual. I'll just give him a boost. Now, I'm pretty sure there's like a six car, like apartment and garage that's like really, really close to the Pacific Standard Bank. If you own that garage and store Karuma in it, you could access that garage during the finale. So like we would just pull out our Karuma instead of taking the Electros. Okay, we made it. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, we took the Karuma instead of taking the Electros. It just made it so much easier. But I stopped playing GTA for a little bit. And since I stopped playing GTA until I came back, they patched that glitch. So we can't do it. So we got to do it a completely different way. But yeah, we have to take out the security guards right now. I am right now on my season one account since I'm demolition. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and plant charges down. Now, I think the best strategy to do for the Pacific Standard Heist now is to actually just take out some of these guys. I want dead people. Yeah, I want this button to be hit. I want that. That's good. That's exactly what I wanted. And you'll see why. You'll see why we want that. Dude, that sucks. I was trying to send a message to Hyper Ninja telling him that I want to collect all the cash on my secondary account. And you'll see why in a little bit. But in the process of that, I got shot and died. Yeah, but here we go. Let's try this heist again. All right, so yeah, once again, just take out the hostages. Just keep taking out hostages before they actually ring the bell. We want the alarm to be set off. You'll see why in a little bit. Oh, who said this would be the worst way to die, huh? It wasn't you, it was a woman. I think we've taken out everyone. I actually think everyone's dead. What a perfect crowd control. There's no crowd to actually control if you take them all out. But anyways, my secondary account is about to grab a bunch of cash. See, we're gonna go down here and actually look at it. See, look, there's our season one account going, grabbing all the cash. I see you, big dog, I see you. Yeah, look at that. Look at the way he grabs cash. You know, he has like a nice athletic stance, has a good bend in his knees, picking up one individual stack at a time. Okay, there we go. All the cash has been collected. So now we need to regroup near the bank exit. All right, and here we are. We have made it to the bank exit. And you see those vans? That is actually the SWAT team because, oh, my game, game. No, no, that's a funny way of cutting open a freaking door or a tie on the door. Freaking having a combat MG in hand while it's glitched through the freaking door. Yeah, great, idiots. So yeah, now we have to take out all these guys. Oh yeah, by the way, I don't even think I said this. We're doing this heist on hard. We did all the setups on normal. We're doing this on hard. All right, so yeah, the season one account, I walked out of the bank and then I walked right back in because it wants you to get out of the bank, but I just already took care of that. And we're literally just staying in the bank 
connected with our season one account while our season two account is gonna run over here get this checkpoint run this way i want you to follow this exact route or else you're gonna have to take out a lot more cops than you really have to get that checkpoint eat some snacks in the process walk this way uh someone didn't hit the checkpoints right because i hear their little buzzer going off that's fantastic yeah someone didn't hit the checkpoints right i can literally hear them beeping yeah so now we have to get to the getaway bikes and you're probably thinking why are we failing right here and it's because the crowd control team failed so that means someone didn't actually hit the checkpoint okay so they didn't follow the exact route that i did okay i don't think i explained that very well so at least you'll get another attempt to pretty much see exactly the route i want you to take i was uh, kind of explaining what i was doing with my season one account essentially recap what season one accounts doing it grabs all the cash and for this if you get shot the cash is going to go down and obviously we don't want our potential take in the bottom right to go down yeah both of these teammates they have freaking rail guns so they can easily just take out all these enemies all right there we go i exited the bank with my season one account now we're just hiding in the bank so i'm going to show you the exact path we're going to go this way and it wants you to go this way anyways but then once you get here it's going to get pretty interesting see they want to go that way i want to go this way we're going to go this way we're going to hop this fence flop down here face plant get up go down here eat some snacks because we need some snacks oh there's a guy right there okay good aiming okay good now go this way a little bit so you make sure you hit that checkpoint you want to try to like when you go this way just go a little bit and make sure you hit the checkpoints and then continue on this route like how i just did so now we go this way now there's going to be a swat van right there good grenade another good grenade sir snacks lot died awesome Awesome. Just in case you want to see it again, I'll show you again. All right, here we go. Once again, I'll show you the route. So we're going to go this way. We're going to go down here. I'm not even paying attention to any of these guys. I mean, okay, I'll take... Oh, God, that was not good aiming. I'll take out these guys. Sure, whatever. Eat some snacks because I need to eat some snacks. Then we're going to go this way. And as I was saying earlier, make sure you try when going this way to kind of revert back a tad bit so you make sure you hit the checkpoint. Once you hit the checkpoint, then go back on this route. So hit the checkpoint there. Now we keep going. And we jump down here, run this way. Make sure we hit the checkpoint then keep running this way. There's a method to the madness. And I can already hear one of my teammates didn't do that. I hope they're watching this. So now we just continue following the getaway route. I didn't even take out the helicopter. I'm just gonna send it. Okay, anyways, yeah, I'm way ahead of my teammates right now, but I want to be. So what I wanna do now is I wanna destroy all these bikes and I wanna do that for a specific reason. And that's to make sure my season one account can regroup with us. Okay, there we go. Now it says head to the canyon. Now I wanna blow up myself. So then when I actually respawn, my season one account will spawn in right now next to me. This first part was exactly how we did for the Karuma glitch because pretty much my season one account, it walked out of the bank for like a split second and then ran right back in and just hid to make sure they didn't get hit. So that potential cut in the bottom right hand corner stays as high as possible. And then once someone got to the bikes, you blow up the bikes and then you die. So then everyone, as you can see, is going to spawn in right here, including season one account. So the season one account did nothing. And now we're here, which is good. Now this is going to be a little bit interesting. We got the noose on us for a reason so we're gonna get on a bike i'm gonna make sure my other account gets on the bike and now we're gonna head over to a van we just want to get in a van that's all we want to do right here no 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 really really no just die just die my season one account died okay cool one of my teammates just ran into the back of me i don't know who that was might just be payback it's fine whatever this is going to be the toughest part about me trying to manage two accounts at the same time really this entire heist like including the setups really hasn't been too much of an issue because i could just control it with one account for the most part now it's going to take a little bit of coordination but as long as we get into that van that van is armored so we'll be good from there but yeah we just have to get in that van that's it that's what we need right now so our take went down because this account died oh my god that was almost stupid okay i'm gonna get out with my season one account i'm just gonna get in the back i'm just gonna straight up just get in the back and then my season two account i'm gonna take out a few cops all right so now we are in the van so now we just need to head over to the dinghy we don't even need to head to the canyon like it's suggesting us to so this is definitely the best way to do this i don't know where my teammates going though i honestly wanted to be the one that drove because yeah we're going uphill in a very slow vehicle this is kind of silly okay i kind of reverted the map how did someone die was that the drive Driver that died? I wasn't paying attention to who got in the driver's seat. Okay, let's try this again. Apparently, I have a candy cane in my hand. So yeah, I think I have my strategy down at least up until we get to the dinghy. So yeah, our take shouldn't go further down, at least in my opinion. I think we should be good as long as everything goes all right. 
Yeah, I can't. I'm trying to control one account and then the other. Oh my god, this is so frustrating. I was trying to make sure season one got into the van safely. And then season two was just left to just sit there and die. Hmm, maybe this time my season two account will be the driver. I'll make sure he gets in the driver's seat first. And then my season one account, I'll just throw in the back. Because the back of that van is a lot more armored than the front of the van. Dude, someone just ran over my season one account. <laughs> Bro, that costs us money. Uh, Sir Snacks a lot is not fun following us. That is not good. I want Sir Snacks a lot to follow us. So yeah, this is going to be a little interesting, but I'm the driver now, so I can head over to where I want to go. You can see the route that it wants us to take right here. We're not taking that route. We're trying to go onto that road on the west coast of the map and just drive north until we pretty much hit the dinghy. That's pretty much our goal right now. So as you can see, this finale can be a little bit tricky. I know some people think it's pretty easy. It can be easy, but the problem is everyone has has to be extremely coordinated. You can't just say that it's just playing straight up easy because it has to be easy for four people. That's the problem. You have to make sure that entire squad can actually go ahead and do everything together. But I mean, even our team right now, we're doing all right. This is the furthest we've gotten, but one of my teammates is not in the van. We're not very coordinated right now. And one of my teammates is myself. So yeah, once we actually make it over to the dinghy, it's gonna be very interesting to see how things are gonna go because I really only have one person defending my guide to try to get into the freaking dinghy. And that's going to be Hyper Ninja. Because Sir Snacks a lot is on his own quest. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. And pretty much, once you get to like right in here, you want to turn off the interstate and kind of go down here. But I want to go a little bit slower because Sir Snacks a lot, he hasn't hit the jump yet. So I kind of want to just eat up time in this ride van before anything else happens. Yeah, there's cops like quite literally surrounding us. Oh, they're even trying to climb up the rock. I'm chilling on this rock trying to wait for Sir Snacks a lot to, you know, go ahead and do his thing. Oh, and there we go. Sir Snacks a lot died. Yeah, no, no. I got to communicate with him somehow. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. Yeah, I think my potential cut instead of it being like a million, it's probably cutting under a million dollars now at this point. So yeah, hopefully we can complete it now without taking too much damage so we can still get a good amount of cut. Okay, here we go. We've made it to the van. I need that one to get in the driver's seat. I need this one to be in back here. Okay, we're all good here. Okay, everyone in now. All right, cool. So now I have to do that entire joyride all over again. Nope. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Who's that? Oh my God. I can't communicate with him right now because I got to drive. Yeah, that's something else. If you're in the back, do not. And I mean, do not shoot because the guy with the money should also be in the back. If you're in the back shooting, then you're opening up the door, which means you're opening up opportunities for the guy holding the money to get shot, meaning your take will go down. You're completely armored in the back right here. You're completely armored. So yeah, pretty much like what we're doing right now or at least what everyone's doing now. No one's shooting. That's good because there's no threat to us. Even like that one cop right there. Bye. See ya. Just run right past him. Yeah, I was just thinking about it. I think the Pacific Standard Heist takes the most coordination out of any heist in the game. And what I mean by that is you have to coordinate with three other players. So, okay. But you're also thinking like, hey, Dr. Crush, there's also three other heists that need at least four players to do the heist. And yes, but two of those heists, the Humane Labs heist and the Prison Break heist, both of those heists, Pretty much there's different roles for all the players. Like the prison break heist, one of the hardest heists in the game for a lot of people. But you don't really have to be too coordinated with each other. You have like the officer and then you have the inmate. They kind of have to work alongside of each other. And then you also have the pilot and the demolition, which they're kind of working alongside each other too. Kind of similar style with the humane labs raid. Two pairs go off with each other and then they meet up and then they fight together. But the series A heist and this high specific standard you have to fight with each other pretty much from the get-go Dude, there is no way. Hold on, did y'all see that? There's NPC civilian. They just ran into the back of the van and now we're screwed. Or we were screwed. Car, stop. Okay, that was frustrating. I was in the middle of a rant. But yeah, the Series A funding heist, everyone's pretty much working with each other from the get-go, but it doesn't take as much coordination, at least in my opinion. This heist right here, it takes a ton of coordination. This is the longest heist too, I think. Like this takes a long time if you want to do it correctly. From the original heist, this is the longest heist. All right, so we've made it to this point again. 
again. So yeah, we're gonna go down here. Hopefully there's not gonna be as many cops just because I wasn't just sitting here like a sitting duck like I was last time. But yeah, we wanna drive down here. And I think how I want to do this is I want my season two account to get out first and then season one will get out. Okay, this is good enough. I think this is good enough. All right, so I'm going to swim over to the dinghy and then, all right, now my season one account is about to swim over. I think I'm the, yeah, I'm the boat driver. Good, good, good. All right, season one's in. Now, Sir Snack Slot, you gotta get in. All right, let's go, let's go. We just have to make a sprint for it. But yeah, we just have to make it all the way out to sea and then once we do, we should be good to go. All right, and there we go. We made it out to sea and there we go. That's an easy, well, maybe not easy, but that's a Pacific Standard heist in our bag. And there we go, heist passed. Oh, of course I get platinum, of course, of course. All right, so I got 55% of the cut, which is $959,000. And we did have to quick restart a few times, but we were gonna have to do that anyways, just because of the way I had to do it. But that's okay, we completed the Pacific Standard heist. All right, so after that heist, we're now sitting on $3,574,000, which means for the finale episode, our final episode of season number two of Loser Luxury, we need to make six million and five hundred thousand dollars roughly which that's going to be a tall tall ask but i am not going to finish that episode until we actually have ten million dollars in our bank account and are able to purchase the galaxy super yacht Make sure you're on this account. We started as a level one in GTA Online, and the only way I've made money was by spinning a wheel determining what I should buy next. But today in this video, we will finish our final journey to purchase the most expensive item in GTA Online to reach a luxurious state in society finally. So welcome to episode 82 of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So we are trying to buy the most expensive item in GTA online today in this video to wrap up this season of loser to luxury and the most expensive item in the game is going to be this galaxy super yacht the aquarius model with all the most expensive modifications to it coming in at a total of 10 million dollars and currently right now we're sitting on three million six hundred and fifty seven thousand dollars and we are not going to end this episode until we reach that 10 million dollar mark so we need to make roughly like six and a half million dollars before before we can actually purchase the Galaxy Super Yacht. But I have some things in store today that'll hopefully get us to that $10 million mark. Some things are just pretty good ways to make money. Other things that we're doing are boosted for this week, which is very nice when I need to make this much money. But we're gonna start out this episode by actually doing a Cayo Perico heist. And I already fully set this Cayo Perico heist up. So let me spawn in my Kasatka and let's get started with this Cayo Perico heist. All right, so I've made it over to my Kasatka and we're about to start up the Cayo Perico heist. But before we get into this Cayo Perico heist, it's not just going to be any normal heist. It's not going to be just walk in, steal whatever and walk out. No, 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 no. This one's going to be a little bit different. Now, the last two episodes, I've done heists all by myself. I did the Doomsday Scenario heist all by myself two episodes ago. And I did the Pacific Standard heist with a group of four people. But two of those people were this account and then one other account that I was controlling. And why not continue that here for the Cayo Perico heist? Plus, it'll give me a little bit more money, too, by doing it this way. Plus, I think it gives a shorter cooldown, too. So there's some incentives here versus those other things. The others were just a pure challenge. There's some incentives involved with this. But anyways, let's go ahead and let me invite myself. And let's go ahead and start up this heist. All right, so I finally was able to get myself to join my own heist, which is a very interesting sense to say. But anyways, as you can see the top right, though, our primary target is actually a pink diamond. It's not even any of the other poverty items like the tequila, the necklace, bear bonds. No, none of that garbage. We actually got a pink diamond. That's very awesome. But anyways, we're going to do this heist with two people, clearly. So our approach is going to be a little different than us doing it solo. So our approach vehicle, instead of it being the long fin, is going to be the Kasatka. Our infiltration point is going to be the drainage tunnel. Our compound entry point is going to be the drainage tunnel. Escape point doesn't really matter so much. So we'll do airstrip time of day. We're going to do this in the middle of the day so I can see what I'm doing doing weapon loadout we didn't actually pay for suppressors but you can just tap the a button twice under suppressors and you can just equip suppressors you know since i'm playing this by myself i wish i can give myself 100 give my other account zero but 15 percent is the minimum pay cut so stupid someone's willing to do it for zero percent let the man but i guess there could be some glitches involved with that anyways i don't know let's get this ice started up 
All right, here we go with the Kyle Perico heist, but not a normal Kyle Perico heist. A Kyle Perico heist done solo, but with multiple people. I don't know. You can do this heist actually solo. Done with two accounts for one heist. I don't know. You know what I mean. I'm just getting a little bit more money than I normally would if I did this solo. But pink diamond, that is very nice. Because pink diamond, instead of us getting like a million dollar pay cut, I don't know, solo, we probably would have made like 1.5 million but with a guest in here too. Uh, I don't know how much of an increase but it's going to be a little bit increased from roughly 1.5. You know, we'll just find out. And hopefully I can complete this first attempt. I don't have to worry about anyone just running into a guard or getting caught. That's not me. So that's good. Yeah, so right now my other account, which is on my other Xbox, is quite literally just floating. So yeah, I'm going to swim all the way here. Now I'm going to get on my other account and I'm going to start swimming over. <laughs> I don't see a marker on the map. I am so lost right now. I can't even find the drainage tunnel. I'm being really stupid on the other account. I'm wasting time. I was literally about to say, I don't know if we can actually complete this heist with the elite challenge, even if everything goes according to plan, just because how I have to control two accounts. But I don't know. We'll see. But I can't even find the drainage tunnel. I don't know how I got so lost. I genuinely got lost. Quite embarrassing. But okay, you can kind of see it now. My character starting to swim off. I've made it. I've made it. Don't worry. I've made it. I got the swimming wrong. This is like the easiest part. Swimming. Okay, we finally made it. Everyone's here. Now, a good thing about this heist compared to the Pacific Standard and the Doomsday Scenario, I can, for the most part, just set down my other controller for the other account, and I can just go about this with just one person. I think for the most part, until we get our secondary loot, which is good. My Season 1 account is literally just going to sit right there. Oh, yeah, by the way, that's our Season 1 Loser to Luxury account. And now what I'm trying to do is we're going to try to find another another key card. We're trying to find two key cards, but I already know where one location of a key card's at. I just need another one. Please, one of you two have it. Ah, oh, dude. How did I get spotted by a camera? I mean, clearly I got spotted by a camera. Wow, that was so dumb. All right, wow, okay, we're not getting Elite Challenge. I'm so lost. I don't even know what happened. I genuinely don't know what happened. I'm not doubting it. I was just not aware that I ran into a camera, but okay, all good. It's fine, it's fine. I'll take blame on that because there's no other option. <laughs> there's literally no other option. I can't blame it on anything else. But yeah, finding the key card at this first part is so annoying. If you can't find it within like the first four people, you know, it's a good likelihood that one of these two guys have it like i've gotten it here plenty of times just because i said that two times in a row they do not have it so that is awesome oh there is a camera right there do you have it okay okay yeah there is a camera right here wow here i'll kind of show you look there's literally a camera right there i was just being dumb i don't know what i was doing just being stupid instead of being dr crush i was being dr stupid i'll take you out even though i don't really have to but i just want to see if someone has gate keys oh no 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 hold on i can't kill you just yet because the juggernaut's like right underneath you okay anyways we finessed our way over here and the second key card is going to be on the desk so now we have both key cards and now we can get into the safe. This safe. This isn't the, actually the pink diamond. There we go. We got 36,000. Meh. A little below average. All right. I'm going to start hacking my way down. Uh, I think there's two bundles of gold on the map. Oh, yeah. By the way, we're trying to get bundles of gold because gold's going to pay out the most. So, yeah. We're trying to get as many bundles of gold as possible. But I only think there's two, which that's not going to completely fill up both bags. I got to figure out how else I'm going to fill up both bags. All right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get that. We have this unlocked. We're not going to get the primary target just yet. We're going to save that for last. But yeah, I got to go back up this way. I'm going to take out this guy right now. Yeah, there's no one around him, but he doesn't have the gate keys either. So freaking annoying, dude. Now, the way we're going to get out of here is going to be very, very annoying, especially with two players that I'm controlling. Okay, so right now what I'm doing is we're going to head all the way back to our first gold location, which is the first gold location. It's pretty close to where we spawned in. First gold location is just over here. So I am set up ready to do the key card swipe. Let me get my other account over here so we can do the second key card swipe. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, that was simultaneous. I wonder why. Okay, my other account is going to get all the gold right here. See how much that fills up this account's loot bag. What is that? Two thirds? That looks like two thirds. I don't think that's 75%. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to head all the way back to the vault, or at least to the basement where the vault is, and then we're going to go get the other bundle of gold, which is going to be in the location down there. I got to run all the way back over there with both accounts. All right. So I've made it down here with one account. I'm literally going to get ready to swipe. And now let me get my other account, which is 
we're still sitting in that room where we got the gold. All right, other count has made it over. Both in position. Ready, three, two, one. Wow, that was simultaneous. I wonder why. Ha ha. Let me get my season one account. We're going to grab as much gold as possible. But we can't fill up our entire bag with all this gold. Okay, maxed out of gold. As you can see, we have filled up our bag. Move over. And how much is this going to fill up? Okay, that's a third. So we can get a painting. I think painting is our next best bet. We're not going to get anything outside of the compound just because it's going to be a little bit more complicated. So let me get this painting. I've never seen this weird painting. Um, A painting of an eye with a butterfly on a sunset or sunrise. I don't freaking know. Just whatever. I'll get this painting. If someone wants it, sure. I don't want it. I still got to get one more thing of something. I assume I got to go find a bundle of cash, which I think I remember there's a location of cash somewhere. Okay, I found a location, but it's in an annoying spot. There's a guard that's just like stalking right in here. Wait, hold on. I might be complaining for no reason. Okay, but then there's this spot where there's like multiple guards kind of stalking walking over here. Oh my god, and the juggernaut's coming this way. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> so annoying. Okay, I'm just gonna put my character right over here for now, and then I'm gonna get my other account to start heading over this way. You should've just given me another bundle of gold, and then this would've been all fine. Three bundles of gold instead of two. What does a man gotta ask for? See, I don't understand, like, when I can kill this guard, because the juggernaut will see this guard dead, so yeah, I don't know, man. This guard right here, he's so frustrating. He's in a very critical spot. Okay, go, 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 go. It's our time. It's our time. We just need some cash and that's it. Three, three, two, one, go. Let's go try to grab some cash. Now, I can't loot when the guard is really close by. Uh, you can't really see it here, but the guard is right outside the door. I can see it on my season one account. So I can't loot right now. I have to wait for that guard to turn back around and get back in his corner. Like he walks away for a little bit, but he only stays there for maybe like 10 to 20 seconds. I think he's far enough away. I'm going to start collecting cash. That's one good thing. I can keep an eye out with the other account. Okay. But there we go. That's all the secondary loot that I need. Let me get out of here. Both loot bags are completely filled. So that's good. And that's already $915,000. Yeah, now I got to coordinate with both accounts to make it all the way back over to the vault. Oh, wait, and okay, wait, hold on. I actually don't have half to. But I got to figure out a way to get my secondary account close to the exit, though. All right, so we're down here at the vault. But let me check on my season one account how I could actually escape. Okay, I think I found a secure spot that I'm hiding. I'm pretty close to the exit. It. So I'm going to go ahead and get this pink diamond. The reason we got this last after our secondary loot is because after you get this, more guards are going to spawn in. So when we're freely running around trying to get secondary loot. It was pretty crucial for us not to get this. Uh oh, whoa. Whoa, uh oh, I guess I didn't kill someone in the right spot, which I had a feeling. Okay, this is not good, not good. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, we gotta make a run for, I'm just, we're going for it. I think it was one of the guards close to the side I didn't kill in the right spot, but whatever. Okay, yeah, we, we've made it, we're about to exit. Yeah, I think one of the guards that I killed, I think right at the beginning, instead of killing him like a little bit in the open, I was supposed to kill him in like a pathway. Let me get my secondary account on a vehicle, preferably the two-seater vehicle. Dude, I gotta swim with both accounts. This is gonna be interesting. Okay, my season one account just gets in the back like a dork. All right, so we're literally just going to drive off the island, but it's going to be very interesting. Okay, well, yeah, it's going to be very okay. How do we stay in the vehicle? We just flipped the open top vehicle. All right, we have to swim away with both accounts. Okay, let me get situated on my other account. Start swimming down. All right, we're swimming. I have to swim down so we don't get hit as much. God, I am spamming A with both controllers right now, dude. This is intense. Oh, 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 we hit something. We hit far enough. It looks like because the text at the bottom of the screen is not there anymore. Okay, there we go. Easiest heist ever. <laughs> God, that was a little annoying. That wasn't as hard as a Pacific Standard or a Doomsday scenario, but that was just complicated. A lot of back and forth action that I had to do. But there we go. Heist passed. We had actually taken $1,923,000 to get 85% of that, which is $1,635,000. So yeah, pretty good way to start out this episode. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the cooldown for another Kaya Perico heist when you do it with multiple players instead of it being three gta online days it's one gta online day i need to look that up to confirm that but i'm pretty sure that's what it is okay so yeah i can actually confirm that it is going to be only a 48 minute cooldown or one gta online day which is pretty nice i don't know if i'm actually going to take advantage of that or not but just in case if i need to i have that in my back pocket but now we're sitting on five million two hundred and ninety two thousand dollars what a great start but there's still more i want to do so let's head over to the next spot to actually start up our next money-making method. 
Okay, so now I'm at my arcade and we're at the arcade because we are going to do a diamond casino heist. And I want to do a diamond casino heist for this video because of the boosted money for this week, or at least boosted chance of getting diamonds. We have a very good chance of getting diamonds this week for the diamond casino heist. And this is for the Valentine's Day update. So yeah, absolutely. I want to take advantage of that. Upfront cost is required to begin. Do you think I'm stupid? I already knew this. Come on, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that crap off my screen. Let me go up. Let me go pay. Oh, 25,000. Oh, so scary. I had to pay 100,000 for the Kaya Briga Do you think that's scary? You had to give me a warning? That's peasant money. 25k. <laughs> so yeah, we're doing another Diamond Casino heist. So we don't need to scope out the casino anymore because we already did that. So we need to go ahead and scope out the vault contents. And this is going to be very important for us. Now, even though diamonds are in the casino this week, there's not a 100% chance we can actually get diamonds this week. I don't even know the percentage chance. So yeah, this setup right here is extremely important for us. Yeah, when diamonds were in the casino back in November, I had to run this setup mission over and over again to try to get diamonds to be my primary target. There's gonna be a very strong possibility that's gonna be the case here today. I hope not, but we're gonna have to see. Okay, so just in case we don't know how this setup works, we we're supposed to search the area for a security guard. Okay, so yeah, here's a security guard. I'm just gonna do this the quick way by doing that. Okay, okay, okay homing miss there we go that's what i wanted the entire time yeah i just like to go ahead and collect the phone like we're supposed to like you know go ahead and get close and hack them but you can do it that way i think it's a little quicker but you have to lose the cops it's the only issue with that which i don't think losing the cops is incredibly bad it's only a two-star one in level not the end of the world all right so we lost the cops now we just enter the casino now since we're in the casino we can go ahead pull up the sites here app and we're trying to find the signal strength in the bottom right hand corner to be pretty much maxed out or very close to it so you have to go ahead and search this place try to find where the signal is the strongest okay so now we can access the security feed and we're looking for what's in the vault okay here we go we're in the vault i can already tell it's paintings yeah there's a painting right there or artwork they call it artwork which that's not what we want i want diamonds um i mean that's a good i mean honestly anything other than cash is good but yeah no we don't want that so i think i can just spawn into another session and then that That'll reset, I think. Is that how it works? I don't know. We're trying to reset it. So hopefully when we go back, it won't be artwork. I might have to cancel the heist. I don't remember exactly the way I'm supposed to do it. I'm going to be completely honest. Okay, vault contents have not been scooped out yet. So yeah, I think we can just do that over again. We do that mission over again. Hopefully they give us the diamonds this time. All right, what is going to be in the vault this time? Okay, it doesn't look like paintings this time. Okay, so I did it right. Oh, never mind. Maybe I didn't. It's artwork again. Uh, I'm going to look up to see if that is technically the right way. I don't know. Okay, okay. We haven't been doing it right. So what I want to do now is I want to cancel the heist. I got to call up Lester. And I don't know if I can cancel the heist from inside, though. It'd be nice. Okay, yeah, I can't cancel the heist in the arcade. So I got to exit the arcade. And then we have to cancel the heist. And unfortunately, we're going to have to pay an extra 25k once again to start it back up again. But still, it's going to be cheaper than the Kaya Perico heist. So not the end of the world. Okay, so we go and click cancel the diamond casino heist. Are you sure your setup cost won't be refunded? Oh no, my 25K. All right, so we're back here and essentially we want to do that process over and over again until we find the vault contents we want, which is going to be diamonds. Now, honestly, on a normal week when there aren't diamonds in the vault, I would recommend you do that only if you get cash. If you get artwork, it could be beneficial for you compared to gold. Gold probably in the end will pay out more, but the problem with gold is that you have to get three players to get all the gold necessary with artwork you can have two players and get all the artwork and when i'm saying all the artwork i mean all of it inside of the vault you can't get all of the gold or cash with only two players you need an extra player i need at least three players to get all gold or cash or diamonds in this case so yeah artwork i think is a little bit slept on for that reason but that doesn't matter right here we're trying to get diamonds so please give me some diamonds it's a diamond casino it's not the artwork casino it doesn't have the same ring to it. you know the artwork casino the cash casino it doesn't have the same ring to it for the gold casino but i mean gold's good but i'm not gonna do it today all right what's gonna be in the vault this time come on show me the diamonds and nope it's gonna be oh wait what is that i can't tell is that cash god dang it dude what does that look like garbage lash it looks like garbage don't talk to me like that 
stupid. I gotta pay another 25K, awesome. All right, what is this gonna be? Third real attempt is the charm, please. Oh my, wait. Oh, no, that's diamonds. That looks like diamonds, right? Diamonds, yeah, that's diamonds. Is that thing right there, that briefcase at the bottom. We don't seal it like that. We seal it, I don't know, they're in like boxes or something. They're in like glass box. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Whatever, third actual attempt is the charm. Good deal. Just only had to pay a total of $75,000 just to get that. Hey, let me run over that guy. Hey, no, 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 no. Oh, I just threw that guy. I didn't mean to throw you. I wanted to throw this guy. Well, come on, get up, ready, set, wha-bam. Okay, good. All right, now let's leave the area. There we go, heist prep complete. So now I can actually go ahead and respawn it in my arcade. No way, no way, dude, no. Oh, oh, okay. I thought they were gonna make us do it again. No, I don't know what's up. It's not even allowing me to like click that. I guess I have to leave the arcade and go back. I just wanna fast travel here so I don't have to, you know, travel all the way to Grapeseed, which I know with an oppressor is not too long, but I'm just trying to chip away as much time as possible. So I'm gonna leave, come back in. Hopefully it fixes itself. Okay, yeah, no, it fixes itself. Okay, good. I'm a genius. Okay, there we go. As you can see right there, diamonds. Good. It's what we want. All right, so now we are selecting our approach. And the first time that we did this as a leader, which was episode 79 of Loser to Luxury, we did the big con approach. So we're not allowed to do that again. So that leaves us with the aggressive approach and the silent and sneaky approach. Now, in my opinion, the aggressive approach is way easier than the silent and sneaky approach, but you get less time in the vault. I don't like doing it the silent and sneaky way. I love doing it the big con approach, but looks like we're gonna have to do it the silent and sneaky approach. That's what we're gonna do here today. So here we go. All right, so once again, we have to pick a gunman and driver and a hacker. Uh, pretty much same ordeal as we did last time. I want the cheapest gunman, which is gonna be Carl. And then our driver is gonna be the worst driver because we're not driving far. We're gonna use Kareem. And then hacker is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna use the most expensive hacker, which actually is supposed to be this big question mark right here, which is Avi Schwartzman, but we don't have him unlocked. We haven't gotten 50 out of 50 signal jammers. So we are gonna use Paige instead, which she'll give us a pretty good amount of time to collect all the diamonds too. So yeah, we want Paige in our corner. Anyways, uh, I'll see you when I get all these setups done and we're ready to jump into the finale. All right, so we completed all of the setups that we need for the Diamond Casino heist and I actually watched a guide on how to do the silent and sneaky approach. And the only optional prep that at least I was told to do was the level two security, which I mean, I pretty much do that anyways. The security intel, we just had to do one mission. That was the Vincent mission we had to do last episode that we did Diamond Casino heist in. So that was already taken care of, but everything else we're not gonna touch I'm not touching power drills. Don't really need patrol routes. Really don't need dug in shipments because we shouldn't get caught. You know, it's a silent and sneaky approach. You're not supposed to get caught in the silent and sneaky approach. Dug in shipments, what it does is it makes the guards inside the casino a little bit worse. They have less armor and worse weapons, essentially. But during the silent and sneaky approach, that shouldn't be an issue because you're not getting caught by anyone. And then, yeah, I don't need EMP device or the infiltration suit. So yeah, I think I'm gonna run it like this. All right, so here's your crew right here. We have a level 41 and a level 7,981. You know, it looks pretty legit because when we look at his KD ratio, it is, oh God, what is that number even? I want to figure this number out. There's so many zeros by it. Okay, so his KD ratio is 1,002,944. That's a pretty good KD ratio. Okay, I was explaining that too much. And then the other guy left. <laughs> I'm sorry, I guess, but at the same time, you're not getting paid. So sucks for you. It sucks for me. I don't get the guy with the one billion KD ratio. Oh yeah, by the way, you're probably like, why don't you just get your other account in here? Like how you did with the Kaio Perico heist. It doesn't make sense here because we only have a limited amount of time in the vault to collect stuff. It's going to be costing me money if I go in with both accounts, just because I'm going to have to coordinate with both accounts and try to collect stuff at the same time. Okay, finally, we got two people to join. Now, will they accept 15%? I hope so, because I'm not budging on that. Uh, our entrance, by the way, is going to be staff lobby. Our exit uh, doesn't really matter, to be honest. We can exit wherever we want during the actual heist, but I want it to be staff lobby. And someone left. Ha <laughs> ha. Great. You're not getting paid. All right. Finally got another crew together. But as I was saying earlier, yeah, entrance, staff lobby, exit, staff lobby, buyer. We want the high level buyer. Now everyone needs to ready up. <laughs> 
<laughs> Plain and simple. All right, here we go. We are doing the silent and sneaky approach for the Diamond Casino heist. But first things first, we have to drive all the way from Grapeseed to the Diamond Casino. All right, so the people we have in this heist are there a level 80 and a level 117. So yeah, pretty good levels. But I don't know. We'll see how good they are with the actual heist itself. I have a pretty good idea after doing some research while I was doing setups on how to do this heist. But the problem is going to be that I have two other teammates and they might want to do their own thing or they might think that a certain way is the correct way when it's not. Yeah, I will say when doing research for this approach, this specific approach for the Diamond Casino heist, it definitely has the potential to be extremely, extremely good. But the problem is you got to have people that are pretty aware of what to do. At least with the big con approach, you can get away with being kind of stupid. At least in my opinion, you can get away with being stupid. There's only one like complicated part or kind of, it's not even that complicated for the big con approach. This is going to be a little bit complicated on who to take out, who not to take out. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. We need to enter the casino right here. All right, so here we go. Let the fun begin and hopefully everything goes well. Okay, we're inside of here. We want to take out our stun gun. We want to stun this. Then we want to take out a guard. Who? Where was that guy? I didn't even see that guy. No, I'm just dying straight up. No, we're doing this stealthy. It's a silent and sneaky. It is not silent and sneaky for one second and then aggressive approach. No, it's weird. Just straight up weird. I mean, it said someone alerted the guard. I won't even count it on that guy. I didn't even see that guard. I don't know what was wrong with that guard. All right, let's try this again. All right, so stun gun right there. And then we go through here and then there's a guard in here. But where? Right there. Nice. Okay, good. That guard's taken out. Okay. He just spawns in late or something. Okay. We need to take out people in here. The problem is I can't get in that way. It just sucks. I plan on getting in that way. Don't go that way, guys. Don't need to. I think I alerted someone. That's on me. That one's on me. I got too close to these guys. That's on me. That one's on me. Okay. Just bear with me. I am not the best at the silent and sneaky. I rarely do this one. I try to avoid it. But today we're trying to buy a yacht. I got to confront some things. Where's this guy? Spawn in. Spawn in. Spawn... Okay, this guy's just shooting like crazy. Oh my god, dude. Don't be stupid. You're being stupid. And of course you died. You don't deserve to live. I'm going to be honest. And he... Oh my god, why are people so annoying? It's not my fault you suck. Okay, see, I'm admitting I'm not the best at the Diamond Casino Heist, but the problem with what that guy just did is that he just went in and tried to do the silent and sneaky approach aggressively. Like, he wasn't even trying to do it silent and sneaky. He's not understanding even the concept. Sorry to this other guy, but we're leaving. I want two guests. Okay, let's try this again. We are doing the silent and sneaky approach, not the aggressive approach, the silent and sneaky approach. So we are going to attempt to do this, and guess what? Silent, and maybe with a touch of sneaky. Yeah, that other guy thought we were doing this aggressively, but with a little bit of silent and sneaky on the side. No, silent and sneaky is not a side dish. It is a freaking entree for how we're doing this ice, but it's fine. It's fine, you know? Hopefully these crew members understand that. We have a level 73 and level 217. You know, you would just assume that the higher levels will have, you know, more experience with the game in general, including doing the Diamond Casino heist. So that's kind of why I kind of look at the levels. And these are the first people that join. It's not like I kicked out any any low levels, anything like that. But still, it doesn't mean 100% that they're going to be good teammates. It could be crap, kind of like that last teammate. There's only one way to find out, and that is when we actually make it to the casino. So see you when we get there. All right, so here we go. Let's try this again. We're back at the casino. So first things first, do a little of that. Walk on in, spawn in guy. Oh, there they are. Bop and bop. Okay, good. Now, where? Oh, where? Okay, I can go through here this time. Good. Okay, ready? We need to take these guys out. Ready, set, go. Good. Now, I need to use my level 2 security pass to get in here. Okay, these guys are doing pretty well, meaning they're not going on their own and doing stupid shit. Okay, we're going to wait for this guy to come back, and then we're going to hit him in the head, because he looks pretty armored. Ready, set, we pop. There we go. Actually, we're going to do something a little smart. We're going to open up this door, and then we're going to get some cash that's going to be in here. It's kind of like the thing that's at the Kaya Perico Heist in El Rubio's office. So yeah, pretty much you can collect cash. A little bit longer, though, but it's okay. I think you can get anywhere between, like, 20 and 80,000, I think. No, guy, we're not going yet. Hold on, hold on, hold your horses. You're doing good, just don't get ahead of yourself. You got 60,000 out of that, that's pretty good. But I think on the way out too, we can collect even more from there. I think it resets, at least that's what I heard. Okay, we're ready to go, let's go. So we walk down here. Oh God, that, 
That's on me. That's on me. I didn't realize there's gonna be a heavily armored guy there. Shoot. That's on me. There's no way around that. That's on me. Me being stupid or unaware. Whatever. All right, the issue is we gotta do that all over again, but not the end of the world. Okay, there we go. Those two guys are taken out. So we're gonna go the same way that we went the first time. So bop, bop. Good. That's not me. I That wasn't me. That wasn't me. That guy got too close to the window. Yeah. Here. This window right here in this door, people can see you through. Like that guard. But this window right here, they can't see you through. So, yeah. I would recommend just chilling out right here until you're ready to attack that guy. At least that's what I've been told. But, yeah. Let me go ahead and just die so we can reset. Because, once again, we're doing this a silent sneaky approach. We're not doing this the aggressive approach. No! No! Oh, they didn't hear that? Oh, that's cool. I thought they heard that. He got some shots off, but no one heard that. Wow. Wow. But anyways, yeah, the daily take is right in here. This is what I was talking about earlier. Okay, remember, there's going to be a guy that's heavily armored. You got to make sure we remember that this time around. Be careful. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. The sky's going to run up like right here and then pop. Perfect. That's exactly how we're supposed to do that. Okay, there's a camera right here. We can just run underneath it. It's not going to be an issue. All right, cool. Then we want to take out this camera like that. And then, no, no. It's the same guy that got too ahead of himself. He got way too ahead of himself like he did earlier. We we're so close. Yeah, I mean, if you get the strategy down, this is a great approach to do. But the problem is when you're doing it with randoms, not every random is going to know what to do. Yeah, that's what we're running into right now. I mean, well, he got too ahead of himself. That guard that caught him, we were supposed to wait for him to walk a little bit closer. So when he got closer, we just smack him upside the head. And that wouldn't have been an issue. But he got too ahead of himself and he got caught. What happened? Hello? Your team quit. No, no. No, no, no. You quit because you got caught. It's always the guy that screws up and then just leaves. I just don't get it, man. I really don't get it. All right, here we go. Another silent and sneaky approach attempt, whatever thing. The third one. Is third time going to be the charm once again? Gosh, I hope so. But this time, compared to our other teammates, not that our other teammates as far as levels were that bad. This crew, on the other hand, is like an all-star team when it comes to levels. We have a level 1,200. 41 and a level 422 and that's pretty legit levels to be like anyone within like the low 1000s at least i consider is legit and obviously level 422 that's pretty legit too bro i crashed because i was reading a text message move the arcade out of the sticks lol upper management that's the guy's name i appreciate your concern for my arcade location but unfortunately the wheel said otherwise and that is why we have an arcade all the way in grape seed <laughs> So I am so sorry. And it, it is kind of annoying because this is now the third time I am driving to the casino in, what is this car? The Rancher XL. More like the slower XL. I swear this vehicle's slow. All right, let's do this again. Attempt number three. Bob? No, 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 no. There is no way this guy was just ready to go. That is so dumb. There is no way that guard was that alert. No, 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 no. I'm not believing it. No. He was like, ah, there's gonna be three guys just turning in the corner right here like, come on okay good that guy's dead now loser okay can we get through this door no thanks that's my fault god dang it these guards right here are so annoying it's on me that's on me the door that we went through last time can't go through so i have to go through that door but the problem is is that there's guys right there like right next to that door how the heck am i supposed to take out those guys bro i'm just lost i'm lost now yeah, the problem is Oh, those guys are not that hard to take out. Oh, I thought they were for some reason. Okay, never mind. I thought they were armed guys. I thought they were like the heavy armor guys. Okay, I was freaking out for a second. Sorry, I'm learning. I'm learning. Okay, okay wait for that guy to turn the corner. Good. Turn the corner. I want the kill. My kill. Okay, then I'm gonna go back in here. We're gonna like, get this guy some extra cash. Yeah, this upper management guy, he knows what he's doing. Because he was ahead of me this attempt. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Some guy's going on his own. Oh, no. I mean, okay. I was gonna wait for my teammate to be right next to us, but okay. They took out the guard. I'm cool with it. Go ahead. All right, let's go. So there's gonna be a camera down here. I forgot to mention, but just run underneath the camera. It's apparently not gonna spot you. And then this camera right here, you want to take out like that. No, no. Oh, you got... Yeah, I was about to say, that's what the guy did last time. Ran just straight into that guard. Yeah, you're supposed to wait. You're supposed to wait and draw him in and then smack him in the face. No, dude, wait. Someone actually left. Come on. It's so frustrating, dude. Every time someone leaves, it's never when, like, I make a mistake. It's always when they make the mistake. They're like, oh, I made a mistake. I assume it's that guy. They're like, oh, I made a mistake. I'm done. I'm gone. 
<laughs> All right, you're sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of it. But here's our another heist crew. Uh, one of these guys is actually a subscriber. Smoke9311. He's a subscriber, so shout out to that guy. He's level 967 too, which is very, very nice. And we also... We're about to drive into the water. Good thing that rock was there. And then the other guy is a level 157. I probably shouldn't even be looking at that anymore after what's been happening. I just realized, dude, we haven't even made it to the vault. We've made it out to the basement twice. And both times, someone screwed it up. And then after they screwed it up, they left. <laughs> this is some weird crap, dude. We're back at the casino. Spawn in. Okay, you're a little late there. I don't like it when you spawn in a little late. Okay, that's not ready to go. Okay, Smoke took out the camera there, which is interesting. Smoke seems like he knows what he's doing. He's so quick. It's kind of hard to keep up with him, Loki. But hey, as long as we get this done, I'm cool with it. Wait, wait, where's the guard? Is there no guards gonna run through here? Why is the guard not running through here? Usually there's a guard that runs through here. Like literally all the attempts that we've gone through here, there's been a guard. There's no guard this time. Bro, just Smoke is going for it. Smoke is gonna put me on his back. He's like a gnat. Okay, no, that's a little disrespectful in my opinion he's just quick i don't know how he's that quick he's weirdly quick if that makes any sense smoke smoke smoke's just going for it he is way ahead of me right here he's just smack that guy in the face i'm just watching and just kind of being amazed <laughs> This is the furthest we've gone so far. Dude, smoke is good. Shout out to smoke, my guy, smoke. This has gone really, really well. I think smoke has done this a few times. <laughs> you know, when there's smoke, there is fire. And God damn it, smoke is on fire right now. God, that was so cheesy. Okay, yeah, let me begin to drill. I feel like smoke is just waiting on me. He's like, you moron. When it comes to a silent and sneaky approach, diamond casino hype, yes, I might be a moron. Well, I'm not, no, I'll take it back. I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. I was a noob, maybe I graduated from noob status. I don't know. Anyways, we need to go get some diamonds. So I got to go find some hacks I got to do. So I got to do this hack. Not going to lie. I feel like Smoke knows how to do a hack too. I'm just going to assume just because how good he is. So yeah, now what we're doing is we're collecting all the diamonds. Or my team is. I'm not right now. Oh, good. Another hack. Great. I'm doing two hacks before I can even get one thing of diamonds. Yeah, I literally did two hacks just to get one bundle of freaking diamonds that's over here. Don't know if that's worth it or not. But we're going to find out. There's a lot of loot on the other side of the vault. Really, no one's touch. I'm hoping there's not that many hacks over there. I really hope. Oh, oh, these diamonds are like in a case of four. Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go and try to collect some more diamonds. Okay, all the hacks are done. I just realized that. I think we can get full loot. It's gonna be close, but I think we can get full loot. Bro, what? Okay. Well, there's just one thing of diamonds still here that the game didn't want us to get. Fine. They didn't want us to fully rob the place, but okay. So yeah, we're gonna be cutting it very close. I assume the guy's gonna finish up up looting right at 20 seconds that's my guess he's got to make it out of here if he doesn't make it out of here in time gas will start to rise up in the vault but also the alarm will go off okay go 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 10 seconds he has 10 seconds run you gotta run five four three two i don't think he's gonna make it you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. We were that close to getting it full. Smoke is just sitting in the smoke. Is just dying on purpose? If smoke wants to die, I go down with smoke. There goes smoke. And here I go. And my teammate. That sucks. Quite literally. Two seconds more would have been fine. The smoke just messaged me saying that he doesn't want to fight. And I agree. I agree. I absolutely agree. Problem is we gotta do that all over again. <laughs> but once again, smoke's gonna do his thing, you know? So yeah, um, I'm taking the daily takings right here. We got 54,000 this time for the daily take. Not the 93,000 we got last time. Dude, my teammates are so far ahead of me right now. They're so far ahead. It's not even funny. Okay, Smoke was waiting for me. Thanks, Smoke. Appreciate it. All right, we're getting into the vault once again. Can we actually get all the loot and then get out? Because my goodness, I feel like this time around we're collecting cash at a faster rate. Or No, we're not. We're not collecting cash. We're collecting our diamonds at a faster rate. I think. Me and Smoke are gone. It's just this guy collecting this bundle right here. We should be able to get it within the time frame. So I'm going to get out. Yeah, we're good. We're still cutting it close. But yeah, you see, this is why I want three people. Three people, you still have the opportunity to collect all the diamonds within the time frame. It's close, but we get it. So now, you know what to do. Follow Smoke. Smoke is our guide. Our diamond casino heist guide right here. Smoke. So just follow the smoke. Okay, where's Smoke going? Okay, I don't even know where you're going at this point, Smoke. Okay, smoke took out that guard. I don't even think you really have to take out that guard. I think you could have gone the way that I did. But it's all good. You know, as long as we don't fail, I don't really care. Anyways, we got to go back up. Dude, smoke is so far ahead. 
Okay, yeah, Smoke is going to open up the door because he knows what's up. Yeah, there you go. This is the thing about the silent sneaky approach. One cool thing. Cash resets in here so you can go back in and collect even more cash, which is huge. It's a little bit of extra money. Okay, nice. That was like roughly $50,000 in that one. So not too bad at all. So yeah, now it's time for us to get out of here. But should they want to go this way? Yeah, they want to go this way, which is fine. Doesn't really matter, but so much. So yeah, we just walk through the metal detectors because it's not going to really affect us at this point. And now we're actually getting out of the diamond casino. Casino. Ah, it's nighttime in Los Santos. Just a normal diamond casino has been robbed. The policemen are outside, but they don't know where we're at. We're still technically stealthy. And then pretty much, I remember this from the video that I watched. You can take out this cop like so, and that's all you have to do. Just run out of here. And yeah, the people don't even see you, which is so funny. Like no one sees us right now. We got a good vehicle spawn location, which is awesome. So yeah, we have a five-star one a little, but no one knows where we're at. We did that silent and sneaky, not silent and aggressive. All right, Smoke is in one Sentinel Classic. I'm in the other Sentinel Classic. Uh, there's a cop right here that's going to potentially see us like that. There we go. Obviously, we're so close to getting what we want to get. And that pretty much is going to be the helicopter, which is going to spawn in at the top of this police station that's really, really close to the Diamond Casino. See, Smoke knows what's up. And the other guy is a pretty good listener or slash follower. And that's a good combination. Get up here, turn this way. And then there's a beautiful helicopter right there just waiting on on us. So then I just get in the passenger seat and then all we need to do is just fly away. So yeah, from this point on, all we have to do is just lose the cops and then just deliver the loot to the buyer. And that's pretty much it. All right. And there we go. We've made it to the buyer. Not a smooth landing, but we don't even technically need to land. Nice shake of the hand. And we'll take our briefcase. They can take their diamonds, open up their own diamond shop or whatever they want to do. But there we go. Ice passed. Smoke got platinum. He absolutely deserved platinum. We had an actual take of $2,576,000. I got 70% of that, which is $1,800,000 three thousand dollars all right so after that heist we're now sitting on seven million one hundred and twelve thousand dollars so we still need to make less than three million dollars before we can actually purchase our yacht and i still have a few more things lined up that we can do so let's jump into those things all right, so now we need to make just under $3 million and I'm here at my hangar because the next thing we're going to do is actually sell off our hangar. Yeah, our wheel spins didn't allow us to sell off our hangar pretty close to the end, but we have a ton of product just sitting here. So I might as well just sell this off. What should we got? Well, we have 30 crates. My goodness. So all my cargo in here has a value of $900,000, but I'm currently in a public session with at least 25 players, which is going to give me 50% more on whatever I do sell. So we could be making over a million dollars off of this sell mission. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. So we're going to click to sell all cargo. Larger sales may require multiple vehicles. That is hilarious. We're doing this solo. We're going to do a land sell mission. So yeah, let's jump into it. All right. So for selling off your hangar, you pretty much have to take a tractor trailer full of supplies pretty much to one location. So really that little blip saying you need multiple vehicles, that's mainly for the air sell missions. But anyways, here's our cargo right here. Let's back up into it. There we go. We are attached and we now have to drive a sense actually like three and a half miles and hopefully this will go smoothly uh oh okay well there is someone coming after me right now oh jeez. uh oh it's a ramp car i don't know what this guy's doing the ramp car guy i'm running him over okay um are you gonna like blow me up when i say ramp car i don't really think like oh you're about to end my life i just think you're just gonna make my life a little bit more annoying even though i'm really really close to the drop off like a quarter of a mile away that guy's still kind of coming after me but i gotta back this in i have to reverse the trailer i can't park it normally it's See, excuse me, sir. Can I park this? Hold on. Hold on. Come on, trailer. Oh, shoot. I was so close. I forgot to detach. That was a really good backing up job, though. I've gotten better at that. All right. Yeah. Now let's leave the area. Um, Can you like ramp me out of here, please? Bro, you can ramp me out of here. Please just ramp me out of here. You're good now. Oh, now you just want to go around me. You're a loser. Okay. There we go. We sold that off and we made $1.3 million off of that. And the only person that really came after us was a guy in a ramp car. So now we're sitting on $8,400. In $28,000. So we need to make roughly $1.5 million before we can actually finally purchase our super yacht. So we have one more thing I actually want to sell off. So let's head on over there. All right. So now we're sitting at our nightclub. And I mean, our wall safe is holding $63,000 right now. I mean, that's not really going to make too much of a deal for our $10 million. But 
might as well just collect it. Okay, but I didn't come here just to collect my wall safe. I came here so we can actually sell off our nightclub. Because I think it's been a little bit since we actually sold off our nightclub. Because now our goods are sitting at $1.1 million. And this might push me over the edge to being able to purchase the yacht. But regardless if I can or cannot purchase a yacht after this sell mission, I'm still doing one more thing to make a little bit more money. Well, it's not even a little bit. It's a decent amount of money, this last thing I'm going to do. But regardless how this goes and regardless of how much money I'm going to make off of this, we're doing one more thing. But anyways, we're going to sell off our nightclub right here. Uh, once again, we're in the same session, so we should be getting a 50% bonus from whatever we do sell. Are you sure you'd like to sell all of your goods for $1,111,850? Of course I would. Of course. So let's get into it. All right, we need to enter a delivery vehicle, which is going to be, um, it's going to be our Yule. Is this the Yule? I forget. Oh, it's not the Yule. It's a Mule. Whatever. Tomato, tomato. Anyways, we need to deliver the goods to the drop off, which is roughly like six miles away. So this is going to be a long one. What? What the? Wait, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That truck is stupid. You know, the funny thing is, you could clearly see that was on purpose because he didn't even turn. So frustrating, man. There's people shooting at me, but that's the thing that slowed me down the most so far. Like, are you kidding me? Dude, I'm trying to catch up to him too. But my goodness, that truck is maintaining its distance from me. Come here, come here, come here. This is the same truck that fishtailed me. Here. Oh, nope, I missed that sticky bomb shot. Okay, that one. That one's definitely on. Okay, yeah, uh, truck turn around. Yep, there you go. That truck is gone. Don't piss me off like that. It's just stupid. Well, in goodness, that's literally the only thing that's happened so far. <laughs> this has been such a boring sell mission so far, which is a good thing because we're most likely going to get our money. All right, and here we go. We've made it to the drop off. And there we go. All the goods have been sold. Only thing that really happened during the sell mission was a stupid truck fish sailing me. All right, and we made $1,517,000. Oh my God. Yeah, literally the wall safe put us over the $10 million mark. But I mean, it's not really on my mind, I would say because there's one more thing I would like to do. And what I'm about to do is a pretty underrated way to make money. No one really talks about this. And this was a huge part of how I funded my $35 million spending spree for the Chop Shop DLC. And essentially this underrated way to actually make money in GTA Online is selling off vehicles that you do not use or really care about anymore. I mean, as you really start making serious money, you're like, I want that, I want that, I want that, you know, you start collecting all these things and instead of having to do you know like another kaya break ice or something like that instead you could just sell those vehicles off and we actually have a beautiful vehicle well it's not beautiful we actually have a vehicle to use this for to make our final dollar for loser to luxury and if you've been watching this season from the beginning you should know what vehicle this is going to be and it's going to be the arbiter gt Wow, wow, you have earned the spot of actually getting sold off. The first vehicle I'm actually going to sell off out of any season of Loser to Luxury. Wow, congratulations, Arbiter GT. You are absolutely garbage. Oh, its final drive is going to be in the rain too. Wow, wow, how wonderful. Wow, what a huge honor. A first for my Loser to Luxury series. Absolutely smashing records. Congratulations, Arbiter GT. You are officially infamous. But anyways, let's head on in. And if there's one tip I can give you, from loser to luxury from this season, I would say do not buy this vehicle. Do not buy the Arbiter GT unless if you want to actually experience the pain that I went through. This vehicle sucks. Unfortunately, though, for a video that I'm kind of making alongside of my other videos, I actually have to buy the Arbiter GT. Y'all can guess what that video is going to be. But anyways, yeah, we have to sell off the Arbiter GT and selling this off is going to give us $1,142,000. Actually is not bad. And the value of this car was not anywhere close close to that dollar amount. This actual cash, even though I really don't even need it to get $10 million because I already have $10 million, I'd rather take the money. So give me the money. Yep, goodbye. Bye. Bye, Arbiter GT. I am not going to miss you. So after that amazing financial decision that I just made, we are now sitting on $11,152,000. So now we can comfortably buy the Galaxy Super Yacht. So let's head on over. And yeah, let's click on Galaxy Yachts. We're not buying the Orion. We want the Aquarius. 
which starts at $8 million. And then we are absolutely just fitting this thing out. Gold fittings now. Um, I mean, green looks okay, but I want the most expensive. Give me yellow and... Oh, no, it's gold. Yeah, give me the gold. Yeah, give me the gold lights, please. Oh, the color scheme. Oh, a nice white yacht. Yeah, no. I want the Voyager color scheme, please and thank you. And then we can actually name our super yacht. Hmm, I gotta think of a name. Hold on, give me a second. All right, I'm literally just naming this loser to luxury. Because we were. We started out this season with absolutely nothing, and now we are about to walk away with a yacht. So here we go. The $10 million super yacht right here. So all I have to do is just click this button to buy now. So there we go. We have now purchased the Galaxy super yacht. All right. So this is our super yacht. Wow. I even have stars on the ceiling. Dude, what is this? A Rolls Royce? I have a yacht on my main account. I just do not go in it at all. I don't really know too much about the yacht. I got a sniper. That's cool. I have a makeup kit. I guess if I'm having some lovely ladies over, I guess. Bro, and then I get a combat MG in here. Thanks. Bro, there's so many weapons on this thing. Nice master bedroom right here. Took out the bathroom. Yeah. Wow. What a lovely bathroom. Bathroom. Bro, even more, dude. Yeah, I, I'm definitely not a loser anymore. All the ladies are coming over, I guess. Here's the bar area. Okay, cool. Hello, ma'am. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, what? I'll, I'll get a drink. You know, it's my yacht. Oh, thank you, thank you for the drink, ma'am. The mask back on. And <laughs> okay, and then what the yacht? We can actually do missions. I'm not doing these missions because you know, there's not really too much of a point. But yeah, I just kind of want to look around a little bit more. The helicopter here we could use is cool. It's cool. And then this is the bridge. Uh, yeah, we can go in here. I think there's gonna be a cutscene. I think we're gonna have to sit through. Oh, never mind. No cutscene. And this is our captain right here. Uh, Mr. Captain, can I drive? Hey, boss, you might have heard there's been a little trouble. Okay, he completely just ignored me and started rambling about some other garbage. So, no, I'm not gonna do your missions. That's what you're pretty much trying to say. Bro, I know there's a hot tub on here. Where's the hot tub? Yeah, there's a hot tub. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, after all the stress that I went through this season, I need to go and chill in the hot tub. This is it. This is the life. This is the life I just built. I am sitting in water. In water. Water, if that makes any sense. <laughs> That's so stupid. Oh my god. I wonder what's on this side of the yacht. Okay, cool. Another helipad. Nice. Oh, I can lean on the rail and just look at the sunset. Where's even the sun? Oh, it is setting that way. Then we can look at the sunset if we really want to. Oh yeah, we can just sit down too. Yep, this is the life. This is the life. All right, so yeah, this is pretty much my super yacht. Yeah, this thing is for sure over the top. I mean, just look at the stars on the ceiling. Like, I go to bed underneath the stars, even on a cloud day. Can you say that? Probably not. But anyways, yeah, let's take a look at actually all of our stats for Loser to Luxury Season 2 to really see what we have gone through this season. All right, so we want to go to the stats tab and then we look at career right here and our overall income is $100 million. We made $100 million this season. We barely made over $100 million. That's crazy. I pretty much have a 1.31 KD ratio and that's pretty much from all the adversaries modes and whatnot. Doesn't count for free mode. Oh my goodness. We have traveled 6,692 miles. Now, I have spent 13 days, 12 hours, 55 minutes, and 30 seconds on this account for GTA Online. My goodness. Oh my god. I've died over 1,000 times. 1,097 times. And I've died via explosion 224 times. I've died by drowning once. I've died by traffic, aka getting run over by dumb NPCs. 20 nine times. <laughs> I spent almost an hour of my life swimming in this game. Swam nine miles. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I ran 297 miles. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Probably my proudest stat right here. Zero private dances and zero um axe purchase. <laughs> I can't believe that's actually a stat. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I've had 340 bounties placed on me. Why? Really? That's interesting. Oh, I have definitely been a detriment to the LSPD. I have killed almost 1,500 cops. I have gained a wanted level 556 times. I have gained a total of 1,521 wanted stars. I've spent nine and a half hours with a wanted level. And I've spent two and a half hours with a five-star wanted level. Okay, is this my favorite bike? Is the Body 801? I mean, yeah, I guess. I think that's the only bike I have other than the Oppression Mark II. Oh my god, car crashes. I have 6,819 car crashes. <laughs> okay, so we spent $1,330 on weapons and armor. I assume that counts ammo too. We spent $34 million on vehicles and maintenance. We spent $56,739,000 on property and utilities.